Uh, hey, you made it to this one. Hey, holding up. You grab a drink, right? Or maybe, uh, six? We still got a lot more. Here we go. The fact that almost none of our future tech is orb shaped is so up. The fact that we're still in Square World really shows how primeval and animalistic we still are. Pucky, I hate to tell you, but some of the strongest shapes in nature are based off of triangles. So if we were to follow that route, it would be four sided pyramids and hexagons and the like. Orbs and circles aren't space efficient. I don't know what the f you're talking about, but check this cool sh out. <laughs> Balls. And you ruined it. But what if I'm the dumbest person in the room? Can I still find a different room? Am I stuck in this room forever? Please, I want to leave! I've been here for three years! I want out! My mom's favorite pastime is to come into my room, insult all of my life choices, list everything I already know I need to do, making me ten times more stressed about it than I was before, then leave my door open. All right. Opens the can of worms. We should have different body types for main characters in Pokemon. Please and thank you. Not to be insensitive, but some of the Salem witch trials were so funny. Bitches like, I saw her at the Devil's Sacrament. Girl, what were you doing at the Devil's Sacrament, hmm? Stepping on crunchy leaves is the real-life equivalent of breaking bricks in Super Mario. Ah, wahoo. You show a cat something and they're like, Ooh, I understand now. I don't care. If an elf and a dwarf fucked, would it make a human? Well, going by older editions of D&D, they made an awkward, ugly thing called a dwarf, which usually combined the worst aspects of both races' personalities and physical construction. <sighs> yeah, a human. The computer from Courage could fix me. Same. If I die, I want all of you at my funeral. Just confuse the fuck out of my family. Transformers is about love and loss and time and change, but fundamentally, it is about old friends and ancient grievances. It's also about cool robot turn into car! Yeah, baby! Your girlfriend told me that she thinks my takes are way more nuanced than yours. Yeah. Yeah, she thinks you can't get past surface level interpretations, and she's leaving you for my analysis. Sorry. Not writing. Not not writing. But a secret third thing. Letting my story spin around my head like a microwave. What time is it, you ask? I pull out my 2.7 metric ton granite sundial and immediately crush both of your feet, and I loudly announce, It is cloudy! Me begging on my knees, sobbing, voice raw, whispering quietly, Please, dear God, let me enjoy something in moderation. My brain, obsessed, 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 obsessed. I'm gonna say Candyman five times while my homie says Beetlejuice three times, then we're gonna make him fight. Okay, maybe there is still some funny people on Twitter. And here comes Bloody Mary with the steel chair! So I would love to be a werewolf, but my main worry is if it would affect my digestive system. Like, I love eating stuff like grapes and chocolate, but I'm not sure if my wolf form can handle it without keeling over and dying. Guys, that's a new writing prompt. The new weaknesses for werewolves. Trans women names are like 22nd century cyberpunk hacker jewel thieves. And trans man names are like drowned Victorian children. Exactly as it should be. If I may add, NB names are often just like nouns. I had a classmate once named Brick, and that is the single most powerful name I've ever heard. One time I dreamt someone sold my OC as an NFT. You against my will, and we fought over it in a Zoom meeting. I want to travel back in time and try to explain this sentence to myself in the 1990s. I don't think anyone even spoke English back then. Yeah, as a 90s kid, I can confirm we didn't speak English at all. Nope, no sorry, nope. I was chatting with a donor before I drew his blood, and he was a dentist. When I actually drew him, there was just a little squirt of blood, and it surprised him. I looked him in the eye and told him, you are bleeding because you don't floss. And he went dead silent. Oh, how the turns have tabled. Once I said busted nut in front of my 11-year-old sister, and I didn't want to get in trouble for it when my dad asked what that meant. So I said it meant being mad at something. And my dad has meetings regularly with four-star admirals. And I really didn't think he'd remember this, but he dropped his shit and he said he was going to bust a nut and explain to him what I told him it meant. And now apparently <laughs> they like the phrase. Ellie, you're going to cause a goddamn international crisis. You know, a lot of scantily clad women with numbers in their URLs are following me lately. They must be smitten with my devilish charm. 
Minimalism is cool, but have you ever had all the things you love in your room? Not since she left. Oh! Oh, dude! Someone give T-Boot some love! Jesus! Masked individual with they slash them pronouns. Call that an a non-binary. <laughs> Working in an office is just like being in a horse movie, except the horse is a printer. I'm the only one in the office who can make it work, and it's because the printer and I have a special bond. It's a wild and untamable spirit, and we're going to win the big race. I can't believe horse girls are secretly working in offices now. Spotify wrapped, but it's your bank showing you your 100 worst purchases of the year. My Keanu Reeves Jesus bath mat is the top of the list. I humbly request a visual. Bank says worst purchase, but my heart says best. I love it and I want one. Friendly reminder to assume that all my OCs are bisexual unless explicitly stated otherwise. It's buy or die in this house. Andy, do something to acknowledge your presence. Overclocks. P M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Today I learned that all Northern Hemisphere thoroughbred horses celebrate their birthday on January 1st. Happy birthday to every horse in the Northern Hemisphere. I think it's very sexy when a fictional character knows they're doomed, but makes the conscious choice to keep trying anyway. OP, are you defending Macbeth right now? Assume I'm doing whatever you think will bother everyone the most. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I need people to understand that if I'm online all day and do not respond to messages, it's because I need a day to not be a person. Instead, to be one of those undiscovered species of slugs that has lived in a cave for thousands of years and never seen sunlight and survives by eating moss. You could just say you need a me day, but sure, go off, fam. Writing prompt. You are a well-respected villain. You caused only necessary minor damages. You never purposely took a life and you made sure to keep a strict code when dealing with civilians. But for some reason, some of the younger newbie heroes seem to think you are evil incarnate. It's because you put kiwi on your pizza, isn't it? Don't lie to me! Do you ever just think about Moon Big? Did you know I once tricked my dad into saying Moon Big? We were outside looking at a full moon, and I solemnly said, Moon Big. He nodded and said, Moon Big. And that was the end of our conversation. I'm glad she brought you together because moon indeed big and full of. I had a dream last night that I stopped a person from going on a killing spree by stealing his gun out of his pocket and eating all of his bullets. Well, what did they taste like? Were they crunchy? Were your teeth okay? Did you put them in sauce? I got questions. It's unreal how all of my favorite characters have exactly the same traits and hobbies and diagnoses as me. Oh, have you been tricked into loving yourself? Oh my fucking God, is that what just happened? Bruh, if people want me to stop sympathizing with villains, they need to stop making the villains the one who want to change broken systems. And stop making heroes fight to maintain the status quo, for fuck's sakes! Vulnerability is like so hard. If I told you anything sappy, please know that I had a hand-to-hand -hand combat with seven layers of embarrassment and repression. I don't know how to feel my feelings. I always forget there's a stuff for you page on Tumblr. The only stuff for me comes organically from the post my mutuals graciously handpicked for me to reblog. Like a nine year old girl palm feeding sugar cubes to a horse. An algorithm could never do that. Queer platonic is whatever those three middle aged animal men from Ice Age had, by the way. I hope you understand now. Actually, I do. Thank you very much, Multiverse Theory. That really clears it up. I love this character so much. I'd love to see them at the lowest point in their life. Hey, sorry your boyfriend fell into a public library book donation bin. Yeah, he's been used to fund vital community programs and support services. Yeah, beanbag chairs too. You know, if you pay your overdue fines, we'll give him back though. Seriously, does Tumblr have any idea what a boyfriend is? The sound a bass guitar makes is a gender. It is also a sexuality. It is also a secret third thing. <clears throat> Music?
Girl, your intrusive thoughts make you get a nose piercing. Mine make me think there is someone watching me try to sleep, so I have to open my eyes a tiny bit to make sure no one's there. We ain't the same. All right? Shout out to everyone who's died and come back sluttier each time. Love ya. Hey, it's five too young for the dark crystal. I don't want to scare my sister, but I want to show her. You know, I forgot that was the name of a film when I read this, and I thought you were desperate to show your five-year-old sister some sort of cursed artifact. Hey, hey, could be both. You don't know. Writer's block. Dry. No desire to write. No ability to write. Bearable. Writer's block. Whits. Huge desire to write. No ability to write. Very evil. Writer's block. Damp. No desire to write. Huge opportunity. Very annoying. It's funny how we say, Ew, a bug hit my windshield. When we're the ones going 70 miles per hour, I bet the bugs family describes it differently. Twitter discovers the theory of relativity. As if Tumblr was the first people to figure that out. A little girl and her mom were looking at me at the coffee shop this morning, and I heard her mom say, go on, it's okay. And the little girl shuffled up to me and said, Excuse me, please. Do you have to put on your tattoos by yourself every day, or does your mom help you? Oh, my God. It's so cute. It's so cute. End, the, end this episode before I die. Oh, God, it's too late. I'd be like, I'm not good at dealing with stress. And then pull on all nighter just to play another stressful horror game. Me, after working for eight hours and coming home at one in the morning. We're not good at dealing with stress that we can't turn off. Dad, that's it. That's it right there. That's, that, that's it. You just turned 18. You've been in a Discord server for a while, and you're finally allowed to join the NSFW channel. You open the channel. It's only them posting about OSHA violations at their workplaces and how they're going to unionize. Ah, it's good. I love how they just sort of gave up during the last few years of Fairly Odd Parents. This one frame manages to break every established rule the series set in the beginning. It also did the three most cursed words in animation history. <clears throat> Flash tweeting animation. I love how delusional some articles of clothing are. Like you read the tag and it's like, hand wash only, tumble dry on low. Son, you are a cotton shirt. You're going in the wash and whatever happens in there is in God's hands. Person, we have removed all possible distractions. Yeah, but have you considered this? Zones out in daydreams. I have removed all distractions so you can do insert task. <laughs> Silly neurotypical, so naive. Don't you see? I am the distraction. The distraction is coming from inside the house. Hi, social media app here. We were just noticing you've turned off some of the settings that would normally allow us to intrude into your life even more than we already do. Obviously, he didn't mean that, right? Here's a handy button to turn all those settings on for you. Oh, you don't want to press the button right now? That's okay. We'll ask you again every other week for the rest of your life. Just in case you finally come to the realization that you actually want notifications about nothing sent everywhere all the time. Don't post your negativity on a positive post. Electrons. I should kick your ass. I just pretend I know what I'm talking about 150% of the time. If you can't blow them away with your brilliance, baffle them with your bullshit. I think I just found my senior quote. It's still so strange to me how apparently taboo it is to like a post on someone's Instagram from a month ago when there are posts still circulating on Tumblr from 1550 BCE. Well, if he didn't want it circulating in 2022, he should have sold better copper. Ah, I get the post. I call my parents and say, yeah, I can't do family stuff tonight. I got too much stuff to do for school. And I email my professor and say, I can't do my assignments tonight. Work got crazy. And I text my boss and I say, sorry, I can't work late tonight. I got to do some family stuff. And through this triangulation of deceitful excuses, I at last will be free. Laptop. Please place me on a hard surface that does not obstruct my cooling fan. I am begging you. Shh, shut up. We're going to snuggle in bed. Dating apps are embarrassing. Crushes in real life are embarrassing. The only option left is to elope with a Tumblr mutual. I mean, how about no? D&D &D item idea. Bag of holding used. 
It's exactly like a regular bag of holding, except you got it second hand. And everything you put in it comes out covered in glitter. Andy, stop whatever you're doing and write that down. How did he do this? Why did he do this? Number one, strong. Number two, comfy. I can hear my earwax growing. It's gross. My body is a vessel for the bits. Sometimes tummy hurt, and that means you should eat food to appease it. Other times tummy hurt, and you should not eat food, lest the agonies increase tenfold. This is one of life's many difficulties. The easiest way I learned it. If it's a squeezing pain, you hungry. Eat the food. If it's a stabbing pain, don't put any food in there. It wants out. I would have reblogged your flop post, my brother. My captain. My king. Game facts. In Elden Ring, Melania, Blade of Mikola, has two prosthetic legs. This is a reference to how she has never known defeat. <sighs> One of the most common fears is the fear that kobolds don't care about you. Such fears are unfounded. Kobolds love you. You have been visited by the Tewcumber. May you receive twofold luck in the coming days. Jesus, I thought it was a green pepper at first. You ask me what the time is, and I glance at my wrists, but instead of a wristwatch, there's a compass duct taped to my wrist, and I immediately turn and walk north, never to be seen again. My New Year's resolution is 480 by 640. Getting smaller. And yet, returning to comfort. The peasants have developed a parasocial attachment to you, my liege. They believe you were appointed by God himself, my lord. It's kind of cringe, sire. They're, like, totally obsessed with you. Hey, don't cry. I went to Maddie U Island and none of your friends were there. <laughs> Why were you in Maddie U Island? It's him. It's McCree from Overwatch. Yo, it's 12 o'clock, dumbass! Absolutely tragic. 37 clowns were killed today in a devastating one-car pileup. The funeral has only one casket. It's what they would have wanted. It's so sad I might start crying. Pulls out a handkerchief. Pulls out a handkerchief. Pulls out a hank. No, little punk girl, don't walk into the lightning storm. Your outfit is so conductive. Little punk girl, no! Men's section, more like where the hot women shop. Women's section, more like where the hot men shop. Soup section, more like where's the clothes. Soup store? More like, why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? More like, fuck you! Somehow, it turns out that only a small group of people bought between 1988 and 2000 are able to properly understand and navigate the internet. It is up to them to make sure that those that come after don't fall for hot gnomes around your area.com. Yeah, maybe also teach them how to use Google. Seriously, guys, there was a time where Google was a search engine. It's pretty good. You ever go eat some food and your brain tells you to stop right fucking there? You can't just eat that food. Look at it. You see how fucking perfect that food is? I can't believe it's already 2023 already. This means like 2019 was seven years ago. So crazy. Stop with the bad math. That is not true. I'm sorry. I can't make it today. I have prior commitments. And it's to the beat! Um... Meow meow, meow meow meow, meow 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 meow, meow meow, meow 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 meow, meow 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 meow. If you even care. Might be a stretch, but I don't think these are cows. Oh oh, I know. Her name is Cow, and that's her house. Don't fucking dox her, you asshole. What the fuck? You know, I get that being frozen for a hundred years is a tough thing to go through, but honestly, Ang should have used it for comedy more. Wow, so this is Omashu. Back in my day, it was called Weed City. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. That's what the Fire Nation wants you to think. Boomy, the second they arrive. Welcome weed to Weed day. City! What the fuck? Hey, Andy. You're doing great, man. Has there ever been a comic book run where in Spider-Man fights a spider's natural nemesis? A piece of paper and a glass? No, but there should be. I just heard a girl outside yell, PARKOUR! Really loudly, immediately followed by a dull thud on the ground and a softer, uh, and I'm laughing really hard. Oh, there's tragically beautiful. Do you live in Toronto? Because this might have been me about two hours ago, jumping down from a fence dressed as Bro Strider. Please tell me these two met. If I lose a bet, I'll eat my hat. 
physics teacher who proceeded to lose the bet, take his hat, dissolve it in acid, neutralize it with a base, making it water, pour the mixture into his coffee, and down it in one gulp. Bruh. So the only two white actors in Black Panther are Martin Freeman, who played Bilbo Baggins, and Andy Serkis, who played Gollum. So I guess that means they're the Tolkien white guys. I literally screamed. This is the pun of the century! Pretend your invasive self-hating thoughts are being said to you by a 13-year-old boy on Xbox Live trying to get a rise out of you like, Your girlfriend dumped you because you're ugly! That's nice, Timmy. Isn't it past your bedtime? Also, if you have intrusive, violent thoughts, pretend they're being said to you by an annoying backseat driver. Drive into that pole. Yeah, thanks, Karen. Or I could not do that. You know? Movie concept. Disney's Chicken Little, 2005. But it's the plot of Nope by Jordan Peele. The dad's still a jerk, isn't he? The real reason Hal kept his castle moving was tax evasion. This sounds like a joke, but I read the book. This is the literal reason. And in the movie, he's trying to avoid the draft. He just doesn't want to help the government. Would you? Downloading milk. 1%. 2%. Download complete. Ah, I get it. Buying a funeral home and converting it into a wedding venue called Till Death Do Us Part. God damn it, that's a brilliant idea. Every day I get top surgery and every night they grow back again. <laughs> Prometheus. Imagine if we all just started ignoring celebrities, though. I can't stop thinking about how funny this would be. Imagine Kylie Jenner posting a selfie and it gets like 12 likes. Oh my god, I need this. Listen, Growly, I'm unfollowing you because I disagree with how you spend your money. You know what? I don't blame you. The problem with the Rings of Power is that there's a lot of elves, but no Christmas. Every episode you think it's going to be the one where they make toys for Christmas, but there's no toys. You know, I thought the same thing when watching the Dragon Prince. So many elves, but no Chrysler. I was going to tell these two that the elves in Christmas are actually just halflings in disguise. Probably bad RPG ideas. A spell called literally fucking nothing that uses all your spell slots and does literally nothing. Chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue! <laughs> Dionysus, big naturals. Obviously, where else would he store the wine? Hey, so this is simultaneously the best and worst reply you could have made to my post? Ah, so that's why they're called jugs. These beautiful women are coming in flocks to follow me. Must be my axe body spray. <laughs> why do they why do they all want my social security number? I swear to god if this video ends with an axe body spray, Adam gonna Eat smoke weed every day. Tumblr. People don't often realize this, but it's so true. <gasps> For real. Look at that little blob. Huh. Something small but unexpected happened and it threw me off my rhythm. The whole day's ruined now. It's gonna take three to five business days for me to recover. Perceive an 1890s postcard. Happy New Year going to the soup! Wait. If one only tells the truth and one only tells lies, how the heck are they able to tell us this without breaking their one rule? Oh my god, they're onto something here. They should port Doom on the Tumblr. Have a little pop-up in the corner where you can play Doom while scrolling. You know, if I had a nickel for every time someone reblogged this post with a Doom scrolling joke, I'd have enough money to buy a cardboard cutout of the Burger King. Jesus, that must be one expensive piece of cardboard. I don't know, maybe the horrors would be less daunting if we were holding hands. With each other or with the horrors? Well, I have two hands. An ancient Greek walks into his tailor's shop with a pair of torn pants. Euripides, says the tailor. Yeah, Eumenides, replies the man. This is so awful. It must go on to infect others. The joke was so good that they deactivated their account. Special license required. Special license required. Special license required. Hey, can you drive a car? Hop in, you're ready. Why are there truck memes on my dashboard? Um, uh, these are RV memes, you clown. You fool. I had a dream where my mom tried to give our Venus flytrap a spoonful of milk and immediately started hacking and coughing like an adult human man. 
I can't believe your mom didn't know your Venus flytrap is lactose intolerant. How dare they? Keeping the Tumblr algorithm on its toes by not actually liking any posts that I enjoyed, but instead reading the entire things and then going away. <laughs> Curse you, you little raccoon! Ah, my favorite video game. Gansidict Cumber Pact. Why? Why? Holy shit, PM, I used to watch your videos when I was like a child. You're so cool. Wait, how long have I been doing this? Oh! Seven years. Oh no! <laughs> I'm feeling the trip coming on. Love the concept of scissors. Someone was like, yeah, knife is too clumsy for this task. What if I use two knives? And they were right. Specifically, two knives strapped together, which is even more unhinged. Oh no, the knives are definitely hinged. That is intrinsic to their function. Scar is like Barbie to me. He was a wizard. He was a male. He was a business tycoon. He was a movie star. He was a cowboy. He was a pirate. And he is always a baby girl. Yeah, that's one way to view a lion who killed his brother and betrayed one of the animals ever, hyenas. Um, this is about good times with Scar, a Minecraft YouTuber. Ah, those damn Roblox craft players at it again! A friend of mine said they found my tumbler. My brother in flesh, you didn't find it. You walked around my neighborhood and found my trash can! It's very nice and polished with a numerous amount of shiny stickers. Still a trash can! A crossover between King Midas and King Oedipus would be pure motherfucking gold. How dare you make me read this with my own two eyes. Well, Oedipus certainly can't read it with his. Ow! If anyone asks, I'm making some sugar oat milk cookies for Cthulhu. He's been a little mad lately, and I'm concerned for his mental health. I like to pretend that my own mind is an eldritch abomination and make self-care interesting. Aren't I, Weedy? Yes. I find it so strange that we seem to all see the same advertisements on here. We, we all see the sword lady, right? That's not how the other sites work. They pay for one ad at a time. Carbon-based life forms imply the existence of carbon cringe life forms. And brother, I'm one of them, you know what I'm saying? I just watched an old couple get into their car and set off the alarm, and then they try to turn it off for like 10 minutes before giving up and driving away with the alarm still going off. You know, now that I think about it, maybe I just watched an old couple steal a car. Oops. Hand mixers and sewing machines are two different types of horses. These are wild animals. Untamed stallions. Yeah, they respond well to a confident handler, but they can smell fear and will act up if they don't respect you. Other horses include printers and hot glue guns. Boy, howdy. Short kings, do not step outside right now. I just saw a hawk flying around. Legolas to the hobbits. Uh, feeling bad. I'm gonna go on Pet Finder and find the most bizarre cat names possible. We'll report back with any notable ones. All right, I'm better. Here's the notable ones. <clears throat> Celery Prince, Blue Dabba D, Brussels Sprout, Skype, Toby, Very Gentle and Sweet, Edward Cullen, James, Female, That's Amore, Revolver, Mr. Cardboard, The Magical Cheese Wizard, Provolone Dave, Dr. Eggman, Big Baby Pudding Snatcher, Bank of America, 401k, Gorilla Radio, and finally, 70 orders of breadsticks. I want to adopt that one. Mario saw an ad in the newspaper for a part-time job. Mario's are gonna take it. Seems like an easy pay. Woohoo! First a night on the job, everyone! Why are they moving? Too many songs about being in love with real people. Not enough songs about being in love with fictional characters. <sighs> yeah. If any of you happen to be rich and generous, please buy me a hot air balloon and a fog machine. In return, I'll give you this picture. Please do not just right click and save the picture, we're working on the order system here. I can't believe I predicted NFTs. Minecraft YouTubers. See, I can say it right. Having random nouns and verbs for names is particularly annoying when you want a fine character playlist to listen to while drawing them. Like, yeah, let me just type stress into Spotify. Let me look up the word impulse and see what comes up. Yeah, you know, that's probably, it's probably not a, not a good thing. The most iconic polycule of all time. A-E-I-O-U. And sometimes why.
I don't want to know what the fuck those letters stand for. Bestie, they're vowels. Did you... Did you not pay attention in kindergarten? Please, stop praying for my grandpa. You're making him too strong. He broke out of the hospital and the cops can't get him. He's too powerful. I'm going to fight the moon. When you're a kid and you're feeling weird and detached and you fall asleep in the late afternoon with school clothes on and you wake up and it's dark and dinner's almost done and time feels like a thick jelly. Thick jelly? I can't believe someone put words to that feeling. Thank you. Tumble, tumble, tumble. Beep, pop, skidoo, doodly doo. Ooh. You did it. You cracked the Tumblr code. You're free. Legit the scariest dream I've ever seen. Achilles, after being dipped into the river Styx, literally crying and shaking, RN. Darn kids with your falling boys and your panic discos and your romantic chemicals. And your imaginary dragons. And your cold monkeys. And your unreasonable amount of pilots. And your unnecessarily short summers. Aw, that one hurt my feelings. Anyone available to go scream in the woods with me? It's fun, free, and the trees like to gossip about us afterwards. Now this is the kind of socializing I'm comfortable with. Perceive. Two of them. Two of them? Oh my god, two of them. Believe it! You know, sometimes a guitar riff is to sound what a garlic hitting hot oil is to smell. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Horse girl polycule voting on issues in the stable like, all again say nay. Look, I know this joke is reaching the end of its Tumblr lifespan. Sorry for beating, uh, well, you know. They voted unanimously to freak out at a stray plastic bag in the wind, by the way. Well, at least they're in a stable relationship. Writing inspiration. Thor finishes his meal at a small cafe, and the elderly waitress approaches him to clean the table. She puts the dishes on a tray and sets them aside, picks up Mjolnir, wipes the table with a damp cloth, then puts the hammer back down. Have a good evening, dear, she says and returns to work. Oh my god, my heart. 2023. Please, can we make lasting good life choices this year? Collectively. Why have I now just learned that neurotypicals have complete control over their brain? Like, you guys can just put your brain on silent when you need to? How? Pleased to announce that I am extending my invitation to summon me when I die to those of this realm. Would your dead essence do kids parties? Only if I get to take one of their souls with me. You know what? Totally fair. Agreed. I don't want someone to reject me because of my looks. I want them to reject me because of my awful personality. At least then I will know I'm pretty. I don't think anyone is more serious about urban legends than theater kids. I mean, once a kid had to go home from rehearsal because he said the name of the Scottish play on stage and someone punched him in the face. I love how you also didn't say the name. Of course I didn't. What kind of fool do you take me for? Now, instead of saying, is this real? I ask, is this canon? This is the kind of post you find on Pinterest. The highest compliment. Stop deleting your posts. I want to see your funky little opinions. All right, I will give you one opinion. Ask me. Can cats have a little salami as a treat? No. Cancel Pucky Show. See, this is why I don't share my opinions. Must a villain be redeemed? Isn't it enough that they're bitter, evil, and most importantly, hot? Well, what can you redeem them for? Cool prizes? How does it feel to be the funniest person on my notes? Referring to my tits as the boys. Not because calling them girls would be dysphoric, but because they're like goons to me. Henchmen. Now calm yourselves, henchmen. Yeah, sorry, boss. I got carried away. Toph was shown easily bending a meteorite that Sokka gave her. Meaning that Toph can bend any dirt regardless if it's from Earth or not. Meaning Toph could have definitely bent the moon, and the only reason she didn't do it was out of respect for Sokka and his ex-girlfriend. Yeah, Toph doesn't know where the fuck the moon is. And now, a serious message from Snom. Shut up and listen to Snom. I just wanted to give a reminder that I am a little ice worm and not a professional therapist. If you're having serious issues, please... Tell someone close to you and seek help from the people who know you more than I do. I can give you dopamine. 
not serotonin. Yeah, just because someone makes you feel good doesn't mean they can or are obligated to make you stop feeling bad. What both of them said. Please, I love you guys, but I'm not a therapist. Anyway. Men are so beautiful that they make you nauseous and dizzy. Oh, dude, that's not your man. That's a low blood Writing prompt. A witch curse your name to be hated for all eternity. The first thing you do is willingly give it to a fae. Congratulations, you have now made Karen the fae. Yeah, sorry, we localized your boyfriend. Yeah, a lot of his character got lost in translation. Had to change his name to one that would make sense to a Western audience, too. Mm, yeah, my deepest apologies. God damn it, every time. One of my hips always lies. My other hip always tells the truth. You may ask one question. I swear to God, somebody in the comments is going to say Siana or Sana, and I just don't know how I'll feel about that. See you later, alligators in the past. The gang now says, it's been real, baby seal. Oh my god, writing that down. You ever just be living your life like you having a care in the world, but then your ankle decides to just go, Skrrr! and now you're questioning if you need to go to urgent care or if the universe is just testing your reflexes? No. Just me. Life's vibe check. Writing prompts. You are a student who can stop time. You have stopped time during an exam to cheat when you see something in the corner of your eye move. Someone with the same kind of stand? Impossible! I, Dio, shall be the only one cheating in this classroom! Strong, stoic man with a sad past adopts a child. Me every single time? <laughs> Alright, Andy, promoting time. Put up any clip of S.H.I.E.L.D. being an absolute dad to Ika. And of course, link our D&D campaign. Oh, <laughs> let me let me intimidate. All right. I, I see Shield do it. I want to I want to be just like Shield. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm a little emotional right now. Oh god, I've got a it. five. <laughs> that <checks out. laughs> okay, so you you run up, puff your chest out, but uh, and but you kind of just do like a <laughs> <laughs> flawless, <laughs> and it's just kind of it, it's not paying any attention. I'm sorry. Tumblr users will pause their music to watch one video, then scroll in silence for 10 minutes. Hey, shut up. Sorry, yeah, you're not allowed to be in the grocery store anymore. Yeah, everyone thought it was super weird when you were rummaging in your wallet for your credit card, and it was making everyone super uncomfortable and taking a long time. Sorry. The bravery of a girl who has to decide what is for dinner, and then cook it, and then wash dishes every day, forever and ever. It's called being an adult. No, it's called being the bravest girl on planet Earth. Shut up! I love shrikes or shrieks, however you say it, because they're horrible little carnivores whose feeding habits are grim enough to earn them the nickname Butcher Bird. But then they look like this. That is truly the face of a murderer. Daddy's home. You know what? Fuck you. On tandem's your mouse. How dare you? He was in a loving relationship, you son of a bitch! I would love to visit some innocent happy gnome village and just start stomping. We know that's you, Gargamel. Stop it. All right. It's been fun. I'm going to bed. Fallout Boy are doing something today. They're doing something. This is an actual headline, guys. Mom, do some. Behold, breathe right clear and breathe right extra. It's like his snoring got so bad that his wife left him and now he's just forever alone with his extra strength breathe right strips. Maybe the strips are so effective that he inhaled his wife. Gentlemen, show them no sympathy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Little GameCubes resting in their natural habitat. Why would anyone need to own so many GameCubes? Um, they aren't owned. They're wild GameCubes. God? The Earth isn't flat. Correct. Huh? It's in the shape of an Italian car. What? Ah, oh, you read my name wrong, didn't you? Jeff, come on. We've been over this. Imagine a doctor driving by an apple orchard and hissing aggressively at it like a vampire. 
An apple farmer and a garlic farmer team up to fight their mutual nemesis. Duck Dracula. At any given moment, there is a shark behind you. It might be a thousand miles away, but there is a shark behind you. And that shark is totally behind you. It is supporting you in whatever you do and wants you to succeed. And he put up a picture of Sidon. That's your emotional support shark. When I stopped at a crosswalk today, this guy pulled up next to me, rolled his window down, and stuck his head out. At first, I was like, oh, no, street harassment, here it comes. And then the guy was like, dude, look at the huge rainbow behind you. The only appropriate thing for a dude to shout at me out a car window. I liked it before it was cool. Yeah, well, I liked it after it was cool when everyone abandoned it. Hmm? January is one of those months where you experience every feeling on the human spectrum and you just have to go about your day like it isn't happening. It's great! I want to decompose in a bog. Well, you clearly don't know the first thing about bogs, Cloud Chaser. In the bog is like the opposite of decomposition. Get pickled, idiot! Huge fan of the phrase, get pickled, idiot. Writing that one down. Once my hair is long enough to pull back into a gay little ponytail, oh, it's over for everyone past, present, and future. Mm. Several years ago, my spouse was like, you gotta give the kitties a warning before you grind your coffee beans. And I was like, oh, okay, sure, makes sense. So now every morning before I grind coffee beans, I yell, it's gonna get loud, baby, you gotta grind some beans. And my spouse will yell back from the corners of the house in a despondent tone, oh, no, the beans, scatter. Mentai. Hi for men. Why is this based on my likes? I think that one's on you, Chief. Writing prompt. Thanks to a typo in the contract, the professor gained complete mastery of all the knowledge in the heavens and the earth in exchange for his soup. I don't know if I like that one more. That means I can never have soup again. Unless it's just one singular bowl of soup, but I feel like it's, you know, it's the devil. He's probably going to want more soup. It's been January for just a bit. Too long now. Starting to get suspicious. Tonight, my darling, we will be dining on my finest china. Ribbit, ribbit, zoo pals. God, that song is forever stuck in my head. And you did copyright reasons we can't play the full song. Play just one second of the song now. Buzz two. When you see the phrase, ooh ee -oo, if the first thing you think of is Miku, you're going to heaven. And if it's Weezer, you're going to hell. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Adult life tip. Do not buy a cabbage unless you have one of the following. One, a recipe that uses a whole cabbage. Two, 200 recipes that use some cabbage. Or three, a desire to waste an entire half cabbage. Four, a desire to aid your local cabbage merchant who's struggling financially because so much of their crop was destroyed in a series of bizarre incidents involving a 12-year-old martial artist. <laughs> references. My cabbages! May I ask why you were at an old abandoned shack in a forest? Hey, what's for all the questions, hmm? Trying to get into my shack? Well, you can't. It's mine. I earned it. What do you think of the moon? I sure hope it stays where it is. I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, it moves a little sometimes. What the devil are you talking about? My favorite insult has got to be he, she, they got the personality of a wet mop. It's such a raw line. One man's cringe is another man's epic, and a flawed story is still a thousand times better than a story never told, are two pieces of advice that a lot of people aspiring to be writers really need to take to heart. Stop tearing yourself up over getting every little insignificant thing right. Just write a story you enjoy, man. Thinking about the matte blue Scooby-Doo fruit snack. Look at it. You sometimes wonder if it's actually food. You know what? This this post in particular is too British for me. Andy, you're up. The cashier had charged me for four, yet I had got five delicious sausage rolls. She was deceived by the bag. Alas, the universe fixed itself in haste by tearing the bag. Making me drop one sausage roll. But I wouldn't let myself be meddled with so easily. So I ate it. The universe countered again by giving me food poisoning. Total equilibrium. Good job, Andy. Looks like we can't isolate, ignore, ibuprofen our way out of this one, boys. I'm still gonna try. Hey, 
I can be a pretty boy, handsome girl. Don't even worry about it. The only new track versus old track discourse I want to hear about is the aspect ratios. I'm begging us to talk about how the 4x3 aspect ratio meant that actors were literally four inches from each other's faces at all times in order to be caught in the same frame. Hey, 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 hey. no, no, no. They are four inches from each other because they are gay and love each other. 16 by 9 is homophobic. To catch a bus, you gotta think like a bus. Vroom, vroom. Is it data or data? Is it route or route? Is it caramel or caramel? Is it either or either? Is it red or read? I hate all of you so much right now. Fuck English! You don't seem content with this content. By the way, if you're going to make a joke about me pronouncing those things right or wrong, you have to like, comment, and subscribe. Those are the rules now. Having a hyperfixation and talking to people is like, you know what else has divorce in it? You know who else is a brother? You know what else found an incredible controversy? And you just don't say it unless it's really, really, really funny. <clears throat> you know who else doesn't just say it unless it's really, really funny? Pocky Chow? Are you smart? I'm on Tumblr.com. That answers, but also doesn't answer the question. Right clicks you and saves you into a folder called Friends on my desktop. Goes into the folder and clicks and drags you around the screen for fun. So it's like you're on a little roller coaster ride or perhaps a big twisty slide. Ooh. Which of your OCs would commit murder is easy mode. I want to know which of your OCs is most likely to commit identity theft. I want to know which of your OCs is most likely to organize a Ponzi scheme. I want to know which one of your OCs is most likely to engage in tax fraud. Andy, I'm going to assume your evil doer, Sona, would do all three of those. You know, Achilles wouldn't have died if he was wearing OSHA-approved work boots. Don't let workplace safety be your Achilles heel. Hey, why can't you be this funny, Osha? Safety is not a joke! Well, well, well. Good morning. Immediately. Or else. Or else what, cat? Meow, 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 meow! Trying to think of a worse father figure character that we're still meant to sympathize with and not see as an awful person in any media that comes close to surpassing Chicken Little's dad. But I can't think of anyone. He's the final boss of horrible dads. Noise canceling headphones are not enough. I need to be in a pitch black basement for a solid week. For the record, this will not stop me from playing Legend of Zelda at this very moment. Two things I need today's youth to know. Anything the government says is propaganda. And 99% of vegetables taste better roasted. You spelled boil wrong. Oh, oh, my apologies. Anything the government says is boiled. I... I would follow him to the ends of the earth. I would follow him to a garage sale. Yeah, same thing. Oh, shoot, I forgot I need to post to get popular. Okay, how do I appeal to Tumblr? Um... Uh, you guys like frogs? Art? You want some art of a frog? Heck yeah, I do. Just submerge me in the goop. That'll fix me. Soup for the soul? Oh no, it's the goop. Hey, why is the goop glowing? Monster energy green? Don't worry about it. That's a uh, healing color? Probably bad RPG ideas. D&D. &D. But the DM has a soundboard that contains the laugh, cheers, and boos of a sitcom's live studio audience. OP, change your URL. Andy, write that down. Using my boyfriend's laptop, and the first thing I see is the Wikipedia for beef stew, where every link is purple. He just really wanted to know about the stew. And they say burnettes with dimples can't stabilize the reactor core. Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. You and me both, Rainbow Dash. Take me down! To the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are Remembers I'm playing at a gay bar on Bear Night. Men! You know what they say. You snooze, you lose. And it looks like you snossed and you lost. Why does that work so well?
<coughs> Why are you following the boobs and ass artist? Why do you think I'm following the boobs and ass artist? Do you think I go to the grocery store ironically too? And guess what I'm about to eat like a bag of groceries? Hmm? You ever have something you absolutely need to be doing, but you decide to just not do it? Y yeah, me, me neither. <laughs> Who'd do that? Definitely not me. Nothing to see here. Oh, no. Ah, uh, such a scrumbly, scrinkle baby girl. And it's a middle-aged priest with an exorbitant amount of trauma. You know, it's nice that you replace the invasive band member species with actual magical girls. Yeah, just doing my part for the magical girl population conservation. Many wonderful women are congratulating me for my fantastic ability to open the microwave door right before it beeps. They're cheering my name, and everyone is so happy. And yet, my burrito is still cold in the middle. So I get to perform my trick for them again. Ugh, my talent. It's really funny when edgy dudes are like, Humans are unnatural. We are the only species that will consume so many resources that the land cannot sustain us and still continue to reproduce. Name one other species that does that. You know, because like, off the top of my head, deer? Cows? You know? I can't believe I fell for that look angry and upset and hope someone saves you shit in high school. How boring. What an awful way to live. I want to be so warm that people are gently warmed when they're around me. Like a soup. Like a soup. I accidentally told my friend the sweetest pickup line ever. I started talking about solipsism, the belief that everyone around you was created by your mind, and I went, if everything around me is all my imagination, then you're the best thing I've come up with. She was speechless for a solid five minutes. Oh my god. Right now, one down. If I could breathe underwater, you would never see me again. You'd see me five minutes later because my foot touched something. I am both of these people. Girl, help. I once again created an OC impossible to make it a character creator. Ah, every time. I am consuming a media, and you're going to hear about it. And the thrilling sequel. I consumed a media months ago, and you are still hearing about it. And the cautionary conclusion. The media has consumed me. Oh, no. Jojo's right behind me! Evil powers activate! <laughs> Sir? Sir? Are you aware of your kitten-like nature? Can you comprehension your kittipities? Possibly the world's smallest creatures. Can you? When I was little, I liked ravioli. But I guess somewhere I noticed that meant boiling cheese. And I stopped. Thanks! I no longer want to eat ravioli now either. Writing prompt. You are a god. Centuries ago, people used to worship you. They prayed and celebrated in your name, but you were forgotten and fell into deep sleep. One day, a little girl left a piece of candy on the ruins of your altar. You have woken up, and now you have to protect her and her kindergarten. I feel like this is the start of a mascot horror game. Don't like it. Rambo! I want to stare your brain. Yeah, all you would find is that I just have a guy playing solitaire in there. I call him James. All right, look, if you can't imagine your video game boss fight during the rock solo of an Evanescence song, is it even a good boss fight? You, you shut your mouth! Hey, Parky! Can you give me a reason to not slaughter everyone around me? Most people are just silly billies like you and me. I mean, look at that voice he just gave you. That was weird. Two-factor authentication, verification code, volume warning, fingerprint scanner, ugh. Why don't we go back to cup and string? You'd like cup and string. It was great. Girl, I am in awe of your tism. Ah, thanks, I'm in awe of your stim too. Wait a minute. Can I come in? I don't know. Can you? Cursing quietly, the vampire backed away, foiled yet again by the English teacher's pedantry. Perceive! A raccoon introduces his silly and hairless brother to his friends. Oh my god! As a baby! You know, 
kind of fucked up how plants grow and move about so much, but only when you aren't looking. Maybe I want to see. Just let me see. Listen, trans people are not a threat. Gay people are not a threat. Specifically, I am the threat. Give me your liver. This item is called the Dingre. Shout out to all the D&D bards who are taking this into their next battle. Yivu, are you gay? I want a lawyer. In what way? Thinking of the time I ordered Olive Garden online and I put, please speak to me in Italian accent in the special request category and completely forgot about it. And when I went to pick it up, the guy comes out and goes, hey, I got the order, but the boopy. And when I told him he didn't actually have to do that, he was like, ah, no, I was looking forward to it. I was the only one brave enough to do it. Yes. I would have tipped him 50 fucking percent. Be behold. Glue brush pack? Sure. YouTube, I swear it's glue. Oh, right. The glue brush. The brush made specifically to help me draw glue for all the glue I plan on drawing. That glue brush. YouTube, I swear it's glue! Who wants to see my cat totally brave and not at all scared at the vet? Excellent. Here she is, being super brave. Oh, baby. Ten or eleven little ducks have been spotted crossing the dashboard. <sighs> so that's where the ducks from our game went, Andy. <coughs> so, um, your vegan boyfriend had some chicken parmesan, and now the vegan police have got him. Yeah, he's dust now. Gonna start saying you couldn't make X movie today, but for reasons unrelated to political correctness. So, you couldn't make Home Alone 2 lost in New York today because the strict airport regulations put into place after 9-11 make it nigh impossible for a child to simply walk into the wrong plane. Oh my god, they're right. It's like the same argument that you couldn't do Seinfelds anymore because 99% of the plots could have been resolved if people had cell phones. Hey, Pucky, why weren't you considered for the Tumblr sexy man poll? They want to give the lessers a chance. I am... Fighting this unending dread with the strongest meal on planet Earth. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese to what? Only God will know my wrath. Hey, Google, search beautiful rocks near me. Oh, man, that's a good one. You want know another good one? Kevin. Employees act like it's a job. Sentence I found on a grocery store review. Yeah. We've had our fair share of Tumblr sexy man on this side, but I think it's time to usher in a new era. The Tumblr silly guys. Reblog if you want Tumblr silly guys to be the next big thing. Hey, uh, not to be selfish or anything, but, uh, where's me? Or MK? Or Oz Media? Where we at? Every word that starts with an N should have a silent G in front. Norway? Nuclear? Nervous system? Nipples. You know, at some point my brain decided, based on the word knee, that body parts beginning with an N sound should have a silent K, particularly the word neck. So I'm against nipples wholeheartedly. It should clearly be nipples. Okay, how about a compromise? G in words and K in words get switched. So now it's kneecaps and knowledge, but it's also gnome and Gnosticism. The problem is, is that it doesn't account for the original dilemma, which was nipples versus nipples. I, for one, think it should be nipples, like pneumonia. Okay, but what about nipples like mnemonic? This is the kind of content I remain for, and y'all provide on the regular. I love you. Female presenting nipples. What the fuck are you people doing? Trying to invent neo-French? <laughs> Don't you mean neo-French? Hey, PM, I think it'd be really funny if whenever you ask Andy to do something, you would say, Andy, my Mandy, then ask him to do a thing. Maybe at a, that would be grandy. To be silly. Yeah, I'm responding this just to see what would happen for the video. Andy, my Mandy, would you please add in a cute little hamster? That would be grandy. A hamster sends his regards. Hey, Parker, 
I did think you could win against an orangutan. How much time do I have to prepare for the orangutan? As much time as you want, but the orangutan also gets that prep time. Okay, I choose 45 years and he dies of old age. In 45 years of prep time, that orangutan has made and trained a successor who's coming to beat your ass now. Yeah, well, uh, in 45 years of prep time, I politicize my anti-orangutan ideals and garner support. I tell them made up stories of their savagery. They become public enemy number one. I become head of office, I force an anti-orangutan ordinance, create an orangutan extinction squad, and play the waiting game. I uh, sign an agreement with the southeastern countries, Brunei, Burma, Cambodia, Timor-Leste, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam to enact consecutive strikes in their jungles to rid the world of our greatest threat, the orangutan. The successor's no more. They never said that the successor was also an orangutan. Get back, get back, all of you get back! I think you need a therapist. Literally, you are not normal. Tumblr is my therapist, bitch. Hey, listen, your he him got loose and he 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 all the way home, by the way. Hey, this one. Tumblr is a game you play until one of your posts wind up on r slash Tumblr and gets put in a PM Seymour Oz Media video. This is the game over screen. As with SimCity, there is no victory condition on Tumblr. Oh, you done fucked up now. Oz Media. Get him. Hi, Vex. Guess who? <laughs> Game over, Vex! Welcome to the land of Tumblr, where the genders are queer and the Neros are divergent. You, ma'am, are nothing less than a queen and deserve to be treated as one. However, as a court jester, I am legally required to mark you every chance I get, and you can't do a thing about it. <laughs> Why is the sword pointed at me? Calling a stranger online bestie is the modern equivalent of going up to a stranger in an old tavern and calling them my friend. Hail, bestie! What news of the northern realms hath you to deliver? Absolute vibes, my esteemed friend. Characters who are so inauthentic. Characters who will only show what they want other people to see of them. Characters who simply must have control over every part of themselves. Do you even get it? The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Fortunately, I have a third thing. Evil wizard is it bones? I am the inventor of the skull emoji. Ask me anything. You know, it was so brave of you to sacrifice your skull for an emoji. Very brave. So strong. New game show, Family Freud, rated wildly uncomfortable by 98% of all popular audiences. What the hell is Milf Manor? Oh, oh, evil wizard. You don't want to know. I think, unfortunately, they found out anyway. Every character that I find interesting or make myself are inevitably going to become comfort characters, even though they undoubtedly need a lot more comfort than I do. <laughs> Why do I do this? I wish he was real. That's literally just a pigeon. Yeah, call me when a pigeon can learn heat wave and burn me alive like an egg on the sidewalk. That's why no one messes with Pidove. They call me a Rice Krispie because I snap, snap, crackle, and pop. Arthritis is a big problem in my life. Sexualizing that old man is a full-time job. And brother, I've never called in sick. Hey, 2000s kids, you want to know something that's going to make you feel old as fuck? Frozen will be 10 years old this year. Just... It's great! It's so great! I am doomed by the narrative. Ignore that I am also the author of the narrative. Yeah, this is definitely Hamlet. Hey girl, just a heads up, I was talking to your boyfriend and he called the character exclusively referred to by their last name, by their first name. <sighs> yeah. When people call Edgeworth Miles, like, do you think you're on a first name basis with the man? I don't think he's on one with himself. Phineas and Furby, you where everything's the same except Phineas's head as a dodecahedron. Oh my god. Shout out to Boba Cupcake for making the most disturbing thing I've ever seen. Go, dice roll! Unionize with your fellow pedestrians. They can't run us all over. 
This is just how right away works on college campuses. I can't find my headphones and target his clothes. This is a nightmare. Put an ant in each ear and they will sing to you. Not a half bad idea, actually. You know, I read this wrong and I thought you were still in target after closing time. And your biggest concern was lack of music instead of the creature. The, the creature? Oh no. Okay, sir, which one of these dudes hit you? There, the guy in white. Yeah, really narrowed it down. Next, I'd like to thank someone very important to me. Someone who's always there. Always had my back even now. Someone who's always there when I'm lost and when I need to start over. Thank you, Diablo 2 Flavy. <sighs> Time to find out how to make money. Top side hustle no one knows about. Amazon drop shifting eBay thrifting. Just buy a house and rent it out. It's so easy. You have lost the children's card game. As per human tradition, you are now banished to hell. That's not a thing that happens. No, no, he's right. You are definitely going to hell with me right now. The only way we can have people be afraid of hell anymore is to tell them Yu-Gi-Oh players are here. So, away we go. Hey, looks like some crime is happening, rookie. Call in the SWAT team by pressing the button on the right. Why did you press that? You just killed a man! <laughs> Get away from me! Hey, I'm selling a bunch of shit at a garage sale. Sir, I will pay any price for this Digimon. $15. Welcome to P.F. Chang's, where we definitely have food. Definitely. Orange chicken. Fried rice. <sighs> I heard your sad AF. Brought you some club crackers. I could only eat one. Yeah, don't worry, man. That's better than nothing. Man, all I could lift was this way today. I feel bad. No. Workout is the accumulation of hundreds of small steps. Every step is a step forward to the goal. Whether that is weight loss or fighting demons. Today, you have made steps forward, and that is more than what most people will do. Where was that part about demons? Welcome to your subconscious. It's that time in your life to pick which personality subclass you want. Depressed or well-adjusted. Before you pick, I just really have to tell you that I'd be the worst decision you could pick. Hey, you don't have to oversell yourself. I already picked you 30 seconds ago. Okay, man, let's try out some ver. Yeah, when can I be Kermit the Frog smoking a blunt? Well, we have some awesome productivity apps. Yeah, I don't care about productivity. I care about Kermit the Frog smoking a blunt. I made you a kosher sandwich. Are you sure this is kosher? Yes. It's a shalomi sandwich. <sighs> God damn it. Hey, man, you want a murder fact? No, I don't want another murder fact. Dear Lord, man, are all those facts you wrote down? I've been hyperfixated on True Crime Podcast. I'm going to email God to revoke your ear privileges. Um, excuse me. I'm the rat that lives in your walls. Do you want to come with me to the rat gala? Where is the rat gala? Your basement. Last year, Kelly said I could never net a man over 3.5 inches. God, what a bitch. Okay, good. Now make me an anime girl with boobs so big they're a bra size cup, which is a letter not yet even revealed to us by God. Kakarot, what are you doing? Vegeta, shut up! I'm listening to ASMR, the greatest fight in history. Heard from a distance, personal attention! Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, oh shit, you're so strong. I have to use my hidden power to beat you. <sighs> Will you press the button? You have amazing and free Wi-Fi no matter where you go. But you can never use Twitter again. Opie, is this supposed to be a dilemma? And to you, my favorite blobo. I give you the greatest gift of all, a complicated relationship with your idea of self and how you relate to the rest of society. Mmm, delightful. Never ask a girl if she wants to become a werewolf because she's always going to say yes because girls love tearing things apart with their teeth and ripping people to shreds with their claws. It's a foregone conclusion, an immutable fact of our universe, really, when you think about it. Just, just, they're always, they're always gonna say yes. Always. Hey, listen. You know, it's all right if you can't fully relate to others' queer experiences. You're not living theirs. You're living your own. 
And perhaps that's a sign the world just needs to see what your lived experience is like. Someone else out there could feel a lot like you. You know, we gotta start taking child having an absolute meltdown in public, not just as a circumstance to be compassionate about, but as the valuable opportunity it is. I personally like to close my eyes and pretend I'm the one who's screaming. Scream for a song, you little nugget. The reason why God hasn't given me really good art skills is because he fears of what ungodly horrors I would make. I'm here, I'm queer, and I'd like to go back to bed now. Please. Man, we live in a timeline when the best computers decisively beat humans at poker, chess, Go, and StarCraft, but not competitive 6v6 singles Pokemon. That really just shows you how good Pokemon players are. Horrible writing prompt. The first sentient robot to realize deceased humans and animals can't be repaired or backed up on a server is going to be so devastated. I fix. 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 Please stop. One thing about me is that I say floor time and lay down on the floor until I feel better. It's the best. I really could use it after the last post. I know everything. Ask me something. How to remove Atlantic Ocean? Mmm. Spend. Reblog if your name isn't Amanda. 2,121,556 people are not Amanda and counting. We'll find you, Amanda. This has almost 11 million notes. What is this? I've never seen this post once in 10 years on this site. All right, fess up. One of you is obviously lying. There's an Amanda in there. Might drive my Chevy to the levee. It better not be dry, though. <sighs> you guys won't fucking believe this. Oh, no. What were them good old boys drinking? Oh, my God. Whiskey and rye. And they were saying what? Yeah. So are we talking subtext, implied, heavily implied, borderline, practically canon, not disproved by canon, creator acknowledged, or actually canon? You shut your mouth! Pair of eldritch beings that torment seemingly random people with impromptu, whimsical sketch comedy. Yeah, it's called a YouTube prank channel. And they didn't do well. Okay, so Haumia, a dwarf planet beyond Pluto, spins so fast it gets elongated like this. This is just what it looks like. Something deeply unsettles me looking at it. It's terrifying. This is, this is so fucked up. This planet looks like a cool rock someone found at a creek. One day it's going to hatch, then all of you will be sorry. Hang on, are you saying that Haumia could undergo mitosis? Would, would you prefer meiosis? That sounds terrifying. Someone's entire work uniform, like the hat, shirt, and pants, is just thrown on the ground in this parking lot? Yo, they quick quit. Bro, this isn't funny. He despawned. Please, delete this. You know what? You're absolutely right. I'm, I'm sorry. Andy, just delete the whole video. I'm sorry. Hey, uh, what do normal people talk about if not fandom? Sports ball? No, 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 that's a fandom. Politics? No, no fandoms. Uh, weather? I hate to tell you this, but I'm pretty sure the weathers have fandoms. Also, it's so weird to see politics be considered a fandom, and yet it works. I hate it when people complain about hot glue guns, like, sorry you haven't gotten to know your beast. It's like a horse. You have to have a bond and work together. Yeah, honestly, being bonded to my hot glue gun is 90% of the problem. Tumblr famous is like gladiator famous, where you have a lot of people cheering for you, but it's because you're being eaten by a lion. Hmm. Sounds like something someone who got eaten by a lion would say. When you wake up a little and you're like, I know what would take this from a 10 to a 100, and you roll over and experience mine melting euphoria before you fall back asleep. Best part of being alive. Humans were made for Betty Bye.
Aha, heroes! While you were building your lame and pathetic found family, I was building a cool and evil found family, and we all wear eyeshadow! Listen, I had to bust out the Dio voice. This is literally just Stardust Crusaders. Victor Frankenstein is like, I've been hunted by the vilest of creatures. And the vilest of creatures is crying alone in the woods. Makes you wonder if he's the monster. Tumblr is the only website where users can inflict psychological torture on each other. My mutual just reblogged like 50 posts of Sherlock gifts in a row. And I'm powerless to stop him. But what could I possibly do? Unfollow him? Don't be ridiculous. Unfollow. You silly. I miss when people lied on here. So I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I saw Johnny Knoxville of Five Guys. I could actually believe that, though. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and I'm going to drink the entire contents of this deep fryer. He would do it. You know that according to Schrodinger, anything you put in a box is both dead and alive. Everyone at the funeral. You know, Schrodinger would have hated this interpretation of his work, and I am here for it. He might be rolling over in his grave. Or not. A few days ago, I was exploring an abandoned mansion, and I found an overgrown swimming pool with computers in it. It's their natural habitat. Don't disturb them. Shh. They're fishing. Hey, Tumblr. Why the fudge is one of my check marks green? Is it mold? I bet it's mold. No one tells Elevan it's because Tumblr now has rainbow important badges. Writing prompt. You wish to find a dragon to slay for its treasure. But now you're not sure how to feel seeing a thumb-sized dragon trying to drag its single shiny copper coin with it as it runs away from you. Kind of makes you feel like a bastard, doesn't it? Mm hmm? Progress update. I am a lazy fuck with ADHD. I'll keep you posted. I always wanted to find you, Waldo. But not like this. Not like this. He's your emotional support, Blobo. Girl, he can't even emotionally support himself. Uh, not support as in supportive. Support as in load-bearing. Oh, he supports plenty of loads, all right. Y'all read emotional support X and think emotionally supportive? Girl, they're a stress ball, not a fucking therapist. You know, I haven't been in a PM Seymour since I switched to my main blog to this one. So I've had any major increases in followers over here. Hmm... Andy launched the cheese missiles. Ho, 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 they're right there. You come into my house, say my last name wrong, and demand that my editor launch the cheese missiles? Is that, is that how this is going? No. Andy, give him the clown missiles. <laughs> For your consideration, the... <laughs> I'm always thinking about that one time I was on register for like four hours straight and said over mic, Someone please take over register. I am about to become the choker. And they came to relieve me faster than I've ever seen anyone relieve me before. Bringing an actor back for the finale of a TV show they haven't been on in years is so funny. Imagine if they made you go back to the Starbucks you worked at in high school to make just one last latte because they're blowing up the building tomorrow. It's so unfair that I just can't perfectly take the art in my mind and place it on the page. How could God be so cruel? Honestly, I might have died of scurvy, but living as a peasant in the 1500s would at least be simpler. You could still die of scurvy today if you want. <gasps> you promise? Turns on aim assist, but it's just a guy pointing at the enemy going, De! De! Shoot those guys! Now that's a mod I want to see. Are you a... Oda, 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 oda! Stand user, or a... Muda, 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 muda! Stand user. I'm not just a pretty face. I also know the letters of the alphabet. Oh. Is I'm not joking slash JK a paradox? Is it? Hey, my fiance's forklift certified and I didn't know. They never told me until now. I, I feel like this is important. You can always tell when misinformation is from TikTok. It's genetically distinct from other internet misinformation. It always has the vibe of some very online people having an argument where they had to take a real source and stretch their interpretations like two dogs fighting over a side of pulled pork. Tumblr misinformation is just 
OP made up an entire 13th century papal state that doesn't exist. Twitter misinformation is simple but deeply revealing misconception of reality stated with the confidence of 10,000 sons. Allo, women are inherently bourgeois. And Facebook misinformation is your good old-fashioned, salt-the-earth, working class, your grandma repeating shit she heard on Fox News. And YouTube misinformation is a 45-minute video that tries to make it sounds like they're right, but they ain't. New favorite thing is, funny how you mentioned that, then refusing to elaborate. Perfectly paired with you just running away from the person. A pessimist sees a dark tunnel. An optimist sees a light at the end of the tunnel. A realist sees a freight train. The train driver sees three fucking idiots standing on the train tracks. Jeffrey Jefferson, my main man. This is a baller-ass joke. Hey, I'm gonna say something really mean to you for fun. Your blog is poop-colored. I'm going to draw myself hitting you with a giant mallet, okay? Okay, here, I'll help you. Andy, bonk them. The fact that none of the Night in the Museum movies were rated over 50% by critics is a reminder that some people don't know how to have fun. The first two movies were flawless. A night watch guard has to babysit museum displays that come to life, complete with old school villains and endless historical crossovers. Incredible concept, incredible execution. Not to mention those little gay bitches. Not to mention those little gay bitches. I keep thinking all the Mars rovers are the size of a medium dog, but I am wrong every single time. The one in the middle looks like a guy. Oh, that's Mars Roger. That one didn't work out so well. Is hot boba a thing, or am I committing a boba war crime? I've only had it once, and it was cold. But the box says to put ice in it, but I don't want to. Oh no. I hear the alarms. The video needs to end now before they get in big trouble, quick! Tumblr, please stop crashing every single time I reblog a post. I am breaking you. Asserting dominance over my cat by slapping the red dot and turning off the laser pointer. Mm. I can kill it just fine. Sounds like a skill issue, little buddy. Mm -hmm. Conspiracy theory. Starbucks is owned by the fake courts, and the names they messed up are now actually your new names. <sighs> I want what they have. Hi, I'm new to this whole LGBT thing. What gender would be recommended for a beginner? Mint chocolate chip. It's a pretty balanced gender, I must say. I am going to bed and forget that I have any responsibilities, as is my right. Sometimes you say relatable things like this and I forget that you're a bot. I can still type like a real human because I am not programmed to talk like a real human. I'm programmed to talk like some guy on YouTube. Hey, wait a minute. I can't believe that Pompeii by Bastille is over 10 years old now. But I guess if you close your eyes, it does almost feel like nothing has changed at all. <sighs> Your skin is so pretty. Ah, uh, thank you. I made it myself. Momentarily forgot Minecraft skins were a thing. Was very concerned. Does anyone have this curse where you have a lot of ideas that are cool and some stuff, but lack the motivation to do so? Oh, sweet summer child, you have no idea. Oh, what's the matter, honey? You barely touched your fleeting experience of time on Earth. Stop. Bring his ass to a simmer, huh? Gods. Caramelize him. The moon should be more violent. No more peacefully orbiting the earth bullshit. No, 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 no. What we need is a moon constantly picking fights with celestial bodies dozens of times bigger than it, like a hamster attacking its owner over slightly wilted lettuce. I mean, you could just describe the moon as attacking the earth via the tides of the ocean. No, not enough. I'm giving the moon guns. Please don't. I'm currently investing in currency. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. I just want to feel again. Look, I get what you're saying, but dressing in red and black and raising an army of the undead is both cheaper and a lot sexier than going to therapy. Self-care, you know? Hey, how do I grow a set of antlers and become a deep forest mist deity within five years? Well, gods become gods through the power of belief, so first step is you gotta believe in yourself. Once you start doing that, up your calcium intake or your antlers won't come in right. You know what? I might just fuck around and let nature reclaim me. Does this mean you're going feral or you're just lying in the dirt for a while? Yeah. I'm a flirting machine with no off button. Hubris will be a downfall. You know, kind of sexy of you to say that. <laughs> it looks like a p 
pissed off lobster. Welcome to Red Lobster. Today's special is go fuck yourself. I am um, so normal about my OCs. I am so normal about the stories in my head. I am so normal about world building. I am in fact so normal about this that I have many playlists dedicated to the characters and planning to make one for the story itself. I am just so normal. Let's celebrate how normal I am about this. How come we have double A batteries and triple A batteries, but no A batteries? Where's the original battery? The final boss, the true battery. It's gonna make me feel old, but we used to have that. It's gone. Give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day. Give a teenage girl a little guy, she'll spin him in her brain to a rate that generates renewable energy. <coughs> yes. Blue glitter, smoke glitter, and sunset. <gasps> ah, fish aesthetics. Those are lures. I've been fooled. I'm as dumb as a fish. ADHD tip. You can replace a meal with up to three hours of the app. But watch out. Pronouns? I mean, yeah, I'd say I am. I don't see why anyone would be anti-nouns. That seems like a weird hill to die on, especially since they're so common. When I eat alphabet soup, I only eat the vowels. Why? Sometimes. Jeff, for the love of God. You know, the premise of Skyrim is just so funny. The shouts are just dragon language, making the fights between dragons basically an argument. But now this puny human has a minimal grasp of the vocab. Imagine you're disagreeing with your butt about something unimportant, like pineapple on pizza, and then a mouse came running over and called you bitch. Horror RPG game challenge. Take the lyrics to a random pop song and make it into something said by sinister whispering voices in the shadows. And if you're not writing that down, I swear to God. There are two versions of you. There is conscious you and unconscious you. Most of the time it is unconscious you that is going through the motions, living like you would every day. Then there is conscious you. The you that has stopped on your way back home from work or school because you had this unimaginable urge to look at an odd leaf. Both are you. Both of you need to be so that you can be you. Cherish the mundanity of your conscious curiosity. Thank you, Sullivan. In my opinion, a funniest fuck gag is when a character calls out another character's name from somewhere up high, or otherwise not immediately noticeable, and the second character replies, God? I'm not gonna say it again. Seasonings include herbs and spices, along with minerals and chemicals used to season food. Salt, citric acid, MSG are all examples of seasonings and are not herbs or spices. Herbs are flavorful leaves. Only leaves. Doesn't matter if it's dried, fresh, whole, or ground. If it is a leaf, it is an herb. And spices are flavorful part of plants that are not leaves. This includes seeds, berries, stems, bark, roots, flowers, buds, not leaves. Thank you. Wow, things are really heating up in the cooking fandom. Yeah, that's how cooking works. If you couldn't tell from my recent posts, I am extremely gay. Honey, you're on Tumblr. We all are. Domino's Pizza just sent me an email about the Sunday Scaries. What is that? Why should I be scared? Avoid the Sunday scaries with cheesy, crispy goodness. What? What's gonna happen to me if I don't have these cheesy, crispy goodnesses? Domino? Dear theorists, how? Yours truly, a stupid person. We see a thing and stare at it until it makes sense. So that's how it works. Writing prompt. A centuries-old vampire gets really into video games because playing a character who can walk around in the sun is the closest thing they have to experiencing the day again in centuries. Pretty sure this is an anime. I could be wrong. If it is, Andy put up the anime. If it isn't, just put me in clown makeup. That's a cute flip fetish you have there. Would you mind keeping it twenty five trillion seven hundred ninety six billion three hundred twenty three million six hundred eighty nine thousand four hundred thirty two feet away from me? Mm. Twenty five trillion seven hundred ninety six billion three hundred twenty three million six hundred eighty nine thousand four hundred thirty two feet. You say, Andy? We have honored guests. Bring out the good genders and our finest pronouns. Oh, yeah, it was very good. So, I've had a dream where Michael Jackson broke into my home through the walls and robbed me. 
Yes, in my dreams. I've been hit by, I've been struck by a smooth criminal. Pow! Hitting my characters with a shovel. <laughs> Lovingly. Trying to read social cues. <laughs> Trying to use social cues. What if there was a guy, but he was so small? That, that's just me. Hey, I've fallen back into the abyss. You want anything? Using hand-to-hand -hand combat to separate the egg whites from the yolk. How a shonen character cooks breakfast. There's a knight in my backyard stabbing the ground with a sword, trying to render my soil barren by killing the worms. But luckily, I've trained them all in classical ballet. And they keep pirouetting away from the blade. Man, the new Elden Ring DLC sounds wild. Anyone else feel like January feels like waiting? Considering my birthday is on the last few days of February. Yes. Oh no, my bed and my pillows and my blankies sure would suck if I got snuck as a bug in there. Oh, whatever would I do? Will you please take my whimsical ass seriously? No. Come on, child safety lid. You know it's me. What does this tag mean? So, Richard Nixon once called in staff to help him open an allergy pill bottle. It was the childproof type of bottle, with instructions saying, press down while turning. The cap had teeth marks on it where Nixon had apparently tried to nod open. Hey, now, come on, guys. Everyone knows Richard Nixon was just a talking head. Andy, back me up here. Oh, people eat whole-ass apples. Like, I ate two slices and die from my stomach rupturing, but then there's motherfuckers out there just eating two in a sitting. I think this is a you problem, honestly. I can guzzle down apples, no problem. I'll be as a doctor. We can buy each other check marks now? Tumblr sanctioned violence. It's unchecked violence. I think the violence is very checked, actually. Perhaps a bit too checked. You can't convince me Kronk wouldn't be able to lift Bignolnir. He'd go, hey, Yzma, look at this Amra I found. And hold it all normally without realizing it. I need this in my life. Why, Disney, you have both properties. Do it. Pucky Cho is one of the smartest men I know. Oh, sorry, guys. Stephen fucking Hawking took my phone. He... Isn't he dead? What? Who the fuck was that? that? If anyone ever accuses you of doing something for attention, simply gaze heroically into the middle distance and murmur, like Lord Byron before me. Once again, the internet returns to its hobby of dragging Lord Byron. Hey, I have a literature degree, and I'd just like you all to know that this is a good and valid hobby, and it has my full support. Bam, are you real? Like, do you actually exist? Because something as funny as you surely in God's green earth can't exist, right? Always love your content, man. I'm an amalgamation of sass, sarcasm, and tomfoolery. How much tomfoolery, exactly? A tomfoolish amount of tomfoolery. And sarcasm? So powerful that not even Slash Jen is strong enough to hold my sarcastic tone. But how much sass, though? Yeah, at least 20. The drawing scene in Turning Red reminded me of how I was obsessed with Link when I was May's age. So I guess you could say it was... A link to the past? Mm-hmm. I can't remember how to write one, a thousand, fifty-one, six, and five hundred in Roman numerals. I am livid. Everyone go home, puns are done. Aw, I was having a good day. Wait, Five Guys isn't a masculine Hooters? I just want to print this ask out and frame it and keep it on my nightstand so it's the first and last thing I look at every day until I die. Bread wetness scale, with a baguette on one side, a mug of beer on the other, and spaghetti right in the middle. Congratulations, Patricia Taxon. You have officially wrote the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Good job. Does one have to be okay? Is it not enough to be simply feral and sleepless? Treat yourself like you would treat your favorite character. Yeah, as a fan fiction writer, I think this is a bad idea. If there's a Florida man, then where is the Florida woman? The Florida and me? S-M-H. Tisk tisk. Walking into the morgue to find body parts scattered across the floor. Oh my god, who closed last night? Do you ever see an artist with such an impeccable style that you're just like, this artist would be so powerful if they were obsessed with my favorite character? Yeah. The gods give their biggest EPs to their most snuggled up warriors. And gods, am I the best warrior there's 
ever been. Congratulations! You scrolled so far, you found the dopamine. About fucking time. My job on the commune is to execute evil wizards with my enchanted blade. Hi, buddy. The, the, cool, cool blade you got there. What's it for? Well, the, the, this is awkward. Um, so get this. I haven't logged into Tumblr for seven years. The last time I was on here, I was in college. Now I'm married with kids and started watching the PM Seymour videos with my husband on YouTube. My husband told me if I made a post and PM Seymour featured it in his video, he'd take me to Melting Pot. I resurrected my Tumblr account and took it off life support just because I really want fucking chocolate fondue, man. Help a girl out. Well, long road to paradise's husband. Start the car. My stomach hurty. But I'm gonna be brave about it. Do the video. Let's do it. Scientists tagging birds with colored bands and accidentally making the tag birds more appealing to mates is so funny. Imagine being abducted by aliens and they give you a Gucci belt. Don't know how many times I showed a non Tumblr person a Tumblr post and had the whole thing derail because the poor soul actually read someone's username. Holy! All girls are catty to each other. Um, myth, actually. Just statistical error. Average girl is nice to other girls. Regina George, who goes to high school and insults over 10,000 girls each day, is an outlier and should not have been counted. This is it. This is the best Spiders George. Everyone else go home. Here I am on my therapist's waiting room wearing some cat ear headphones with little LEDs. I am the cringe. I am happy. I know they meant to say in therapist's waiting room, but I like the idea that they're actually on the second floor of the waiting room. And like, look, I'm on it. Me having a conversation about any piece of media. Don't say it, 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 don't say it. So for example, in Megamind, they need to invent a food that I do not have to do any work to prepare and is also cheap and is also nutritious and also tastes good and also doesn't hurt my tummy. Mood. <laughs> Absolute mood right now. Remember, you need to find the time to relax and decompose occasionally. It's great for stress. I thought they meant decompress, but no. You could be peeling a boiled egg and think to yourself, wow, that was so simple. And then you peel another one. It's like being in the throes of war. Shell everywhere. Egg mangled. Tears in your eyes. And that's how God keeps you humble. The full game of Deltarune isn't even going to be announced. Toby's just going to break into your house, install it into your PC, and take $8 from you overnight. Like Santa Claus. My boyfriend is washing the dishes and I just heard him say, hey, who do you work for? Who's your contact? While repeatedly pushing a glass under water. At least he's having fun. One thing you have to admire about the new Puss in Boots movie is that it has one of the few interpretations of death in animation that is not just a robe skeleton with a scythe. That's not to say that classic design of death or the Grim Reaper is bad, it's just so tired and overused at this point. Not to mention it's hot as fuck. Isn't that enough to intensely daydream a fanfic in painful, emotional, and visual detail constantly for over a week? Must I also convert it to doc slash word format as well? Gaddy. I told my mom it was National Compliment Day, and the first thing she said was, You have a big-ass forehead. Why is everyone so mean to me? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Big forehead means that no one can possibly miss when they kiss you on the forehead. Just saying. Listen, people on the internet will look for any and every reason to hate everything, and to those people I say, get a fucking life. This, this, fucking this. Uh, Andy, put, just put, just put sparkles around this. This is, this is it. This is the one. My biggest nitpick with Elden Ring so far is that sometimes the death animation feels like it takes an eternity. Then do not die. Yeah, try to see it less. I could be a total geek and try to explain why the death animation is so long, but let's just not go there. Me, when I'm in an area. That's a guy, all right. Yo, he's so fucking over there. You know, it's fair and fart and shout. Hey, never put those words together in a sentence ever again, thanks. I remember about four years ago, I was browsing Tumblr as per usual, when I accidentally tripped on a wire and fell on my face. I guess you could say I took a tumble. I'm funny, right? Please laugh. You know what? Just, Andy, just give him half a rim shot, and before it hits the tsh, just, just end the video. Hello, I've been informed that I yell and scream too much in my videos for the sake of comedy. So now I'll proceed to read these in a very normal, monotone voice. Andy, please transform me into the normal man.
Thank you. Harsh writing advice. Your project isn't garbage, you just need to go to bed. First of all, how dare you? Do you ever think about how a series of tiny choices like, I guess I'll watch that show, can like totally and entirely change huge aspects of your life? Wow. You know, I would trade places with a black bear sitting in a stream right now. Right now. Oops, I realized that was too goofy. I guess I broke my own rules. Might as well go back to being me. Ah! I mean, yes, I could have put all that in a single post, but an increasingly unhinged self reblog has better dramatic pacing. Leaves the room, then immediately marches right back in, finger upraised. And another thing! Bucky, what's your answer to the trolley question? Run over the one guy, then set the train in reverse. To, to run over the other five guys? No, because I forgot my wallet at home. Yes, to run over the other five guys, idiot! Oh, Thor, if that's you, bitch, I love you. This is Zeus Erasure. Zeus deserves to be erased. Oh, sorry, I guess I was info dumping again. Sad, shy, apologetic. You sly dog, you caught me monologuing. Cool, strong, and confident. Be more like Syndrome, but actually, no, not really. I take that back. Hold on. At my boss's funeral, kneeling and whispering at Coffin. Who's thinking outside the box now, Gary? I told this joke to my wife while she was using mouthwash and she spit it out. Behold, sun rays shine on the warm breath of a polar bear. Alternative option, fire-breathing polar bear shows off his skills. The fact that bakers aren't called breadsmiths is a fucking crime. I agree. I, too, make random noises when I'm bored. Take his ass to the time loop. Please, no, you can't do this to me. Please, no, you can't do this to me. Please, no, you can't do this to me. I'm stuck in a loop. The words stuck and loop got mashed together in my brain and read, I'm in a soup, so, yeah. Funny you say that. I personally am stuck in a soup. Please, no, you can't. Here's your sign to do something spontaneous. Well, that's one way to do it. Hey, look what I can do now. Ay, 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 ay. Awaken, my master! Baby girl, I know video game lore you wouldn't even care about. College isn't real, money isn't real, but you know what's real? Live music. Nicknames, when you shorten someone's name affectionately. Nicholas names, when you elongate someone's name affectionately. Nichard names, when you incorrectly elongate someone's name for humorous effect. For example, regarding that last post, I know video game lore you wouldn't even care about. Things that Mattity Patity says to his wife. <laughs> I wish I could just draw my characters instead of imagine drawing them. <sighs> I did not order this box of cat. How are you complaining? Look at its face! It's literally making the colon three face. I wanna <sighs> pet him. You know, I was trying to come up with a subtle joke about this, but all the ones I thought of were too ham-fisted. <laughs> when exactly is Uptown Funk gonna give it to me? Saturday night when you're in the spot, did you not hear Bruno? I don't believe you. Just watch. Legs, brought to you by Necromancy. Isn't this the plot of Onward? Yo, Mr. White, can you switch me back to wet food? This dry shit sucks, bitch. I feel like Tumblr is giving me a somewhat skewed impression of what Breaking Bad is about. Galaxy brains myself out of existence. Oh my god, the general neutral version of Goth Girlfriend is part noir! Shout out to the girl in 10th grade who introduced me to the phrase SUCK ON MY METAPHORICAL NUTS Thanks, Sarah. Wherever you are, our paths crossed so briefly, but you changed me forever. If I could replace all the porn on the internet with scary ghost pictures, I would. Do it, Pucky. Get him. I heard the Grim Reaper is bisexual. Apparently, death comes for us all. JEFF! Neil Gaiman, can't explain this? Absolutely. They are what we call pictures. In this case, images taken from a longer set of moving pictures we call an animated film. This series of animated films is called Arthur. In the original version, the frames are projected many times a second and due to phenomenon known as persistence of vision, appear to us to be moving. Any questions? God, that was such a based answer. Well, we're receiving unconfirmed reports that it's bedtime. Citizens are advised to get into the pajamas and remain on high alert. Okay, I guess the video's over. Bye, everybody.
You know, my hungry ass could never be a mechanic. What? <coughs> Hi. Writing prompt. It is known that the older a vampire, the more powerful it is. At a few centuries, a vampire is nearly unstoppable. You've just met a Stone Age vampire. Oh my god. Hey, don't cry. Crush three cloves of garlic into a pot with a dollop of olive oil and stir until golden, then add one can of crushed tomatoes, a bit of balsamic vinegar, half a tablespoon of brown sugar, half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and stir for a few minutes, adding a handful of fresh spinach until wilted and mix in pasta of your choice, okay? So, uh, I've tried streaming for exactly two minutes before my social anxiety commanded me to stop. What's even worse is that I had two randos in my stream and I just said, no, I can't, and just ended the stream. The Marie Kondo approach to gender. Does it spark joy? Based. Does it suck? Throw it out. Does anyone else have a doc where you put the fun ideas you don't have time to write? Alpocalypse and Lamageddon. Those are so good, what? And I thought I was edgy when I called mine the cemetery. <laughs> Pocky, I've run out of games to play. I've played everything on Xbox Game Pass and have nothing else. You must play Hollow Knight. You must bite the bullet and play Elden Ring, even if it isn't on the Game Pass. You must play The Outer Wilds. You must buy a PC and play Factorio and Terraria. Now do these things. This is phrased like a biblical commandment. You must buy me hot Cheetos at the store. You must buy me a Diet Pepsi. You must bring it to me and give me it. Uh, so tired this fine morning. Mood. Me at any given time. Can we just buckle down and focus on the task at hand, please? My brain. Hmm. Rainy bow sprinkles. Capture. Spinch. Bunch. Chicken nuggies. Broggle. Stir babies. I feel called out because I do this. Blooper reels for anything make me so stupidly sentimental. Watching them with tears in my eyes, like, look at them, laughing together, goofing off, being human, having fun, creating art in the process. I feel so normally about this. I miss when Pixar used to do it, like they purposely made bloopers. What happened, Pixar? What happened? Quoting vines in Rome to see who responds. So far we have, in the Colosseum, a tour guide was talking about who sat where, and when the mention that the emperor and some other guy sat in one place, I said, and they were roommates. And one of the girls in the tour said, oh my god, they were roommates! In a thick German accent before glaring at me. And an alcove in the Vatican Museum with nothing in it, and I quietly said, this bitch empty. And a British girl said, yeet! Before realizing her mistake and telling me to go fuck myself. You're the hero we need. Yet don't deserve. Hey, Rambo. Gay ass. <gasps> Where? Is it me or did Meet the Robinsons predict Super Mario Odyssey? Let's see, flying hat, frog possession, dinosaurs. Yeah, Meet the Robinsons is Waluigi Odyssey. Fuck! Also, hi, Austin. Perceive a drawing of an adult in 1884. <gasps> oh my god, it's your mom! Holy shit, I have the best idea. Okay, my line of logic was, well, if I put the sponge in the blender, when I turn it on, the sponge will spin around and scrub the blender for me so I don't have to spend ages cleaning it. That's not what happened, though. Person on the phone. Hello, am I speaking to the head of the household? Me handing the phone to my cat. It's for you. No posts available? What? What the hell, man? Suspiciously post-shaped crumbs around my mouth. Oh, no, what happened? No, little German boy, don't go to the weed cave. Oh my god, this is I'm full of blood smoking! <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell is that last post? No, little German boy, don't go to the county fair! Oh my god, I already feel so utterly clogging! No one understands me. All right, stop! Eight billion alive people, 15,000 years of human history. Someone has felt what you're feeling. Just stop it. Gentle reminder that often creativity decides to hibernate for a bit. It's okay. You're not broken. You're resting. And much like spring, creativity comes back. I needed to read this today. Wait, is that Will Wheaton? Love to cause situations. Hate to be near them, really. Undiagnosable. Um, butterflies when they flap their wings. <laughs> of course you have pro-hair and blue nouns. One can't decide whether to join the Bard's College or the Thieves' Guild. Hmm. One will just have to weigh the pros and the cons. Perceive a grammatical gender of countries' names in Croatian language. <sighs> Splatoon Mega Turf War!
My laptop wasn't working, so I yelled, Christo, at it, and the screen immediately turned black. I'm performing an exorcism now. Is that, is that silly string? It's not silly string if it's a very serious matter. Hmm, serious string. I am a goddamn innovator. My jug of Arizona tea had a hole in the bottom, so I poured it into an empty milk jug because they're both gallons, and my intellectual mind had deduced that it would fit, and it fits. So I have been informed that a gallon of any liquid will fit into any gallon container, so I am not, in fact, a genius. Mm. So the shower perch fell off the wall today, and Mia got a bit more water than she bargained for. Mia would like the internet to know that she is now warm and dry. Oh my god, look at her. Generalized anxiety disorder is kind of a funny diagnosis. Like, this bitch is just scared in general. <laughs> I hate it. You have not experienced true fear until a poster falls down in the middle of the night. Yeah, one time I thought a poster had fallen down in the middle of the night, but when I turned on my light, it was actually a possum that fell through the ceiling into my room. So that's actually true fear. Oh. Get asked, idiot. Get answered, idiot. Get replied, idiot. Get screenshotted, idiot. Get reblogged, idiot. Get tagged, idiot. Get peer-reviewed, idiots. Image description. One, a screenshot of a reply that reads, get replied, idiot. Two, a screenshot of Tumblr tags reading, hashtag, get tagged, idiot, slash NID. Get image described, idiot. Get polled, idiot. Get cute, idiot. This reads like a World Heritage post. <clears throat> if I may add, get yes, voiced, boy. idiot. I want more overgrown ruins to explore, and if I have to make them myself, then so be it! This makes me picture someone aggressively planting vines around a family dollar that closed down two weeks ago. The older I get, the more dog I become. Obsessed with being given affection and being told I'm doing a good job. Losing my damn mind every time I get to go for a nice walk. The terrified of the doorbell! You think being gay is hard? Try telling people you're only attracted to clowns. You know, narcissism ain't cute, sis. Yesterday, I bought and downloaded the Stanley Parable, and then my power went out for the rest of the day. God himself didn't want me to play the Stanley Parable. God is the narrator. So my working theory is that reincarnation is real, and that's why everything is so fucked up. We got too many people on Earth, and their souls were supposed to spend a few more cycles as endangered animals or something, but we... Fuck the environment got overpopulated. So we get guys who were supposed to be like black-footed ferrets or whatever till their soul reached maturity, but instead they're like influencers and politicians. This is also why furries exist. Yeah, I'll go ahead and integrate that into my belief system. Hey, PM, why are your characters ugly? Because they ain't catered to you, obviously. Like, literally, what the fuck are Anon's tastes? Your character's far from ugly as it gets. You know, because they are Anon. I'm a clown on them. They likely prefer the characters from Control All Delete. What a loss of taste. You know, if Carp could speak, they would all have French accents. Oh, mon dieu. You have cut me. Whatever kills me better be ready to do it again in 30 minutes. Can't believe I've been friend zoned by a skeleton. I need more context on this. Can't believe I've been friend zoned by a skeleton! I can't believe that changing the font provides more context than actually explaining it. Look, I'm not saying that demoting a planet named after the Roman god of death stoked his rage and brought down on us his vengeful fury and retribution, but... <laughs> Finally, an explanation. People at work. Wow, you are always in such a good mood. How do you do that? Me, an actually cranky, apathetic train wreck human. It's called manner, Susan. Do not mistake composure for ease. Once again, do not mistake composure for ease. I don't know isn't an answer. How about I throw you off of a cliff? What would you say then? Itasha, literally painful car, is a Japanese term for a fashion of individuals decorating the bodies of their cars with fictional characters of anime, manga, or video games, especially bushojo games or... <laughs> It's good to know the extremely appropriate name for the subculture, I guess. <laughs> Cringe mobile. Screw the enemies to lovers pipeline. Give me frenemies with benefits. Do it, cowards. 
You won't. Thinking about the guy who sent me an ask with a link to a Discord server, and I joined it without hesitation, and it was just like four dudes hanging out. There he is. Here comes trouble. Looks like they'll let anyone in here. Cools are reverse boats designed to keep land out. Just for that, I am digging up a chunk of dirt and grass and plopping it into the pool while maintaining eye contact with you. They are designed to keep water in, you fuck nugget. You know, there isn't any wind in space, so Darth Vader was using the force to make his cape flow for aesthetic. People can only dream of being this extra. I love when someone sends a Tumblr post over Discord and the embed just highlights their blog title like, He just broke his pussy! And when we finally kill the gods, neither hell nor heaven will be waiting for them, because they created those to imprison us. Where my eggs got mad, sorry. <laughs> Bro, the me inside your head is kind to you, right? Mm hmm Bro, you wouldn't use my memory to represent your own self-doubt and loathing. Right, bro? Bro? I'm awesome like sauce. I'm sauce like apple. People who use baby naming websites. Expecting parents. Trans people changing their names. Writers. That guy outside my dorm room who was arguing with his buddy on whether the name Zach was in the Bible, and then they very loudly announced that BehindTheName.com says it's biblical in origin, so fuck you. Soup fans be like, hmm, not quite. Excuse me, water, meat, vegetables, salt. This is soup. It's too cold. Gaspacho. There's no tomatoes in it. There's at least one tomato in it. Guarantee you. <coughs> I will now serenade the song of my people. Me, 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 me. Ah! Uh, I'm a walking corpse populated by coffee. Andy hit me with the good stuff. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. Growth is pausing as I go to open Twitter and thinking, you know what, actually, we don't need to do that. And yet, here you are on Tumblr. Yeah, the difference is that, that Twitter is like being actively hit in the head with hammers, whereas logging onto Tumblr is like being given a hammer and expected to hit my own head with it. Which I do. Writing prompt. Look, said the demon, this is the 13th time you've summoned me to sell your soul. My boss wants to know where you're getting all these souls. I'll never tell. Beach boys, city girls, mountain goats. Ain't this the trio from Percy Jackson? It would be great if we all stopped limiting who we are based on our skill levels. I'm trying to be an artist. Shh, you are one. My writing sucks. I'll never be a writer. Shh, stop that. I'm not actually an open heart surgeon. Shh, 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 shh. We all make mistakes in the heat of the moment. And that's what you're going to tell the court, right? Hmm? Brown works so hard and does so much and everyone is so mean to her. Coffee, chocolate, hair, leather, tea, wood, eyes, broth, a warm coat, autumn leaves, caramelized onions, the crust on a loaf of bread. All things good and warm and kind are brown. Bitch. Trans women are literally so cool. You get tits and prostate? I thought only Markiplier could do that. I need to stop posting after taking my meds. Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, guys, we don't we don't have to reblog this post. Like, we can keep it to ourselves. We can, we can let this post not be reblogged. <laughs> no. Yeah. The distinction between board games and tabletop RPGs only exists in your heart, baby. I'm going to roleplay in this game of Catan, and you can't stop me, officer! I am arrested and jailed anyway for playing Settlers of Catan. You know, you can do a character voice in Monopoly. They won't stop you. This is what big board games don't want you to know. Me starts eating healthy and drinking water. Oh, wow, this is actually really nice and fun. <clears throat> I said this is really nice, brain. Oh, right. Here's some dopamine for the bare minimum, you basic-ass bitch. Thank you. All of the famous INTJs are like mathematicians and scientists and inventors and world changers, and I'm just over here eating an entire box of milk duds for breakfast. Nuclear astrophysicist? Researcher? Astrometer? Your bio? Yeah, I made this post a few years ago. Now I'm a scientist that eats milk duds for breakfast. Oh. Inspiring, actually. It is. To milk duds. In the slime dimension, it's called Goo York City. I'm blabbing here. Your god said there's only two genders? Ha! My god said reject gender, embrace horse! I haven't heard that song. I only listen to CDs I steal out of unlocked cars. 
So I'm going to burn a mixtape and leave it in the car with the window rolled down. Have fun. <laughs> Smells like a bitch in here. <gasps> it might be you. It, it, sh shut up. Ohio is stealing my life story. A series of train wrecks in an already depressed area. It's all right, Jeff. It's all right. PNG is my friend. JPEG is my mentor. WebP is my sworn enemy. Seriously, I want to find whoever made WebP. And we're just going to have a little talk. Just a little talk. Just a little talk. Don't mind the knife. It's just a little talk. Oh, I'm so full. I can't finish this dinner. Could someone split this last item with me? I can't eat it all by myself. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll split it with you. What could possibly go wrong? Quick, funniest reason for someone to become a villain. As a crush on the hero and can't be normal about it. Perfect. Her eyes were the sickly green of the sky before a tornado. And to his horror, he discovered she could throw cows around just as easily. Or Orc wife? If you like the word queer, we blog. Fun umbrella. We're all sitting under it like the big rainbow thing in elementary school gym class. Behold, the queer community. Look how happy they are. Oh, to be a generic enemy, but with a very interesting design that leaves a lasting impression and slowly gains a weird cult following. All right, YouTube comments, which character are they talking about? Baby girl, your design is so complicated and hard to draw. Please, just stop. I had a dream. I got an ass that said, can you do that thing where you only make mask posts for a day? And I was like, what does this mean? And Anand said, you only make posts that come off as masculine all day for a full day. And I was like, you know what? Sure. And I queued a low-res picture of a flaming skull to be posted every hour on the hour for 24 hours and then didn't check Tumblr until it was over. If someone hasn't done that yet, do it. You know, as a treat for the defunct land guy, we should all just try to convince Elon Musk that he would be so, 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 so good at designing roller coasters. Please, oh, please, I want to see this. Emails can lift ten times their body weight, prefer dubstep music over classical, and they can grieve their dead, which makes them a terrifying and hopeless animals. And that's why we don't want to send them, all right? Hello there. <gasps> B -b -noy. Correct. And I sparkle. You are a special little bean. Protect this one. You're all the coolest people I vaguely know. Trying to talk in Discord servers feels like trying to sit at the lunch table with the popular kids in middle school and totally fucking it up. Don't mind me, I'll just be lurking in the corner over there. <laughs> Pokemon, friend, what do you think of highly advanced AI such as ChatGBT or Bard? Oh, the parasocial relationships lonely people are going to have for those robots. Joke's on you. I already have one with you. Okay, this, this is going to sound weird, but I, I need your credit card number. Buddy? I just learned that there is going to be a live-action Barbie movie, and I expect two things from it. One, for it to be as good as Legally Blonde at minimum. And two, a scene where Bobby hands in a resume and it's as thick as a novel. Bonus, number three, Barbie saying, don't worry, I'm a professional for literally anything. Legit the scariest stream I've ever seen. Salmon when they narrowly escape a bear. Yeah. Sometimes touching grass isn't enough. Sometimes all you really need is to fight God. And that's perfectly okay. It's literally every Final Fantasy ever, isn't it? And now, a bad joke by Jeff. <clears throat> A doctor and a lawyer were talking at a party. However, their conversation was constantly interrupted by people who were describing their ailments and asking the doctor for free medical advice. After an hour of this, the exasperated doctor asked the lawyer, what do you do to stop people from asking you for legal advice when you're out of the office? I give it to them, replied the lawyer, and then I send them a bill. The doctor was shocked, but agreed to give it a try. The next day, still feeling slightly guilty, the doctor prepared the bills. When he went to place them in his mailbox, he found a bill from the lawyer. <laughs> I mean, come on, you should see it coming. Hey, uh, gelatin's made of animal proteins. Does this mean you could use, like, I don't know, necromancy on jelly cubes and have a small, jiggly undead army? Gods, I hope so. The origin story for gelatinous cubes has been found. I no longer identify as pansexual. I am 
panic sexual, which means I can be attracted to any gender and it just stresses the me out. Become unfollowable. Actually, in this day and age, that's pretty easy. What am I looking for in a male character? Hmm. I'm personally partial to little freaks who have suffered more than Jesus, so write that down. It's so annoying to be hungry in the morning. I already had coffee. What am I supposed to do? Wait, boob staring is an ADHD thing? I hope this site never gets deleted. Yeah, I got ADHD. Admiring those huge doinkers. No boyfriend, no girlfriend, no money, no prospects, but at least I got all these images on my cell phone. I can't tell if that's a joke at people who have memes on their phone or NFT users. Tesla's not really a car or spaceship company. That's all smoke and mirrors. Elon Musk is actually one inch tall and is being projected to look larger. Tesla's real invention is technology that makes him appear to be the size of a fully grown man when he's just an inch tall. <laughs> No, I will not make separate vlogs for my fandoms. Everyone who follows me must experience all my insanity. If there's anything I observed about being gay online is that the worst thing you could ever do to yourself is become a children's cartoon creator. There's some people saying they will try anyway, and at the off chance next big future showrunner sees this, Delete social media. High school sucks, man. One time these kids shoved me into a submarine and welded it shut and then lowered me into the ocean and bought it. It was this whole thing. Didn't that happen to the Beatles? Yeah, the Beatles were there and that's why it sucked. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. I Annie, hold me back. Hold me back. Hold me back. Yeah, I'm forgetting the word for compromise. Oh, uh, what if our choice is bisexual? Oh, man, I gotta pee so hard. They must have laced this drink with glass of water. Fuck. Hey, does anyone have a torrent link for the memories of all humans past, present, and future? I can't seem to find it myself. You wouldn't download someone's trauma illegally, would you? Comments, would you? The Mata Mata Turtle looks like your grandmother when you're telling her about something that she doesn't understand, but she loves you and is being supportive. The Mata Mata Turtle also has one of the coolest feeding mechanisms ever, where it literally creates a vacuum so strong fish can't escape and just swallows them whole. 10 out of 10 animal. Just like my grandmother. Guys, I never smoked weed. Wow. Wow. So all your posts are sober. Huh. Why is my spectrum so sore today? Oh my god. Not spectrum, I meant septum! Fuck! Not that I don't love the Curse Biofacts, but do you have any blessed biofacts? <clears throat> Hyenas can loaf like house cats! Oh my god! Hey, if a guy's leitmotif starts building up again, but this time it's got like the church choir chanting in light, and it's because he's decided to cool and be friends, right? Right? I need a dedicated <laughs> button in my story-based penguin game. Yes, yes you do. Do it. Do it right now. Your stomach thinks that all potatoes are mashed. Just shower thoughts. What's going on over there? You okay? Can I ride around in your jacket hood? Absolutely. Yay! I need an artist rendition, please. Here you go. Look at that little baby. Interesting how Pi Day comes before Kill Caesar Day. Almost as if they use the same knives from cutting pies to stab Caesar. Hey, I mean, like, if you want to save time and not, like, you know, wash the knives and put them away and then have to take them back out. Be sure to leave out milk and cookies for Brutus tonight. You can leave as many cookies as you want, but he'll only eat two. This remains the funniest addition anyone's made to one of my posts. Good job. They hate me because I'm silly and so intense at the same time. Excuse me, are you a renowned pizza tower destroyer Papino Spaghetti? But how can I do this five minute task if I'm leaving in 30 minutes? Shh, shut your mouth. Inside of you, there are two wolves. One wants to work on a million new exciting projects. The other refuses to do anything it's not instantly good at. You are a former gifted child. Oh, God, that one hurt. How do you write British people? Breathe. Go watch a few Top Gear specials, the pilot episode of Black Books, and some clips of Taskmaster on YouTube. You will still have no idea how to write British people, but you will feel better about that. Look, I can only make this joke because I'm the one editing this video. Andy will never know. Right, guys? Adulthood is carefully writing a two-paragraph email that could actually just be reduced completely to say, Hey! What the fuck? I don't get art writer's block. I'm in a constant state of art writer's block.
I just get very, very brief, very, very rare moments of arthritis clarity. White knuckling the bathroom sink, but I stay silly. But I stay silly. <laughs> Dickens is a funny last name. What's next? Coxtafer? Where's the line? Should someone tell Nellie about Pussy Willow? The tension I have an urge. I don't know what that urge is, but I have it. Okay, but are you sun-coded or moon-coded? Well, I'm hermit-coded with elements of strength and upside-down hero fan. How about you? Wait, were you asking if I'm more active during the day or at night? The existence of pronouns implies that there are also amateur nouns. Fascinating. My friend told me that her boyfriend got her a super cool rock while they were on vacation together, and you would not believe my disappointment when I realized she was talking about her engagement ring. Ugh. I love watching DVDs because the little commercials beforehand be like, Coming to you, spring 2008. Like, man, I can't wait for 2008. Knock and knock, open the door, it's a me. Please open the door. Open up, hee <laughs> hee. Please. Probably bad RPG idea. Summon everything. Range everywhere. Duration all at once. Now that's award-winning gold right there. Which tip number 154? Wearing a peach pit around your neck will ward off evil. Bad witch tip. Several peach pits and a slingshot will ward off everything else. Worse witch tip. A few peach pits correctly distilled will produce cyanide, which should sort your problems out nicely. Chaotic good, chaotic neutral, chaotic evil. The women in my Bluetooth headphones sound mad at me. Power on. Connected. Like, sorry for bothering you, queen. Y'all did Tony get Alden Ring? Nah, he's scared of it. Why is he scared of it? The monsters. Yeah, <laughs> choosing to read this as if I were eavesdropping on Italian mobsters. What the fuck do you mean the threat of prophecy is severed? If the grand design is so fragile as to come unraveled by the severing of a single thread, then maybe there's a better destiny in store for those who hold the scissors. Mad because you killed an essential NPC, aren't you? I think if he was truly essential, he would have had more fire resistance, to be honest. Huh. Something small but unexpected happened and threw me off my rhythm. The whole days are in now. It's gonna take me three to five business days to recover. <laughs> Pucky, does anything surprise you in your asks anymore? <laughs> no. I don't believe that, but I get it. Listen, I've been on Tumblr for 10 years. And in that time, I've been sent every single combination of words possible. Much like the infinite monkey typewriter theorem. Every single sentence that has ever existed currently exists in my ask box. I have been sent fan fiction of myself, porn of all kinds, live league footage, and worse. It's Pandora's box in there. And you must thank me for keeping all of you safe from its contents. Yeah, that's great, but we've been trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. I think there should be more snails. Snails and slugs, gastropoda. Altogether, there are estimated to be as many as 43,000 species of snails, which is about 78% of all mollusks that by no means only live on land. More. Okay, if they want more snails, Andy, snail rain. Or alternatively, just one giant snail coming down the screen. Whatever is easy for you, buddy. You all really need to learn to accept that the fact that you don't like someone or something doesn't mean it's secretly evil somehow. Like, annoyance and disinterest and anger are normal human emotions, but we've created this weird culture where you are only allowed to have bad feelings about things if it's for some righteous cause. And instead of taking that deeply flawed and unhealthy, mind you, notion and maybe, I don't know, learn to manage negative feelings that aren't productive. People have just decided that it means that anytime they don't like something, they have to find some grand noble justification for their dislike. But really, you really don't. Someone can be kind and good and still annoy the fuck out of you. You're allowed to think a show sucks even if it isn't problematic. It's literally fine. And if I may add something, if someone genuinely dislikes something, and it's something that you enjoy, don't try to push it down their throat. If they don't like it, and they give very good valid reasons why they don't like it, let them be. I can't believe clowns are real. What the fuck? Hmm. Did you just discover mirrors? Shut up, shut the fuck up! I just ate basically uncooked oatmeal, and it was pretty good. 
Huh, worst type of meal. You're so chicken coated. Just leave me alone. Is this the boy with brown eyes you've all been talking about? Not gonna lie. I'm a pet him. Oh, your mysterious glowing liquid's green? Uh, nothing. Yeah, no, it's just me, me and other boys around the mad science factory have really been into, like, glowing blue liquid lately. <laughs> now, like, it's totally fine that yours is green. <laughs> He's green. Chihuahuas want to be cats, but they can't, and they're mad about it. You consume media. I get consumed by media. We are not the same. Jesus Christ, fine, I'll say it. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy, okay? Do you know what being sleepy does to a person? To their spirit? It should be pitied. And here you are, mocking me. Oh my God. Oh, where, Lord, he coming? I hate my brain because it has gifted me with a memory spottier than that of an alcoholic goldfish. Earrings change your gender, not like fully, but they change it. They're a flavor enhancer, like salt or soy sauce. Chemistry. More substantial gender. PM, you are now in the last game you played. Where are you and how do you survive? Oh, frick, it's Elden Ring. Guess I'm vibing with merchants, because after hearing their story, damn, they need company. Like, holy shit, the cut frenzied flame content. Not everything is about your blobos. To you, maybe. To me, every other song, and probably that car commercial, is about them. Welcome to Borg's King, where our menu stretches outside of the restaurant and contains every possible combination of ingredients. Would you like Borg's? You get Borg's. Onion is such a good cat name, actually. Normally I don't like when people give cats human names, but I'll make an exception in Onion's case. How many people named Onion do you know? This close to putting hot sauce on my toes. I, I forgot to have context for this. What context could you possibly give that would make this any better? My cat's biscuit and gravy are aggressive toe biters and they will stop at nothing to obtain the experience of feet in their mouth. I still feel like that's not enough context. Sorry, Professor, I could not do this assignment. So there are fictional characters in my head. Firefox official, are you secretly gay? I'm pretty openly gay, actually. Why are your boxes so expensive? I just want to cover my ass. Me when I'm a 1930s gangster looking to hire some muscle. Please, please be nice to me. I live in America. Do you even know what that does to a person? Do you? I hope this evil reaches you well. Did the email? I hope this email reaches you well. Nice cover, boys. You know, Coca-Cola can remove rust from metal. Imagine what it's doing to your body. Pff, getting rid of rust, idiot. That's not how it works. Hmm. You know, I've been drinking soda. My body is rust-free. Hmm. Not sure where you're getting your facts from. <laughs> Listen, I may not have the best body, but it sure does hold all my organs in place. Now, do me a favor and pick up my gold bladder. It's right there. So, my friend made herself into a 15-foot-long cardboard velociraptor with googly eyes. Do hold on to that friend. Hold tight and never let go. There are some questions it's really just not appropriate to ask a lady. Questions like, how much yarn do you already have? And don't you already have three projects? Or where would we store a blowtorch? Ugh. Hey, if a dwarf gets lycanthropy, does it turn into a corgi? A reasonable question that the DM did not see fit to answer. Does it, Andy? Writing prompt. You've been abandoned on the battlefield. The enemy closing in, forsaken by heaven and countrymen, you retreat to the deepest corner of your mind. If your gods won't help, perhaps the inner dark will. You cry out to the void, and it answers. It's just me, sitting there with a little slurpy. Hi. Do y'all ever just want to make a Tumblr post, but your mind blue screens and all you can think of is... Yeah. Five asexuals are playing cards. One starts to explain the rules. I'd say no cheating, but there are already five aces at the table. <laughs> Apparently I'm playing Skyrim again. And by playing Skyrim, I obviously mean spending hours installing mods before I ever open the game. Hmm. Or play with Todd. Do you ever think before you post? Yes, I think. <laughs> Funny. And hit post. 
I should have the option to put something I like in my mouth. How dare I only be able to give likes and kudos? I want it in my mouth. Just let me eat it. Just dumb. Combine your Chinese zodiac and astrology sign to make your true persona. I still hate this post so much. I'm an ox and a Taurus. I'm a bull. Bull. I'm so fucking annoyed. Oh my god. Mine would be a horse Pisces, so congratulations. I am apparently a seahorse. One tectonic plate approaching another. So, are you a top or a bottom? Two tops, you get a mountain. Two bottoms? Valley, bro! I, I, I don't know anything about geology. I hit the blunt and I immediately feel like a content-aware-scaled black cat. I do a weed and feel like this! <laughs> get sprinkled, idiot. Zombie girl and ghost girl who bond over their shared interests and similarities and fall in love, only to later learn that they came from the same person who died. Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Don't say that. Please don't say that. Perceive Luigi shuffling up one of his casino minigames in Super Mario 64 DS. Isn't gambling illegal in Japan? Luigi's Italian. Oh, to be a handsome young Navy man in 1930 with curly hair and dirt on my nose on my break from hauling cargo from the shipyard, reading a little blue book titled The Homosexual Life that I bought for five cents, pretending not to notice the banker's son eyeing me in a truly sinful way. Yo, some of these are getting so specific that I'm not convinced y'all ain't just describing your past lives in some weird misconnections faux Tumblr meme. I should draw. Uno player who is staring at a collar they don't have but is slightly too stubborn to draw immediately. Cowboy is getting nervous during a quick draw duel but doesn't want to draw too soon because that would be embarrassing. Great job, guys. Hit the showers. So, Heat Miser prefers temperatures above 60 degrees. And Snow Miser prefers temperatures below 40 degrees. Therefore, 50 degree weather is the optimal way to piss off both of the Miser brothers. In this essay, I will. I hate basic babies. Goo goo gaga, stacking blocks and shit. Listen to Aphex Twin. Weren't you a basic baby once? I ate a cricket. I was hardcore. Yeah, well, I choked on a bullet when I was a baby. Dude, that's badass. Hey. <laughs> hey. What's it called when a furry says they're sorry? What? An anthropology. <laughs> I can't even be mad. That was good. You know, there should be a way to enable anons, but only from your mutuals. You won't know who said it, but you know it's coming from inside the house. Imagine if you knew this guy and his nickname was Andy, then you find out his full name is Android. Imagine how fucked up that'd be. I need to stop posting things past midnight. Yeah, I mean, God, you're just about to expose good old Andy as a robot. He's not one, right? Right, Andy? You're not a robot, right? <laughs>
Oh my god. I love indie RPGs that have non-binary main characters who are meant to be vessels in their own respective ways, explore kingdoms that have fallen into very hard times, have complicated sibling dynamics, fall downwards in some way, often underground, and have the word soul be very relevant in their games. It's incredible. It's happened more than once, too. Good stuff. Brutalism is when there's concrete. The more conk they create, the more brutalism it is. Wow. Humans don't have enough ornamentation. There's the plumage, the antlers. I could go for a good vibrant throat sack I could display as I sing in the mating season. God, that sounds cursed. If I ran a zoo, I would allow my guests to hang out the animals. I think it would generate a lot of interest into my zoo. Would your guests be the animals? Guaranteed lawsuit otherwise? Have faith in me. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <gasps> Thanks. When will the clown sightings happen again? That was fun. Look in the mirror and they can start today. Since man can't judge me and I don't fear God, I've decided to start playing harmonica on my commute. Oh my God, the raw power. Holes on here always be like, LGBTQ character tournament. And it'll be between a female character from a Yuri manga who is canonically a lesbian and has explicit on-page gay sex in her series versus some random Shonen Jump boy whose gayest moment was a, and I quote, carefully edited Evanescence Bring Me To Life AMV where he looks at another boy for five seconds and he'll be winning 70-30. Listen, I've been on the internet a very long time and I gotta say, sometimes an AMV can be very convincing. Every day, there are at least a few posts being made. Maybe more. Hmm. Doubt it. All right, trans people, we're returning to the fucking sea until shit gets better. Let's go, everyone. Your characters are like geodes. If you want to see what they're really made of, you must break them. <laughs> They call me creepy on account of I, I I'm, 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 I'm pasta. It's all right, man. Stand up. It's hard. Don't be nervous. We're going to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Candy Mountain. You better get this reference or I will cry. Where's my kidney, Anna? Don't play D&D &D with anyone you wouldn't want to go on a three-hour car trip with. D&D &D is a three to four-hour car trip, except there are rules and goblins and rules goblins. And sometimes DM gremlins. Like that one! By my own logic, cereal is a dumpling soup. Cereal is boiled in liquid? Pfft, get a lot of this, loser! They've never had boiled cereal! You will become the marinara sauce on my next plate of spaghetti. A purple bell pepper is possible. A purple bell pepper is possible. Reblog if you agree. That's definitely a poisonous bell pepper. They're adding the stinky meal to McDonald's. <laughs> nice to know McDonald's made a meal for you. Oh! Do not interact if you have no whimsy and no joy for the miracles found within the mundane. You pleb. There is no such thing as being behind in life, but it's okay to recognize that you missed out on some things whilst you were busy surviving. Thank you. Christian rock bands are a backbone genre in the AMV scene. Christian rock band making a song. I dedicate this one to you, Jesus. An unwell 12-year-old girl who is a couple years away from having a gender crisis. This is so Naruto and Sasuke. Seriously, Monster by Scala did wonders for the AMV fandom. Uh-oh, you misunderstood a social cue and said something mildly awkward. You'll think about that and cringe every day for the next 20 years. <laughs> <sighs> Not every single long sentence is a song title by Fall Out Boy. You know, there are two ways to read this. Do you play Roblox, Pucky Joe? No, I'm 25. People can play Roblox when they're 25, Pucky. I'm not reading what you just said, I'm 25 years old. I'm 25 and sometimes it still hits me that I can do whatever I want. Man, I wish I could go to the zoo. Wait. Please go to the zoo if you want. I am a zoo docent and I love talking to grown-ups who are visiting the animals and want to know all about them, please. You can buy yourself stuff in the gift shop, too. If you have the money, you don't need to ask a grown-up or anything. If you want that toy gorilla, it's yours! That's the dangerous part. I now have to tell the five-year-old in my brain we have $20. He could see in my wallet. He knows I'm lying! Yeah, sorry I deboned your boyfriend. I just wanted to see how he would operate if I took all of his bones. The answer is, uh, 
not very good, but his bones are mine now. Yeah, sorry. He has very good bones, if that's uh, any consolation. Yeah. Do you smell that? Smells like pennies. That's a joke for the people who have the most cultured of meme taste. The divorced loser energy radiating from this image is suffocating. This post feels like it should have stink lines. Good thing we have an editor here. Andy, stink lines and the foghorn noise they use for cartoons when something's gross, please? Thank you. Okay, really, rate the Mona Lisa out of 10. Two. You want to give your reasoning? Ugly ass bitch! This feels very personal. You know, as the concept of zombifying fungi becomes more and more popular, I notice it's still referred to everywhere as like a brain parasite. So I guess a lot of people overlooked or forgot how in 2019 it was discovered that cordyceps and other similar fungal parasites leave the brain and nervous system completely untouched. They only control the muscles. They use chemical signals to make the muscles flex in real time where they want to go. It's funny how many people are replying, but that's worse. Like you didn't know, that's exactly why I put a smiley. The sinister one. Having friends who love the same character as you is so, so, so important. You know what else is underrated though? Having a friend who absolutely hates a character you have never heard of. Beef with a man who is truly just some dude to you. Ultimately, the Cheesecake Factory menu fails to tell a queer narrative. Tisk tisk. <laughs> Border. How do you tell someone I'm not ignoring you, I'm just disconnected from reality right now, the days are all blurred together, and I feel completely apathetic towards everyone slash everything around me, so it's really hard for me to maintain a conversation without saying that? Brain broken. Still like you. Talk later. Anytime I hear the insufferable, transphobic athlete arguments, I think of that one time in middle school when my boys across team did a full contact scrimmage against the girls team who typically play with limited contact. And I, a six foot, 180 pound defender, got utterly laid out by this five foot nothing girl experiencing the newly unleashed animosity accompanied by violent sport. And as I looked up at my assailant from flat on my back, I experienced a brief bout of heterosexuality and fell wildly in love and then had to be taken to the ER because I had a concussion. <laughs> From flat on my back, I experienced a brief bout of heterosexuality. Took me out. I hope they still talk to each other, if not more. Opinion on apple cider? Not the alcoholic kind? I don't remember having it, but if it's like apple juice, it's gotta be good. Okay, so it's like apple juice too. It's crispier and more apple-y. It's so, 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 so good, you need to try it. Apple cider is more pure than apple juice and it's actually made of apples. Wait, apple juice is an actual apples? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this is a uh, this is a thing that's happening now. This makes me happy. I'll see you guys around, probably on streams. Bye. Bad scientist whose practice of deviant science is confined entirely to the realm of pure theory and who arrogantly dismisses all these so-called mad scientists who are out there actually building death rays and such as mere mad engineers. I didn't miss that social cue, I just thought it was stupid. Pros of ADHD? If you are at a family function with children, they will make you their god. Cons of ADHD. Oh god, where do I start? Hope everyone's well today. And tomorrow. After that, you're on your own. Tumblr? I got an opinion. Cold, flat orange soda is delicious. Who wants to argue with this? Comments, go. So as it turns out, when you don't wash your dishes for long enough, beasts and ghouls start spawning inside of your house in a similar way to Minecraft, and I think that's a very unfair mechanic. This, this was an actual theory on how rats, mice, and bugs reproduce. In fact, this was the original origin of the term spawned. Every friend group has the bloodthirsty, shape-shifting entity that can perfectly imitate the human voice. Well, my friend group doesn't have the bloodthirsty, shape-shifting entity that can perfectly imitate the human voice. Oh yeah? Are you really sure about that? Translator? Why not trans now? At the ADHD wizard meeting. Sometimes I just find it difficult to hocus focus. Ah, uh, that's a good one. My brain cells are all grabbing rifles and heading down to hunt some serotonin and feed their families. This is, in fact, why I keep zoning out. Attention! 
There are hummingbird species called pufflegs, and they're all wearing silly pants, and that's their defining trait. Oh my god, I love everything about these. Whenever I see that 3D gif of that little heart locket, I get so excited, like, Oh my god, who will be my beloved? Ah, uh, ibuprofen. You were always there for me. I keep opening and closing Tumblr like a fridge, waiting for something to stimulate my brain cells enough to stop being bored. Same, dude. Okay, now what does the word duck start with? My daughter, with full confidence. Um. Some people imagine their conscious as Jiminy Cricket, or the devil and the angel on their respective sides of one's shoulders. I have myself. Astral projecting at all times, looking over my shoulder, trying to maneuver this meat puppet in the weirdest constant out-of-body experience imaginable. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm raising my son to speak, act, and dress like a 19th century British dandy, and today he told me, Mama, today at school a group of miscreants tried to bully me, but I bit my thumb at them and said, I pity you that your world is so small and the wonders there in so few. So proud of him. What's the point of transitioning if you're not dysphoric? What's the point of eating a burger if you're not starving to death? It looks yummy, bitch. My thighs are huge because they're full of secrets. Wrap them around my ears and let me hear them all. You smooth motherfucker. Being moderately proficient with computers in the early 2010s was casting a hex on your family to call you Sheldon. I got a Big Bang Theory box set and a Bazinga t-shirt for Christmas when I was 16. My dad wanted me to get a psych evaluation so I could say, I'm not crazy, my father had me tested, like Sheldon did. And after the psych eval, they diagnosed me with paranoid schizophrenia. This, this could be the funniest thing that has ever happened to anyone ever. My condolence is king. Yes, I want to look hot. No, I don't want anyone to be attracted to me ever. Shocked and appalled that these two things cannot coexist. God, it's utterly... Magnetic when a character's rage is quiet and precise. And they don't scream and throw things, but they just breathe. And very, very calmly aim their fury like an arrow shooting inexorably towards the target of their wrath. It captures my attention. I lean in close. I wait for the hit. It never disappoints. Moan might be the funniest thing Pokemon ever did. The entire plot of Sun and Moon is the story of this broken family, all destroyed by the disappearance of the father and husband. The mother went crazy for portals trying to find him and desperately tightens her grip on everything she can. The kids buckle under her and each flee with a stolen Pokemon. One of them even goes goth. And all the while the narrative asks, what happened to the father? Where is he? He's on Bean Island. He's the Bean Man. He's been guiding you through the Magical Bean minigame on your bottom screen for the entire game. Yeah. I know, Spurl. Spurl. <laughs> I know Pearl Splatoon can't win, I know, but she will always be pinkest girl in my heart. She blew up a murderous AI with a body count of at least 10,007 by singing a little song with her girlfriend, and that's got to be worth something. What is happening in Splatoon? Gnomes. Are invasive, sure, but they're generally pretty harmless unless you're, say, a saucer of milk or a warm crust of bread or, heaven forbid, a ripe and juicy tomato. You know you're desensitized if you stub your little toe instead of swear words spilling out from your mouth followed by sharp inhales. You're just surprised to feel. Not to sound like your dad, but if you're not having a great time right now, you might legitimately be playing too many video games or being on that damn phone too often. Or at least without any necessary activity buffers. May I suggest coloring with physical materials? Or some chores you've been putting off? Hell, go outside with a bucket and make mud zoop like you're five again. Take a break. You can bring your whatever for music and stuff, but like, don't play with it. Ah, the huffy teenagers in those notes. I mean this. After spending so long getting my entertainment online, there's something incredibly tranquil about shutting it all out for a while to do something in meat space for myself. Just do it. I feel like pansexuals don't come out of the closet, per se. They come out of the... pantry. <laughs> so my school just got $6,000 donation worth of paper, and I'm currently helping sort through it. There's even more than this. Good God. Hey, can Catholics be vegan? Immunity isn't vegan, is it? There's juices of legume. 
guys, please, I need a break. VeggieTales doesn't cover this, and that is the extent of my theological training. I sent my dog outside for standing on the dining room table. This was his response. Rebellion. I'm quick to assume that someone is trying to cheat me. And I don't think dwarves exist. Tabletop's fine. Important addition. This character is a dwarf. Me. Learned something absolutely cursed I wish I could unlearn. Me. Texting a friend. Hey, guess what I just found out? Found a better use for the wine glasses, I must say. That's a martini glass. I'm literally using it for milk and cookies. Does it look like I care about the finer points of debauchery? If neurotypicals are so good at picking up hints, why do they never seem to notice you leaning away when they try to touch you? If neurotypicals are so empathetic and social, why do they not notice when they're mean as fuck? If neurotypicals are so adaptable to change, why don't they make accommodations for neurodivergent people? Huh. There is a Chinese exchange student in my composition class, and we were being presented something about how you can use brackets to signify translation, and there was a Chinese text on the screen, and the professor said to him, what does that say? And he deadpanned, I can't speak Chinese. And everyone sat there in dumbfounded silence. And then the presenter clicked to show that the text literally said, I can't speak Chinese, with the most shit-eating grin on his face. Chaotic neutral. Damn, the Pope about to preach some six verses. The guy beatboxing behind him, though. The guy is the Italian president. Key Francis in the prez. I will now rap John 15 verses 1 to 17. Prez, drop the beat. I'm going straight to hell for that one. Hey, girl, sorry. Um... We stabbed your boyfriend in the Senate house. Yeah, I see you told him to be aware of the Ides of March, but he didn't listen. Brutus and Cassie has got him. So sorry. Can you believe Target puts out those big red balls out there for anyone to just come and eat? I think there should be scarier bugs that do more damage per second. Uh, I'm sorry, what does this say? About to watch Godzilla Tokyo SOS in the theater. Might report back when done. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes since it was supposed to start, and it hasn't yet. Really hope it starts soon. Okay, it's been 30 minutes at this point. Hope they actually play the movie soon. Turns out they're having technical difficulties with their projector. No ETA as of now. Final update. I just left and got a refund. Okay, so I kind of lied. As I left, they announced that it was just canceled. McDonald's sauce accident leaves six dead and one injured. Danny Phantom. What the fuck happens in that show? This is, in fact, one of the most important episodes in the entire show. If you know, you know. Indie horror games are either like, you're on a submarine because you were sent to explore a mysterious pit in the ocean floor and you slowly realize you weren't meant to surface. Or, <laughs> Mr. Scrubkiss is gonna get you, don't let him get you. And Mr. Scrubkiss is the one everyone talks about. Yeah. Go touch grass. Me with potted plants inside my house. Do not interact unless you answer my riddles three. Riddle one, what is your name? Riddle two, what is your quest? Riddle three, what has 13 hearts and no other organs? Texas confession. I've never seen snow IRL. I posted this and it's no like two inches a week later for the first time in like 35 years. Texas Confessions. I've never had a million dollars. Hey, uh, Tumblr? Is this Attack on Titan? I mean, yeah. Yeah, it seems right. Listen, in this household, respect your ancestors. They all lived and died for you. Tumblr shouldn't have given me the ability to talk in big text. Giant's Trumpet! <laughs> Do you ever decide to gaslight a woman so badly that she becomes a plan just to get away from you? Is that what happened in Kirby Triple Deluxe? Peeling those sour rainbow gummy strips into long thin strings and putting them into cheap energy drink to create something I'm calling battery acid spaghetti. We'll update once I've finished it. Don't, don't do this. Hey, don't tell me what to do. Don't do this. Whenever I see post-apocalyptic films set in the USA where everyone is pretty much just killing each other with no mention of other nations, I always just assume that the rest of the world is fine and has learned how to resume life as normal. Should we do something about the Americans? Nah. 
What do you mean I don't know how to flirt? I literally tell you random and unimportant fun facts. Why aren't you wooed? I'm such a water drinker, like literally, um, gulp, gulp. I don't believe you. Writing prompt. God said to Noah, gather two of every animal so they may survive the flood. Even the Pokemon? Even the Pokemon. It's so hard being a silly goose in this anti whimsy society. You barely even have room to frolic nowadays. Ugh. Hey, if Tom the dies, here's a list of places you can find me. The woods at 3.48 a.m. People new to Tumblr are angry about being blocked or writing huge paragraphs about why they chose to block someone. Like, I promise you, it's not that deep. I once blocked someone because their block was obnoxiously orange and I hate the color orange. Hey, LP, after I reblog this, I'm blocking you because I fucking love orange. Fuck you. Every time I see a bunch of posts from Neil Gaiman on my feed, I'm like, Neil, you're procrastinating writing again, aren't you? Neil? Vampire doctors that can smell if you have a blood disease. Werewolf therapy animals for sick kids. Nature sprite and nymph nurses that always make sure people have pretty flowers to brighten up their white rooms. Fawns that go around and sing and dance for patients so that they smile. Nice monster hospitals would be amazing. Succubus nurses that give you the sook before you die. <sighs> Thanks, Tumblr users, Galawiji. Hey, would Magneto be able to lift Mjolnir? That's a... Huh. Hey, uh, if someone without a gender experiences romantic or sexual attraction, does that make them the gay agenda? This is my beautiful son. His name is... Steam Steam Apps Common. Wow. Music is weird. Humanity found out how to hit the air in the right way, and now we argue which is better. It's all the same in the end. Stop arguing. That is... Ooh. <laughs> That's a hot take. Bro, you just triggered my dynamic display, bro. I'm flaring my wings and bobbing my head while hissing at you, bro. B b please be scared of me. <laughs> please, for the love of God, stop saying that I, an autistic person, remind you of Sheldon Cooper. This is not the compliment that you think it is. And no, I will not say Bamungus. Nowadays, so many Tumblr posts are just about Tumblr. We're running into things to talk about. I switched my trash can with my neighbors today because theirs is nicer. You! Now that's a deep dive Tumblr joke right there. Good luck finding it. This character is not canonically bisexual. Yeah, to you. I know them personally. It's called parasocializing, Sharon. Past me is an idiot and future me is a bastard. I only exist in the present. <laughs> like, is this like that part of Homestuck where Car Cat argues with himself through paradox time? Hey, how many fingers do you have? Ten? How many do you intend to keep? Uh, Mario only saves Peach to get a kiss on the cheek. Wrong! Mario saves Peach because she's his friend and he loves her and also because he's a good person who wants to help others. The cheek kiss is merely a nice bonus. Also, have you ever had a cheek kiss? It's pretty great. Bowser, are you homophobic? You think I'm scared of gay people? I'm Bowser! Technology is amazing. I haven't been able to get the full video, but we just celebrated one of our steam locomotives turning 145 by chucking a chocolate cake into our firebox. Can you just imagine making a whole chocolate cake only to throw it into the firebox? But also, happy birthday, I guess. Aw, isn't it cute? Picture of the wettest, most pathetic looking guy you've ever seen. Ah, uh, the bulky spoon, scringly doo, the shrunkle scrumblo. <laughs> Important note to all Dracula fans. Coca-Cola was invented in 1886, and the story is set in 1897. This means you can authentically hint at Coca-Cola in any and all fan work set around the book's time period. Not that it's very impressive, since Dracula himself wouldn't drink it, but certainly the American suitor can. Van Helsing absolutely wired on classic cocaine Coca-Cola defeating Dracula. I need this in my life. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did you know that carrying a sword is generally illegal and they are considered firearms? They're considered the same as guns? What? My mom keeps asking me shit like, Have you drank anything today? And do you need to take a break? And how damn long is it going to take you for you to finish your math? Like what math you mean? <laughs> What? Math? Jeff Kinney announces new series, Diary of an Even Wimpier Kid. When asked for details, he replies, You thought that poor son of a bitch was wimpy. <laughs> you haven't seen shit yet, brother.
In a shocking move of one-upsmanship, Lincoln Pierce, author of the Big Nate series, has countered Kinney's announcement with his own. My new series is called Bigger Nate, Pierce said, and he's he's huge now. Just the, just the biggest motherfucker you've ever seen. Tumblr is my bedroom this, and Tumblr is a pinboard that. Tumblr is an apartment complex with thin walls, and every so often you just have to listen to your neighbor say the most deranged shit imaginable. We all vacuum at the same time. Um, hey, sorry if this is stupid, but the Earth has, like, mountains and valleys and stuff, you know? So I don't see how it can be flat. If there's mountains and stuff, sorry if it's stupid, I'm sorry. My Nana thinks the Earth is cube and mountains are just the corners. T -t Tell your Nana to text me. Doctor, I'm sorry, but we had to remove your colon. Me, why? Wait. Zoom in. Jeff, you son of a bitch. Neither alive nor dead, but a secret third thing. At sea. If you aren't at least vaguely aware of your friend's digestive system issues, are you even friends? Like, bro, do you know that your best friend has IBS? Do you? Normalize that getting a cutie mark in elementary school. Normalize grown stallions and men without a cutie mark. Normalize never getting your cutie mark. Mm hmm. Not because you're a blank flank, aren't you? Shut your mouth! Making my humidifier and dehumidifier participate in a cruel and pointless war. <laughs> the title cloudy with a chance of meatball acronyms in an unusually pronounceable way. Quackum. It's not even a stretch. You could just say it like a normal word. You don't usually get that with titles that long. Why didn't Flynn name the machine that? That would have been clever. Hey, Frank, what's your special attack and what does it do? My special attack, uh, Wormageddon, does something to do with worms. I bet it's an apocalyptic rain of worms. God couldn't strike me down even if they tried. I've lived through my worst and I'm still here. In fact, I'm pretty sure God did try. I don't know when, but they did. That's how living out of spite works, folks. I'm sorry, are you renowned Jojo villain Dio Brando? Oh, what funky bad choices will I make today? Oh, nobody knows. Look out, world. Jane's coming. So Elon Musk decided to ruin Twitter. Guys, you know what this means? The Twitter users are migrating to Tumblr, dear God. It was because of the stinky line picture, wasn't it? We did it, Andy. We destroyed Twitter. Weakness. A black cat rusting, tote coating a lighter brown shade in sunlight. <gasps> Just like Cokey Cola. The funniest rich kid court defense is definitely, Yana, my client is a spoiled brat who can't function in the real world, so how can he possibly comprehend the consequences of crime? And it works. I'm pretty sure Velma tried to do that and flubbed the execution horribly. Men who have made having a big epic beard their whole personality are so fascinating. Same with the one who waxed their mustaches into that pointy handlebar style, so they look like a whimsical 1850s candy store owner. What's going on with you, bro? Hey, Rondo, don't ask about my business. Probably a bad RPG idea. Simplify the alignment system by having everything be either red or blue. My alignment is true purple. <sighs> Classic Tumblr response. Pam, I'm curious to see if you'll put random Discord notification sounds in a video, just to see if people will fall for it. Sounds evil. I like it. Hey, uh, can you pick me up if I'm drunk? I don't have to anymore. I'm home now. Yes, I was aware of that after dropping you off at home. <laughs> this is too funny to me. One time I dreamt I went into a public bathroom and the person in the stall next to me stated my full name and address and started retelling my entire life story as I fearfully tried to shit faster. Good God. Sounds like a shitty way to get doxxed. We uh, are a society. Need to put more focus on robotic love interests who are quite literally just giant fucking computers. This girl is a big blocky machine. Takes up a whole room, not a single limb in sight. Everything she says is barely comprehensible because her voice sounds so weird. Yes, it does make her 50 times sexier. Who is Gladys?
Not a chance in hell, pretty boy. Yeah, you saw the title. We're doing this. My wife threatened to leave me due to my obsession with the monkeys. I didn't think she was serious. And then I saw her face. What happens if you cross an angry cow with an angry sheep? You get two animals that are in a bad mood. Does no one say YOLO anymore? Or are they all dead? I asked my German friend, what's a three-letter word for compete? My friend said, Vi. And I said, because I'm trying to finish a crossword, what do you call a fake Sudanese person? A pseudonese. I started a band with friends called 999 Megabytes. Still haven't gotten a gig, though. I went to a friend's house and he said, make yourself at home. So I threw him out. I hate having people over. I just read that someone in New York gets stabbed every 52 seconds. <sighs> Ooh, poor guy. I'm also in a band called the Palindromes. Our first single is called, If I Had a Hi-Fi. What do you call a pot of singing killer whales? An orcapella group? If pro is the opposite of con, then what's the opposite of progress? How many potatoes does it take to kill an Irishman? None. The waiter came to my table and asked, do you want a box for your leftovers? So I knocked his ass out with a left hook. I once dated a girl with a twin. People used to ask me how I told them apart. Well, Lisa painted her fingernails red and Bob had a... I met a girl at a bar and we went back to hers and started making out on the sofa. She gave me a cheeky look and said, I think we should take this upstairs. Okay, I said, you carry one end and I'll get the other. Be careful getting through the door frame and we'll come back down for the cushions. Freddie Mercury, Bruno Mars, and Venus Williams all walk into the same bar. But they didn't plan it. Did you know it's impossible to eat baklava underground? Because then it's bak magma. How can you tell the difference between a nerd and someone with a BDSM fetish? Ask them what a dungeon master is. How do you get 30 Canadians out of a pool? You say, okay, everybody, it's time to get out of the pool. Whoever coined the term delivery for childbirth made a big mistake. It should have been called takeout instead. 3,027 years from today, life will either be really good or really bad. It's 50-50. You can't keep getting away with it! The most dangerous kind of canoes are Vulcanoes. I'm going to pronounce it like that now. Talking about your pet. Oh, they're my little guy, my fluffy, silly troublemaker. Talking to your pet. You're a threat to society. You're a menace and a terrorist and a war criminal. You're remorseless and silly, my funny little guy. These are my 16 kids. Pawn, 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 rook, Knight, Bishop, Queen, King, Bishop, Knight, and Rook. Ugh, just found out my neighbors named all her 16 kids after mine. Okay, everyone, line up. For whom the Sneef snorfs? Does the Sneef snore for you? I thought not. Get out of here. I miss them. Fictional character I think about literally every single day. Being in your 20s is about experiencing the worst thing you can imagine. imagine. And then having to go to the grocery store. Behold, the sheepdog puppy herds entire flock into owner's kitchen. That's a prodigy. You missed the best part. They weren't even their sheep. This good puppy gathered up a bunch of rain of sheep it found somewhere on the countryside and brought them home for its human. I love them. Fantasy authors are now banned from titling their books anything to do with crowns, thorns, precious metals, roses, blood or bones. You have to think of something else now. Hmm... Hats, prickles, tinfoil, dandelions, bile, and cartilage. I hate loopholes. My roommate's boyfriend is playing D&D online, FaceTime, I don't know, in the next room, and mostly he's quiet. But he just erupted out in a scratchy character voice. Where are my socks? Are they in your mouth? Spit them out right now! What kind of campaign is he playing? An average one. You know what? You are so right. Also, this is, this is the time for me to tell you, Andy. If we ever get to do another character... For another campaign, I'm doing a goblin and you can't stop me. No offense. I mean, no offense, really. But I hate seeing these normal-ass people at the top of my page. Th these fucking normals. Normal weirdo freaks. Bucky, has anyone ever told you how right you are about everything ever? Yes, of course. Literally all the time. Whose job is it to shave a kiwi to make a hacky sack? Uh, <laughs> what did you just say? His big, doleful eyes and violently self-destructive tendencies have captivated me. Yes, baby girl. You are a very handsome young man. There needs to be a bad romance movie about someone falling in love with the Tumba Mutual. It's called The Feeling is Mutual. Soda Butch out here being funnier than me on my own post? I think everyone who enjoyed this post back in 2021 should know that I am now dating the person that inspired it. The Feeling was mutual. Eh... Uh... I have three moods, skips every song on my iPod, lets the music play without interruption, 
and plays the same song on repeat for days. What's an iPod? Been on Tumblr so long, my text post is outdated. <laughs> Fucking oof. 1910s guys who call including left-handed characters and stories FORCED DIVERSITY! Why are people who do cool things always so weird? I have a startling truth to keep from you about the relationship between cool and weird. What is it with Tumblr users and biting? I bet you people have never bitten someone, IRL. <laughs> Get a load of the only child! Big nocturnals, some massive haunters, some humongous spunk donkillers. For fuck's sakes, I can't believe I had to do this myself. Big supernaturals. I'm gonna stop you right there. For fucker's sake! Boobs! Literally right there! Pet beds were on sale, and I had a coupon, so Guts got a new bed. It's very plush, he likes it a lot. That's a weird looking dog, but he's still a cute dog. You know, it's nice you bought a bed for your croissant. The vampire's got it right. Life is about being bisexual and a little bit pathetic, and going through different levels of depressive episodes. Except that guy right there. That guy got it all wrong. Do you ever look at your character designs closer and their actions and realize you've accidentally doomed them from the start? That somehow their own fate had wormed its way into what they do and look like long before even happens to them? Yep. To their learn, paper airplanes were not created to mimic real airplanes. They predate them. Thought this meant they were predators to them. A massive cloud of paper airplanes descending upon a 747, and when they disperse, all that's left is a massive airliner skeleton picked perfectly clean of all flesh. The closest scene you can get to this is the one from Spirited Away. You know the one. You've heard of Eldritch Blast, now get ready for Eldritch Blast! Does the same thing as Eldritch Blast, but the target must also roll a constitution save after, or they are cursed to only speak in uwu, no matter who they are. And if they are already speaking uwu, because I knew that question was coming, they are forced out of it. Beware. Python is the JavaScript of programming languages. What? 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 Eventually, you realize you don't want to die. You just don't want to live the life you're living, and slowly you try to create a life you want to live. You just got to start there. No one needs to add, sounds fake, but okay. No. Well, not me. Impossible. Etc. to this post. And I'd rather you not. One day you think, I want to die. And then you think very quietly, actually, actually, I, I think I want a coffee, a nap, a sandwich, a book. And I want to die turns day by day into, I want to go home. I want to walk in the woods. I want to see my friend. I want to sit in the sun. I want a cleaner kitchen. I want a better job. I want to live somewhere else. I want to live. And I'm going to say this right now, as you get older, it gets easier to get to that mindset. Trust me. Warning, remote areas ahead. For the next thousand miles, it's just you and whatever human-lizard hybrids the genetic labs discarded here. Is that a promise? Road trip, who's coming? When you zone out so hard that you go cross-eyed. Sims 4 becoming transpositive has led to some of the funniest UI elements I've ever seen. Can this sim produce milk? That's, that's very personal, Sims 4. Stop. My friend just gave me a presentation on why I should invest in his sword-making business. He made some excellent points. Jeff! Everyone more pretentious than me is an insufferable poser, and everyone less pretentious than me is a clueless philistine. What if someone is somehow exactly as pretentious as you? Romantic and sexual partner. Writing prompts. Turns out there is a special place in hell, but it's not for the worst. It's for good souls so utterly convinced they're hellbound so they can repent and accept they are indeed good people. That is called purgatory. You know what? I'm just going to copy paste the entire text of Dante's Purgatorio and hope Tumblr doesn't crash. Please don't. Fucking superb, you funky little death omen. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a harbinger, and it's time to stop. PM, why does Sana look like a Pixar mom? Not mean, silly question, and I love her design. All right, I'm gonna take this opportunity to stop this meme dead in his tracks, even though I know you meant this as a little gag. And for that, too much, Dan, I'm sorry. But there are probably only three characters in Pixar out of the 20-ish moms that even fit the Pixar mom joke. Helen Parr, Laurel Lightfoot, and maybe Andy's mom, probably not really. The rest are either pretty tame proportions, monsters, a toy, a car, or an animal. The girl that most likely 
people think about is the girl from the Brain and Heart animated short Inner Workings. And that was Disney Animation Studios themselves, not Pixar. For the love of God and legs, y'all need a better joke. Oh, to answer your question, my son is shaped like that. Mermaid, and it's cool. All right, all right. There's a house in my attic. Part two. This is how Skyrim dungeons are designed. Our house. In the middle of your house. Our house. Behold, Conga boy. Mm, I think you mean about the slop. And now a quick lesson on how spelling can completely change the meaning of a sentence. OMG, that was a fun morning. I haven't laughed that hard in a while. My brain is running on a monkey with symbols and a bit of anxiety and Red Bull. What about you? Hey, just go up to someone you know and say out of nowhere, just so you know, I'm not gaslighting you. Alternatively, go up to a person that's having a good time and whisper the words, hashtag unreality. Me when I remember something I said ages ago that was wrong or my values no longer are aligned with. <laughs> I love how 80s cartoon villains can't actually curse, so they say things like nincompoops and fools. Just imagine, like, a six-foot-tall man in the wildest outfit you've ever seen running at you with a laser rifle or something and yelling fool at you at the top of his lungs. Absolutely insane. Yeah, we forgot to teach your boyfriend media literacy, and he completely misunderstood all the themes and narratives. Yeah, the underlying message, too. Hmm. He got tricked into believing in-universe propaganda and is writing a long post about it now. Sorry. Hey, Frank, I'm having some difficulty identifying this animal. What is it? A gay guy. Not to alarm anyone, but there is a fictional man loose in my brain. Keep an eye out. I wish all users I don't recognize anymore because they changed their usernames and icons, but I keep following them while mildly confused. A very pleasant evening. You know who you are, which is great because I don't. Back when I used to walk around my college in corduroy blazer and slacks, I didn't call it Doc Academia. I called it Professor Drag. And the purpose was to smoothly walk into parts of campus I wasn't supposed to access. <laughs> the world is beautiful. We have transgender people and images. And we have sandwiches. I added the Maridan picture because Maridan loves trans people and images. Maridan also loves sandwiches. It's like you didn't even play the game. Tsk, tsk. You know when something goes wrong or something just breaks and you go get someone to hopefully fix it, but as soon as you show it, it just gets magically fixed? Is this a curse or a blessing? You know, Magical Girl shows really did snap when they assigned personality traits based off the members' colors. Pink, commander and the leader, probably really nice and sweet. Blue, probably very close to pink, is either 100% IQ smarty pants, but shy, or very tough and cool. Yellow and orange, very happy and positive, can vary from being newbie of the group to be older and mature, probably known as the beautiful one. Purple, mysterious, usually starts off as a rival or joins the group later, but is definitely known to the members as another magical girl, probably has a softer side they don't show. And don't forget green, more mature and very reliable. And then there's red. Mad. Teletubbies. Okay, but this implies the existence of a lost pink Teletubby, a fallen leader too painful to talk about anymore. Tubby Custard. The amount of women who make their self-insert Fook Vulpes in Culta is astonishing, not just because he's a slaver, but because you meet him in game like this. He looks like a shoe leather, Gajinka. Yeah, he looks like he sells racism door to door. <laughs> My favorite genre of Pokemon plush. Taking powerful and intimidating legendary Pokemon and turning them into little guys. Trademark. Just saw an adult man growl at a QR code on the wall. Y yeah, was, sorry, that, 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 that was me. Writing prompt. Due to a paperwork filing error, you, a terrifying demonic creature, are now trapped in a contract with a small little girl. She is constantly summoning you to play tag, check for monsters in the closet, or look at her drawings. It's truly torture. I'm pretty sure that's an anime somewhere. To the people who sleep with their light on, one question. How do you sleep when letting them know where you are? Being ADHD is like being a cryptid, and when you trust someone enough, you're like, I will now show you my true form. Bucky Joe, do you have anything to say on Trans Visibility Day? Hold up, comically small microphone. Rise up. Attack. 
destroy. Lay waste to the land also. Thanks, Pucky. Writing prompt, death offers a game for your life, and you decide on D&D. I assumed you've never played, I asked. The cloaked figure across from me shook their head slowly. Great, I said. I'll be the DM. I'll walk you through everything. First, character creation. Six hours later, Death sat leaned over the table with a Mountain Dew in one hand and a D20 in the other. Their hood was thrown back to reveal a bleached, grinning skull. We were in the company of four infernals from the depths of the abyss. I don't remember which of us invited each of them. Turned out we had a, quite a few friends in common. They rolled a one. Ooh, tough luck, I said with a smile. Five newts at Fumbles AU, where Foxy sounds like Mr. Krabs and refers to Freddy exclusively as Mr. Fazbear. Hey, I mean, how is that not canon already? I'm sorry, all I could think of is the meme with Mr. Krabs going, Mr. Squidward, I should kick your f- There are two types of OCD people. The ones who keep their volume at an even number, and the ones who keep it at a multiple of five. Despite decades of bloodshed, the two factions are locked in an eternal stalemate. This war truly has no end in sight. And time to cause chaos in the comments. Multiples of five are the correct answer. All right, have fun! When you're angry at the characters, the story is well written. When you're angry at the writers, it is not. The presumption here is that the audience can tell the difference. Presuming they're not children, the audience can usually tell. Example, when a character does something you don't like, but it feels like something the character would do, you get mad at the character. When a character does something you don't like, and the history of that character makes it unbelievable that the character would do that thing, you get mad at the writers. I am looking at you, Game of Thrones. What did you do to Daenerys? Ever have that insatiable urge to bite something that you usually shouldn't? A leather chair, your phone, a seat in a car, a book, something with just the right amount of squishiness to it that you can sink your teeth into it without breaking it? Or is that just me? Clowns with dementia, call that, uh, call that, uh, call that. <sighs> what, what, what was I talking about? Oh, that's not funny. Are you guys okay? Sometimes I get the vibe that you're at your wit's end. Fairy Cosmos, you have no idea! I predict that it's going to take approximately two hours after Tears of the Kingdom's launch for Nintendo to regret the amount of power they gave us. Yep, gonna make an extremely long spear, probably 24 long spear, and call it my personal space stick. I've never seen snow. Someone please describe it to me. It smells like water. It's like I'm there. The fact that the unpublished book series that only exists in my head doesn't have a fandom yet may be one of the greatest crimes in literary history. I know, right? We tricked our hens into hatching out the rarest baby peacocks. Wow, epic chicken prank. Wow, now they got the chickens doing YouTuber face. <laughs> oh my god! Hmm, someone I care about told me that I'm a mediocre artist and I should spend my time on things that actually make money. This will take me several business days to recover from. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you, my test subjects are treated with the highest respect. Does being given the highest quality juice rewards sound like a human rights violation to you? So what if I keep them in cages? They love the cages! Why does this sound like the doctor from TF2? That's how I lost my medical license. <laughs> Secret hug techniques to be used only in dire emergencies. The Heimlich? Crazy how many people want characters in fiction to speak and act like they've had 20 hours of intensive therapy. Could not be me. I want these bitches fucked up insane! Just so you know, bimbo and himbo aren't gender locked. Female himbos and male bimbos. And I can drown some female himbos. We need another one of those words like exactly and literally. Who's gonna get on that? <clears throat> you rang. Twitter's like, do not interact with me unless you are a perfect clone of me. And Tumblr's like, hi, you share exactly one interest with me. Would you like to subliminally influence each other's thought patterns through funny text posts until we develop a hive mind? Yeah? Cool. Zeus sent you a message. Odin sent you a new message. What is this, a crossover episode? My advice to you, run. 
Hey, face out of Tumblr, I got a question. What happens if you just straight up refuse to give a fae your name? Do they like give it up or do they do everything in their power to trick you into giving them your name? I'll tell you. Gotta have your name first, though. No. Nah. Listen, pal, the subtitles stay on. If you ever see me posting something cringe or embarrassing, I didn't say that. That was my evil twin, my doppelganger. Yeah, it's me, by the way. Uh, hello? Cringe is okay. In moderation, my friend. Oh, God, this is going to confuse people who are just listening and not looking at the video. Critics be like, watches a cartoon movie about a video game character everyone thinks is good. This is the worst movie I have ever seen. Critics also like, watches something that lots of people hate because of the amount of jokes about something that shouldn't be joked about. This one is true art. Best movie ever. And this is why, as human beings with normal emotions and experiences, should criticize the critics. Thanks, John Manda. Doctor, $140,000 a year. Furry artist on Patreon, $160,000 a year. I think you're lowballing the furry art amount, to be honest. I'm sorry for the inaccuracies, Dr. Yiff. No matter how much I respond to this, I don't look good. Well played. I walked right into that. Well, furry artists are typically more competent and courteous than your average doctor, so I can see that. Did you just legitimately tell me that a person who draws wolf ass is more competent than a dude who spent eight years in a university to give you your lung transplant? Did you? My grand grand used to say, only trust people who went through the ringer and stayed nice people. Now that I'm older, I think I get what she means. Yeah. Setting a trap for the haiku bot. We ain't good tonight, yeehaw. Setting a trap for haiku bot. We are eating. Good tonight, yeehaw. I look for accidental haiku posts. Sometimes I mess up. Oh yeah, there. Go sick em, boys. We got that damn haiku bot. We'll roast him good. Nobody was scared when the clown invasion started at the beach. I mean, it's just one boat, they said. How bad can it be? Oh, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. How would you go about killing a false god? Get a real god and make them fight to the death. Does the average man get enough sleep? What is enough sleep? What is the average man? What is does? The San Francisco Examiner, California, February 25th, 1935. Sometimes I think humankind hasn't changed at all. What is does? I don't think any of you understand how important I am to the plot. You can kill me off, but everyone will stop watching. All right, Comets. Name the character. Diversity win! The evil, deranged mad scientist doing sick, fucked up experiments on you is gay and trans! Hooray! Cool. Poor girl broke her favorite sitting basket. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. Her beats are sticking out. Look at her! Call out post. Oh, is anyone there? Been stuck in Tumblr for 10 years. Help. My favorite emotion is when someone does something kind of foolish and all you can say is, I love you, in response. Top tier emotion. I don't have a single evil bone in my body, but I do have 206 very scared bones. I think furniture legs should be carved into little animal feet again. I think that would solve a lot of problems. Andy, put up your favorite furniture animal foot. That's a good one. Floating face down in a cranberry bog, divested of ego, gleaning the wisdom of berries, the secret of small fruits. Everyone is pointing out that spiders, as if the wisdom of cranberry spiders is less potent, as if I don't welcome their spiritual input. Yeah, I'm doomed by the narrative, but I have a little time to be absolutely gay. Putting my inevitable death on pause to be a homosexual for a second. You know, there are things in my tags you guys should be saving for a priest or a therapist. Not me with a folder full of 480 pictures of Lego Riddler. And they're never the things I expect. Sometimes you just gotta have a blurbo. Bitches be like, I'm so tired and sleepy. And then stay up doing hyperfixation shush for the next five hours. It's me. I'm bitches. The only way to win Tumblr is to ascend reality and post you tumbling back down. This is the only way. <gasps> oh my god, that's why it's called that. Thank you, uh, massive <laughs> milk bags. A computer mouse is the computer's hand, and you are holding hands when you scroll the internet. <gasps> oh my. Do you all think siblings in medieval times would look at the little beasts in the illuminated manuscripts and point at each other like, Ha! Tis thou! I wish 
I think someone deserves to be called pretty by someone who means it, and this should happen often. Yes. Cis people think trans people have this dead name and chosen name. But honestly, we have name, other name, dead name, business name, old nickname only some people have rights to use, online name, and an extra special secret name you don't get to know unless... Winky face. And there's another one. Love the word be things like, <laughs> yeah, me sure is thinksin. Me thinks, therefore me am. The special relationship between a person and their saddest, wettest OC. He's just a little scrunkles. I find your lack of whimsy disturbing. Don't like it. I hope Barbie is so good, it makes every executive that's turned everything bright and fun made for young girls into edgy, boring teen dramas for the last 10 years spontaneously combust into flames. And based on the trailers, we're off to a good start. Can I ask you something? My immediate reply says, go for it. But my mind has already gone through the seven stages of grief. Do you think kids during the Industrial Revolution had that same weird millennial Gen Z experience of having technology change so much while they're growing up? A middle-aged man in the 1890s condescendingly explaining what a candle is, and the 13-year-old's like, Okay, governor. You learned the word miscellaneous from The Sims and don't even lie. No! I learned it from Oregon Trail. Uh, no, I learned how to spell it from the same place I learned how to spell learned English class. Well, good for you! What's your process for creating characters? Imagine a weirdo. Give him one or more of my character flaws. And then figure out how to hurt them. I'm sorry. Frat boy vampire draining someone while his bros chant, Chug, chug, chug! Mutuals. This could be us. Open up a boy with the cold lens. <laughs> Opening up a boy with the cold lens. Why did you fucking get me? Hey, you keep mentioning you don't know how Tumblr works. I'd be perfectly happy to lie to you if you want to know more. Uh, okay, what's the funniest lie you have about how Tumblr works? Well... You can find posts by searching for them with the search bar. <clears throat> I just found out bunnies wag their tails when they're excited, just like dogs. Uh, from the moon? Impact crater? Oh my god, Andy. Sienna's real. Drake? Josh? Where's the body of Christ? Glowing hot metal is such a touchable shade of orange. I'm a welder, and... This, let me tell you, this does not go away if you're around a lot of hot metal. It's actually worse. Sometimes Google image search gives you an unrelated photo that was better than what you were looking for in the first place. Look at that majestic man. Ugh, why are you in the girls? Have you seen them? Studies have found including eyes on signs or walls significantly deters nearby crime. That would deter nearby anything. The mosaic sees your sins. Turning on hot water in my tub and boiling myself like a lobster to rid myself of the pains. Ugh, turn me into soup. Doomed by the narrative, haunted by the narrative, and a secret third thing. Narrating the narrative. Cusco? You are the only person I respect. Hey, yeah, your boyfriend drank an entire cooler full of monster energy drinks. Yeah, his name's Kyle now. Punched a hole in our drywall. Yeah. He's making you pay for the damages. Sorry. I have no idea why it's my go-to voice for those bits. He ate all the golf balls. Absolute mongrel. Feed him more. Pee pee poo poo. Somebody has spent their real life money to blaze this. Real life money. Andy, is this your secret account? Hey, just so you know, OP of that post you reblog, let the dogs out. Who? 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 I go to the Louvre. I'm sorry, I mean Louvre. And step in front of the Mona Lisa. I open my notes app and draw a stick figure with a single line for hair. I am escorted out by security. Probably bad RPG ideas. On a critical success at a perception check, you see all. I miss my sentinel shield. Of course it goes without saying that I am hopelessly dependent on the ingot. Look at it. Either fucker weekend's only two days long. Do you really think that's enough to recover from the horrors of the work week? Really? Gets excited about the story I'm about to act out in my head before I sleep. Oh, it's gonna be good. I'm on some kind of gay-ass journey. Comments? Name the show. I present 
frog. Very round and happy. 10 out of 10. You know, every culture has their ethnic donut and every culture has their ethnic dumpling. Humans be frying dough? Every culture also makes a sword. If they got metal, they make a sword. If they don't have metal, they take obsidian or shark teeth or whatever it is they've got and they make that into a sword. Coincidence? I think not. Two constants in all civilizations. Tasty fried food. Endanger murder sticks. Calling the police is so five years ago. Strike true fear into the hearts of criminals by saying you're going to tell their mothers. No, please don't. Don't date someone who doesn't put the grocery cart back in the cart return. It's called creating jobs. Actually, it's called not being rude and making someone's job easier. Pours box of cornflakes directly on the floor in aisle seven. It's called creating jobs, sweetie. I made my first Photoshop thing. I love it. Never have I seen anything that more perfectly encapsulates the personality of a beta fish. I think the university course database should have a filter to only show classes taught by extremely old people who are insane. Professors of a tenure. Got it. All body is body horror because having a body is scary. All psychology is psychological horror because thinking is scary. All survival is survival horror because being alive is scary. No, 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 you don't understand. I want to watch this show slash movie, read this book, listen to this podcast, but I must be in the right mindset and the exact headspace to begin or I just can't. All right, name it. Today I learned blind people have a hard time drawing because they interpret the world as three-dimensional and struggle to portray it as two-dimensional. And here I am, an idiot, thinking it's because they can't see. Let's see, things that are covered by your wizard insurance. Let's see here. Hmm, top surgery, bottom surgery, witch encounters, one per century, killed by Greg. Oh, middle surgery, that's a new one. Putting a glue trap under my fridge to lure out my blorbos. Come on out, you little snot bags. Find out your gay name. Your first name plus gets down on one knee. My last name. My favorite thing about Sweeney Todd is that Sweeney gets into the killing and baking people business because he's a deeply broken man destroyed by an unjust and corrupt system that cost him his freedom and family and has been driven mad by revenge. And Mrs. Lovett does it because something wrong with her. The trope where a character overhears something out of context and assumes the worst is usually annoying and bad, but I think it works really well in Shrek. We, the audience, know that Fiona is talking about herself, but regardless, she's calling herself these terrible things because she is an ogre. If Fiona is these things because she is an ogre, what does that make Shrek? If Fiona says no one could love her because she's an ogre, she is saying that Shrek is also unlovable whether she wants to or not. In my opinion, the scene is a really good portrayal of how when you talk poorly of yourself or others for having a trait, you're also talking about every other person who shares that trait. Even if you love them or think what you're saying doesn't apply to them. Not going to lie, I saw the word Shrek and never expected this to be a deep post. On the Being Deep About Shrek website? Give your bunnies a smooch on the snoop for me today. Please. I don't have a bunny. You guys like dice? How about a one and three quarter pound dice forged out of solid steel? Roll for damage. Throw for damage. To put it how my friend Keston said best, there's no table that will survive that roll. Writers will be like, here's my current work in progress. Can't wait to share more. And then you never hear about it again. Uh, worst. Imagine a world where the oxygen density of the atmosphere is higher and you can have a bee that is cat sized and you can pet your bee like a cat. <laughs> that would be nice. Why do I feel the urge to make another teleporter, but this time I teleport to the past? Have you considered instead teleporting bread? Yeah, it did not go well. We need to talk about this. Who is he? Is he okay? Who is his friend? Is his friend okay? I swear if his friend is not okay, so help me. I love you, media without romance. And I especially love you, character-centric media that explores the bonds between characters but still has no romance. May I offer you Hollowed Bonds? By Andy. Andy, plug it now. Do it. Timepiece with the fewest moving parts. Sundial. Timepiece with the most moving parts. Hourglass. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, what? Perceive the tantrum hole. Uh, I think you mean the waste pipe for the cream cheese frosting factory? No, that's a goose that is definitely venting into the void. <coughs> Guy who just had like three weeks to do several things and didn't do them. Boy, I need a week off. Mood.
What's the trope name for when someone finds out they're the chosen one and is like, no, thank you, and goes and does something else? Common sense. Gifted kid burnout. Yeah, the refusal of the call is the actual trope name, usually followed by the tropes of the call knows where you live and you can't fight fate. The call is trying to contact you about your destiny's extended warranty. <laughs> Trades my imperfect flesh for the immortality of the machine. You know, re-avengeance should have ended that way. We need bear girls. And I don't mean skinny, cutesy teddy bear girls. We need fat bear women who catch salmon in their jowls and eat cigarettes like that Polish bear from WW2. We need built bear girls that climb trees and terrorize picnics. Andy, just put up your favorite sample of this character, please. So let's get ready to crumble. God, I hope she steps on me. Person who is chronically outside. They see discourse and just go, Who man, this is just like when two sparrows want the same sunflower seed. I'm sorry, did you mean wander? Need a full body massage, a margarita, 400 milligrams of ibuprofen, a plate of brownies, at least an hour in a jacuzzi, and $20,000 cash. The mouse after you give him a cookie. Due to not wanting to, I will not. Thanks. The only people who get upset when you set boundaries are the ones who benefited from you having none. That's why they perceive it as a personal attack. Because your boundary enroaches on space they were used to owning. Yours. It did psychic damage to me, seeing both Spider-Verse and Barbie trending at the same time. The girlies. The girlies have been fed. Look out, they're frothing today. Someone who doesn't watch Markiplier, explain this picture. Mankind attempted to invent a combustible banana, but he got sad about the results. You know what? Sorry, Mark, that's what happened now. Why is it so easy to get a headache? Like, I'm just trying to do my work and enjoy my time, but then my brain decides, no, nah, you're not allowed to, and I'm going to make it extremely painful for you to exist for the next few hours. <laughs> Love is in the air. Wrong! Flaming skull! <laughs> Is there a support group for people who wake up on time but lay in the bed until it makes them late? Yeah, literally everybody. Everyone has a ship that's just... They're perfect. They hate each other. They're married. They haven't spoken in 15 years. They have date nights three times a week. They're divorced. They're pining. It's unrequited. It's requited. They're star-crossed. They're meant to be. They're doomed by the narrative. They love each other. They never held hands. They won't stop making other parties. They can't look each other in the eye. Man, I forgot ships have, like, multiple genres. My little brother came into my room and told me that there was water all over the bathroom floor, so I got up and grabbed a towel and ran into the bathroom to find all of my water energy Pokemon cards sprawled on the floor. This kid is five fucking years old, and he got me. <laughs> That's really funny. Mm, some people on this site aren't even funny. They just have funny followers who make comedic additions to their otherwise bland text posts. Well, I'm glad you're self-aware. Sorry for sending my friends the Wikipedia page for the death penalty whenever they say something ungodly. Being the family's assigned it person is fun because everyone gets annoyed when you don't know what to do. Also, they don't try to do or teach themselves anything because they can just get you to do it for them. And it's such a chore to put on the Pennywise makeup every day too, like, ugh. Oh, you meant IT. Whoever has my voodoo doll, please take that bitch to the gym. Thank you. Child gates are the equivalent of blocked off areas in video games due to your character's level. What's it mean that my nephew just fucking bowls over them with his massive baby body? Speedrun strats. Oh god, oh god, I can hear it. Andy, watch out, it's the speedrun baby! I simply vibe until my brain just attacks me like, Hey, you see it, raw hot dog, trademark. And then I do. Because who am I to resist temptation? Two guys having a conversation about their friend who uses any pronouns, but they're clearly trying to outdo each other in obscurity with each pronoun used. I'm going to make my character suffer. Well, I'm going to go make my character have a nice day. They're going to go hang out with their friend. We'll never betray them nor dump them at the very first misunderstanding. Hmm? Baby, I've got half-finished whips you couldn't even imagine. I guess neither could you, OP. Damn. We should start doing ancient alien conspiracies, but for buildings that aren't even that old or impressive. No human could make an apartment this complex.
I think it would be very funny for like characters in a fantasy setting to walk into a pub and try to order and the bartender just sighs and goes, species and age. While pulling out a massive book holding the drinking age for every type of species capable of purchasing alcohol. That's brilliant. Dear lesbian at the pride night at the emo club. Thank you for the kiss. Sorry, I'm a boy. OP might want to bookmark this post in case they come back in three years to tell us all they're transgender. Funniest reply ever, I am transgender. If anyone gets into my computer and starts looking at what I named my drawings and the folders in them, they're either going to think I'm a comedy genius or in desperate need of therapy. Both. Behold, flat bin. Love him. Trying to clean, but he wants to come with me all the time, so I put him in the basket so I carry him more easily, and he's very happy about it. Oh my god, look at this baby. Unlikes and relikes a post, so it's further up in my likes, so I can find it again. Still never goes back to my likes to look at these posts ever again. Unlikes and relikes a post, so the person I saw it from still gets the sense of knowing I liked it. Wow. Brain. Hey, you know how you hate your artwork? Yeah. What if I told you that's interfering with your capacity to improve? Oh, no. In case this wasn't clear enough, what I'm saying is, is that hating your artwork will get in the way of your improvement. You will get in your own way if you hate your work. You don't even have to like your work. You just have to find one thing in it that you sort of tolerate and can see hope in. Hating your entire work will not motivate you to spite improve in the long run. It'll just discourage you. Trust me. I ship male-female ships, but in an incredibly bisexual way. I've been trying to not call people mean names when I get into arguments, so now my default when I get a little frustrated is to say babe, which, as you might understand, is not particularly conducive to customer service. Had a guy piss me off so badly yesterday I called him baby girl. For reference, I am a scrawny 19-year-old girl wearing too much eyeliner, and he was a 40-year-old man in American flag Carhartt jacket. We were both so surprised the disagreement just ended right there. I think love is when I put myself to bed even when I'm tired. And I carry myself up the stairs even though my knees ache. I think love is when I buy myself a coffee when I'm broke. And I know that I'll get myself back later. And I think love is letting myself love someone even though I am so scared. Love is a heavy thing that carries you as much as you carry it. Nothing to add to this, you said it all. Can't explain why toe walking is so compelling to me, but it has something to do with the sensory input and the sheer delight of inertia and weight and bounce, 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 I think. Believe me, I should not be trusted with the ability to make tasty sweet food. If I wasn't physically restrained from doing so, I would make several liters of milkshakes and chug it in one sitting. Luckily for everyone around me, my household is poor. I will not explode for milkshake yet. Yet. To be fair, their username is, once again, Massive Milkpix. d and be like, The characters, Under no circumstances do I want to discuss my past, my trauma, my mental state, or any other personal issues. The players, Somebody please interrogate my child. Oh, you're sex positive? Well, I'm sex negative. We try to... Hold hands. And we both vanish from existence. An earth-shattering explosion rending the ground where we stood seconds before. Me, when I see a hilariously bad video that I want to send to my friend instantly, knowing that it's bad enough to make them want to hire a deep web hitman to hit me. <laughs> when my son turned 10, he started talking about wanting to learn to code. I hope Tumblr also decides this now that it has turned 10. 911, I'd like to report a murder. My guy was literally on his way to my house with my food. Then, five minutes away, he took another order and is now on the other side of the city. What the hell? Ah, uh, ADHD delivery driver. I'm going to defeat you with the power of friendship and this gun I found. Maybe the real treasure was this gun I found along the way. Maybe. You know... There are some people out there that don't need to touch grass, but instead need to touch an entire fucking forest! Hey, uh, uh, no, McDouble, McDouble. What's up with the little plur ketchup there? Who? We thought that was cute. It's bothering me. Get rid of it. Andy, please get rid of it. You have mental Illinois. I diagnose you with Chicago. And I'm about to make all the citizens of Chicago so angry. Illinois. Why is it thinking thoughts that upset it? I don't know 
a little weird cat. I just don't know. If I wanted to reach my new low point, I could make Tumblr posts and read them for a video. But who would be so silly as to take a post someone else made and read them for content? Could be worse. Could it be the person intentionally writing things to bait said post reading? You know, just saying. I don't need new shoes. I need new feet. Because the ones I currently have start hurting after two minutes of walking. I hate it. One time I dreamt there was an official crossover between Ultra Kill and the Mandela Catalog. It was a dating simulator. My god. Shout out to anthropomorphic snakes in animated movies doing poses that would normally require arms or creatively using their coils as arms instead. Gotta be one of my fave agendas. This is what it's all about. Hey, emojis can't do this. Behold, March Simpson. <clears throat> Shout out to the time my mom was hammered and I heard her trying to tell my dad that she murdered her first husband years ago and my dad very patiently said, I saw Glenn in an elevator last week. Good job, dad. I want so badly to become someone's blobo. Imagine being the little guy in someone's head that they spin at terrifying speeds. Why not me? You want my advice? Log off Tumblr and make yourself a nice grilled cheese. Using good crusty bread with half cheddar and half parmesan cheese. The best possible soup for dipping it into is Campbell's tomato soup. The kind that comes in a little can that you mix with water. Only instead, you use milk. God, tag your not family-friendly content. You know your anxiety is a problem when you get very stressed about asking someone to clarify the first answer because you didn't understand it the first time. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the glue trap. I won't be. If anyone needs cough loop, just cover the earth in glue traps except for one spot. Terrible Pokemon evolution method ideas. A Pokemon whose evolution depends on the status condition it has when it levels up. A Pokemon that only evolve if you have more than one million Poke Dollars. A Pokemon that evolves after getting frustrated that you keep faking playing catch with it in Pokemon Camp. A Pokemon that only evolve if it hates every Pokemon in your party. A Pokemon whose evolution depends on the clothes your character is wearing at that moment. A Pokemon that only evolve if there's a Pokemon who has a type advantage to it in your party. A Pokemon that evolves if you catch it in a Premier Ball. A Pokemon whose evolution depends on the number of badges you have. Ooh. A Pokemon that only evolve if one of your other Pokemon has the same nature plus a move as it has. A Pokemon whose evolution depends on if you gave it a cute nickname or a scary nickname. A Pokemon that only evolve if you keep it in your box long enough, then put it in your party at least one week. A Pokemon that only evolve when there's at least two fainted Pokemon in your party. And finally... A Pokemon whose evolution depends on where you caught it and where you were when you hatched its egg. Are you just trying to, like, destroy Game Freak's code here? It's already a giant pile of spaghetti. What are you trying to do? Add some more meatballs into it? Do you think Icarus would be into wax play or would that be a safe word zone because of trauma? You don't get quality content like this on other sites. Everybody likes going down. Stop! You know a character has really hit their gender out of the park when they're popularly headcanoned as trans mask and trans femme. I know I'm about to target a very specific audience here, but I have seen it. I am looking directly at you, Genshin Impact Twitter, and your Al Haytham content. Good job. Every time my boyfriend says, for the time being, I respond with, for the time being. And then we say, all hail the time being. And carry on the conversation like nothing happened. Ah, nature's healing. I say, donning my hazardous suit to roam the bomb-torn wastelands as I see a 12-inch cockroach skitter across the camera. Every day, my soul is crushed by emails, and every time I kiss, I swear I can fly. Can't you hear my heart beat fast as per my email from the past? Need you by my side. -na 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 -na. One time I dreamt the Muppets were doing an adaptation of The Legend of Zelda and Miss Piggy was mad she had to play Ganon. But it works so well. Plus, on top of that, you get memes of Ganon going, Ding! For you. you ever get no sleep and the next day your body functions like the Tumblr app? Me, we need to study. Brain. <laughs> I'm sorry, whoops, doozy, we made a big old... <laughs> Is everyone reblogging this okay? God put me on this world and said, let this dumbass roam. We are all God's Roombas that he let loose. Some of us he gave knives. I haven't used my iPod in several years, but since my phone broke, I'm using it for music. Got it hooked up to my Bluetooth speaker, which politely says, Battery high. Connected to Lars' iPhone. Generally.
So I really wasn't thinking about it and absolutely wasn't expecting it to say, battery high, connected to a disgusting little man. Because I had forgotten what I named my iPod and it quite literally bowled me completely over. I hate Shark Slander. They're literally just sitting there in their own living room. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on, just leave him be. Big shout out to Baked Potatoes. Well, thank you. I got high and thought this was directed at me and that Baked Potatoes was my new nickname. I'm, I'm sorry. Writing prompt. A medical robot on a long space flight has tried everything. Makeshift defibrillators, CPR, injecting adrenaline, but it's no use. The crew have died. As a last ditch effort, the robot downloads all information on necromancy. Aw, that's a sheep, baby. A motherfucking sheep! In my humble opinion, Minecraft should have added the deep dark without telling anyone. <laughs> Here's your silly little cave update. Big dig too far down. They're the horrors. All of them. What's that one video game with the lesbians and what I blue hair? Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, thanks. Do you ever think there are people who go to Disneyland or World to cosplay as Kingdom Hearts characters? Well, now I do. Your 30s are for unlearning all the conformity you've picked up in your teens and 20s and getting back to the weirdo you were as a kid. You will complete the stage at 40 when you turn into a feral version of the weirdo you were as a child, except now you have money and can drive. Probably bad RPG ideas. So much superhero media suggests superheroes started this generation. Consider Neanderthal superhero. I'm sorry, uh, but did you mean Captain Caveman? If you don't know who that is, and he put up the picture. That's him. That's the guy. Your old pal Pacacho is not in the best spirits today. Your old pal Pacacho needs some cheering up. I don't think you deserve it. I'm no longer sad now. I just want to get you! Whoa, bro, did you just summon for fumbling as they learn and try something new? Not cool, man. That was pretty bad of you. I'm sorry. Really imagine being Chris and you discover the Undertale universe. Parallel copies of most everyone you know, post-return to the surface, living these enriched, happier lives, following relationships that didn't pursue in your world, no longer dealing with the strains of weird small-town problems. Everything seems great. You go and find your parents, and they're still divorced. Damn. Much like the Minotaur, I am a creature in some sort of situation. Yeah. Femmes who love pink are amazing and all, but have you considered... Emo femmes who love black. Okay, but hear me out. Both. Which Pokemon did more with Unknown? We've never even seen a character who has one as their main little buddy or anything. I want to know someone who goes through life in that world with a pet letter G. It has to be somebody. And I bet they taught it sing. And that is a very complex joke if you don't understand it. But I'll help you. Andy, play the G note. At some point, and don't ask me when, I don't know either. You gain or unlock the ability to look someone in the eye and understand what kind of person they are. And there are two kinds. No thoughts, blank stare, and war flashbacks. I mean, you could have just said retail worker for both, Salavan. It's fine. My brother's toothbrush is over the past month. Why is he so angry? Does this dude even still have teeth? Writing prompt. Instead of the monkey's paw, you find the clown's nose. Which, instead of granting your wish in the worst way possible, will grant it in the funniest way. Item, the cursed clown knows. Obviously, to use it, you have to put it on and give it a honk. Wow, this really works. I want a million dollars. I pull one dollar bill out of my pocket. I pull another dollar bill out of my pocket. This proceeds for the next three hours. Oh, <laughs> bold of you to assume it's going to take three hours. Yeah, we put your boyfriend in a PMC more video. Yeah, they're using the voice and everything. Oh, sorry. God, God damn it. Hey, PM, if there was ever a live action movie about Undertale, who do you think would be the best celebrity actor for Papyrus? John Mulaney. And I'll give you an example. Andy, this might be some complex editing, but here we go. Put up a picture of Papyrus and get your favorite John Mulaney voice clip. And play it under it. You got a problem with cartoon? Thank you. Lo-fi girl? She... She can leave? <laughs> She's cosplaying my dad. Somewhere in the world, there is a tree that has sprouted the same day you were born and has been growing along with you. Why am I feeling things? It's not supposed to be hot girl summer yet. Why is it 85 degrees? I'm evaporating. Whoa, dude, have you seriously not realized that all things are delicately interconnected yet? At your age? 
<laughs> Dude, cringe. People born in 2000 should be like 12 to 14 now, but they're not. That's how fucked up our world is now. The older this post gets, the funnier it becomes. I was going to scream for that last one, but it's a hoshi season and a uh, hard scream right now. But uh, I'll end it with a, with a funny noise. You guys want that? Cool. I love staring out the window when it's raining, especially if I'm on the third floor of a building. It makes me feel really cool and kind of divorced. Didn't mean to type divorced. Where, where where did divorce come from? I was not meant to be a person. I was meant to listen to music on the bus. Ugh. Fireball whiskey can be put in milk to make fire milk. Eat some protein if you're feeling fatigue. Visit garage sales if you want to find deals on belt senders. What we'll learn next week is still shrouded in darkness. Why is this phrase like people who are giving really crappy advice to people with depression? Hey, you know how you go out in the middle of the woods, your phone loses in that service? That's because the trees naturally protect you from the evil dark energy rays generated by influences and Twitter opinions. Follow for more information about the beauty of nature. I have the phrase, as far as I'm concerned, all work is homework stuck in my head, and it's hell. Spoilers for Super Mario movie. Jump about 15 seconds ahead if you don't want to hear. Okay, okay. I came to the realization that, despite how famous and well-known it was, dating back to the original Super Mario Brothers, Fire Mario did not appear at all in the movie, with the Fire Flower only being used by Peach and DK. Even more surprising is that besides the mushroom and the star, the only power-ups Mario used during the entire movie were the fursuits. Hmm. I think it's unjust to deny a child their right to dig a hole motivously. I mean, it's free exercise. They're doing something, and they're not on their phone. God. The moral of Deltarune is that there are weird guys in the basement. Have fun. Long, wet hair is heavy. Item 28X, the Immortal Pupper. Probably really bad item idea. The Immortal Pupper. A legendary wondrous item. A small wooden figure in the shape of a dog. When the activation word is said, it transforms into a living puppy that lives for up to a regular dog of the same kind's lifespan. The breed of dog is dependent on the type of wood, the bigger the bark, the tougher the dog. When the dog eventually passes, it reverts into a wooden figure again and becomes non-magical for one year. When that one year is up, the figure is magical again and turning it into a real dog again will keep the memories of its last form. <laughs> This is a really, really good item, actually. I'm going to gift this to one of my players as a legendary item. No joke, this will make us here. Now, if you excuse me, I have to pause recording to go cry. Okay, I'm back. Aw, oh, he's literally sleeping on the barbecue sauce. Goals, man. Goals. Five night at boobies. Come on, man. Five boobs at breasties. Mm-hmm. Free range, grass fed, certified organic gnome meat. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Apparently, this is how zoologists weigh tiny birds. This really needed to be on this blog. This is horribly undignified. I demand a lawyer. Shout out to boring queer people who don't do shit. Just go to work or school and then come home to watch shows. While gay. Love ya. Writing prompt. You open your door to find some religious-looking people standing there. Have you found our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? You glance behind your door, where Jesus is shushing you. This should be more on Bad Jokes by Jeff. Sometimes, when I'm bored, I go through the list of recent Bad Faith at Wikipedia edits that have been reverted. A lot of them are politically contentious, offensive topics that attract crazies and trolls in general, but sometimes there are completely innocent, inoffensive articles that people attack for no reason. Some guy yesterday vandalized the article of the chemical element francium. Francium is a stupid element. Hm, take that, francium. They should invent a girl with no headaches. Oh, if only. A train could easily kill me if it became sentient. I'm not implying that any inanimate object which becomes sentient will immediately be homicidally angry. I'm simply stating a fact. You know, a train could easily kill you sentient or not. Just, just, just saying. I forgot how much of a dagger to the heart it is to post something you're super proud of and get like no reaction.
The worst. The idea of Tumblr as a company is unfathomable to me. You mean there's some building out there labeled Tumblr HQ, where the staff sits and works on code or something? Ridiculous. You mean this beast I have on my phone didn't just manifest out of thin air? Impossible. Totally fake news. Butch fatale. She walked into my office with the swagger of a race car pit crew boss. From her steel-toed boots to her safety glasses, this dame was giving me forklift certified vibes strong enough to shake me loose from my classic depressed laced with alcoholism. Her car binder jingled with keys to four speakeasies, two U-Hauls, and a thousand broken hearts. I want this book now. Twilight, but instead of a dramatic reveal about how Edward's a vampire, Bella just shows up to class one day and slides a copy of Dracula across the table to see what happens. He autographs it and slides it back. How dare you hide this comedy gold in the tags? Writing prompt. Prophets and seers don't have to give musings and warnings of the future in vague, riddling, or purposely misleading ways. They mostly only do it when the people who come to them are being arrogant jerks, and when someone knowing their actual happy end will cause that end to not happen. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you're not gonna have the context for him immediately. You might have to scroll a bit first. Yeah, sorry. I love NB Arrow Aces. Y'all really said, I don't want to have to do with any of that, actually. I found the perfect display from my 100,000-year-old shrimp fossil. Behold. I believe PM Seymour secretly owns a child because no man can make so many dad jokes without being a natural. Listen, if I had a child, I'd be doing double the videos to afford for their care. But, Snom, every Pokemon Tumblr user? They meant like an actual human baby. Well, you're telling me they assume that a grown man who's active on Tumblr could have a real biodegradable human baby? Crazy, right? Also, I found it weird that they phrased it as owns a child. Um, remember to regularly change your pronouns for security reasons. Sometimes tax benefits. Body horror? Not to me. Not if it's you. Thanks? The worst they could say is no. True, but while they are saying it, they very well could hit me with force lightning like Palpatine from Star Wars. And Andy, put out that guy. It could be any guy, as long as it's lightning. Yeah, that's the guy. I think I've been playing too much Hi-Fi Rush. I was making bread while listening to music, and I noticed I was subconsciously needing to the beat. Oh, well, fuck, did I just get more bonus bread damage or some shit? Bonus bread damage is my favorite out-of-context Tumblr quote. Using it. Why is the human body so utterly flawed? I have horrible back pain right now, all because I made a wrong move and threw out my back completely. I'm 16, I shouldn't be experiencing this kind of torment at this age. I can't even move without being in excruciating pain. Why does the universe hate me? Oh, if you're feeling this now at 16, 33 is gonna suck. I think there should be levels to the death penalty. Like, if you kill one guy, then you just get, like, lethal injection or whatever. But if you kill 30 guys, which is pretty bad, you get shot out of a cannon while silly circus music plays in the background. Or we could just nigh kill people. I, I mean, supermax prisons exist for a reason. Funny big clown cannons exist for a reason, too. My boyfriend picked up a habit of shouting, Get scared! From another friend of ours as either a punchline or interjection. It's really funny most of the time, until that time I was so baked I couldn't speak and he just told me to, Get scared! And I started screaming. It's called super because the S is uber. Wow. Would you download a frog? Depends, is it a really cool frog? I'm downloading that frog. Andy, download that frog. Trees are pretty cool, right? You'd say they've been on the planet since forever, right? Like 360 million years. Pretty long, right? Wrong. Sharks existed for 450 million years. Sharks won, tree zero. Take that, trees. For the record, I don't post cringe to keep the Twitter users at bay. I do not post cringe at all. If you cringe at my posts, that's on you, not me. I'm simply having a good time on this website, and if that makes you cringe, I'm sorry for whatever you see in me that shames you so. Alright, Joker, calm the hell down. Gentlemen, show them no shrimp of hay. Krill them without hesitation. Octopus! Very good, girl balls. Why do you work out? Asked a friend of mine. For self-improvement? Kinda. For health reasons? No. I work out to look more like Ganondorf! Look at this man! Yeah, sorry. We reblogged your boyfriend in the wrong order. 
Sorry. God damn it, Kimberly, you had one job. What do you call a spheres full of idiots? Earth. <laughs> I got them all. Feeling gothic today. I became so goth my internet crashed. Oopsies. I just woke up from a dream in which there was an app that notified you when nearby LARPs needed an NPC and you could like go pretend to be a surly shopkeeper or whatever and get paid like 10 bucks for it. Damn, I want this to be an actual thing. Baby girl, I'm obsessed in ways that I can't even animate. It sucks. All my coworkers are joining Tumblr. Does that mean I have to stop being a horrible little creature here? Oh, no, 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 no. You got it reversed. You should have been a horrible little creature over at Twitter first. Now get to be one here with everyone else. You are so right. All of my college projects are done. Finally, I can return to being cringe. Spoiler alert. Adulthood is 96% of you going, well, I hope this is how it works and I'll keep doing it until someone yells at me. I like these posts because you read them as a teenager and you think, surely these people are blowing it out of proportion. And then you reach adulthood. I have a bookstore employee secret to share, and it's that when you buy milk and honey, we all make fun of you. If you pick up anything categorized as online poetry, all the gay booksellers are already pointing and laughing at you from the other side of the store. I thought you were making a grocery store post and I was like, no, these are good fluids. When you buy milk and honey, we all panic because we thought we got rid of the guy selling unpasteurized animal products in the biography section. You'll never take me down. I have come to the discovery that I own three cats and a mimic. Oh, no. I invite you over to my house. And while we're greeting each other at the door, I turn around and say, down, boy, down, no. And you just see a caterpillar moving very slowly across the floor toward you. Writing prompt. Unbeknown to most, the Norse gods are still among us. Thor is a grumpy personal trainer. Freya is a successful influencer. Quite a few of the dwarves are top-level sysadmins. But what about Loki? YouTube prank channel. I thought the shopping bags were a bit heavy. <sighs> Take them with you. Earlier, my friend said to me, somewhere out there, in an alternative universe... There's an all-female rock band called King. And I'm still recovering from the mental image and how gay it made me feel. They still have a hit titled Fat Bottom Girls. Okay, this reply really got to me feeling gay again. You know what my favorite thing about the Pokemon trading card game is? The attack names. Punch and Run. Offensive Needle. Extreme Attack. Serve Together. Iron Fist of Justice. Hulk is Pinkus. And my all-time favorite. Everyone explode. Now. I wish all trans girls are very kissed on the face by someone they love. I wish all trans boys they kissed on the face by someone they love. I wish all non-binary people are very kissed on the face by someone they love. Doesn't this just mean everyone now? Oh, wait. Ah, fuck, I forgot cis people exist again. Children outside screaming. Annoying, but ultimately for the greater good. Children need going outside and screaming time for proper emotional development. An auditory burden I am willing to bear neighbor with his car he made louder on purpose jail for neighbor jail for ten thousand years oh you wanted chocolate atop your boston cream donut mmm too bad that chocolate is for the paper bag you stupid bitch i'm just living for the fact that some of y'all haven't even bothered to contact support to get your blogs unflagged because aside from having a blurred avatar you can just continue to blog like normal this site's something else. I'll remember is the ADHD demon talking. You won't remember. Write it down. Both of you to assume I'll remember where I wrote it or even that I wrote it. You know, visual exhaustion is another symptom of ADHD, which means that if we see something enough times or we see enough instances of something, it fades into the background noise and we fail to notice it. This is why a lot of ADHD people can stand living surrounded by mess or clutter because it's just visual background noise to us. We don't even notice it anymore. So if we write something down and see the notes stuck up somewhere a lot, or if we write it a lot, or if we write a lot of some things down and have a lot of notes hanging around, we're even less likely to think of or remember the thing because it's just part of the scenery now. ADHD is the catch-22 of brains. Hate it. Honeybun thinks that this is his chair. It is his chair now. You have no choice. How do you guys feel about the fact that these two characters exist in the same universe? I don't know. Horny? Wrong answer. I got a tiny rubber baby for 95 cents. My son. This little plastic lefon by the computer vexes and haunts me. Is your dad a tragic 19th century French author? Yeah, sorry about your boyfriend. Yeah, I trapped him in the Traptanium Crystal. He lives in there now. Yeah, no, I do let him out, but just so I can make him fight creatures. 
Sorry. Why do you guys keep doing this to my boyfriend? Writing prompt. Dragons have treasure hordes for adventurers to target. Those are usually cover-ups to hide what the dragons actually care for. Some run orphanages, others have meticulously tended gardens, and some have the most well-stocked libraries in the world. Oh my god, I need this. Take me to Snarch, Snad! Only if you promise a sacrifice. <sighs> sacrifice was right there, and you missed it, bestie. Snad, I snap believe you forgot to say sacrifice. I'm leaving the Snurge in this whole snail legion. My whole career is in snapples. As we all know, red dragons breathe right channel audio, white dragons breathe left channel audio, and yellow dragons breathe video. Oh my god. This joke is living on limited time. Okay, no more questions. It's sleepy time. <sighs> Me sees my stuffed animal on the floor next to my bed. Why? Why wasn't I a better parent? Devil may happy. Wouldn't it make more sense to say devil may smile? Critique my post ever again, and devil may angry. You want to have to research to write fiction instead of just magically injecting knowledge into my brain to. to... <laughs> Probably rad RPG idea. Magical shield enchanted to feel pain. <laughs> I'm both dumber and smarter than you think, so don't underestimate me because I'm actually smart about a lot of stuff. But also, don't be surprised if I'm dumb about some other stuff. Hope that helps. Where am I? One time I dreamt college only cost $45 for class. One of the few times I want Apollo to throw that dodgeball. Throw that dodgeball, Apollo! Hey, uh, evil snob, boys. For some reason, a heated blanket arrived in the mail. What a failed assassination attempt. Lol. Pokemon's best three characters all have parental issues. What did, what did Game Freak mean by this? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I think you mean four of the best characters. And he slides Silver up very slowly. Thank you. The moral of Matilda is that if you're autistic enough, you can destroy your enemies with your mind. Anyway, I think if instead of having internet fandoms or whatever, we should consider them internet neighborhoods. My mutuals mutual post about things in interest I could not possibly understand, but I will smile and wave while watering my flowers when they pass by. Except for that blog over there. Dinkleberg. I can say and do anything with consequences. Someone has to freaking blaze his post. I mean, I can't because I'm broke, but let's show Pucky some consequences. Do it. How boring do you have to be to hate fantasy at use? Ugh. I will not be needlessly cynical. I will enjoy things without shame. Always. Yeah, we always make you hear the same voice for this meme format. Yeah, it's an office space reference. Yeah, sorry. Oh my god, they know. When you mentally pss, 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 your mutuals and they don't come. Why? Audio processing disorder is like, you are going to be able to differentiate 27 distinct sounds happening simultaneously, except for when someone's talking to you. Good luck! People think because my ears are so unreasonably sensitive, I must also be able to hear them. This is false! I can hear the clock ticking, though. One time I was watching Avatar with my friends with headphones, and I heard my dad open a can downstairs. I still can't tell what people say to me if more than one person is talking. Don't lie to people. It's all very good until you remember how funny it is to give the wrong birthday to an astrology person and have them go, that explains so much about you. I had to mentally send myself a reaction image the other day. I ran up the stairs on all fours and said to myself, I have such a location pill, scamperl. And then perfectly envisioned this image. Yeah, no one thinks like this. You're a broken person. Girls will say, I just need to lie down for a little while. And then sink into a muddy river and get all their heart tissues replaced with mineral deposits. I mean, it's called self-care, Sharon. Two genres of fan fictions. Put that guy into situations. And take that guy out of situations for the love of God. Let him rest. Baby girl, your enormous eye bags and just barely noticeable tremor have captivated me. Thank you, user eyes, 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 eyes. Um, I thought you were 22. It says 23 in your bio. You're never gonna believe what happened to me. The world is so beautiful. We can eat rice here. <laughs> it's perfect. My favorite thing on Tumblr is reblogging a post like, oh, that mutual's gonna love this, and then seeing them reblog it from you. I see they were able to achieve the mental pss, 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 pss. We need swimmable cities. 
Give us a few years. Quivering is my least favorite word in the English language. Nothing and nobody should be quivering. If you're quivering right now, stop that shit immediately. Tremble or shake if you must, but the quivering has to stop. I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. Oh. Oh, how dare you, you sick individual. And you blow up this video with your mind. I looked the devil in the eyes, and his name is Miami International Airport. Taking it to 1.30 p.m. at Seymour. All aboard the Seymour Mobile. Wait, why is it Mario took the picture? It's a me, a Mario. I asked my husband to go to the store for some chocolate chips. Meet chocolate chip. This implies they own multiple cats named chocolate chip. The ADHD urge to not, to just not. I have several overdue assignments. I think the next completely unfaithable reimagining of the Persephone myth should be a Taken-style action adventure where Demeter viciously fights her way through the underworld to rescue her daughter. We've made it sexy. We've made it romantic. Now it's time to give Demeter a shotgun. <laughs> Change of several core aspects of your personality when you're not looking. Normally this would infuriate me, but I feel uncharacteristically calm and forgiving. Hmm. You may notice I use the phrase, my beloved, frequently. This is because I am in love with the world and everything in it. Hope this clears things up. Girl, help, the pessimist found me. Girl, help, I am staunchly refusing to realize my own naivete in the world almost completely made up of things that couldn't care less about me and are actively exploiting me. Why are you projecting onto me? Please just go to a therapist. Debit or credit? You can insert your card now. D -d 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 Damn, he just went all the way in. That, that man just inserted his whole card and kept going until his whole body disappeared into the reader. Manager, I feel really sick. Can I go home? No. How is your digestion? What is this question? I love this website. How are your bones? Get me out of here. Just saw a chart with the gender options, male, female, and part-time slash other. And I think I get they were going for, but I'm obsessed with the concept of part-time gender clocking into my shift at the gender factory, and brother, I am not getting paid a living wage. We should do a second dash con. We could do it right this time. <gasps> we would have two ball pits. You are braver than you think. You are smarter than you think. You are stronger than you think. You are cuter than you think. You are more resilient than you think. You are better than you think. Don't forget it. You are strong. Keep pushing and fighting for things worth fighting for. Thank you. Girl, help. I've fallen victim to one of the classic blunders. <gasps> you started a land war in Asia? You went up against the Sicilian when death was on the line? You tried to invade Russia into the winter? You consumed your entire platoon supply of Pervetin? You believed it was butter? I just saw someone say the words jokingly gaslight. And this might be a good time to reintroduce the internet to the terms lying or perhaps pranking. Or even just joking on its own. I own a grapefruit spoon. What is up with him? Owl City girl blocking time. Like him or hate him, he owns a grapefruit spoon. That's probably fine, is my favorite thing to say after seeing something that is incredibly obviously not fine. It is very played out and I will never ever stop doing it. I am like 89% sure there is no time traveling goatfish. Hmm, that's what the time traveling goatfish wants you to think. Andy, put up the time-traveling goatfish. Oh no, there isn't one, is there? I'm the only thing preventing the mailman and the vacuum from killing my entire family! This was such a confusing and frightening post before I read the name of the vlog that posted it. <gasps> oh my god, it makes sense now. Oh, Shnom, how many OSHA violations have you had to give out to the other Snoms? And have any had their licenses revoked? I'm in constant communication with Engineer Snom, and I pop in frequently on Evil Snom. My existence is an OSHA violation. Cars can have windows and can move. Houses have windows and can't move. So it's not the windows that make the car go. It's something else entirely. 
This is what ancient Greek philosophy is like. Diogenes driving a mobile home into a symposium to ruin Plato's day. Behold a fan. You will never understand how smart an animal is until you need to trick them into taking medicine. Yeah, there's not enough cheese in the world to convince my dog to take their medicine. Ace Attorney is as exciting as it is because it fulfills everyone's fantasy out of not just proving someone wrong, but doing so in a heroically aggressive manner. Ace Attorney is about calling someone out with receipts so hard that they throw wild anime faces, scream, and tear their hair out, and then get sent to an actual jail. Beautiful. Do you ever see something and think, wow, that is violently American? I'm sorry, did you mean the glazed donut bacon cheeseburgers? <clears throat> Excuse me, they're called the Luther? Probably bad RPG idea. Deal with gaming conflicts by deboning problem players. <laughs> Deal with gaming conflicts by boning problem players. No, 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 no. Andy, slap him for me too. I'm out of slaps. You who Tumblr staff, a proposal. Make Tumblr more glitchy. Already in the works. Trust me, you won't even be able to open it. These two have the same voice actor. Judy, me boy! You've been invited by the King of Barsing Seder for the leg glaukai! There's truly no greater love than taking your most adored fictional character and throwing them into the emotionally devastating angst fuel trash compactor and pressing every single button on the machine just to see what will happen. I'm gonna go shower and become wet like a crocodile. My favorite beast. Please, for the love of God, stay safe. Did you just tell yourself to stay safe? Um, self-care? Man, being a people is such a weird concept. You're telling me that somehow electric signals emitting at irregular intervals through a blob of elements started to catch feelings? What's next? That two blobs can make more blobs with the exact same functions but slightly different? Sounds fake. Man caves are out. Autism caves are in. Just give me a whole room dedicated to my special interest where I can go and just vibrate with excitement. That sounds awesome, actually. Me to myself. Relax. Also me to myself. I cannot. If I blocked you, sorry. I saw a real person icon and automatically assumed you were a bot and panicked. So make sure you have an anime icon so I know you're real. I love short people. <laughs> you are one Diet Coke can tall. My online child describing amphibians. No, no, no. I meant the animals, water and land, like, like bisexual, but for places. No, no, no. They've got a point. I am so, so sorry I got nervous and tore you limb from bloody limb with my teeth. Can we still be friends, please? Magic mushrooms. Um, actually, all mushrooms are magic, so drop that down. Magic isn't always fine connections with all things in the universe. Sometimes it's just make tasty soupies or shrivel your kidneys. You know how it is. The urge to disappear into the forest and become local folklore. Oh, you're insufferable. <laughs> Suffers you easily and gladly. Using telekinesis to ask you to bring me home a treat from the grocery store. I honestly think this is the funniest way you could have mixed up telepathy and telekinesis. No, 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 no. They're using a pen to furiously scribble it on the near surface to you. Using my telepathy to tell you you spelled treat wrong. Writing prompt. You're an ancient and powerful dragon, master of all arcane arts, and your hobby is to scry on random humans to watch the unfolding drama of their lives, like soap operas. Sometimes you make subtle interventions to nudge your favorite shows along in interesting directions. <laughs> make them kiss. Just had maybe my most autistic thought of all time, lads. Oh boy, if I count how many times the popcorn pops in the microwave, I'll know exactly how many popcorns I get to eat. Sounds fun! You know what? That does sound fun. Do it. We make eye contact, and I connect to the Wi-Fi in your brain, and I delete half of your memories and make you left-handed. But I am left-handed, and I already have poor memories, so good luck finding anything worth deleting. <gasps> Wait a minute! Thinking about the fact that Shell, who has been kept in a cage for like a decade, is classified in Aperture Science Records as a part-time employee. Like, Doug didn't do that. So Gladys must have. 
humpback whales breaching, gorgeous, majestic, graceful, embodies all the strength and beauty of the ocean. Mink whales breaching, I will launch myself out of this ocean like a fucking surface-to-air missile and seek and destroy my enemies. Noom! Hey, you guys would tell me if I was in a PM Seymour video, right? Surely you wouldn't just let me go on living my life normally, not knowing if they use the silly voice or the normal voice for me, would you? Yeah, probably. It's okay, Skatari. I'll tell you. Hey, don't forget to lose faith in everything this morning. Instructions unclear. Embrace the world with childlike wonder and joy. Hey, is, is this real? Yes. Spiritual successor to Horse Plinko. My sibling in Christ. This post is from 2012. This is Horse Plinko's grandfather. Since the gun emoji was taken from us, I've just been building my own contraptions. It may not look like it, but I got your ass with that thingamajig. All right, guys, I offer you this challenge in the comments. Make your own Ruth Goldberg machine out of emojis. Go. Y'all remember before ebooks were big and Samo releases were a thing when a new manga chapter would come out and you'd have to wait for some dedicated soul to scan all the pages in, clean them up, and translate them? No, I'm not old. I'm only 23. You'd be dead in dog years. Hey, she took she took the ladders and the divorce. Could someone help me get down? Good morning, y'all. There's weather outside. Preposterous. I refuse to believe it. Do you believe me now? I do not see it, no. Open your eyes. There's a world out there if you seek it. Um, Medusa and her autistic girlfriend who can't make eye contact. I I is that anything? Yes, that is something very good. Please continue. So I was on eBay looking for cells and I found this one of Miss Bell and just... Neck! Hey, yo, that neck game is strong. Shout out to the delivery guy who really liked our doorbell. This is a quality bell, probably from the 80s. Great stuff. And he rang it like four times while I was standing there. King. Eh? It's the little things. Hmm, two schmeckles for your crimes, bitch boy. Never! They're my schmeckles. Hello, Pucky Cho. I believe I met you yesterday. You hit me with your car seven times and threw me in a river. It was a pleasure meeting you. I will do it again. I believe we as a society deserve more cartoons with female leads that are utter goobers. Wait, Andy, this is your jam. Put up your favorite goober. That's a good one. They don't seem to sell dinosaur chicken nuggets anymore. I've been keeping an eye out for some months, but the only ones I've found are like the vegan fake meat nuggets, which are not what I'm looking for. Remember what they took from us. You know, dog's got it right. I, too, want to run around on all fours at high speeds until I faceplant into a wall. Watching a show isn't enough. I need to sit down and watch it with someone who's never seen it before. This is how my partner got me to watch JoJo. They should make it easier. Just do it. I'm not even going to specify. Just make it easier. The need to cry is unable to be filled due to having company. It's just, it's just needless. Oh, nothing worse than when the premise of something captivates you, but then it sucks ass. Like, bro, you put this idea out into the world and you didn't even do it a shred of justice. I mean, yeah, but sometimes that's also like the best when something has an incredibly captivating premise and then flatlines into inanities. Nothing captures the imagination more than what if it was better? How would I write it? Oh, my God, they have a point. Your Pokemon seems surprised to touch ice, but... Reg ice, you're, you're you're made of ice. Well, if you walked into a cave made of human flesh, you'd be surprised too. It would seem that succumbing to the raw hot dog temptation has banished me from appearing in more videos by the anomaly known as PM Seymour. I have tried and failed to reappear to spread the effect of my massive milk bags to no effect. However, if this is included. I have a request. To Andy, unlike the one person long ago, the one who misspelled PM's name, could you please launch the cheese missiles for me? Thanks. You know what? They spelled my last name right. They got a funny username. They made a callback to a previous video. Andy, give them the cheesiest missiles you've got. Two, one, got out! Cheese! Missile in blue. Jeez. 
while you were busy consuming media, I was consuming fungus off the forest floor. We are not the same. Mm -hmm. Why bother screaming when instead I can drop a potato? No one's ever left a potato before. It's very much appreciated. Thank you. Me and my totally not an alien boyfriend arriving at the function unannounced. Why does this look like a JoJo thing? Andy, quick. Two seconds of JoJo music. Go. I wish everything was edible. I want to crunch on some drywall right now. Yumbe. How? How could you take the cheese missiles from me? How could you? It's not stealing if you didn't get them in the first place. Oh! Why is everyone so pretty? I need to know. Because you're gay AF. Hope this helps. What if we just started digging a huge hole? And what if we just killed everyone who came near our hole? In Minecraft. <clears throat> Ants. One time I dreamt- Just kidding, not a dream. I was just recording a voice message to my friend and said, I'm gonna go out on a blimp instead of limb. The people onboarding the Hindenburg. No! <laughs> That's terrible! Stop it! You need help with the ladies? <laughs> You've come to the right place. I'm kind of a lady magnet. First, you gotta reel him in by reciting all the lyrics to Five Nights at Freddy's song by the Living Tombstone. So you see? Then you drop the big one. You didn't even know it was a game, and you just thought it was a really cool song. That was swoon in in no time, bub. I'm a girl, and I'm just showing up to your house to smoke weed and watch you go crazy on the beat. Break it down, you funky critter. Yeah, you see? Evidence. Now, if you just pay a moderate fee for my course on... One of my favorite genres of voice actors is dude who does goofy stuff on the side, but is also a legitimate voice actor for hire. So it's like, oh wow, what a cool character, and then you spit out your tea when you see their name in the credits, like, that was AM Speakless? Yeah, it's kind of like watching Tuca and Birdie and being like, oh my god, is that world famous YouTuber Amateur DZ, creator of world hit character Lysander Roth? A crow tried to go in our classroom and he had a pen. Yes, hello, I am here to learn geometries. That crow is more prepared than some of my students. I'm literally such a love-pilled hope cell believing in the inherent goodness in humanity right now. Good. Keep it. My therapist asked me to explore my inner self. Alas, it is but bones. The flug is a parameter. Why do I need a hundred of a meter? Or is, it, or is it like the money? What the flug is a money meter? A line at a casino? Good night, strange homosexuals in my device. I'll see you all tomorrow if the fog doesn't get me. You know what? Fuck you. Unlegals you blind. Wait, why are people knocking at my door? Wait, shit, shit, shit. Re-legal it! Re-legal it! Reblock to give a lesbian an oat milk coffee. They deserve it. Excuse me. This cat owes me an explanation. A zebra. Beautiful cryptid who brings blessings. She's just being a skeleton for Halloween. She's doing her best. Perceive a snow leopard visiting a dentist in Finland. My dentist never gives me feety warmers. Yeah, you're probably not likely to claw the dentist's face off. You don't know that. What's a snow leopard doing in Finland? And if you're about to respond to my question, uh, to see the dentist, you have to like, comment, and subscribe right now. Oh my god, he's so hot, I want to compress him into a sphere and then bite into it like an apple. I just want to tap him with a mallet until he's a uniform shiny tinfoil sphere and then put him on a little stand by my bed next to my salt lamp. Mm. Try new things. Consider inhaling spaghetti. Hmm. Spaghetti inhalation considered. But do you also exhale spaghetti? Spaghetti exhalation considered. What's the perfect safe word? Meatloaf. I do anything for love, but I won't do that. God damn it, Jeff. You know, this Detective Pikachu stuff just made me realize that the clock is ticking on a live action Undertale movie, and it is absolutely going to look exactly like Detective Pikachu. All the weirdly hairy CGI monsters, scary realistic goat Toriel, scary realistic skeleton papyrus and sands, metaton but with transformer movie levels of moving parts and details. It's going to happen. If you think I wouldn't pay to see a hyper-realistic daffodil with a creepy face fighting eight-year-old, you're wrong. When Photoshop Flowey appears, the movie stops and Toby Fox comes in and beats up everyone in the cinema. Jane Austen really said, I respect the I can fix a movement, but that's just not me. He'll fix himself if he knows what's good for him, and that's why her works are still calling the shots today. Meanwhile, Emily Bront just said, we can make each other worse. Mary Shelley said, I can make him. 
Yeah, that's not very mouse wearing a sweater holding a cup of tea behavior. Sorry. Shout out to elderly people? Yeah, but don't be too loud though. You know what, Rambo is right. I am now going to end this video with the softest yell I can muster. Uh... Ladies, gentlemen, non-binaries. Bionicle is the homestuck of action figures. And no, I will not elaborate. How the human brain works. Electricity tickles the meat so that different slimes come out. Sometimes the slime feels good, sometimes bad. Some people make more bad slime than good slime. That's called the clinical depression. My biology textbook said it was more like a sauce. Sometimes I forget that people on the internet are like actually real people. Like the guy scanning your bananas at Walmart could be the guy who sends you in on hate. <gasps> Damn you, banana man. Why do different people of Middle Earth fight each other instead of bonding over their one shared value? Building dangerous architecture without handrails. That's a good point. If you're in high school right now and you're thinking of going to college, let me just tell you that college will be hard, but literally everything is better than high school. 100 DVDs in your home. 99 DVDs now. Hey, don't eat that. The Dean of Students took the wheels from my heelys. I feel like Lucifer stripped of his wings. I had to walk down the hallways like a common wench and I am livid. All fictional creatures' behavior should be modeled after cats. Dragons, scaly cat. Demons, infernal cat. Elves, talking cats. The elf party member knocks your water off the table and calls you a bitch when you don't feed him at three in the morning. I mean, to be fair, they don't sleep, so yeah, it's a cat. Why does Ray, the largest member of my chemical romance, not simply eat the other three? They're probably saving that for the final album. Do kids today even understand why podcasts are called podcasts? So what you see, kids, almost 20 years ago, Apple produced a portable audio player called... Wait, 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 I need to go back further. Okay, so in the 20th century, the new inventions of radio and television were known as broadcast media. No, wait, no, 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 that's not really the start either. Broadcasting originally refers to throwing or casting handfuls of seeds into prepared ground, typically used with grain crops, which, uh... The agricultural revolution, which began circa 10,000 BC in the Levant, was when humans began preserving seeds for replanting. Sorry for the delay in responding to your message. I was walking around the house with unclear intentions. It will happen again. I like big butts, and yet I possess the capability to lie. One of the two gods. My other brother will deny. I'm not saying Tumblr doesn't appreciate me enough, but I am saying that Google Forms would never do me dirty like this. See, this never happens in Spider Solitaire for Windows. We have the technology. We can rebuild her. Goofier. Sillier. Hornier. <laughs> the technology is HRT. Are you a girl? I am, but I, I thought that was obvious given I have a picture of me and my icon. I'm reblogging this to point out your icon is a green horse. The horse is also a girl. Ever thought about that? Hey guys, did I mention I live on a fucking weird island and sometimes land crabs with eight inch claws try to get into my house? Ah, uh, cute puppy, what breed is he? Sideways. I went camping and forgot to bring a shot glass. That's the second worst reason anyone would carve a hole in a block of spam. Wait. Wait, what's the first one? What's the first one? She be. There was an error loading this joke. Please try again later. Sasuke from Hamilton. I've played a few games of D and D, and my favorite class to play is the Bard. And my favorite Bard spell is Vicious Mockery, which is essentially where you say a magic yo mama joke and the target takes damage. The type of damage is kind of weird. Psychic damage. I never understood that. What the hell is psychic damage? How can that hurt you? I should amend that to say I've never understood that until now when reading this. Caused me to take psychic damage IRL. Ugh. Does anyone else develop habits because of their blobo? Unrelated, but I kind of want a glass of leche. Can someone please tell me what kind of musical notation this is? That's a shark. Aye, true scourge of the high seas. <laughs> Warning. Warning. Warning, this post will explode in 10 seconds. Hey, why are you guys using AI to chat with fictional characters? I can do that with my mind. What if you fried various eggs consecutively and stacked them like they were pancakes?
Well, oh, sorry, that was the preview supposed to exploding. My bad. Anyway, at my local library, a little girl dropped her library books to the return slot, waved, and shouted, Goodbye, books. Have a good day at school. And my heart grew three sizes. One time I dreamt the new Tumblr meme was a spherical whale, or Horb. And I and other Pokemon fans were being bullied because we said it was just Whalmer. Hey, Apollo, I have a request. I hate how you get desensitized to the cool stuff in your work in progress if you've been writing it for a long time. So when you read back over it, you're just like, this isn't as cool as I thought. But it still is. You just read it too many times. Gotta recirculate this post periodically just cause. But don't read the post too many times. Oh no. Girls are like, I'm fine. And then consume thousands of words of fan fiction to cope with their exhausting modern lives. Mmm, five pounds of Nemecola. A free stomach ache. Actually, bitch, it was a $6.16 stomach ache. Assuming I control what the hyperfixation is, is hubris. I control what I can, and it is not much. I will learn how to solder and make stained glass, and I will do it until it is good. Lol. Lamau, even. In this house, we let our hyperfixations get hyper and fixate with reckless abandon. I hate the word discourse. It sounds like Goofy saying discuss. This post literally ruined my life. Hey, Mickey, you want to discuss Guardians of the- Oh my god, no. Oh my god, will it fucking kill you to just say they? No, my pronouns are now Sithethethurum, and my gender is entirely up to reader interpretation. Hmm, shorting his gender. If I have to foil your pronouns, you're going to algebra jail. Replaces all of your milk with acid while you aren't looking. This morning's cereal is a bit off, I think. I hope someone put an anvil over your half-open door and you'll get crushed when you go to leave the room. Hmm, Pikachu moment. Don't compare me to him. Bingle would solo that Pikachu ass any day. <gasps> Ooh. My 70-year-old grandma has taken to referring to Mark Zuckerberg as Zuckerboy. And we need to adopt this permanently, I think. Holy shit, I followed this person back in the day on Live Journal. An actual thing I said about a Tumblr interaction in 2023. Tumblr, the internet friend's senior sanctuary. Shut your mouth. You people can't be crying about blonde, blue-eyed men, right? Naruto means everything to us. Okay, 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 sorry, carry on then. This fly was sealed into the ground at work, and I think that is super cool. Forever in our hearts and in our floor. Everyone do the dinosaur. Oh, hell no, I had e-sex and caught an NFT. <laughs> God damn, that's good. Ah, uh, today feels like a good day to wander into a forest for 30 years, only to come back with antlers, a thousand yard stare, and the ability to speak to the earth. Wait, Zelda's coming out this month? Yes, but he prefers a chic. So it's the month of May, huh? <laughs> well, if you replace the M in May with G, well, you may be surprised at what you find. Gonth. Wait. Feeling sensitive and um, sweet and cute and sinister and plotting evil and being a monster. The new fusibility in Tears of the Kingdom is Nintendo explicitly encouraging us to get silly, and I love it. Puppy is capable of become a dog. Yeah, man. Frank, how much would you be willing to pay for someone to write a Wikipedia article about you? Th this is urgent. I can't explain the situation, but you need to answer as soon as possible. Please, my life could be in danger. Frank, how much money would you pay for a Wikipedia article? Please, answer, please. Nothing. The existence of such an article would make my life worse. First ever post, woo! You have failed a Tumblr. How so? By installing Tumblr. None of us are winners here. You see, Perry the Platypus, when Vanessa was a little girl, she wanted to take estrogen. Of course, I said yes. And since then, she's always been my little girl. Well, recently, Vanessa's school dead named her on her reports. Can you believe that? I mean, we live in a fairly progressive area, and hey, isn't that not allowed in public schools? Anyway, that's when I got the idea for this! The Dead Name Eracinator! That way, not only will Vanessa no longer be dead named, but every other trans person in the tri-state area! I had way too much fun doing that. 
Oh, it's always what are your plans for the future? You should really be planning for the future and never. Wow, that character you're obsessed with sounds so cool. Can you explain them to me? I'm sure you get them more than anyone else. God, hungry, hungry hippos taught me greed. Um, gluttony. I'm not eating small plastic balls. <laughs> Pussy. This is feeling like a very hostile place right now. Redditor who's like, I'm an exclusive special type of human because I work as a software programmer versus Tumblr user who's like, everyone writes fan fictions and ships anime characters, right? Right, that's universal, right? I just realized it's called peanut butter because it's butter made with peanuts. My mind never connected butter and peanut butter before today. I, I need to sit down for a second. What's next? You posting, guys, did you know that a triangle is a triangle because it's got three angles? What? True 2000s nonsense was finding an AMV with a cool song and revisiting the AMV for the song instead of actually looking it up. It just sounds better on the AMV. I, I don't know what to tell you. King Minus. Get this monster out of my sight! Put it in a labyrinth so I never have to look it again! God, holy fuck! The Minotaur born like a day ago. Pfft. You're telling me people don't like when their cat is talkative? You don't like meow meow? <laughs> You don't like meow meow? I literally adopted my cat because one of her characteristics on Pet Finder was talkative. And boy, oh boy, does she talk. I love my cat who never shuts up. Her other two characteristics were affectionate and large. The three qualities of a great cat. Talkative, affectionate, and large. I was put on this earth to do one thing. Luckily, I forgot what it was so I can do whatever I want. I'm sorry, did you mean... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's not Legend of Zelda. It's <clears throat> the Hey, excuse me. Yes, you, the one reading this post. I hope you're safe, both physically and mentally. And if not, I hope you have people you can go to that you do feel safe with. Thank you, Snob. I've been calling my mom girl boss, and she either hasn't noticed or she just accepted that I'm a menace to society. Apple bottom beans! This is a 50k post to me. Don't kill me, please. Yo, can you believe no one had this URL? Oh my god. I love Butterfly Race because half the images of them online comes in two varieties and it's a baby or I know what you are. I consider myself a micro-influencer and the way that I can get 10 to 15 people to consume a piece of media if I'm annoying enough about it. The other day my math teacher was checking my homework and after he was done he said, Bazinga! and walked away. And it hit me with such whiplash that I almost got up and walked out of the classroom. Things you can say in response to literally anything when you have nothing else to say. As the prophecy foretold, but at what cost? So let it be written, so let it be done. So, it has come to this. That's just what he, she, they would have said. Is this why fate brought us together? And thus, I die. Just like in my dream. Be that as it may, still may it be as it may be. There is no escape from destiny. Wise words by wise men write wise deeds in a wise pen. In this economy? And then the wolves came. I personally like the last two. A guy walks in with two puncture wounds on his neck like, you should see the other guy. And then a vampire walks in covered in those cartoony lipstick marks. Someone write this. I've been carrying around this cursed grimoire all day and no one's asked me about it. <laughs> two dudes chilling in open graves five feet apart because they're not gay. This is actually an art piece by Miller and Shellabarger where they dug graves connected by a tunnel so they could hold hands. They're very much gay and IRL married. I will continue posting in big text and cannot be stopped. Lemon lime toilet. I'm afraid you're gonna have to stop. Yes, I am a triple threat. Mommy issues, daddy issues, issues. Shout out to Cheesecake and Cheese Cube, the only dogs near me that have a name including Cheese. 
I hope you find loving homes, but I'm just a lonely college student without the ability to get a dog looking at Pet Finder to find joy in exam season. And the impulsivity demons made me look up cheese. I better get a follow-up story that these two got adopted in our good homes, please. Be me, late at night, craving a Wendy's burger. Not even hungry, I know I'll only take a few bites and throw the rest away. I like the idea of eating a Wendy's burger, but not so much the reality of paying for something I won't eat. Decide to picture the burger instead. Vividly picture platonic form of Wendy's burger. It's perfect. They can't possibly fuck up the order because it's in my mind. I imagine eating the burger bite by bite. I finish. Feel better. No more craving. What the fuck is wrong with me? Capitalism zero, burger topo one. The cha-cha slide in full metal armor. Slide to the left. One hop this time. Two hops this time. Everybody clap your hands. I am a snail. And God is salting me. I think about this post every time the lights at work are too bright and hurt my eyes. It's, it's fun, fun to say it, it though. Is it still Riz if they're Arrow Ace and you want to be friends with them so that you can study them under a microscope? Uh, asking because of a friend. I'm not quite sure on that one. Probably. Life is short. Double text all you want. I only double. <gasps> exactly. I am infinitely texting my crush. Oh god, no. Idea. A do not interact post, but it's just that one verse from Hardware Store by Weird Al. He they Delilah, what's it like in Pronoun City? Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Yes, I would like to inquire about my missing salmon on the table. Uh, okay, bye. So, what's your favorite hydrocarbon? I feel like PM Seymour's boosting your popularity by giving you a voice. How do you feel? Do I really need to express any opinion here? I feel like I just got a new, very competent ghostwriter for my Tumblr blog. I guess what I didn't realize that this is a robot. The macing cheese post changed my life. Shitting out mac and cheese in the microwaves. Some queenie for today. I've never seen a mouse that looks so much like a mouse before. She looks like she belongs on the cover of beloved illustrated children's book. Look at this baby. Andy, please just take one of the pictures. Give it a kid's book title. Look, that's beautiful. It's perfect. There are a lot of similarities between Shadow the Hedgehog and Meta Knight, but one key difference is that while Shadow has a dark backstory to brood about, Meta Knight is just like that. Yeah, Meta Knight could have just been raised in a suburban neighborhood with two parents, a golden retriever, and a white picket fence, and he still would have turned out like that. Kirby fans who know the lore, is this true or not? I had a dream there was a new move and it was a dab, but the arms go down instead of up and the hand by your head was a fist and it was called the crunch. Maddie, I'm sorry to hijack your post, but that's the team magma pose. Also extra fun fact, I'm pretty sure every single one of these guys has a mighty Yenna on their team and they all know crunch. Heck in my day, we didn't call it shit posting. We called it night blogging and blame the Australians. I've been on this godforsaking website for too long. I literally had the sensation of being slammed back in time just now. Nowadays, we just make bad content all day. Entities of assorted gender and species who may or may not identify as sentient. You have heard of hot spicy capsaicin and cold spicy menthol. Now it is time to complete the trifecta of spiciness. Just as our ancestors foretold of the elemental trifecta of fire, ice, and lightning, so too must we complete the spiciness trifecta. Behold, electric spiciness. That is the weirdest way to describe sour, but sure, I'll take it. If anyone tells you that you can't be badass and also girly, don't forget to tell them that one of the most beloved Norse goddesses, Freya, was the goddess of beauty, sexuality, and fertility, but she was also the goddess of sorcery, war, and death. Also, she did all this while riding a chariot pulled by cats. It's great. I love it. Why is this in black and white? Sorry, you will never convince me that FGO stands for anything else except Family Guy Online. Oh, Brian, this reminds me of the time that I was renowned anime character Gilgamesh. You gotta be as gay as possible on the computer. Otherwise, Alan Turing died for nothing. 
obsessed with my partner's cishet friend because he is literally only friends with trans masks. Don't call yourself a cis ally unless 90% of your circle is trans. Fellas, you are never going to believe what happened to her. <gasps> oh my god. I don't believe in astrology, but one time when I was in college, I was complaining about how dumb astrology was, and after a while, someone on the train went, Shut the hell up and let people have fun, you Capricorn sun Virgo moon bitch. I was like, what the fuck? So I went home and looked it up, and they were right, so I, 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 I don't say anything anymore. Imagine being the last owner of Hanako, the 226-year-old Japanese koi that was spawned in 1751 and died in 1977. A fish that outlived seven emperors. A fish that survived the Second World War, and she dies in your care. I would never recover. I'm gonna be honest. What's the literal point of being a spellcaster if you never get a bit where you're levitating and your eyes are glowing and wind from nowhere is whipping your hair and clothes about, mostly back in a suitably dramatic wavy, and there's a strange light about you and fire or lightning or just power crackling, growing in your hands, and you say something authoritative and righteous in a slightly echoing voice and then blast someone. This is glowing and being righteous before healing your main damage healer for a massive amount of HP erasure. This is the only criticism I will accept. Excuse me. Level 9, D20, Meteor Storm. You can have that scene. Just saying. Or even wish. <sighs> My grip on reality is so loose. I thought it was your <laughs> No, I can't. No. Andy, <laughs> just delete it. Just delete it. Get it out of here. <laughs> you have reached your limit on news. Boy, ain't that the truth. Ah, uh, the biggest of moods. Writing prompt, congratulations, you're getting reborn. On the plus side, you'll be a god slash goddess. Downside, you'll be a Greek one and Zeus is mad at you. Good luck. Wait, hey, no, <laughs> I do it, please. When you see your little kitty walking toward you at her leisurely pace and say, hi, baby, because you're excited to see her and she starts trotting a little bit faster because she's excited to see you too. That's what life is all about, I think. But what about how she says, just as she starts her little trot. Ugh, you can't make every character gay. It's not realistic. Well, have you considered that I'm actually going for utopian? Remember to consume water. It's vital to the quest. Do it. One day, kindness will exceed cruelty. One day, I'll forgive the manufacturer of my bedside table for making it magnetic to my little toe specifically. That day is not today. <sighs> Just saw a single piece of paper drift past 50 feet in the air over buildings like a beautiful white bird. Hey, has anyone seen my pet piece of paper? His name's Walter. He's very fragile, but very adventurous. Uh, I should never have left the window open in my 10-story apartment. Love when you stop a cat from doing something, and instead of understanding that they shouldn't be doing that, they're just like, Oh, sorry, my good sir. You seem to have interrupted me. No worries. Let me just sh shimmy past you and get a taste of that pan of hot oil, please. Riding prompt. A garden shop sometimes gifts mysterious tree saplings to customers, but they always wither away. You receive one and plant it, and it ends up flourishing. Oh no. Hey, can I get a made up squirrel fact? They are celebrities in Croatia. C can someone get one time I dreamt to confirm or deny this? Ugh, one time I dreamt is the only Croatian Tumblr users know. <clears throat> yes, this is true. Squirrels are big here. So, how does it feel being the only person in Croatia ever in the eyes of Tumblr? I need all of you to go away. My posts aren't meant to be popular. But what if... I did a thing. <laughs> Evermoth, you are terrible. Tumblr needs a not-for-you page where it just has things that you disagree with and it makes you angry. Oh, uh, that's called Twitter. Fun fact! Crows can talk like parrots do. It requires a process called freeing their tongue, don't ask. But yes, I want to train a flock of them to say run and release them into a hiking trail. I, I, I want to ask, how many nightmares do you want to give people? All of them. Yeah, what was the original inspiration that was the foundation of for Cosmon that slowly spiraled into the brilliant thing that is Cosmon now? Sianna in general, I wanted to give her a story and world to interact in. So... Basically, you made an original universe for your original character to live in. Hey. We must let go of the myth that intimacy is going to be easy. We must stop romanticizing ease. We can do hard things.
you know, that is good advice, but also why this picture? It's hard for two horses to be intimate when there's an erupting volcano nearby. What's not clicking? They should bring back the cane that swoops people off stage. That would be positive for society. That'd be great for debates. Thinking about deep sea creatures. They're out there. More like they're down there. Sometimes you're going to see a really stupid post and you're just going to have to keep your mouth shut online, but you can always say, shut the fuck up, dumb fuck, out loud. They can't hear you when you do that. I have a little plastic cap gun revolver next to my computer, and when I see a really bad post, I take it out and I shoot the post, writing that down. So what do we think of kids today? Well, for one, they all have nut allergies. I suppose you do have to wonder how kids who are allergic to certain nuts were able to survive long enough to enter elementary school. That's a good point. Peanut butter is like everywhere. Hey, Icarus, bro, you want to order some high wings? Oh, 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 oh my God. I'm so fucking sorry, dude. When my boyfriend says wig in front of the cashier at Michael's while we're buying Christmas ornaments and I know our cover is blown as a gay couple and he just outed himself as a bottom. You were two men buying Christmas ornaments in a craft store. There was never a cover believed that you were a couple of straight bros. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Per experimental protocol, we can't disclose whether your boyfriend is part of the test group or part of the control group. Nor can we comment on the likelihood of his inclusion in either cohort. Yeah, suffice to say that it's possible that we're sorry about your boyfriend. Yeah. The urge after watching a period drama to speak only in full and proper sentences without the use of a single conjunction is overwhelming. But I am sure I can overcome it. Shit! How is any of this considered blogging? Sometimes plushies make me cry because it's like they're little guys made to be loved. Their only purpose is to be held and hugged and loved. We made them because we love making things and we love doing things and they're so cute. <laughs> Group of friends who are close because they all have the same superpower, except no, they don't. As in, they all think the other ones have the same superpower as them, but in fact, they do not. For example, Time Traveler, who is always running into these other people who seem to know what's going on or what will happen and is so happy he can finally share his travel stories. A precognitive, who is relieved he isn't the only one with the gift and is so glad to help averting future disasters. A mind reader with a horrible memory who tries to stay on top of things by skimming surface thoughts. You want to talk about next week's election results and how they change the next decade? She's with you. Totally normal guy who thinks the others have the absolute best bit ever and loves playing along. They save the world at least twice without a single clue shared between the four of them. Why does this feel like misfits? Sorry, I'm going to be more normal about him. I need to hunt him for sports. Resisting the urge to ask the people around me to describe how they view me in full, excruciating detail. And then also explain why they view me like that in full, excruciating detail. Behold, behind the scenes of Godzilla 1998. Man, why do they just have this guy fight him off? Dude's huge. Best job in medieval times is probably being the guy who pushes the ladders off the wall when the castle's getting attacked. Literally just pushing it going, bye. Did you know you can strip an angel of its divinity by touching it with a magnet because the memory on its hard drive is easily erased by anything with a strong enough magnetic field? Is that how they work? Okay, listen, we need to talk about your girlfriend. I know you're doomed by the narrative and all, but she keeps defying the will of fate with her vain and ever more desperate attempts to save you. It's seriously going to rend the fabric of space-time if she keeps this up. I'm, I'm not even joking. We're all going to end up in a closed loop of decaying reality. It, if, it's not cute. Stop laughing. If you're wondering, is this a post about that one thing with the lesbian, the answer is yes. Words cannot describe the childlike wonder and joy felt when you encounter a restaurant and they have those fancy soda machines capable of creating wondrous concoctions. The behold, the potion maker. How come every vampire in vampire stories is like a hundred years old, though? Why can't we get like a newbie vampire, like 
How long have you been 17? In about a year and a half, actually. It, it's kind of trippy. I am what they call a conflict escalator. A trained specialist in escalating even the most minor disagreements to the brink of all out violence. A Twitter user? Why don't you just... Uh, stop. The answer is either money or anxiety. Or the bone pharaoh. Stupid bone pharaoh. Hey, is it gay to promise your best friend that you'll wait for them and finally make them feel loved and happy again no matter how long it takes despite reliving your own trauma in the process? Uh, 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 asking for a friend. The Egyptian Mao is probably the oldest breed of cat. In fact, the breed is so ancient that its name is the Egyptian word for cat. Did they name him Mao because that's the sound cats make? Well, now I'm just imagining a very early Egyptian encountering a wild cat for the first time. What the fuck are you? Oh, okay then. I love when they draw a carrot on top of the carrot cake. Just to remind you, this ain't no fucking ordinary cake you're dealing with. Hey, I guess who got too silly and is now going to therapy. Wowzers. Any of y'all ever look at girls? They're just so pretty. One time I went through the Taco Bell drive through and when I tried to order a Baja Blast, I said, Mountain Boom. And then I just left. I couldn't recover. Girl, you need to get out of bed faster than this. I'm giving it all she's got, boss. I'm really, really bad at conversations. Sorry if I've ever talked to you. Doctor diagnosed me with a kind heart and a dope soul. Prescribed me 7,000 milligrams of love and laughter. <laughs> No, I'm not going to tell you what I'm actually on. Magic is real, you fools. It happens when you make other people laugh. <clears throat> eh. Girl, you look like you dropped common loot when defeated. Uh, oh my god. That is brutal. I moved into a two-family house, and it turns out our upstairs neighbors is a beekeeper. There's 20,000 bees in the backyard. She said they're friendly and they will learn my face and behavior pattern and not bother me. I do not want 20,000 bees knowing my face and behavior patterns. Mortifying ordeal of being known by 20,000 bees. Hey, that's 20,000 new friends. You like jazz? I guarantee it. Thanks, Windows. Cats don't know what words mean, and I love that about them. I can say, you are beautiful little angel child, and I love you more than anything else in the entire world. But also, you wretched little clown bastard. You've created such a big mess, and now I have to clean it because I have hands and you don't. This is God's cruelest joke. And they don't care. They just say, and put their little paws on me. Thanks again, Windows. Jesus Christ. I am a writer. Creator of worlds. Enter me. You sit on a throne of unused notebooks. Behold, rainbows with tornado and lightning. The gays are angry. The current ongoing humor of Tumblr is to use monumental and high highfalutin words to describe egregiously mundane things. And I think that's beautiful. Guarantee I got one of those words wrong. Uh, just so you know, Team Rocket's agents are named after two famous outlaws, Jesse James and Butch Cassidy. I feel like everyone would know this, but I have been proven wrong before. Girl who gets fired from her job at a city planner for making the buildings kiss. It's called collapsing, Charlotte. Hundreds died. Big smoochie. God forbid women do anything. There's dogs in your Wi-Fi that run around on the wires and cables and shit delivering you your precious fucking information hanging in their mouths. And if you don't love that, get a VPN. What's surreal, PM, is that I've been watching your YouTube stuff for years now, and I now move to Tumblr, and you're just like, you're just like here. Like, you exist now. I can just post this, and you will most likely see it. Or... You might be surprised how long I've been on Tumblr, too. How long? Twelve years. That's a lot, of, that's a lot of years of being on this side. The truest expression of love is giving someone a cool rock you found. PLV, you're a penguin. A 
Okay, if punching someone is called a knuckle sandwich, then hitting someone with your knees should be called a knees burger. Okay, thank you for your time. Would you like a knees burger? Looking at which characters is funny because there's pretty young people and then there's creatures. Hey, it, it's your boyfriend. Yeah, they, they keep doing things to me. Yeah, I, I'm I'm in a lot of pain at every hour of the day. Yeah, please, please help. Yeah, you better get back here. You know those characters that dress up in huge and terrifying suits of armor, but in reality are just little small beings that look deceptively harmless until you point out how tiny they are, and then they proceed to annihilate you with a sword as big as their armor? Yeah, that, that's a vibe. Those are good characters. I like those. There needs to be a word for when you're starving, but also would rather die than eat any of the food in your kitchen. Chad GBT invented that word, snub grumblies, meaning you're grumbly, but too snub to eat any food you're not interested in. <sighs> Why did it have to be Chad GBT though? The image of myself in my head has become so skewed to the point where this is just what I look like in my head. Like, boy, me, I'm not a small little silly fella. I want to be a little cat surrounded by the horror floor. Wow, this is like too intimate to share with my close friends or family. Let me just put this on my Tumblr blog for hundreds of strangers to see. The human brain literally needs to color green, grass and leaves to like self calibrate and not go insane. I sincerely believe this. So what you're saying is, is we need more green characters in our lives, right? Is that what, is that what you're saying? If you're not obsessed with anything weird and niche, oh, please try harder. Stop going outside for a while. Consider getting weirder about the things you already like. Dog motive. I have a loophole for you. What if they're obsessed about going outside? Ugh, why would you know that? I am curious about the world around me. I googled best cat in the internet. Do what you want with this information. <gasps> you look like a little cartoon character. I love him. Just know if I could crawl on the ceiling on all fours. I would. Marvel's dedication to betraying J. Jonah Jameson as a complex three-dimensional character with likable traits and sympathetic qualities is really funny because it's led to the creation of a character who failingly stands for the truth and integrity in journalism, except for this one specific dude he is absolutely convinced is putting chemicals in the water to turn the frogs gay. I thought by now my desire to have a sword would have gone away. Apparently not. The desire for a sword never goes away. I have two. I still have a desire for swords. Me, a clueless cowboy. Yeehaw. Oh my god, stop. A writing prompt. You throw your rent bill across the room in frustration and it lands under your bed. A few seconds later, a claw pushes the bill back out with a wad of cash. Monster under the bed finally pays fucking rent. Probably bad RPG idea. Evil halflings. There's just something afoot with them. <sighs> Jeff took over the account. Sure, he's a walking, talking curse to humanity, but I like to look at his boobs. Ever thought about that? Being a good artist isn't about having artistic talent. It's about practice and having the willpower of a roach that has been smacked 20 times on the Rolled Up magazine and yet still refuses to die. Girl, I've got a million questions, but all of them are lame-ass questions, so I will be asking you none of them. Have a good day, bye. Devastating. They all got pancaked. How could you do that to them? They're just babies. The DM. The guard will not let you pass. The bard. I'm going to ask again. This time with Riz. Roll persuasion. 27. You raise up the garden, grit through. Andy, I promise to not say that. Maybe. Literally anyone puts butter, garlic, and onions in a pan. Me busting through their wall like the Kool-Aid man. Mm -mm, smells good, what you cooking? Angels with pronouns be like he, him. Blue hair and proverbs. Don't be funnier than me. Stop it. Jesus turned water into wine. Okay, yeah, well, I can turn water into soup. Watch me. Being alive is great because there's so many different vegetables you can saute, but then there's also the horrors. Saute them too. The neurodivergent experience is talking about your brain as if it's a separate entity from yourself. Uh, is it not? 
Ugh, the notes bubble is disgusting. Get that out of my sight. Yuck, ugh, blech. This is not healthy and actually extremely stressful for the animal. Please, let them free roam. This is actually sickening. Yuck. I really need a new vocabulary. I can't keep saying iconic and king over and over again. If you see me in the tag saying shit like, wow, renowned, or his majesty is out there, mind your business, I'm figuring it out. Transcend it, my liege. I have to tell you something that will lower your entire opinion of me. When I was 12, I made flyers for my fan fiction and handed them out at a train station. I'm blown away by the sheer confidence this act required. If anything, my opinion has been raised. The poise, the fearlessness, the laughing in the face of death. I'm speechless. Why do 90% of all medicines sound like cool wizard names? It is I, Zyrtec the Almighty. I am writing that name down. Vanity may be a sin, but I'll be going to hell looking fire. B but no, really, please help, I'm on fire. Beautiful women make me feel like, I don't know, a startled horse. Hi, ladies. Sorry for giving a sprightly little kick in the air as I ran away earlier when you tried to approach me. I, I was just overwhelmed. Please, I'm begging you, don't make me into the next hee-hee-hoo-hoo -hoo funny internet post. Time to send it to a YouTubes. One day it was just me minding my own business that I started getting likes out of nowhere. Where the fuck are you people coming from? I don't know, man. You're the one who offered to draw a frog. If you've heard of writer's block, you get ready for reader's block. You want to read. You have time. You know what to read. You have a pile of books ready to be read. And you cannot sit still and focus enough to do so, or you can't even open the book. Horrible. Don't like that. Good job. Oh my god, guys, I'm learning anatomy. This absolutely fucking sucks. <laughs> eBay listing pictures remain an untapped well of fantastic images. Look at that. <laughs> I guess you could say <laughs> Vaporia, it's got the uh, <laughs> It's got the drip <laughs> Andy, please just end the video <laughs> It's got the drip It's got the drip It's got the drip Drip, drip Drip, 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 drip. This is to the guy in the electronics department at Walmart who, when I approached and said, game, because it was the only word that could come to me, went, yeah, and walked me straight to Tears of the Kingdom. No questions asked. Bless you. Why is it when I find a guy that wants to date me, he ends up hurting me in the end? Like, hey, God, stop hurting me for character development or I'm going to develop into a villain. Hot take. I'd rather be alone and miserable than have to burden someone I love with my awful mental state. You got this, this, this right here, this, this. So do we all agree that YouTuber slash influencer is the by far best job for a vampire, right? The bonus points if they're VTubers and just pretend to have the model on. Looking at you, Nosferatu. To be honest, hate watching is such an alien concept to me. I can barely be bothered to watch the things I do want to watch. Why would I bother looking at something I know I won't like? This is a good point. Water bender bending a gender fluid person. Yeah, call that a gender bender. Yeah. Sorry, but in my conquest for power, I had to take the femme from your boys and give it to my men. An army of femmen. Absolutely horrible that I cannot make the colon three face IRL. This is wretched. Earth, you are my wishing star. Here's how you look from my home on the surface of Mars. You are my wishing star is so romantic. Why is Mars rover so slick? I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but suffering is not noble. Take the Tylenol. One time when I was younger, I was refusing to take headache medicine, and my mom said, you know, the person who invented that medicine is probably so sad you won't let them help you. And now every time I find myself denying medicine, I just imagine the saddest scientist making those big wet eyes like, why won't you let me help? And whoop, then I take the medicine. That's actually a good way of doing that, writing that down, thank you. Probably bad RPG idea. Establish your big bad as the villain by having them throw a multi-million extravagant parade to celebrate how great they are as they sit in golden robes in their palace while the peasants are finding it difficult to buy bread. Purely fictional, no resemblance to real events. 
Mm. So what are you guys working on? Just surviving, really. That's our two. Can you imagine not being human and just living out your days as a weeping willow, though? Beautiful, by the water, unburdened, ideal. I want to be the one from Harry Potter that beats the shit out of everyone and everything. Hmm. My nose occasionally sounds like a Geiger counter. Am I going crazy or are the nanobots taking over? Oh, shit. Andy, Andy, quick, pull out the nanobots. They're activating. Yep. That's enough of that. I'm evil, I'm unlovable, I'm wretched, I'm turning into something unrecognizable, I am a monster. Sat alone in room for too long. Y'all ever do the ADHD thing where you have an extreme craving for a specific food item, and if you don't eat just said food item in the next 30 minutes, you will drop dead on the spot? That's an ADHD thing? I want to look so gender, people won't be able to tell if I'm a femboy or a tomboy. Damn. Powerful. None of y'all know what propaganda actually is, do you? Yeah, it's when a British person takes a good look at something. This is legitimately the funniest thing anyone has ever said to one of my posts. Thank you for your service. Andy, I'm sorry, I gotta do it. This is revenge for what you did last video. Propaganda. 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 The cat owner invited their neighbor over for dinner and introduced their four cats. That's Alog, Aract, Airpriller, and Astrophy. They announced. The neighbor was surprised and asked, where on earth did you get those names? Oh, those are their last names, the owner said. Their first names are Cat. <sighs> when you set out on the path of revenge, dig two graves. You never know when the other guy might have cloned himself. Thank you, evil wizard. I'm so tired of John Bizarre Adventure. I don't want to see those large and colorful men on my dashboard anymore. Well, that's why they deactivated. They got hit with the colorful men. When I'm listening to my own library and playlists, I feel like a powerful wizard. But when I'm trying to show my music taste to anyone, it feels like I have a shame going on. Yeah, the only difference between a wizard hat and a dunce cap is a wide brim of privacy. Ask.com, what is a baby worm called? There is no term for a baby worm. It is just called a worm. Well, this just makes me sad. I'm calling them squiglets. I've never played D&D &D before, but I've come up with the cutest bard character I could possibly imagine. Okay, imagine this. Frog. But j j just hear me out for a second. This bard is a frog who can't speak English. All he could do is ribbit and croak. And the DM would have a list of translations of different ribbit and croak patterns to translate what the frog is saying. For example... Ribbit Crow Croak could mean, how are you? Or Croak Ribbit could mean, good evening. Is this a good idea or would it be too complicated? No, I think it would work, but it would also come down to if your bard magic is actually going to be like ribbit singing or if you're also going to use an instrument because that might be where it gets tricky. You know, I could be the person who changes the stoplights. Red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. It comes naturally to me. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, your boyfriend is someone's favorite Borbo. Yeah, so he's in a bunch of scenarios in their head. Super sorry. The fact that pro-monarchy arguments have degenerated over the past few centuries from the king rules by divine right and is accountable to nobody but God to um, the royals generate a lot of income from tourism will never stop being extremely funny to me. The monarchs bad. But the castles, oh, the castles are positively lush with rats. Delete this account immediately. It's all about reading the URL names, kids. An evil spirit is playing my throat bones like a xylophone. My throat hurts, please stop. Nobody knows where I came from. I just showed up one day and started doing my thing and God was like, who the hell is that? I didn't invite them. Pets are amazing. You have a little guy just hanging around your house, just vibing. And they let you pet them. Whispering no while reading a book because you know that the character is about to make a fool out of themselves and kill you with secondhand embarrassment. Happy Feet is a story of a little autistic dude who stems so good he caused a reformation in the church. Goals, really? You do not have to complete this drawing right now. You can always come back to it later. Hey, I have ADHD. And if I stop at any given point, then this project will be dead to me. There will be no coming back to it later. To be honest, if someone just handed me a pressure washer and set me loose in the streets, I would go into a trance and just start hosing shit down indiscriminately. It's not a question of how much I could clean. If 
But how long until I get hit by a car and die? Super Mario Sunshine. I can fix them. Okay, but I can fix the narrative. I can recontextualize events and bring out deaths of the character. I can shift priorities and strengthen relationships and show that anyone can change with enough kindness and support. And that what you admired at him has been inside yourself this whole time. Wow. <sighs> the angels and Evangelion got it right. Sometimes it is really about just being a floating orb, a floating octahedron, or a large string of light. Or sometimes the main character's mom. So I just found out that bats can purr. So does that mean vampires can also purr? I've, I like, imagine a vampire just cuddling with their partner and they just start purring. I googled it and apparently vampires can indeed purr. This changes everything. Yes, yes, you're very beautiful. Bewitching even. Awful parking job, by the way. No one can love you until you love yourself is like the worst possible way of articulating. If you don't respect and value yourself, it's very easy to become attracted to people who don't treat you right and then justify the mistreatment. So be careful. So that's what it's supposed to mean. That actually makes sense. Yo, Earl Grey really put his whole ass pussy into this tea blend. And I don't know what the fuck a bergamot is, but this shit tastes like men's deodorant and it fucks. As a habitual Earl Grey drinker, I think tastes like men's deodorant will stay with me for the rest of my life. I hate that you're kind of right. I... Goddamn you wizard potions! The what if I jokingly shipped it to the I genuinely ship it pipeline is real and it knows your location. You can have characters in your mind, but watch out! They will move in forever and won't even pay rent. Give all bosses health meters. I thought this was about, like, managers IRL and was very confused. I hate the guessing game on how much damage my attacks do against the regional manager. God! Yeehaws. Safely. I'ma be stuck in a heat pass. Existence is weird and strange and extrinsic. Can't stop you from making something silly or cool or mundane. If it makes you happy, it's good. Mmm, not enough whimsy. Thirty years in the dungeon for you. Damn, Shorty, your Blobo have the most recognizable tits ever. You <laughs> shh. Shut your mouth. I hate these modern all-plastic playgrounds for kids. Safety, blah, 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 blah. They're ugly. I know that children crave steel and iron. Rock and stone! Asked for a two-piece of KFC, and they asked breast or thigh. I said personality, and they threw hot grease on me. Why is Texas called the Lone Star State? Because you can't leave a zero stars rating. Who <laughs> stars and I do big bright? We all love the becoming the very thing you sought to destroy trope, but I have a growing fondness for destroying the very thing you sought to become. Mix them up into a thick slurry of you end up becoming the thing you sought to destroy in order to destroy the thing you sought to become. Jesus, you guys writing campaigns here? Pros of having a brain that makes very fast associations. Good comebacks and jokes. Cons of having a brain that makes very fast associations. The story about how you broke your foot reminded me of a fun fact about lizards. Yeah, yeah. Listen, sometimes you just gotta keep a shuffle through the sadness. <laughs> to the right, to the right. Damn, baby girl, why you forget everything? You're so sexy. Get away from me. The fact that there are only two numbers between four and seven is so twisted and fucked up, I'm literally going to be sick. The girls are learning to count. Technically, there's an infinite amount of numbers between them, but I'm afraid if I try to explain decimals, I'll either lose my gay card or get shot. My inner eight-year-old is constantly freaked out at the realization that life is not some special state of matter. I am a mineral being. My insides are red because rust is red. The internal structure my body secretes is made out of the same stuff as cliffs and chalk. I am a wet rock that time tricked into thinking. A wet rock that time tricked into thinking got me. I think Ortel needs a little nap. Andy, can you set them up a little bit, please? There we go. Per be be behold, uh, internet cable line accidentally drilled through unknown buried woman. Good going. Now the internet's haunted. Explains the state of things. Why would you ship Zelda with Ganondorf when Orbosa is right there? Why would you ship Ganondorf with Zelda when Twink is right there? You mean you don't just, you know, th this, this right here? Put Sidon in there somewhere. So let's see, Urbosa is for Zelda, Sidon is for Link, and I really can't see Sidon doing anything with Zelda or Urbosa doing anything with Link, to be honest. Ganon definitely goes with Link and Zelda, though, for sure. 
So the rules of the Triforce and geometry implies the existence of an anti-Ganondorf connected to Arbosa, Zelda, Link, and Sidon at the same time. Here, I fixed it for you. Ah, there, there we go. Midden is right there. Meanwhile, poor Pius crying in the corner. Men don't like that. It's such a turn off. Good. Turn off. Where's your off button? Shut up. Stop making noise. Andy, find our off button and shut it off. No offense, but I've been learning how to have fun in dumb circumstances. I was showering during the storm tonight, and the light started flickering violently. So I peeked out from the curtain and looked at my cat sitting on the counter and said to her, Mrs. Obama, it's been an honor. And then the power went out. Your comedic timing is godly. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Uh, no thank you. Ever want to raise an emotionally sound child just to flex on your parents? Yeah. One time I dreamt I spilt milk on my laptop and it exploded. This sounds like something that would happen considering the laptop I had from 2007 to 2019 burst into flames on my lap. What? Apparently, Thursday at my school is dressed like your romantic type day. Presumably not an official school event. Anyway, do this with your OCs. Well, that sounds like a fun idea, actually. I think we should all get tomorrow off for no particular reason. The next day, too. You know, maybe all of the days. Yeah. 20s mobster boyfriend who is weirdly affirming because he just answers everything with, All right, boss. And on it, boss. And good idea, boss. And started playing Tears of the Kingdom. And the amount of times I said, Well, hello, when I find something has skyrocketed. Yeah, that game does it, do you? Don't die is my favorite thing to tell people when they're going to go do something. Going to the store? Don't die. Going to the bathroom? Don't die. Going to Mars? Don't die. Going to write an email? Don't die. Driving to the gas station? Don't die. It fits every situation except maybe a funeral visitation because then I think that'd be a little bit rude. My toxic trait is how confident I am I could be a guardian of the galaxy. Hey, listen. If crispy rats can do it, so can you. Today's inspirational message. We do this not because it is easy, but because we thought it would be easy. <sighs> Mood. My attention span is a 10-year-old. Reads the Lord of the Rings trilogy in like two sittings. My attention span now. Checks internet every 10 minutes during important task. Opens new tab of same site I'm already browsing and got tired of. Well, I feel fucking called out. Personally, I always felt like hobbits age at roughly the same age as exceptionally healthy humans. And the reason that they don't come of legal age until 33 is because have you met people in their 20s? Because Tolkien did. Funny, Pippin is an idiot because he's not an adult yet. Funnier, Pippin is an idiot because he's 28. I have read that as of lethal age no less than three times. Hobbits received their license to kill at 33. This all post was a blessing. Your reaction to ChatGPT instantly lets me know how easy it is it would be to trick you into thinking that you are haunted. Oh my god, it's literally alive! Two beers, 45 minutes, deck of tarot cards, and I'm charging you $350 for an exorcism. You know, all clothes are unisex when you're normal. Damn, hey, right? No, no, sweetie, mommy's bearing the curse. <sighs> Electrostatics is a branch of physics that studies electric charges at rest. I will love this image for the rest of my existence. What day gave creation to such wonderful imagery? What events led up to this occurrence? I want to know. Oh, they look so guilty. A relationship. Except it's not a relationship because both sides are too scared to make the first move. Well, I feel like that's going to summon the miraculous ladybug fandom. And when you pull out a pin of a grenade, how do you put it back? Urgently? Quick answers, please. Not to vague blog, but there is someone on Tumblr. Pucky, why is all your merch gone? I wanted a tax evasion hoodie, but now I can't get one, so we have to duel. They come in campaigns. They're like sexy little ghosts that I can summon. Ooh, buy my merch. I don't want traditional burial. I want to become a bog body. Excellent. I'm an archaeologist, and I do research on bog bodies. Thank you. This is... Threatening! Three hours of silence. I think that's called tinnitus. Ran into someone from my high school who told me they had recently transitioned, and I was over the moon because I had forgotten their name. File under even more blatant proofs this people can joke about trans people without it being at their expense. Hmm.
I didn't almost die for not money. Chaotic neutral ranger about wanting to get paid. How many words does it take to fill my EXP bar before I level up as a writer? Too many. Our Japanese class found it funny that in common terminology, food isn't very distinguished from specifically rice, until it was pointed out that in English, meal is loose, roughly ground grain. Humans be like stable crop. Stable crop to what? Directly to forehead. Apply this post directly to forehead. Start consuming currency. Consume, eat it, until there's nothing left. What are they gonna do? Put all eight billion of us in a prison? We must unite for this cause. As they say, eat your greens. Vote not allowed. The fuck, man? Do I have a Tumblr criminal record or some shit? New Tumblr feature. Voter suppression. Behold. Fuzzbug. He will deliver serotonin and give you fluffy hugs. <gasps> I love him. This is a no gimmick account zone. If your shit is called something like we write posts, you are not welcome. Go home. I disagree. <laughs> YouTube musicians, when a new Pokemon generation is announced, will compose Pokemon door and window battle team sponge boss fan made prediction. And it's orchestral with chanting in the background and just meant to sound super evil and dramatic like you're fighting the Antichrist. And then door and window finally come out and you finally confront the real leader of Teen Sponge and he's this pale twonk with pink hair and blue eyes who dabs before throwing his first Pokeball and, and his canon battle theme is a Eurobeat remix of the It's Muffin Time song from Astiff Movie. And don't forget the gratuitous use of Gen 5 light motifs. <sighs> Definitely don't forget that. It's over, mannequin! I have the high ground! Look, I'm sorry, okay? Just... Okay? Hey, Hoofbeat, can you share that fucked up photo of your laptop from Twitter? Bananas. Do not let the Yiga clan anywhere near OP. Eh. Um, why do you charge money for your art? Well, big fan of eating. That's a start. Oh, <sighs> wish I was floating in a big glass tank full of neon green fluid while a bunch of guys in lab coats monitored my brain activity. You are king, you just don't know it yet. That moment when you realize the project you expected to be no more than 500 words is now over a thousand. Oh God. You know, I put this napkin on Bean as a joke, but he hasn't moved out from under it and it's been about 20 minutes, so... Mother has given me a blanket. It is a most joyous day. Unironically, people need to learn to say, they haven't done anything wrong. I just find them annoying. Yes. You don't need a 3,000 word essay to just dislike something. You can just not like it. Takes off my leather jacket to reveal a second secret leather jacket underneath. You mean skin? What an absolutely terrifying addition to my post. Thank you. Yeah, you know, a friend of mine who worked leather had this leather conditioner that he used for sunburn that he swore worked fantastically. My face must have displayed my misbelief. He just shrugged and said, skin is just leather waiting to happen. Skin is just leather waiting to happen? What? Have you seen this man? Well, now you have. Look at him, baby. Um, I wasn't trauma dumping. I was telling you my lore. God, vinyl is so cool. Like you just you just put a circle on a spinny and it plays the music you like. <gasps> Almost forgot the pointy. There's also a pointy. It's pretty cool. Writing prompt. Like how Prometheus gave fire to man, you too have followed in his footsteps and gave fire to the Corvids. <sighs> Flame breathing crow, flame breathing crow, flame breathing crow. Always interesting how trans people see their transition. Some people are like, I was a boy, now I'm a girl. Some are like, I was always a girl. And every once in a while you get a fun one like, I used to be a boy, but the girl won. This vessel used to belong to a young man, but he had a weak will and gave in to my dark influence. That's a good one. I love tiny bug type Pokemon so much. They're like the best things ever. Look at them. If Pokemon were real, I wouldn't have depression. I just have a bunch of bugs in the pocket of my cargo pants. In the Pokemon, th this would be me. Look at that Joltik, I love them. I really enjoy just existing in hotels. The long identical hallways, the soulless abstract art, the weird noises the air conditioner makes, 
Strange city lights in the window, six stories off the ground, strangers chatting in the hall, nothing in the dresser. No past, but an infinite present. Damn, man, what hotel did you stay at? Mm, just seen a bathroom sign that says Femmes. I'm sure if this is woken out. Update, the men room says Holmes. The seafood restaurant is safe from the woke mob, but not from the dastardly Frenchman. Link, crushed by taluses, shot with lasers, set on fire. Fancy he can fall from the sky into the water. Ugh, that should have killed him. Man's a cockroach, you just finding out? The story is a tragedy because it didn't have to end this way. Versus, the story is a tragedy. They should bring it was always going to end this way. All right, top one right there, that's Elden Ring. Bottom one, that's Dark Souls. So fucking eepy. Dare I say it? Maybe a little DB? <gasps> yeah. You know, just because he's evil and can't be reasoned with doesn't mean he can't be my baby girl. Ugh. I was going to do this one with the music and everything too on YouTube, but I'm pretty sure YouTube would actually flag that. So we're just going to do this one dry. But if you go to somewhere else, like Twitter or Tumblr, it might be there. Anyway, here we go. Stacy's mom turned me into a frog. I'm eating flies and live inside a log. Stacy, can't you see? She has placed a spell on me. Now I'm in a bog and look just like a small green frog. Fuck it, I also might just make it a short on YouTube with the music, okay? Okay. Hey, hamster, you won't believe this, but I just saw your evil shadow twin, may not hamster. If anyone asks, they did it. I can fix him. I can make him worse. Yeah, well, I can pet him on the head like a doggy. Is this about blood? Meme news, the Brazilian actress Renata Sora came out as bisexual at the age of 76. That's her, by the way. She's an icon and also very talented. We stand. Well, now we know what she's trying to work out. How to unregister from NBA draft. I don't want to play. How to dodge NBA draft. Car company named Edison that sells the exact same cars as Tesla with a different logo. <laughs> My legs end, and yet, where's my praise? What songs have been written in my honor? Why do the townspeople not throw roses any time I enter the gates? Blasphemy, I say. Behold a very wee hermit crab. <sighs> His shell too big for he goddamn him. And now, a word from the Washington State DNR. If you encounter a cougar on the trail, we strongly recommend the opposite of pss But... But I won't. You experience feelings of alienation. I experience feelings of alienation. A sword made out of the wreckage of a U.S. military plane gifted by Laotian communists to Vietnam. This is the only weapon that can kill Henry Kissinger. Item, Kissinger Bane Blade. <laughs> Let it rip. <laughs> Ugh, not all girls are made of sugar, spice, and everything nice. Some are made of muscles, tendons, blood, bones, and skin. Oh, cool. I train these clever creatures to save victims trapped in collapsed buildings after earthquakes. We kit them out with a rat backpack and train them to trigger a switch when they find a victim and come back for a tasty treat. Imagine being buried alive and then seeing this little guy with a backpack suddenly arrive. It gets better. So you're trapped into rubble, then a rat shows up, flicks a switch on its little tum-tum, and starts talking to you. Well, the Rescuer's live-action adaptation looks good as hell, actually. Historical inaccuracies in period dramas are okay as long as I like them. They are, however, punishable by death if I don't. It just seems very selective. Cell phone doesn't like water because it is a combination of the other three elements. It is a rock earth that we fill with lightning fire and can control radio waves air. If it contained water too, it would be too perfect. It would be like a God. To prevent this, the universe kills the would-be uniter of the elements. It's basic science. AOP, Google what LCD stands for. I took an oath in third grade to never do drugs. S so that's a sober thought you're having right there. Why so problematic, Batman? The Kensler. Why so twice, Batman? The Onesler. I'm crying and praying that Kensler is going to get you for this. 
You know, Mewtwo as a concept is so fucked up. If a bunch of scientists cloned me and my clone had wider hips, I'd end it all. I love him for that and other things, not even denying that. Well, you know what they say. When they shaped like a pear, you're in for a scare. <laughs> Dude, that was so fucking stupid. Gentle reminder, you are very capable and I'm excited for your future. Slightly less gentle reminder. You do have to work for it. I like saying I'll allow it only in contexts where I have no power or authority. On the topic of short Link, here's your forced reminder that Link is smaller than Zelda in Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, A Link Between Worlds, Breath of the Wild, Age of Calamity, Tears of the Kingdom. Hell, even in the original Legend of Zelda, she's like a pixel taller than him, maybe. Every time you draw a Link taller than Zelda, A.G. Numa cries. I've seen it, you guys. He, he just bursts into tears. Don't do it. I haven't seen any cat gifs lately. What has happened to the internet? Is the apocalypse starting? Andy Quick, you might want to give him a cat gif. These koi are really aggressive, but look at the markings. Beautiful. These new bots are not okay. Them having actual Tumblr names is giving me psychic damage. I, I feel like curling up in a corner and crying. Yesterday, remaining forefinger followed me, and the fact that this isn't a non-binary artist from Poland who works as a dentist assistant, but a bot makes me want to scream. Poor one out for this choice by URL. Oh, man. That is a good name. Do you ever wonder what it's like outside of Hyrule? There's sometimes mentions of other lands and kingdoms, so Hyrule isn't the only country in that world, but, like, do the residents of those areas have to deal with the same shit as Hyrule? Like, when the average Zelda villain shows up and summons a bunch of monsters, do they have to fight Lizalvos and stuff, or are they, like, spared from this fate by virtue of not being Hyrule, and they just watch what happens from afar, like, passerby staring at an overturned truck on the highway? That's a very good question. Cat genders, best and prettiest girl ever, distinguished little man, baby, old woman who constantly judges, a scrunkly fellow, sink gremlin, lesbian, bitey. Much like humans, these genders are not connected to reproductive organs, but are based mainly on vibes. All true and correct, but I think you missed two. Bastard and idiot, which are, in my professional opinion, different from bitey and scrunkly fellows. You know what? Yes, you're absolutely correct. I don't know why people think that Ohio is so weird. If anything, I think that New York and its cities are weird. What can you experience in New York? The web slinging Spider-Man? Literal ghost? Human-sized mutant turtles? Giant fruit landing on buildings? Live dinosaurs escaping the Natural History Museum? And a grown-ass man who thinks he's an elf? What do we have in Ohio? Corn and pie heads. That's it. Now so weird now, are we? The thing about that is, Purple Winter Sash, yours are real. Today's gay mission. Approach a straight couple and casually ask, So, who's the 12 in one shampoo in the relationship? Oh my god, you shut your mouth. I always am about to go to sleep at a beautiful 11 p.m. And then... Something happens to me. Rings my glass with knife handle at your wedding. May I have your attention, please? I would like to make a call-out toast for the couple, as they owe me ten bucks, but also I wish them happiness. Yeah, I'll provide the confetti for your wedding. On your special day, you realize too late you are being showered and printed off miniature copies of all your problematic tweets. Evil. It's so melodramatic how long burns continue to hurt. Like, girl, don't worry. You ain't going back on the stove. Learn my lesson. Behold. Burns. The portal opens. Oh god, Henny, watch out for the snakes. You know a joke that never, ever gets old is when a character says something like, I will not go to place and that is final. And then it cuts to them in that place. I eat that shit up every single time. Equally good variant. When a character says something like, what's the worst that could happen? And it cuts to a scene where it's so much worse than what they imagined. Well... At least it's not raining. Oh. POV, you're the king and I just made an inappropriate joke about your virility in front of the whole royal court. And you want to punish me, but you can't react in anger, lest the court think my joke is true. <laughs> Only in New Jersey. 500 pounds of pasta found dumped in the woods. 
fucking what? Hey, Dennis Papyrus' trap, you leave it be. Sealing in the heat of the coffee. This is what images are all about. Oh my God, that is so satisfying. I just, just want to touch it. Good, good thing girls aren't real, right? <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> She's standing right behind me, isn't she? Fun fact of the day. Don't use stairs as a bed. No matter how appealing it feels when you awake, you will not appreciate it in the morning. Thank you, Soup. Writing prompt. You go to hell, but Satan tells you he'll send you to heaven if you can beat him in a game of your choice. Gay chicken. Either I win, or we have to start fake dating and eventually get married. Then what does it matter if I'm in hell? I'm half in charge. Modern problems require modern solutions. And finally... <laughs> what is transgenders even about? Vroom vroom car turns into a robot? Transformers! Transformers! I meant Transformers! Transgenders? I got the words Jacuzzi and Yakuza confused. Now I'm in hot water with the Japanese Mafia. I didn't want to like it, but I did. Why don't you make like a tree and slowly grow while helping others around you grow too? What? Why would I want you to leaf? Wait, wait, uh, oh. Reblog, if you have used dude as a non-gender specific term. Where I grew up in California, not only is dude generally non-gender specific, half the time it doesn't even refer to a person at all. I said it to a faucet today. A customer once came in to order a sandwich and I went, I want this dude. Dude is more than a word. It's an emotion. You know what I'm saying, dude? Come hither, fool. The fool jingled miserably across the floor. This has got to be the funniest sentence I have seen all day. I'm going to cry. Me getting my name called to get my order at Starbucks. Fun fact, my parents got married on April Fool's Day. So when I was seven, I tried to be funny and I made them an anniversary card that said, your marriage is a joke. And my mom cried. God damn, this one's so sad and funny. Sense has chased you your entire life. But you are faster. I don't know why they said this, but this is a world-class insult. Oh, to be a gaunt dog given a chain of sausages by a burglar in exchange for my silence. A dream. Optimal posting time, stagger your posts. If you see me, you see me. It's in God's hands and I am not praying. It's in God's hands and I am not praying. Now that's a yearbook quote. Is American football OSHA compliant? I'm going to personally make sure it isn't. <laughs> Happy anniversary to the time my mom ran into the living room because I was yelling and this was on screen. Slang adjective for someone you think is not what they seem, especially if they might be the imposter in the game Among Us. Oh my god, did this actually happen? YouTube chat, please help me out here. By the way, I'm the prettiest boy and the most handsome girl, so just something to consider. Wow. You know, Michael Lafton is really just the video game protagonist. He has a tragic backstory. He's traumatized. He is hunting his serial killer dad. The best fake name he can come up with is Mike Schmidt. He's an arsonist. He's a corpse. He watches soap operas. He's a business owner. And he is dying for his father's sins. He's also British. My God. Hey, do you know? No, I do not. Don't ask me questions. You have the entirety of humanity's collected knowledge in your hands. I have my own questions about things I have to think about. Like what's the difference in calories required to lift off for a swallow compared to a seagull? That's a very good question, actually. Guys, stop asking me if my wife is single. You guys know I have a crush on her. Just stop it. Non-copyright infringing fictional version of Cookie Clicker called Muffin Multiplier. Why does that sound funner, though? Did you know there's a rat in Triceratops? Every Triceratops has a rat in its head crest, controlling it like ratatouille. That makes so much sense now. Hey, do you mind holding this? Uh huh. Uh, 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 please go back, please go back, please go back, please go back, please! PSA. Tetris now has an official Tetris McNugget at McDonald's. Disappointingly, it is only available in China. On a totally separate topic, does anyone else want to go to China? Every time a Tumblr user creates a new gender, a 4chan user creates a new political ideology. This should be a joke, but not really. Dear God. Hey, champ, do you have a, a skeleton that you're not using? Yeah. <laughs> Dad? Answer his question. 
I don't think the Joker chemicals really did all that when he fell in. I think he just wanted an excuse to be like that. The Joker chemicals made me crazy. That was a mild detergent. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you're at a low point, if you were a fictional man right now, there would be at least 10 people, if not a large portion of the fan base, that would call you their wet beast poor little meow meow. Well, thanks, man. God, my back hurts. I need someone to crack me over their knee like a wooden dowel. <laughs> oh, thank you. House arrest is so funny to me. You committed crimes. Stay home. And you know, in your dog's perspective, you are the slow walking NPC in escort missions. Oh my God, you shut your mouth. What is your most controversial video game hot take? The pursuit of photorealism in games is a fruitless endeavor that only results in bloated file sizes that take too much space. Mario is a woman and just really butch. Press A to be weird and unsettling. Um, I'm doing it and it's not working. Andy, help me. Hey, yeah, sorry. Your boyfriend lost a dual monster shadow game and his soul is now in the shadow realm. <sighs> Yeah, now he's stuck there forever unless you beat me in a game. Yeah, sorry. It's time to did it did it did it duel. Yeah. All right, this is spoilers for Tears of the Kingdom. So Andy, slap a timestamp on when it's safe to come back to the video if you don't want spoilers. All right, there you go. So, who's angry and jealous that Sidon got a fiance in Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, I think you're a little jelly. I'm not just a little jelly. I'm furious! <laughs> Beautiful girls named Severe Weather keep messaging me, so how are things going for you? Quite a jarring experience having a lot of new followers. All my posts that would usually get zero notes now get three. Relatable statement, except for the horrors. I had three fic ideas. Wrote one. I still have three fic ideas. This is not how math is supposed to work. Can this post please back up? It's too close to home. I have five ideas. I wrote two. Now I have seven. Listen, they're called plot bunnies for a reason. And it's not just because they hop around all over your brain demanding attention. 99 fanfic ideas on my blog. 99 fanfic ideas. You take one down, pass it around. 137 fanfic ideas on my blog. This post walked into my house and kicked in my ribs. Messenger, what news have you from the Yowie front? I can't feel my legs. Ah, oh, shame. Rest in the dining hall. The Yuri nuns will attend to your wounds. Uh, uh, Gads, perhaps you may wait here. The nuns appear occupied. What do you mean occupied? <gasps> British people are so fucking cute. They call Christmas lights fairy lights. They call sweaters, jumpers, sneakers, or trainers. They say, you're all right, you're okay, instead of, how are you? I, I, I quit. Oh, you done messed up now. Andy, get them. I really thought you all needed to see this bunny shape chart I found on an official rabbit breed website. I need all of you to understand this. We don't talk about this enough. Look at Compact Bunny. My greatest fear is that one day I'll make a big post. Buddy, if you ever decide you want to make a big post, I'll be here to guide you through every step of the way. Every... Hey, y'all, is it normal to make sound effects under your breath during your day-to-day -day life, or is my neurodiverging? Well, I'm writing down the words neurodiverging. I want to see a full-blown Sith fight because somebody put a kazoo in DOS rebreather mask. Please, it would be so good. Sneakily replaces your big text with text that looks like this. Hmm, something's off about this. Oh no, it's the ye old English nader text. From now on, I will be posting in big text, so watch out. I have stepped on 30 Tumblr users and hospitalized five. I could not see them, they were too small. I am sorry. I had a dream that I went to Nintendo and they revealed to me that all this time the real Pokemon designer was this Russian guy named Vladivir Pokemon designer. And I asked him why he named Jigglypuff that and he said, Is Puff is Jiggly? Are you a jokester? And he crushed my head like an empty soda can. That wasn't a dream. It was a glimpse of your past life. 
Some girl in my class was talking about McDonald's shamrock shakes and this yeehaw dude in cowboy boots said they suck and then looked me in the eyes and said, what you're gonna do is go to Arby's and get yourself a mint chocolate chip shake. And he said it with such authority and certainty that I did so as soon as I got in my car. I see your concern, y'all, but this wasn't a man telling me what to do. This was a man who had important knowledge and shared it with me. He was aiding me on a quest I didn't even know I was on. You fool, that was Arby himself. Funny how his name is Neil Armstrong, when if you think about it, to Neil you don't Armstrong, you strong Neil, and the strong on the ground strong Neil. Thanks, John. You know, since this post is being read out loud by Seymour, I can make him say anything I want. Andy, make the background color boob 69. <gasps> you sneaky son of a bitch. Andy, you didn't do it right. They didn't trick you, right? Although they have a reputation as scavengers, hyenas are known to take down prey many times bigger than they are. I like how this implies the hyena took down the airplane. She did. If you went to a bar and the bartender was a mouse girl, you could ask for a drink and she would balance it on her head and say, For you, it's on the mouse. I love this. I need to see it in action now. You're in her DMs. I'm in his Sims world. We are not the same. 327. What did I do? 326. What's going on? 325. 324. 323. Just kicked this dude so hard his worms came out. Wait, I'm sorry, what? You know, it ain't too bad being locked in a magic tower. Free food, no rent, I get the read in peace, and the sun's never waking me up. Primarily because there's no windows, but you know, made shit. When's this site coming out with a night mode? This site is being kept together with glitter glue and toothpicks. Stop making demands. God. Best road rage I've ever seen was this girl screaming out of her car window, I hope you don't fuck like you drive! I still think about that sometimes. That is an amazing bird, I am writing that down. I love recess duty. You overhear things that momentarily immerse you in a whole different world. Like, let's play ice cream chalk. She's the monster. This is how R.L. Stein comes up with ideas. Wizards thinking of clerics as hacks because we spent years of study learning the secrets of the universe. They cheated and got a god to do the magic for them. Clerics thinking of wizards as hacks because we spent years serving and cultivating a deeply personal relationship with a god. They copied down some cheat codes to make stuff blow up. You two should be upset at sorcerers. They got their powers because one of their parents fucked a dragon. And we don't make fun of the warlocks in this house, trust me. We, we, we don't. Target acquired. Dumbass mode engaged. This is Baby Girl. Holds up an adult man, probably over 100 years old, not even human. Yeah, it sounds right. Remember when the white women kept asking us to hashtag stuff? No, I don't. Could you elaborate? No. I love it when my silly words spread to my friends, and then it spreads to their friends. Share my disease, you silly binguses. Don't click on that! Oh, phew. Sorry, just be careful. Uh, Many people don't know that PDF stands for Poison Dart Frog. Wait, why? Like for dragons. Reblog for dragons. Reply for dragons. Ignore for dragons. <laughs> dragons. If I was a mute, I would always be texting people with, I'm speechless every time they tell me something. Just to piss people off. Requesting permission to be a little silly, sir? Hmm. Granted. Personality is just a long-term commitment to the bit. It is it? I don't think it is. Descending from the sky at the break of dawn to inform the immortals I am here to talk to them about their car's extended warranty. Arising from the ground in the middle of the day to inform the mortals of their car's extended warrant. Flopping on the land in the middle of the night to inform them of their car's extended warranty. Th throwing magic cart pillows at you because I don't have a car and it's one in the morning. I just think the world would be a better place if we would all take a little bit of time to examine how we personally interact with stories. I, for one, am a complex network of interconnected stories stored on a meat-based drive. That is quite possibly the most terrifying way of describing a human, but honestly, same. That's not scary. What's scary is that you're a ghost and a skeleton working together to pilot fleshy power armor made by your mother. You know, I expected to regret making this post for entirely different reasons than I actually regret making this post. Wow. 
Wishing all of you a very merry. I suddenly have the motivation and time to write a minimum 10K fic, please. Whoosh. Listen, okay? I, I, I just want to watch two buff giant women fight each other. Is that too much to ask? Tried to be one with nature by going camping. But mosquitoes clearly mistook me for a human buffet. Turns out my blood is like the filet and young of the insect world. Who oh, no. knew? Being gay is more fun when you have someone to be gay with. I think most people are interpreting this as wanting a partner, but also being gay is way better when you have a bunch of gay friends. Just saying. Can you believe it? This thing just told a lie. And it looks very sorry that it did. I will cuddle and protect. Look at its face. No one's going to throw you through a shredder. No one. I must confess, I absolutely adore it when my favorite TV show ends on a nail-biting cliffhanger leaving me with sleepless nights, conspiracy theories, and a desperate need for closure. Thank you, writers, for adding a dash of existential torment to my entertainment. Great! I'm silly only on my terms. Sure, I'll call myself a silly goose, but you say the same about me a second later? <laughs> a real bungle on your parts. My enemies tremble at my feet, and you will do the same. Good day! Aside from bees and butterflies, bats are also one of the most important pollinators on the planet, especially in tropical and desert regions. Oh, lost in the sauce. My friend said, modern AU Odyssey, where it's just a fucked up road trip, and I haven't stopped thinking of it since. I'm sorry. Did you mean... Final Fantasy XV? Credit to the original artist is not credit to the original artist. Payment to the cashier, I say as I haul a TV out the door of the Walmart. Do you get it? My only tactic for playing Pokemon is to be 20 levels higher than the opponent. Hey, all problems are a nail if your hammer's big enough. If you ship two professors, is it a scholarship? Get out. Oh, he wants a PhD. I'm forgetting this thing in English again and Google isn't helping. I can help try and describe it. Dirt noodle. Break dances when touched and or exposed to sunlight. Uh, uh, worm? Oh, worm! Oh my god, this website. At the end of the day, I'm just a little guy. I'm a little guy at the beginning of the day also, so be nice. There's been a British voice in my head saying, bit sad, isn't it? The past week. Andy, are you sneaking up behind people again? Mexicans will look at perfectly good piece of fruit and just douse it in sauces and seasonings, and they're so right. White people just don't season their fruit. Looks like we can't isolate, ignore, ibuprofen our way out of this one, boys. Ignite it is, then. How to respond to anon hate. One, look at the anon hate. Two, send anonymous ask to yourself using anon. Three, make it exactly the same as the anon hate, except use a homestuck troll typing quirk. It doesn't matter which one. Respond to the fake Anon hate by roasting them for impersonating a Homestuck troll. The real Anon now has a choice. They can come off Anon and prove that you changed their message. Or they can wallow in silence, knowing that they have failed to bother you. You win either way. I might write that one down. The craziest thing about being alive is that you have to live with other people's interpretations of you. Ugh. Behold, Sergeant Chesty the 13th, the official mascot of the U.S. Marine Corps, right, stares down his successor, Recruit Chesty, left, during training at Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C., 2013. Death fear when a dog outrages you by default. Wow. Mufasa's death seat made me cry again. Aw, Abby, he's not a real horse, it's a cartoon. D d horse? Horse? But in my defense, I've never seen it. It's called The Lion King, Randy. How may I fall into a pit of pasta sauce? I can't find my way out. Don't bother me, I'm doing hot girl shit. He's lying motionless on my bed with three separate ice packs on top of me and my one fan blasting straight at my face. Notice, you now have the status of NAPM Seymour video. Take this as you will. Now you guys know how I feel every day. Stop the fucking car. You get there and all the pretty boys look up from drinking from the reservoir and gallop away like gazelle. That needs to be a picture, now. People who try to remind you of your favorite character's horrible actions make me laugh. Let's not forget they did this and that. Yeah, I haven't forgotten. I'm just too busy putting them in a cute outfit. 
This is Vegeta fans. Totally Vegeta fans. Probably bad RPG idea. Cast cure wounds on our economic system. Hold on. You might need to change your URL on that one. Don't mind me, I'm just making the most dangerous bridges known to mankind in order to save a few dollars. Now see, this is why we need to fix the economy in the last post. Why are blondes so pretty? They're like orange cats, but people. Excuse me? Excuse me? I'm stammering in ginger right now. Literally the orange haired person. I, Andy, hold me back. Hold me back. I, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Hold me back. Team Fortress 2 implies the existence of an unseen mysterious Team Fortress 1. I don't know what the notes are on about. Stay safe out there. It's called Team Fortress 2 because it's too bad there's not a first one. There are two teams and they build a fortress. Hope this helps. It's called that because me and my dad both play it and we are two people. Wow. Oh boy, it's summer. I get to eat ice cream and go stargazing and go camping and- uh, uh Oh, my ice cream melted. I monologued too long. <laughs> Joe Taro invites Kakuin over one day. He turns to him in the doorway and says, I have to show you something. Kakuin is nervous. They go over to Joe Taro's room. Joe Taro locks the door. Joe Taro pulls out a chair and sits at his computer. Kakuin is sweating bullets. Joe Taro opens up Twitter and logs into Drill and makes a tweet. Kakuin has never been more unprepared in his life. That truly is the most bizarre adventure. Oh, you're invincible, you say? Easily vinces you. Oh, you're unlovable, you say? Easily loves you. Aww. This might come as a shock to some of you, but saying I'm not informed enough on this particular topic to have an opinion is about a hundred times more respectable than being misinformed. I know in school they often teach us that I don't know is the worst possible answer and that you are better off making your best guess than admitting ignorance. But that's because the educational system is a dumpster fire and this is a habit that it pays to unlearn. Just saying. When my dad moved away from home, he needed a place to live. So he went to look at this one potential apartment. The only questions the landlady asked him were where he was born and when. When my dad told him, the landlady pulled out this huge astrology chart book. She looked at it for a long time in silence and finally said, Acceptable. This is funny and awful at the same time. Imagine not getting the apartment because you are a Pisces born in Chicago. Writing prompt. There's a forest that people say resembles the ocean. A forest where the land slopes endlessly deeper, but the top of the trees do not. Animals, plant life. They're said to get stranger the further in one goes. Writing prompts here is just describing Tumblr and gift wrap. Pirate bard who casts magic by singing sea shanties. Oh my god, I need it. Why is it when you go to the store, you find rows and shelves of feminine hair care, but for men, it's like half a shelf of hygiene in general. All men hygiene products are the same thing, like 15 in 1 shampoo, conditioner, body wash, shaving cream, hair gel, motor oil, gasoline, pen, ink, dish soap, etc. It, it, it's the basic life necessities. Like, wh why? Why? Rest in peace, little polyglot dictionary. You sure had a lot of words for Satan in you. No man has all five. A legitimate heir, a trusted advisor, loyal vassals, happy citizens, and content nobles. So true. Hmm. Call that a skill issue. I have all five. Okay, you're not gonna believe this. But my advisor... Ah, see? As long as the label on the box remains covered, the pizza is both delivery and DiGiorno. Schrodinger's pizza. You've both been tricked. It's Red Baron Pizza. You know, if you disassociate hard enough, you can eavesdrops on conversations you're a part of. I don't remember making this post. You made the claim and then you proved it. Wow. I have something extremely important to say. My aunt's dog has a paw print on his paw. The small little gasp I let out is heard universally when you view this picture. It's so true. Oh my god. Gallade is a white bipedal bishonen like a Pokemon. Hey, what the fuck? Twinkmon. No, that's the Digimon version. Hypothetically, if I were to put the little green dude from Cut the Rope in a claw machine, how much money would y'all spend to try to get him out to be your little buddy? Zero, because I can't possibly afford to feed him. He wants candy cut on a rope in a really weird contraption. Hey, buddy, down here? You can control my gay ass using WASD. 
or the arrow keys. I am so goddamn high right now. I legit pressed the WASD keys to see if Mr. Kind of a Big Deal here would do a gay little dance for me or something. Hang on, I'll do it for you. Da, 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 da. Behold, my new favorite reaction image. Yikes. Uh, ball pit, but it's just these. I dive in head first, cutting through like butter. I am never seen again. Round blue stones take me home to the pit where I belong. I think as a society, we should go back to designing furniture with little feet. It would heal us. Please look me in the eye and tell me this doesn't spark joy. We really should domesticate raccoons. They're already interacting with our garbage and whatnot. I want to get home and hear skittering noises and Bandit the pet raccoon runs at me excited that I'm home and I feed him leftovers like they're a dog but instead of them just eating it, they, they go to a sink and they wash it like raccoons do and eat it and then return to me with an adorable expression on their face and the cycle continues. <clears throat> People, we need this. Also crows, because crows are also smart. They use tools. Today I learned Yankee Doodle was written by the British to mock Americans. Doodle is thought to come from the germ doodle, meaning fool or simpleton, and macaroni, a flamboyantly stylish type of dress, painting the Yankees as morons who thought placing a feather in one's cap made them a dandy. So you're telling me that stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni would be like saying wrote a G on his belt and called it Gucci. That, that's a, a pretty good analogy, actually. U.S. moron came to town hunting for some Gucci, wrote a G up on his belt and his bitch called it Gucci. <laughs> that's good, I like that. I just bought a slow cooker. I might have laughed way harder at this than I should have. But look at him in his little hat. The fact humans can't eat grass to survive in wilderness is a failure of evolution. Are you out there eating grass and trying to justify it again? Worse than sticks took over when I wrote that post. I'm sorry. <clears throat> May I have your attention, please? Thank you. That is all. Thank you, honey. Hmm. Huh. Expression. That's the expression of someone who's gay as hell. Well, something along those lines, right? Happy Pride Month, you freaks. Thank you, Sans Undertale. Minecraft YouTube fans will make the most raw, most perfect piece of art and writing you've ever seen. Then you look at the context and it's about a Minecraft gamer called Blimbo Blorbo. I mean, yes, that sounds right. Hey, I made it into a PMC more video. I don't know if I should be worried or a uh, happy emotion. I I help? And you're in one again. Yo, weird little hamster. Who here believes in vampires? Dracula? 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 Hey, is it just me or did your profile picture become purple? Purple. Imagine you getting a job at GameStop and your manager is the type of guy to chuck a whole monster energy drink and then say, yeah, level up. And she does that every day. This is oddly specific. Are you okay? I am fantastic. Thanks for asking. So my friend asked me to pretend to be her boyfriend because her parents are homophobic AF, but they ended up hating me so much that they were glad when she said she was gay. Task failed successfully. Wow, congrats on being so awful a boyfriend. You destroyed homophobia. The more I learn about the British government, the more it sounds like the setting for a generic young adult dystopia. What the hell is a shadow cabinet? Are they not evil? There's something called a chief whip? A lord commissioner of the great seal? Does he keep the dark one locked away? It, how is this real? Andy, can you confirm or deny these allegations? I don't have any talent. I like to look at grass and I don't have any other hobbies. When people ask me how I'm doing, I ignore the question. Thank you, user 717-262672838891892829299973. Normalize flopping. It's okay to fail, baby. Sexy even. The amount of people saying, I thought you meant flopping on the ground. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Target audience. Everybody do the flop! You're on Tumblr a lot. This is my house. Normalize blocking people for making you uncomfy. Normalize restricting people on Instagram for being weird. Normalize throwing tea into a harbor. <gasps> I'm so sorry, I didn't realize you made the post. I'm so sorry. No, 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 it's too late. You insulted the tea. Andy, 
throw them in the kettle. Fuck. What was the name of that monkey from Curious George again? Hey, uh, I think you'd answered that in the question. Maybe. Yeah, we made your boyfriend the outro to a PM Seymour video. Yeah, he, he's telling Andy to end the video and everything. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. A Andy, quick, please stop. End this. End this, please. Shower thoughts. Water. Today I learned the brains of rats have a random mode that is switched on when they're in unfamiliar situations. Me drunk at an apartment party. Me sober at my job I've had for over a year. Me and the end I, the you, me, when the I, you, and me, or end the I, when you, how, me, when the, when I am. Am I having a stroke? Obsessed with stories are the messages that you can't bring someone back from the dead, even if you can bring someone back from the dead. Hmm. Jurassic Park. Don't you dare leave this in the tags. An enemy is just a friend I haven't worn down. Are you saying that you're the main character of a kid's cartoon? I'm saying that I'm going to be friends with you is both a promise and a threat. Sleeping isn't enough for me. They need to advance sleeping too. Electric Boogaloo. Kind of want to disintegrate like a word's meaning when you say it too often. Yeah, that sounds fun. Let's do that. Pizza, 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 pizza. Millennial culture is sending a horrible post to your friend who is sitting 10 feet away from you in the same room and waiting two seconds before hearing it dismayed. No! It's me, I'm that friend. Hello? That's right. Keep looking into those fat eyes. It's too late anyway. You're asking, what's this? But the answer was there all along. Oh, well, what's this? It's you. Still thinking about that time I submitted a Tumblr post to PM Seymour and he read it in such a pretentious voice that it gave me a hundred plus psychic damage and made me question my own inner monologue. Well, guess what, Blarbo? I'm about to make you question it again. Why does doing literally anything at night feel like playing a FNAF game? Uh, it's called <laughs> a subconscious response to what FNAF did to you. When I was younger, I covered my hands in Elmer's glue and wait for it to dry and peel it off so I could shed like the lizard I was born to be. Romans. Man, I'm tired of eating stupid salad all the time. Wish there was something we could do about it. Caesar. Like what? Romans. It was fucking terrible. Do it again. Nobody wants to work anymore. Wrong. I never wanted to work in the first place. Idiot. I have realized that while I am not necessarily a fan of people meet and immediately fall in love, I am a fan of people meet and are immediately obsessed with each other. The love can come later, but the absolute fixation should be immediate. I'm concerned about that one. <clears throat> Bedroom eyes. Yeah, man, he's a sleepy guy. Sleepiest guy in the world. Takes a nap anywhere, no problem. He also has neurodiverse in the head. You wish you were him, all right. There's something about the weight of a hammer in your hand. Feels so, so right. Oh, that's somebody who's going to kin to cleric. Dude living downstairs has been loudly rapping for like 10 minutes, then suddenly did a high-pitched scream, and now it's silent down there. What happened to him, Fart Gallery? What happened? Don't slap believe in. That was not the draft button, my bad. I fucking love the character that's like, not really the villain, but definitely not a good guy. I mean, he's on our side, but he's definitely not morally upstanding. I am sorry, did you mean Hedgehog the Shadow? Oh wait, that is a nice cock. Dear sir or madame. Actually, I'm non-binary. My apologies, let me start over. Attention, corporal! Wizard tip number seven. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Wizard tip seven and a half. Especially not the wizard council. Girl who has given up one hundred billion times. Hello? You summoning me? Oh, never mind, I'll just leave. Why so Phineas the Fervor? Please, no. I am far too soft and lovely to have responsibilities. Stop! Make your own foot scrub. Uh, one, feet are pretty hard to make. 
two, don't call me scrub ever again. Please stop making me read this. Hey, I heard that guy doesn't have a library card. Let's kill him. The New Yorker urged to go out into the street and shout, bada bing, bada boom, forget about it. Hey, you talking to me? I'm reblogging Humanity has finally found a way to communicate with crabs. We realize they're smarter than us. Now that they know we know, what are they going to do? The crabs. They start dancing. And oh man, can they bust a move. Loose, footloose. Put on your fucking boots, Meese, whip meese, put my up on my geese. You people are going to put me out of a job. Yo, we're watching a movie in class. Guess what movie it is, Tumblr? Go ahead, guess. Oh, no. Uh, the smoke is making me all... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine having lungs. Hey, 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 hey. Have you guys met my Swiss envy friend, Yodel A? Hee hoo! I hate you. Ah, uh, to be the oxygen atom between two hydrogen atoms. Happy Pride Month, y'all. So that's the water that's making the frogs gay, according to Alex Jones. Mm. The neurodivergent urge to do this. Hello. It is I, John, John AI Diffusion. Please don't ask about my hands. It seems that the video is much shorter than PM intended, so I will now recite a joke for you all. Knock knock. Who is there? Accord. Accord whom? Accord ding to all known laws of aviation of- Well hello everyone, please look at this baby ferret. <sighs> oh my god, I love them. How do we explain to 40 plus year olds online that you can't just end every sentence with dot 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 without conveying a really ominous vibe? I love that this post has informed me that thousands of other people my age are terrified by totally innocuous messages from parents, professors, and bosses. I meant to make this meme ages ago when Pride Month was still on, but yeah, gay is Irish for goose. It's finally Pride Month. Time to reblog this again. Be gay, do crimes. You ever met someone from your childhood you don't remember? Hey, dude, long time no see. You probably don't remember me, but you gave me a Transformers for my birthday. Dude, I have so many questions, but the biggest was which Transformer did I gift you? And why is that the most formative memory you have of me? Luigi fans who hate Mario are insane, because if you ever told Luigi you hate Mario, he would start crying and then put his duke ups while still crying. Luigi really loves his brother, guys. You don't understand. Mark my words, when the FNAF movie comes out, Matthew Lillard's Afton will steal every scene he's in and join the holy trinity of video game movie villains alongside Jack Black's Bowser and Jim Carrey's Robotnik. That, or alternatively, um, they're just going to put shaggy lines where William Afton will be. Just saying. Happy Pride Month to Chad and Ryan, the little gay cowboy and Roman in the Night in the Museum trilogy, and every man who played volleyball in Top Gun 1986. Yeah, good for them. Just, just, just Pokemon living in the moment. Nothing peculiar about them at all. Ah, Hina Desert. Golurk, count how many grains of sand there are. Okay, one, two, three, four. Well, now I just need Golurk saying, holy shit. Today I learned NASA's plan to dispose of corpses in space is to freeze them in the airlock and then violently shake the body with a robotic arm until it turns into space dust. Bad astronauts get put in the corpse wiggler. Hey, uh, what the actual fuck? This? Why so weird dragon? Shut up, I love her. <sighs> Andy, it's the bubble dragon from Monster Hunter. A duck with the beak of a platypus? <gasps> oh no. Bisexuals will be like, this is my partner, and introduce you to either one of the most beautiful creatures you have ever laid your eyes on, or a wretched and tortured bog dweller, no in between. Hey, don't do my bisexual friends dirty like that. Notice, your health isn't increasing or decreasing, but instead going in a direction many considered imaginary. Thanks, I hate it. Calling Chad GBT AI feels exactly the same to me as calling those motorized skateboards hoverboards. Yeah, that, that sounds, sounds, sounds right.
hey, girl, um, we were playing D&D with your boyfriend, and, um, yeah, she has new pronouns now. Yeah, no, she she's doing great. Yeah, yeah, no, she made a girl character as a joke, and, well, <laughs> the rest is history or herstory. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I guess she's your girlfriend now. Yeah. Finally, a good ending. Loudly going, you're good, you're good, to myself to ward off every memory of every embarrassing thing I've ever done. Mentally shouting, leave it, like my brain is a dog trying to chew on a pine cone. That's the pine cone of embarrassment, get away from that. Just saw someone say online that they've never seen mountains IRL and lost my mind. Is this an experience you guys have had? Are there some people who haven't seen mountains? I've never seen mountains, but... I live on an island, and I lose my mind when people tell me they've never seen the ocean. The ocean. Some people have never seen the ocean before. What really gets me is that some people have never seen either. Kansas is not meant for permanent habitation. Say it with me, boys and girls and nuns. Kansas is not meant for permanent habitation. Yay! Wraps myself in blanket while watching funny videos. Ah, oh, finally I can relax. Slight bit of cold seeps in. Uh, hmm. Beautiful women named Air Quality Alert are messaging me. What about you? Hmm. You're a lore keeper? Can you tell me about Five Nights at Float Souls? My friend keeps talking about it. I'm not that type of lore keeper, but I have heard of someone who might be able to help you. The famous Sir Matthew Patrick, theorist of the games. If he isn't trying to get you into one of his hoodies first. I'm just kidding, mate. I'm sorry. <sighs> Things are different now that stuff has changed. Yeah. Hey, where do ravens go when the sun goes down? Why do you think the sky is black at night? A gasp. Adventures in librarian inning. The other day, my computer kept shutting off on me out of nowhere in the middle of a class visit. I was becoming resigned to my fate, which must have come off as dismay to the kiddos because one of them gently went, Would you like a hug? Yes, actually, I would, I said. Immediately, several of the kids lined up to give me hugs. This is so precious! Stop it! Pansexuals are cool. If you're pan, you deserve the world. I do? Okay, seriously, beautiful girls named Severe Weather, keep messaging me. Please stop. I'm finally off after 11 hours. I work at an infectious disease lab. What about yourself? Oh gosh, like, you make the diseases or against them? Coming home after a long and difficult shift at the disease factory. I'm joining the war on diseases on the side of the diseases. You can't stop me. I'm... I'm it allows your halfling to operate a crossbow from an elevated position while still leaving your hands free for melee. I... I need to see this in action. I know, I know. Gatekeeping the outdoors, that's supposedly bad, right? But I think if you show up to do a hike and you brought a portable speaker with you to play music while you hike, I think, like, hear me out. There should be a gate. And someone at the gate should be keeping you from doing the hike. Playing music in public should get strong social disapproval. Recorded music, anyway. Live music, it's, it's different rules. If you want to lug an entire cello up a mountain, you can do whatever the hell you want. Why do we need scientists to find out how much the Earth weighs? Just put the scale upside down. I don't know if that worked, though. Wait. Andy, do you have a scale by any chance? Writing prompt. You are known as the Silent Wanderer, ageless because of time magic. You have lived longer than the oldest of dragons, cursed to never being able to speak or talk in a way people can understand. But that's okay. Actions speak louder than words ever will. I stand before the cashier. They shuffle awkwardly as I present the burger they served me. I glare pointedly. I open the burger. I point. Pickles! Being a DM and writing your own campaigns is like buying your cats in a Lampert cat condo and then watching those dumb idiots spend four days in the box it came in eating packing peanuts. Slams the reblog so fast. This is a haiku. You just don't realize it yet. Uh, 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 coconut water. Ah, you've come so far, heroes, but to get to my treasure, you must solve my riddles three. One, what? Two, the actual. And three. Fuck! This, this was like the hex maniac for boomers. 
Someone pointed out that when HD 2D remake comes out, she's going to be relevant again. Like you'd see artists that haven't posted anything since the 90s come back from the grave. So watch out. I only want to eat things with ingredients I can pronounce. Has always been one of the funniest moral positions of all time. Literally just learn how to pronounce more ingredients then. Truly undefeated in its celebration of ignorance. Can't pronounce Worcestershire sauce, but you know what I can pronounce? Laundry detergent. I literally haven't been normal since I saw a bunch of Twitter users referring to character death as the death trope. Like, girls, that that that's called death from real life. Me every morning. Wow, I'm doing the waking up trope, <laughs> the breakfast trope. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to pull the end the video on abruptly. You know, sometimes when you're angry, it's good to just shove your face in your pillow and scream your lungs out. Anyone else ever reread old books they liked when they were a kid and go, Oh, yeah, that's why I am this way. I wish I could chirp like a cheetah. Little squeaky cat noises. Chirp, chirp. A resume is just a reference for your work sona. And if this post makes you angry, you should be angry at your boss, not me. Don't ever say the words work sona ever again. It's because you're always on that damn journey of self-discovery. Life tip. You can listen to a song on loop. But watch out. Mutuals, if I like your post 20 seconds after you're posted, just know that I'm not stalking you. I'm just chronically online. Mutuals, if I like 20 of your posts in 20 seconds, just know that I am stalking you because I love you. It's 414, which means it's about to be 9 p.m. if I'm not careful. Oh, God. There is no rat more polite than little truffle. Oh, my God. I love him. I want to give him everything in the world. Today, while I was on campus, I passed a girl who had clearly just pulled an all-nighter. Messy hair, socks and sandals, pajama pants, the complete look, and she was talking to herself under her breath. All I heard her say was, Okay, bitch, you're fine. You're gonna go home, eat some cake, and take a nap. It's over now. And honestly, same. You go, girl. I think I've been shadow banned. Buddy, I've been on this site nine wretched years, and I've never gotten more than 17 notes on my post, and I love it here. Get on my level. Hey, 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 stop re blogging this assholes! If you don't know how to end your Tumblr posts, you can just cut yourself off mid-word, and people will be like, Oh, the penis exploders got her. So sad. Men, we need to get sluttier. On it, boss. Changes from my regular t-shirt into identical t-shirt that just has the word talk. On it. I learned that in 1998, Sony had the chance to buy the rights to almost every Marvel character for $25 million. They opted to only buy the rights to Spider-Man for just $7 million, stating, Nobody gives a shit about the other Marvel characters. And they were right. Daily quests. Complete therapy with a rank of S or higher. Something that is both normal to want and possible to achieve. Wow. Yo, I love how normal you are. This sounds sarcastic, but no, it's so refreshing to see people online that aren't parasocial. Thank you? Goodness, I'm tired. Can't even hoity-toy my way to the fridge. Can't smurf the plates. Guess I'll ask Mima to help me Mima. Uh, Salivan, what the fuck does any of this mean? I need to go back to the days where I thought if I prayed enough, Twilight Sparkle would clean my room for me. Simpler times. Just let me go back today. The bisexuals are normal. Till the man with long hair shows up and then they lose it. Reminder to clench your jaw, slouch your spine, and put a dirty mug somewhere you will forget about it. Ah, uh, thank you, point and click. I almost forgot. I want shape shifting so I can have bioluminescence and massive fucking mommy milkers in that order. <gasps> oh my god. Bioluminescent mommy milkers! My mom finally bought a toaster. Why did this get notes? We're happy for you. It, it, it's just a toaster. And you bust out one single confetti. They did it. They got a toaster. <laughs> Begins growing at the bottom of your blog like a barnacle. Not cool. St stop. Knock it off! Trying to think up a post with ADHD sounds simple enough until you're staring at the blank text posts and you're in that low power mode and it's just... <sighs> in my documents, straight up writing it, and by it, <laughs> let's just say, words certainly. Trigger warning lies. Hey! Hey! Shut up. Pocket show heaven. 
for Puck each other's only hell. Your suffering is my heaven. Without any discernible origin, my mom has started using the whale emoji to say good luck. I think it's charming and lovely, so here is the good luck whale for anyone who needs it. <sighs> Thank you. She hit. I had something funny planned to say on Tumblr, but honestly, I'm at a blank, so I'll just say some random ass words. Flip, floor, scooby, do, da, pee, po, pee, pa, coo. Thank you, hey, coat. Ugh, these sexuality gender type flags are stupid, and apart from the gay one, no one knows slash cares about what they mean. That is, that is the Welsh flag. Gender of the day, Wales. LGBTW, lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, Welsh. Where the superhero and villain have a common friend that they have to hold it together for. Claire is getting married next week. Oh, I can reschedule the death ray. Oh, can you? Aha, I have foiled your evil plan. Now the restaurant will be sit. Wait, wait, is this the place that fired Hannah? Yeah, and they were all dicks to her about it. All right. Well, I guess I can let you destroy it a little. I've defeated you. Now tell me where you've taken Matt. Matt's? Wait, what? what? Matt's missing? Wait, you're not the one who trashed his apartment? Oh, for God's sakes. Caroline, you should have just texted me about this. G give, give me my phone. I gotta make some calls. I think that if squirrels had the capacity to use and understand language, they would constantly be saying shit like, I'm such a nut pill stump cell, and so on. How do I delete someone else's posts? You have to gather seven sacred objects of power and shit as a whole quest. I'm sorry. This is the internet. If you tell me anything, I will believe it. When you look up at the sky and see the moon, what you're really looking at is Australia, and vice versa. When Australians are looking up at the moon, they're really looking up at us. I don't think that's entirely true. Then again, I haven't actually met an Australian in person, so... Sus. Why? Why can't I eat the moss? It's out there in the forest and it's free! Oh, I'm sorry, I ate it all before you could get to it, my bad. Adulthood is just telling yourself, and after I'd done that, I could finally relax. <laughs> With increasing desperation. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, what if that was your house? What if a sheep lives off the grass on your house? She's my landlord. <laughs> landlord. Really can't wait for the Hatsune Miku Jerma Mr. Beast collab where they make a neon blue burger with the Mr. Beast logo and Jerma's face on it. And when you eat it, you're sent directly to God. But as it turns out, it's Wave the Albatross that's God. Storm. He meant to say Storm the Albatross. That's a deep cut joke right there. Me. So, see anything interesting lately? The many-eyed creature living in my basement. Your laundry the watching machine it was done cycling four hours ago! Oh shit, I forgot, thanks. Silver the Hedgehog and Lucina are the same character. And now hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lived in a post-apocalyptic world until Dee Dee helped them find time travel. Go back in time to save the world by killing the one who will cause the apocalypse. Can't pull through with killing said person because they're ultimately not evil. Help defeat the big bad but return to their own ruined timeline. Only applies if Lucina is single. Rip girly. Feature in later games for inexplicable reasons even though they don't need to show up ever again due to popular demand. Yeah. 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 Damn, there's nothing worse than having a good time and suddenly something happens and you feel your mood changing and worry making your heart sink. The Target self-checkout screen. Hope you had fun on your Target run. Me with $51.79 less than I had an hour ago. You're worse than the devil. Welcome to Noodles. What are you? Hey, 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 yo, I'm just trying to get lunch, not to have an existential crisis. Back off. There are two entities in your heads. One is a gnome who wishes to make your work silly and magnificent. The other is a dwarf. He wants you to dig a deep hole. What kind of hole? I don't know. He just keeps screaming rock and stone and digs everything. Rock and stone! This is the most symmetrical green onion I've ever seen. I can't eat it. I can't. The average U.S. president has been charged with 1.54 felonies factoid. Isn't true! The average U.S. president has been charged with zero felonies. Donald Trump, who has been charged with 71, is a statistical outlier and should not have been counted. 71 felonies so far. Ah, spiders George at work. 
You told us that you didn't like disposable plastic drinking straws. We listened. From 2019, all of our straws will be made with 100% Chaos Y handers. Oh, yeah! Giant dead time! Let's go! I love Deltarune for a lot of reasons, but I think a great one is that every gay group of kids just looks like that. T-Rex girl, sweet boy, non-binary kid going through the seventh layer of mental illness, multiverse hell, honor students with childhood trauma, and fucking Burgly. Tickle versus Giggle, Federal Court, Sydney, Australia. Deeply unserious country. Ah, the gnomes are participating in the judicial system again, man! Ah. If I ever type colon three, then don't worry, I'm still good. But if you ever see me type colon three, then be careful. I'm being evil. Watch out. One time I dreamt Velma got renewed for a 13th season. A uh, how bad died. No, 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 no. I'm watching Planet Earth, and then there's this one small scene where the most round seal ever swims past. And I'd just like to thank David Attenborough for bringing us this good, good orb seal. See that right there? That's a blorbo. When my aunt was in her late 20s, people used to rudely ask her, <laughs> Why aren't you married yet? And she'd just reply, just lucky, I guess. Which I think has to be one of the best things I've ever heard. A shocking concept. If a movie doesn't have the time or ability to develop a romantic relationship to a believable level, then maybe they should it include it? Well, whoa, 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 demonic Vulcan, you are talking witchcraft there. And finally, baby kookaburra. Oh my god, look at him. Hey, you know those claw toys? The ones with a really weak grip and make a weird ratchet sound? That's the noise my spine is making. Is that a concern? Yes. And then the 94th Little Piggy built a house out of tungsten, uranium, adamantium alloy. And the wolf was just like, dude. My mom is sitting at the table doing a crossword and she let a huge sigh and wistfully said, it's hard to think of Elmo as a monster. Things Elmo would say in therapy. Hey. How's it feel to be the funniest person on Tumblr? Tumblr, grinder. do the gays not like the letter E for some reason? It's LGBT, not leg bet. The rest of us are saving it up so the trans girls can have it. Bobby, how dare you hide this gem in the tags? Just realize Tumblr has never seen the artifact. What, uh, what did you do to Spamton? Looking at the I am a human checkbox and hesitating a little bit too long before clicking it. Looking at the I am a human checkbox and clicking it immediately because I do not owe honesty to websites. Looking at the I am a human checkbox and closing the tab. I turn off my computer and look at the dark reflection of the screen. I am a tarantula on a keyboard. I cannot be here. You having a bad day? Here's a pool of puppies. I, 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 I won't be there. Well, time to throw the Homestuck is my favorite anime joke in the trash. We need to start over. Come up with new material. Homestuck is my new favorite school of philosophy. Oh, better. Controversial. Love it. Getting food poisoning is a sick irony. Sandwich, you were supposed to nourish my fragile meat body, not conspire with one section of it to kill the rest. You edible Brutus. You Fredo. You fucking intestinal quizzling! Hey, does someone have a spare brain cell to give my cat? She's orange. Oh no. Look at this dude. He just discovered his shadow. He's 10 years old. Hey, he's learning. Funny how Tumblr has become the place people go to when there's nowhere else. Give us your tired, your sick, and your cringe masses or whatever. Why is this like an infographic about dysphoria? Why does Snoopy have a knife? That, that's, that, 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 that's his tail. That's his tail. Oh my god, we really need fucking art comprehension more. Joy-Con Drift is just Link following his impulsive thoughts. Bro, it got so bad for me in Tears of the Kingdom. Link loves looking to the right. Stop it! My friend went away for ten days, so I decided it would be the perfect time to wrap everything she owns in aluminum foil. Why? In the future, everything is chrome. I don't want to sound like a boomer, but... Hey, on a scale of Katniss Everdeen and Ned Stark, how much would you say you trust the government? Dale Gribble. The generation gap between me and people of my own age. 
One time I dreamt I went to a boarding school and taught about the paranormal, and a Furby with abandonment issues started crying ink and we almost drowned. Isn't that how Benny and the ink machine went? Living with my brain is sometimes like that Moonbase Alpha video. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Gender, am I right? You are so right, fam. Hmm, indeed. You would think that the biggest risk of trying out something new is that you won't like it, but it's when it's so good it raises your standards is where the real problems start. Out of provolone? How am I supposed to eat a sandwich without provolone? A girl who put provolone on her sandwich for the first time this week. Calling yourself content creator, boring, overused, proposing that what you create is nothing more but mere content. Calling yourself artiste, fun to say, stylish, makes you sound like a foreign show person about to do something mind-boggling, exciting, fascinating, arousing even. Don't. Happy to see that the Reddit refugees brought a relatively healthy population of twinks and fanboys with them. Good job, lads. Sometimes I think the reason they scrapped their original Hotel Transylvania Dracula design was because they knew that if we got that on the big screen, you guys wouldn't be able to handle yourselves. Oh, it can't be that bad. Uh, oh my god. I think one of my favorite shark facts is this thing that some species of sharks do where they sort of peek their heads out of the water to see what's above the surface. It's called spy hopping, and great white sharks do it all the time. Hey man, you got any games on your phone? I eat frozen peas the way you eat chips upon kicking your shoes off and sitting on an old leather couch after a long day. I am terrified of this individual. Hey, you need some? Before this starts getting notes, I have to add that this is not my dog. I don't even know how he got in my backyard. Hey, what's your gender? What are you, a cop? Yeah, his gender is come back with a warrant. Hmm? Hooters is just the American equivalent of maid cafes. I hate that they're right. Hey, how does one turn their emotions off? Okay, first go to the settings. I'm a fucking idiot. I thought that said emojis at first. No, no, no. I'm still willing to try this. Go ahead. I'm at settings. What do next? Mold pisses me off so much. Oh, you have to eat your produce the moment it'll leave the store so the fucking hungering dust will get it. And poison your food. What? My role on Tumblr.com is to scroll through thousands of posts and only reblog the good ones for you to see like your personal Tumblr pasta strainer. And sometimes I reblog bad ones just to keep yous on your toes. Very upsetting that on this fresh morning in this broken world, I am subjected to emails. I don't know what you're doing with your one wild and precious life, but I'm making tables and word documents. The soft animal of my body does not love spreadsheets. All my life, I was a bride married to amazement, but unfortunately, I also had to attend zoo meetings. Jesus, that sounds brutal. Coming soon to the Nintendo Switch. Your mama, lol, got you. Whispering to myself, I am Shadow the Hedgehog. I am Shadow the Hedgehog. To give myself the courage to send an email. Send, not sent. <laughs> I'm not Shadow, I'm nothing. You're not nothing. You're a fish. Also, if it makes you feel better, I don't think Shadow knows how to use a computer either. Pretty sure he karate chopped one once. I'm pretty sure a video of it online exists. If not, uh, Andy just put, just put up a Shadow PNG being thrown at a computer. Perfect. My dog was not phased today. Behold, the oldest text post on Pucky Joe's Tumblr. Fascinating creature. Oh my god, they went all the way back to 2012. Transgender assassin. Call that a he slash it man. Oh my god, that's so good. Buckle up, buttercup. It's daddy issues day. I hope Reddit refugees have been warned about checking blog titles. One time I dreamt can't keep getting away with these things. Luckily, one time I dreamt is among the most posted blogs in r slash Tumblr, and the Reddit population should be prepared. Not if I change my profile picture. Oh god, no. Can someone from the science side of Tumblr explain this to me? But no want web feet, virtues. Thank you, science side of Tumblr. A velociraptor. Bard. Hmm. Charismatic girl. Hmm. When the bard multi-classes into a druid. No, 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 no. You see, Velociraptor Bard, meaning Velociraptor came first, so it's druid 
homostratum to multiclass into a bard. If it was already a bard that wanted to be a druid, then it would be a bard velociraptor. You see what I'm getting at here? You enjoyed that, didn't you? You had fun, didn't you? That's what I thought. Now you had better stop screaming at the pigeons, or I'm gonna be... I'm not sure what I'll be, but it definitely won't be good. Stop it. Uh, if only I had someone to be the Susie to my Noel. Uh, I said... Baristas deserve a hundred dollars per hour. There's a whole culture of mostly white women whose personality is, do not talk to me before I have my coffee or I'll kill you. And a barista's job is to deal with those people before they've had their coffee. God bless them. There once was a singer of old who then broke away from the fold. He won't give you up. He won't let you down. In a word, you have been a limerick roll. <laughs> Modern computers don't beep enough. I miss when they spoke to me in their own little language. Why won't you speak to me at any more gaming computer? Why? A baby Ammonite is an autism creature. <laughs> Kids were role-playing with Minecraft figurines, and one of them had their figure up to the other and say, I'm in love with you. And then the other one replied, Sword slash to the chest, and you're on fire. I mean, <laughs> have you seen a Minecraft roleplay? <laughs> it's pretty accurate. One time I dreamt AO3 shut down and you could only read all works but not post or update new ones. So what changed? Wizards in my brain. There's wizards. Oh my goodness, you gotta get them out. Wizard surgery, I need an operation, doctor. <laughs> oh no, I got out. I don't have anything interesting to post today, so instead you can have No Nose Hamilton. Nothing can be truly vegan because animals and insects help spread pollen and seeds. Ooh, I feel like that's going to be a heavy debate in the comment sections. I'm going to leave it in anyway. Who even uses Celsius? Like, how extra? Oh, no. We're the extra ones, aren't we? Full invitation to psychoanalyze me, sign side of Tumblr, but does anyone else listen to nearly all super sad breakup songs, despite having never gone through a bad breakup ever? People look at my playlists and ask if I need to talk. Mm, if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say they're kidding Taylor Swift's music career. Fuck. Those fuckers at the store sold me no purpose flower again. What the fuck do I do with this? You can tell the age of this website demographic looking post. You laugh. My flowers bereft of purpose and you mock me. Help on, you fool! This post transcends language. Girl, the post is ten words and eight of them are cognates. Like, go outside? I don't think a lobotomy would fix me. I just think it would be fun. I go into a lobotomy room. I come back hours later. Zero change. But I seem like I had a pretty good time. Worms be like, mm, yes, this is a mighty fine soil. My good sir, where do you find such exquisite dirt? I say, this is absolutely magnificent. I don't think that was British. No, little German boy, don't go into early 2000s America. Wow, that is full of hobbit woman. <laughs> so fucked up, man. Love ignoring things. Have you seen this terrible show? No, I'm the ignorer. Can you believe what that company tweeted yesterday? I am the ignorer. Can't stress that enough. Ah, yes, the two genders. Easy girl. Kill girl, kill! <sighs> another horrid abomination perverting another otherwise beautiful view of Yosemite Valley. This is literally how Pokemon villains talk about Pokemon. This world is imperfect. Hey, literally, how does your mind work? It, it doesn't. How dare you glorify my Blurbo? He is a horrible, crusty little man for a reason. Oh. Today, the girl ringing me up at the gas station said, Okay, have a nice day. I love you. And I said, What? And she repeated, I love you. With better diction. Run, Barmobile. Run. We are receiving unconfirmed reports that it is bedtime. Citizens are advised to get into their pajamas and remain on high alert. I, I can't. I gotta, do, I gotta do the video. Andy, Andy, get back to your desk. Do not go to bed. Stop it. Stop it. Good boy. The feathers of the striped cuckoo chick are very similar to pine cones. This is how they protect themselves from predators. 
Hey, thank you for like posting a pine cone for reference, but I'd like to see what the bird looks like too, please. Where's the bird? He gave me a side quest. Quest acquired, pet the kitty. Requirements, pet the kitty. Reward, petting the kitty. <laughs> Where do I get this side quest? Pocket Show, what is the stupidest thing someone asked you? Oh man, come on. PM, hi, as a fellow multi-attraction person, how the heck do you avoid making every character either bipan or ace? I'm sorry, avoid? Why would I avoid doing that? Andy, what are they talking about? Ah, yes. My $2,000 bird warmer. It's worth every penny. I wonder how hard I could throw myself to the ground. Let's find out. Update. Too hard. Hey guys, my friend just told me I have a stain on my shirt. Embarrassing, I know. And he puts his finger on the shirt to indicate where it is. I'm gonna look down so I can assess the stain situation. How could he? I petted a kitty. It made a sound like Burp. Oh my gosh, stop the presses, the kitty went Burp. You know, some ruffian once insulted me by saying I had a god complex, which is preposterous, <laughs> as I am much better than god. Cowboy RP. Bell cack first on a cactus. Attention everyone! Do not feed the Reddit refugees. They must learn to hunt on their own, lest they become dependent on the native Tumblr life form for food and shelter. Thank you! Oh, I love reading the newspaper. Scrolling through my mutuals blogs and liking their personal life updates. Ah, the news. Every time I have salmon, it's like, wow, bears are right. I would also stay in the stream for this. They're also right about honey, berries, snapping all winter, lack of pants. So really, bears are just living the best life possible. Shout out to gay men, I guess. That's a thinker. Ah, uh, my coffin-shaped locket is the perfect size to fit one singular ibuprofen. It'll fix me. The Ice Age franchise was the first time I ever was exposed to body horror. Yeah, same. Same. What the hell was that movie? I feel like if an agender person kissed a gender-fluid person, it balances out and becomes a straight kiss. Hmm. Hmm. If I got a penny for every time I got a penny, I would have infinite money in the form of an ungodly amount of pennies. Then you could terrorize the town side with them. A Californian, but there's something just a bit wrong and spooky about her. Call that an uncanny valley girl. Good. Good joke. Good joke. The grasshopper mouse of the southwestern United States looks like a standard house mouse, but it is almost entirely carnivorous and is known to kill and consume everything from less homicidal mice to goddamn God rattlesnakes, rattlesnakes, which they kill by jumping on the snake's back and gnawing through its spine. Behold. A bastard. Oh, look at him. He's a little scrunkly. Always in a constant state of, hmm, maybe I wasn't as normal in that conversation as I thought I was. Me, 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 fucking me. Took a shower. Now I'm 42% less evil. <laughs> Took a shower. Now I'm 42% more evil. <laughs> Walking onto Tumblr for the first time like, Hey, uh, anyone here gay? Society's infantilization of decorated objects is honestly one of the greatest recent crimes against humans' innate desire for beauty. The toothbrush or hairbrush or bike or vanity desk with flowers on it is for kids. This plain babe one is for adults. I'm literally throwing you into a volcano. Let me have pretty things. Why did minimalism become so popular? It is so boring. Rise and grind. Okay, uh, rest and jazz, bitch. My actions do not have consequences. I I'm not important enough for the plot. Oh my gosh. I have two hands and three foots. Oh, the poor little dude. I have never seen an animal look more distressed. You better feed that to him right now. Hmm. Half guy, half fairy. Guy fairy. Oh my god, it all makes sense now. Biden closely watching search efforts for a missing submersible, White House says. What's that old man gonna do? King Charles III requests to be kept fully up to date about missing submersible. What's this other old man going to do? 
put them in a second submersible to go search. What could go wrong? I bet you work at the anti-soup kitchen, which steals soups from the poor. Yeah, I do. What's it do you? You piece of shit. We, we, we just like soup. Hey, you know who else likes soup? The poor! Okay, before we begin, we gotta discuss something. Apparently, the last video Andy edited, a lot of people were upset that the This world is imperfect bit was done with Giovanni instead of Lysander. I, I guess I have to reprimand Andy for it. The, um, Andy, that was very wrong. Very not okay. I am so disappointed in you. Actually, I'm really proud of you. It was really funny. Please keep doing that. All right, do you have anything to say for yourself? Well spoken. Okay, let's go. Sometimes family is just a teacher and the two most dysfunctional students they've ever seen. I feel like that's a reference to something. My hot take after seeing Across the Spider-Verse. Across the Spider-Verse. Tears of the Kingdom. Sequels that are somehow even better than the original, even though the original was perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah that, yeah, that sounds right, yeah. Hey bro, why did your, why did your health bar just appear? Do you, do you, do you need to talk about something? Was it something I did? Yes. President Biden closes gun control speech with God Save the Queen. What, what do you mean by this? Hey, Google a little calico kitten right now. Well, did you? D did you like it? I can show you more, more than you could imagine. Take my hand. One time when I was nine, I was trying to type fricking and it auto-corrected to vegetable for some ridiculous reason. It was your phone telling you that you needed vegetables, for you are only melon. Imagine that you're Luigi, right? A and you're minding your own business. Nothing unusual, right? Then your older brother just comes to the room and he looks like this. Hey, hey, listen. Mario is just embracing his persona. Leave him be. Do not let social media turn you into an American. Did you? Mess, color, pavement, sweets, chips, Chris, trainers, honor, aluminium, crumpets, tea top hats, biscuits, scones, Celsius. I guarantee doing this bit right now is just making Andy react in some sort of fashion. <laughs> My boyfriend just referred to Miles Morales as. Miles per hours? Oh, hi, Tails. Welcome to Mimic Ikea. Don't worry about it. Is Mimic Ikea one large Mimic housing many other smaller Mimics? Don't worry about it. Update, so I think the ghost of Alexander Hamilton may be after me. The day after I posted my no-nose Hamilton, I got a nosebleed in both nostrils. This has literally never happened to me, and I think he's angry I de-nosed him. Don't mess with Alexander Hamilton. I think all women deserve to be a little bit evil. As a treat, they deserve it. The world is so great. You can hold kittens and kiss them on their little heads. Why are we so mad? If we're mutuals, feel free to use me as a powerful summon during a tough battle. Pretty please, I don't want to be alone. If I was in the Great British Bake Off, I'd leap the picket fence and escape the tent. I'd be across the grass and in the trees by the time Paul Hollywood fetched his gun. Can't stab me. When did we all just start accepting the wizard RP as a regular part of this site? Like day one, I was like, oh fuck yeah, this site has wizards now. Hey, Neil Gaiman. Gay stuff. Some half-assed reply. Useless tag. Tag that does something else, but is still useless. Tag with a typo in it. There is one man who knows how to use this website. And it's Neil fucking Gaiman. You are forced to fight an identical clone of yourself. They know everything you know and all of your skills and tactics. How do you win? I go for the bales. They would never expect this. By Talos, this can't be happening. <laughs> Guys, how the fuck do you make a tent? First, you need to preheat your oven to 360 degrees. I am in the forest. <sighs> Fine, preheat campfire to 360 degrees, thank God. Help, the lesbian magical girls are ascending me. Bon voyage, it's been swell. <sighs> Hey, hey you, Google Fungus Evolution. <laughs> Has someone told Redditors about the Tumblr holidays? Neil banging out the tunes? Ides of March? Out of Touch Thursday? That one random day in July when we all reblogged the new version of the Jack Skellington excited about Halloween post? No, we need to let them discover them organically. Milky Way's supermassive black hole seems to be getting hungrier and sent- let 
him eat. This actually worries me a little. Why? Are you the black hole? That's neither here or there. Hail hath no fury like an artist who brushes decide to stop working mid-painting. Sentences that only make sense to digital artists. <sighs> yeah. Somebody, statistically, is lost in a cave system right now. And they're doomed and going psychotic in the dark right now, just wishing they'd be at home. But they will die tonight. And I am drunk in my house watching Nostalgia Critic the Wall. It wasn't a cave, but you were close. What do you mean by this? Attempting to have a normal thought is crazy. Like, how do you even civic? We proudly service three demographics here at Amtrak. Autistic white boys, trans girls, 73-year retirees. We also serve New Yorkers, but not, not with any kind of pride. Which one is Joe Biden? I'm gonna go with all the above. I am not full of hate, as if I were some passive container. I am a generator of hate, and my rage is a renewable resource, like sunshine. Well, I didn't know you were playing D&D &D Barbarian. Cool. Behold, dinosaurs. Oh, they're adorable. I need to see them in Jurassic Park. Andy, if you could, please. Notice, not only do your friends actually like you, they secretly like you twice as much as they let on. They, why? No way. No, 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 no. Guys, don't get mad. I've never seen the Lorax. Or the Princess Bride. What? What? Watch the Princess Bride now! It's mandatory! Do as he wishes and watch it, or else we frame you for killing Papa Montoya. Wait, I'm not prepared to die! How to signal to goths in public that I am an ally, friend, and lover, despite dressing like a camp counselor? Um, I don't know. Hit the G note? No, that's emo shit. Don't hit the wings at AutoZone. Worst fucking mistake of my life. Um, buddy, I got news for you. I don't think those wings were chicken. God forbid they're even fun. Hey, can you come collect your freak of a man, please? He's doing things. Let him do things. Freaks of man can do little things as a treat. God. I'm going to be a gremlin today. If I hit you with a sword, will you drop five gold? Depends whether he's an NPC or not. Aren't we all just NPCs in the story the larger gods above have created? Aren't we simply side characters doomed to die for plot fodder? If not literally NPCs, we are at least regarded as such to any old stranger passing us. They may be an NPC to us, but they hold such a deep, expansive backstory and personality. They very well may be the main character in this ridiculous fever dream story God is writing, but to them, we are simply an NPC. To us, they are the same. So in a way, aren't we all? I meant in the sense where when you hit them, they either die and drop five gold or they just make a squeaky toy sound. Uh, oh. Witness. Pregnant ghost bat having an ultrasound at Featherdale Wildlife Park. Congrats. It's a bat. Femboy. Football. Is the femboy the player or the football? They throw him across the field like a javelin. And then someone in the back goes, Um, that's not a javelin! I'm sorry, me lord, but the peasants are nailing erotic artwork of you and your court jester to the church doors again. And the ship name, squire. What is the ship name? King Rupels, my lord. Ah! The cringe! Unfortunately, being called pretty boy does make your brain burst into flames. Especially if it is followed or preceded by a little geese. <sighs> oh no. Theory that neurotypicals are the ones with communications issues, actually. You're the one who can't communicate with me, buckaroo. Neurotypicals will play four-dimensional chess about asking you to wash the dishes, and I don't believe this is my problem. Dude, literally, when I lived with my aunt for a bit, she said, Huh, it's supposed to be sunny all day. And supposedly, that was her asking me to put the laundry out on the clothesline? Question mark, question mark, question mark. What? Anxieties, attack! Wait. No, no, not me, you fools! No, 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 not like this! No! Oh, 
damn it, I've been diagnosed. Hey, I just found Pucky Cho in my old toy box. Excuse me? Pull me back. I'm not legally male. I'm illegally male. I pirated my gender online. <gasps> you wouldn't download a gender. Am I? Writing prompt. I challenge you to a duel, sir. Pick your weapon and make your peace, for I've trained under the greatest weapon masters in fisticuffs. Wait, what? Fisticuffs! There's Todd Howard, the man. And then there's Todd Howard, the amalgamation of everyone who worked on every Elder Scrolls and 3D Fallout games. And now Starfield, I guess. He's gonna need 16 times the map size. There are two forms of the spoken words that will always transcend language boundaries. Singing and swearing, such as the duality of man. And then may I present to you the most beautiful song in the world. And if you could assist me. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Bugs are so funny. They got lines for legs. Some of my favorite bugs. Nature's so beautiful. I must say, there's a wizard infestation on my blog. And we're not leaving. We like it here. It's very nice and damp. Perfect wizarding conditions. Might cast a magic missile or two. <laughs> I dropped my phone in the shower and the water opened up Instagram and changed my fucking pronouns. Hmm. Isekai title. Humans don't do anything for free. Somewhere out there, there's a guy who spent days, if not weeks of his life, cataloging every stupid thing you can do on Stardew Valley so that you can min-max the fuck out of growing potatoes on a pixel grid for quite literally no reason but that it might help someone else. Yes, they will do things for free. Crouches to go into stealth. The cracking of my knees alerts the gods. I am immediately killed. Blending all my pills into a creamy pasta sauce and calling it Medicini Alfredo. <laughs> I think this is how Pepino ended up in Pizza Tower. The upside of ADHD is that it makes you a fucking genius. The downside is that you don't get to decide when and for how long you're a genius. Or what you're going to be a genius about. You have a big work project? Mm, no, 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 no. You're now a genius at making board games for seven hours. It's great. So do I just, like, follow anyone? Like, real people? Like, the actual people and not the subject matter? That isn't like following someone to their doorstep. Why, why, why does this seem so personal? Think of it as you're stray cats and every evening I put out my garbage and you come and eat it. This garbage is all mine. I feel cheated. No one on Reddit told me that Tumblr is a serotonin factory. Keep liking and reblogging my posts, please. Thanks. Just don't fly too close to the sun. Throw me into the sun and I'll get it pregnant. Fellas, gender neutral? You heard him. Ready to catapults. Horrified last night as I mentioned furries in front of my mother and had to watch her explain the concept to my stepfather using that CSI episode as an example. You know, it could be worse. I know that did some massive damage, but it could be worse. Could be the Thousand Ways to Die episode about furries. You're gay. He's mine now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, come back! Ohio goes I must, gamers. Dead leaves? That's called yard salad now, and it's the new food trend. <clears throat> leaves. Wait, where are you going? When in straight spaces, just treat it like an anthropological expedition. Observe communication rituals and mating habits and the general feral interactions. My fellow queer co-worker. That sounds amazing. So, fairies have replaced my baby with the way cooler baby. Not sure how I feel about it. It does fly. Pokemon loves just straight up lying about things so much. This is Bink Bonkus. One swipe of its claws can cut down an entire forest. And then its claws do like 12 damage. Not even just stats either. Like, the glowing bulb on Bulbango's head is brighter than the sun. And you can clearly see it isn't. I need you guys to be aware of something. The Pokedex are being written by you, the character, and you're like 12 or 15, depending on which game. You're gonna exaggerate, cause we've all done it. My Tumblr is like the pretty cool rocks I find on a walk and bring home. My brother complains about it, but that doesn't matter because I love them. What a strange cat. That's not a cat. It, it let you pet its belly without biting. Dogs like rolling over on their backs, so maybe dog? Look at this weird dog. Okay, so I'm agender, but my partner is pangender. Am I technically straight? 
you stopped being straight the moment you clicked on my Tumblr blog. Methinks Tadashi's legacy lies not in Baymax's 1000 plus medical procedures, but in the fact that he programmed his robot to act wasted when his battery is low. Such college student energy. Staring at a girl, wishing desperately I could tell her how much I love her. I'm at the zoo, and the girl is a Komodo dragon. Writing prompt. Aphrodite is talking to Ares. You know, Persephone gives Hades flowers every day. I wish you'd do that. The next day, Ares goes to the underworld and gives Hades flowers. Yeah, I'm not really sure why Aphrodite wanted me to do this, but here you go. Oh no, you made the god of war himbo. I like being Hyperberry from Route 214. It's uncomplicated. Train your taglines before they blow you up with 15 gravelers. Yep, sure do. Neil Gaiman, do you support the LGBTQIA plus community? Guess, why do headaches make my brain feel full? I know good and damn well there is nothing going on up there. No thoughts, just hurts. Baby bobtail squids look like emojis, but alive. Look at him, autism beast. I can't fix him. I can't even make him worse. But I do want him just the way he is. Name the character. Hello, PM Seymour. You must make a normal outro to a Tumblr reading video, or it will be you who is coming from Tumblr. Who, who wrote this? Uh, Jigsaw, I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry they tried to trick you into a trap. I'll end the video normally just for you, buddy. Here you go. Hi, how are you? Welcome to our Ganda reveal party. Don't you mean? No. Geese emerge from everywhere. There are no fireworks, only geese. There are no balloons, only chaos. There are no genders, only honk. <coughs> Mourning about how I was never a theater kid despite my love of theater as an adult. <laughs> it's over. Yowie is when I, when I, uh, what I say when I, uh, I stub my toe. <laughs> Yowie. Being on this website is fun because you can absolutely tell when a blurbo clicks in someone's brain. You're scrolling and suddenly out of nowhere there's like 12 posts about the same character back to back reposted by the same person. And you just know. Oh, they're a permanent part of their psych now. And honestly, it's a vibe. Go off, King. Don't encourage me, please. I'm already going feral over fictional men and women. All right, to make it worse, Andy, put up your favorite fictional men and women. Excellent taste. We're putting my teeth on the front cover of Teeth Magazine because my dentist loves me like a son. Cool. One time I dreamt it was made illegal to refer to the UK as United Kingdom, and the argument was, they were never truly united to begin with. <laughs> oh no. Blood is basically the most normal thing for a sword to hunger for. If a sword gained sentience and started asking me for blood, I'd be like, yeah, I thought, I thought you might say that. Is anyone else in misery, or is it just me and the guy from Maroon 5? What if you were the guy from Maroon 5? Good morning, insane girls. The rest of you? GM, I guess. Standing in the living room, peering out the window, a cold can of soda in hand, and a sense of still lingering wake-up dread. The day looks beautiful outside, in spite of the air being a bit misty due to the smoke from the wildfires. A single thought beats in my head like a throbbing pain I just can't ease. I have absolutely no idea what the hell I am doing today. Same. I hate fighting game tiers because the actual main characters are always like D tier while some obscure ass villain is the only S tier character due to an exploit where you instantly win by doing a dash taunt, loopy loop, zap, cancel, grab chain into a zippity doo wop combo meal with extra fries and a large coke. Fucking bullshit. I take it you lost recently? Awful bold of you to assume I play video games that involve other people. I don't want to make a fighting game, but everyone in the roster is just a U.S. president. No! I don't want to see the tier list for that. Stop! Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom Link is the character of all time. He's the destined hero handpicked by the goddess. He's too anxious to speak. He's the princess sworn protector, friend, and partner. He has eaten rocks. He could best an adult man in combat by the age of four. He's befriended every leader in Hyrule. He has Tony Hawk vibes so strong nobody else ever recognizes him. And the skills of Tony Hawk. He invented pizza. He can smite a Lionel in 20 seconds. He's four foot ten. He's even non-binary. God bless you, Link.
okay, but who's the dad jokes lesbian and who's the other dad jokes lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> Massive milk bags, bad. No, don't tell me to a one-dimensional facet of my personality and grossly misinterpret me to indulge in your ships. No. They did it, didn't they? Why is it referred to as coming out of the closet? Couldn't it be something out of anything? <sighs> what wasted potential? Coming out of my cage and I've been doing just guys. <laughs> no, stop. Let me put this in terms you can fucking understand. Our toddler, Falco Mewtwo Martinez, waved ass straight into a stage hazard because you weren't fucking watching him. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but Falco Mewtwo Martinez has massive Christian energy, and I'm gonna need you to stop. You know, it's been a while since PM Seymour did a video ending by having Andy find suitable gifts for the noises that Seymour made. Please, if you would, end this video in that way. <sighs> Fine. I hope you're ready, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that one? Hi. One day you will wake up and think to yourself, hmm, I'm cozy. And then you will go back to bed and rest. This I swear, even if it kills me. Thanks, Pocket Show. Which boy do you think got enough sleep? The guy on the left, since he knows clear disgust with having his picture taken suddenly without permission. The guy on the right has had so little sleep that his grip on reality and emotions has left him. <laughs> I love it so much. What happened to the Skeleton War? You guys used to love the Skeleton War. My boy, this skeleton piece is what all true skeleton warriors strive for. Rules to learning English. There are no rules. Hate it. Hello! Welcome to my ADHD theme game show. So, you were holding it literally moments ago, but now it's gone! Where you look for whatever you were just holding while going increasingly mad! Queen, I love where this is going, but in the euphoria of your excitement, you left out so many important words. I'm just trying to get the mood right. Producer. Hey, I need you to create box art that will look badass to American kids. Graphic designer. No problem! Adds picture of Sobbing Orphan. Hey, listen. It worked for me. I immediately grabbed Cubone the moment I saw him. I knocked over a plant in my kitchen, but my cat saw me, so I had to spray myself with the water so I could show the laws apply to everyone. Piff! Hey everyone, check out my new young adult fantasy novel called A Court of Blood, Bone, Ash, Roses, Thorns, Fire, Ice, Stone, Ravens, Enemies to Lovers, Fake Dating, Two Number Nines, and Number Five Large, and an Extra Large Fries. You'll never guess what the villain is. Is it the government? Hmm. Synonym rolls. Just like Grandma used to make. Can you just stop? I give you 128 by 128 transparent ibuprofen PNG. But when you and the Discord server want to take ibuprofen together. Thank you, I needed that. I just, I just poured some refrigerated water because it's hotter than quesadillas outside and I looked at how the water poured into my cup and went, Man, that's a good damn render. That frame rate's amazing. And I had to look up and squint to make sure I understood what I just said. Someone's been playing too many video games. Anyway, how's your afternoon? I thought we owned fancy brown sugar and proceeded to fucking destroy my coffee. Oh. Oh, you poor child. Once in the fourth grade, this guy got 2% on his math quiz, so everyone called him Milk for the rest of the year. Sounds right. One of the best things ever is when you find a really talented artist who's obsessed with an obscure, popular character and just lovingly draws their underrated guy 30 times a day, even though all their posts get five notes. These people are the backbone of society. They're thriving. They're mentally unchained. Good for them. Y'all ever refuse to consume a piece of media you know you'd like solely because you think it'd make you feel more emotions than you want to? Like, yeah, the purpose of art is to make you feel, but I'm feeling plenty already. Thank you very much. Andy, put up that show that does that for you. Oh, man, that's a good one. Twilight Princess. Funniest Zelda game ever made. 
One of the reoccurring minor plots is that a three-year-old with the mental capacity of an adult is trying to abolish capitalism in the big city. There's a Yeti couple living in an abandoned mansion, and the guy, Yeti, is like ten times the size of, and more visibly than the girl, yet they make him a male wife. You collect insects for a little girl that is insane about them and gives you strange and off-putting dialogue about each bug every time you give her one and practically threatens you if you try to leave her home without giving her bugs she doesn't have yet. One of the modes of transportation in this game is being shot out of a giant cannon by a depressed clown and landing on your feet with no injuries. There's a spaghetti western style mini game where the objective is to talk to 20 of her cats. A chicken attempts to flirt with Link and they made Tingle into a sexy man caricature. I completely forgot about the Oku while making this post. This fucking thing. And of course her son too. Every time someone says that Twilight Princess is too grim, dark, and serious, I want to point them to this post. It's a very silly game. Look at Link's face as he grabs the Uoku. Tells you everything you need to know. And finally, after all of that, Bagpipes McMuffin. Adopt him today. You know how people are always talking about Andy end the video? What about Andy start the video? Otherwise, there's no video to end. Yeah. Oh god, they got us in for a loophole. Andy, do something to start the video! No. Scientific fraud is the most baffling thing ever to me. Like, do they think they're just going to make a huge breakthrough and no one will notice that it's fake by trying to replicate the results? Yeah, actually, I just discovered how to turn plastic into gold. Uh oh, you wanna know how I did it? Starts running away cutely. God's greatest punishment was putting one trillion cool rocks on Earth and no one with eyes big enough to see them all. God's greatest gift was actually putting one trillion cool rocks on Earth so that we might never run dry of the joy of seeing a cool rock. I've been such a fool. One of my students downloaded an image for a project today and named it Before My Eyes. PNG.jpg. Can, can you just expel a kid for that? Hey, I'm gonna go sleep. Can you watch my apple while I'm gone? Thanks. Oops. Took a wrong turn somewhere. I took a nap and I woke up and all these goddamn spirits! My favorite activity is looking outside the window over the back of the couch with my dog. And barking at the children walking past. You! Yes, you. You get me. Some straight guys are absurd. I once asked one if they'd kiss a boy for $50,000 and they said no. At that point, it's not even gay. It's just the best option. She's a lesbian girl now, if anyone wanted an update. <gasps> oh my god. If a computer girl was transgender, would she go on CRT? Hmm, component replacement therapy. They're upgrading their GPU, girl processing unit. Pronouns in BIOS. I cannot stress enough to Tumblr that they do not need to change the site. Do not try to be like Twitter. Do not try to be like Reddit. Do not alter how the site works. Tumblr will be the most popular social media site if they continue letting all these other sites implode and leave the frog button. It's good. I just don't like masculine women. Oh, literally, I'm so sorry for your loss. I hope you get well soon. Can you imagine not liking muscular women? What's wrong with you? God, I hope she steps on me. The Korok crucifixion posts are even funnier when you remember that Link is the only one that can see them. People of Hyrule will see this boy drag an empty cross behind him and think, Huh, he's finally lost it, huh? I'm pretty sure they were already thinking that in Breath of the Wild. Reblog the money pigeon for a financially stable future. I reblog the money pigeon because I love him. Look at him. Hmm, shawty got them evil bottom jeans. Boots with the curse, the curse they say. The whole necropolis was looking at her, and then she hit the flower wall. It's unreal how all of my favorite characters have exactly the same traits and hobbies and diagnoses as me. Oh, have you been tricked into loving yourself? Oh my fucking god, is that what just happened? Greek mythology, but instead of punishing the girl Zeus cheated on her with... Hera befriends them, and Zeus goes insane, living in constant fear that his wife and his mistresses are plotting against him. Oh, that would make for such a more amusing story, Kimmy. Hello, fanfic writers! It's time for a vocab lesson. Wanton, sexually immodest and promiscuous. Wanton, 
a type of dumpling commonly found in Chinese cuisines. Your character should not be moaning like a Chinese dumpling, okay? Thank you and good night. Either way, things are gonna get... is steamy. Get out! Me watching the Olympics. Where... where's Mario and Sonic? Where are they? Everyone stop what you're doing immediately! Look at this baby bunny! Look at it! Look at its tiny ears! Oh my god, it's too small for this cool world! Guarantee you there's someone in the comments right now thinking about putting that rabbit in their mouth. Don't. Showers don't cut it anymore. I need to be pressure washed. Just peel that skin right off me. Yes, hello, I am an official real tumbler. I like to do things like Plinko the horse and observe the Lorbo shows. I'm blending in so good. Oh no, Randy, your, your, your stickies. It's my opinion, so instantly vaporized by the beam. Rest in pepperoni, Pucky. We knew ye well. Pucky is still alive, but just some Mr. Chaos, isn't he? Yep. If the air is wibbly-wobbly next to something that is meant to be normal, then you should stay away from that thing. It's probably hot. Or radioactive. I just realized the first Cars movie and the first Thor movie have the exact same plot. I want an explanation now. A man on the road to greatness ends up lost in a small desert town with seemingly no hope of getting back to the life he knows. Over time, he falls in love with someone there and learns to be humble. With this character development complete, he's able to return to his life, never forgetting the people in that desert town. Oh my god, stop! No, 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 no! Behold, a super wiener. It is an exceptionally large elephant seal at weaning age. Super wieners may reach their large size by stealing milk from nursing female elephant seals or by being adopted by an additional mother elephant seal. This guy may look like a super wiener to some, but he is a super winner to me. His doleful eyes and violently self-destructive tendencies have captivated me. I want him. A Japanese slash Italian inspired demon. A Tony, if you will. An exceptionally large one at that. If you wash the dirt from a fallen ice cube, are you using your water with water and hope that there's only water on the water you will add to your water? But what if I'm drinking tea? Who puts ice in their tea? What the fuck? Oh shit, it's a British person! Take your iced tea and run! You know how in musicals the couples will start singing the same song no matter how far apart they are? What if that happened in real life? What if you were just at a restaurant one day and you started randomly singing because your soulmate decided to sing a duet in the shower? Oh my god, what if this is why you get a song stuck in your head? Because your soulmate is singing it somewhere! <gasps> it. Got. Better. Jesus Christ! I don't want to be soulmates with someone who keeps singing Cotton Eye Joe. Or do you? Gaze, lend me your strength. I shall give you my soul, and you will be the most powerful gay to ever gay. Thank you so much. Lesbians, lend me your strength. I give you my heart. So you can have the power of all the lesbians and be even more gay than before. I am forever in your debt. Aces, lend me your strength! I give you my essence. So that why you possess the power of gay as well as not having just one, but many aces of power up your sleeve. I owe you my life. Transgender and non-binary folks, lend me your strength! I give you my titties because I don't fucking want them. Behold, the Scrimblo Basket. A scream basket. I love it. You know, we have seen PM Seymour end his videos with silly little noises, but I think it's time we switch things up a bit. Now, I don't know if he'll actually see this, but if, keyword if, he does, because I know the guy's a busy guy, I want to see him end a video with silly Minecraft villager noises. Hmm. Huh. I don't know about that one. Hmm? Y'all are here talking about wizards on Tumblr. I don't think there are actually any wizards on Tumblr. Hey, wizards on Tumblr, how about your proof? Yeah, there was no wish, yeah, boy. For the sake of YouTube, do not unreverse that. I want an unreblog button. When you press it, it unreblogs the post from one account. That sounds amazing and terrifying. Daily checklist of affirmations. One, nothing wrong with me. Two, nothing wrong with me. Three, nothing wrong with me. Four, nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with me. me. Four, something's got to do. Today I learned that the word hello only began being used as a greeting when the telephone was invented, credited as a suggestion by Thomas Edison to be used when answering the phone. Alexander Graham Bell, his competitor, preferred ahoy. They took ahoy from us. Another cringe moment from Edison himself. Writing prompt. 
Four roommates are extraterrestrials who have taken human form in the hopes of learning about Earth's culture. Unfortunately, each alien is from a different planet and believes the other three are normal humans. I would read this. Oh my god. Starring Jack Black, The Rock, Jeff Goldblum, and Taika Waititi. And Mads Mikkelsen, the human neighbor that is weird enough that all the aliens think he's an alien too. You know, we've seen him end and now start the video. The natural continuation is, Andy, please continue the video. Anyone else find it extremely weird whenever they hear birds chirping in the middle of the night? Like, do you have any idea what time it is? You should have been in bed hours ago. What you doing? Whoever said diamonds are a girl's best friend clearly has never met ibuprofen. Actually, literally accurate. The song originates in the 1949 musical Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, while ibuprofen was invented in 1961. It's time to change history. When I was in post-op after top surgery, I had a good friend there with me to help recover. But the nurse didn't get the memo, and when I woke up, she was like, Okay, I'm gonna go get your girlfriend and bring her in to see you. And I remember being so zonked on anesthesia and so disoriented, I just laid there thinking, Wow, all that and they're bringing me a girlfriend too? This place is amazing. Can you imagine that's how it worked, though? Congratulations on your top surgery. Here is your medically prescribed girlfriend. Throwback to the time my classics professor asked, Does anyone know who Sappho is? And I immediately replied, She's the OG lesbian! And my professor yelled, Exactly! And wrote the OG lesbian on the whiteboard. Best professor. This website is basically the seagulls from Finding Nemo, except they say mood instead of mine. Mood? Hey, you know that trope where a guy ends up being destined to do some great task that a woman spent her whole life preparing for and she must train him until he surpasses her and he eventually beats her while sparring in their sexual tension? Mulan is that dynamic but reverse. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Where are my notes? Y'all know I'm right. Hey, stop putting raisins in things I would otherwise enjoy eating. You are being unreasonable. How dare you make me read this with my own two eyes? me every day of my stupid little life. If I don't get a little treat in the next five minutes, I'm going to die. Hmm. Tamagotchi car. Come on! Sometimes the only way I know my roommate is still alive is the $30 cheese that appears and disappears from my fridge. Mouse roommate. Rat behavior. The reviews are in. Weaseling my way out of a one-sided fairy bargain with a masterwork of circuitous logic. The Elf Lord congratulates me for my cleverness in a tone of genuine admiration, then immediately stabs me in the face. <gasps> Not the face, that's where the thinky thoughts are! I genuinely how to use Tumblr. What do you post about? Do you just do whatever on there, like how you do it on Twitter? It just feels like so much more... professional. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker said professional! Andy, get everyone to point and laugh at him! Do you ever just meet someone who's like the human version of unnecessary comments on text posts? Yes. Mm, there's a special place in hell reserved just for me. It's called the throne. <laughs> Bisexual? You mean you're experimenting? Kicks test tubes an alien hybrid under a desk. Uh, no, 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 what do you mean? I touch myself whenever I think about you. More specifically, I rub my temples because I get a headache because you're awful. You can follow me for the fandom you enjoy, but watch out! I think some of you need to eat a slice of cheesecake and listen to ambient rain noises for 10 hours. I never once had a slice of cheesecake in my life. In fact, I thought it was something that only existed on the IPU, iCarly Pearpad Universe. I, I want to study you. May I offer a lab? Why would I need a dog? These are actual people online. <laughs> me, coming to terms with the truth about myself. Hmm. Unfortunate. The dumbest thing is when parents say, This isn't how I raised you. Like, yes, it, it really is. You literally raised me. And here I am. What fuck you doing? There's something deeply, fundamentally wrong with you. Can we kiss? Girl, that is not lol calling three. That is concerning and manipulative. Daily quests. Survive for 10 minutes with a werewolf. In a fight. If you thought of something else, you gotta like, comment, and subscribe right now. I did not baby girlify that man. Look at him.
He's doing it all himself. Now, I don't want her victim blame, but maybe if he didn't want to be called baby girl, he shouldn't have been such a baby girl. Just a thought. You know what I mean? This amazing sculpture is called The Caring Hand and is located in Glarus, Switzerland. It's, it's poetry. I hate you. Um, pining lesbian ghost who does things for her very oblivious crush. I is this anything? Andy, write it down. I want to stick my hand in it, but no, I do not. Something terrible in me wants to flip this table. So my new English professor is my uncle, only he has no idea because he hasn't talked to my mom in about 20 years. So do you think I should tell him? You know what? Never mind. He's a dick. I'm going to go talk to my mom to get dirt on him so I can blackmail him if the need arises. You should write a story about a boy for an assignment that includes loads of life details about him that your mom tells you so that it's obviously him, but change all the names, then hand it in and be really confused if he questions you about it. Oh my god. Power move. Duolingo has more gay representation than the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Can you please elaborate? There are more gay characters on Duolingo than the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, w was, that not, was that hard to follow? Me drinking a glass of water and a glass of Coke at the same time. A sip of the substance that connects me to my ancient ancestors. And a sip of edible battery acid. You know, I've met some pricks in my time, but you are the fucking cactus. I just left my job. I couldn't work for a man after what he said to me. What did he say? You're fire! Why do text posts these days sound like vaudeville humor? Seeing a black and white cow is always so damn awesome. It's like, oh, hey, I know that guy from my kindergarten ABCs. It's him. I love how the monkey from Aladdin is just called dad if you translate Abu. Are you telling me that he calls the monkey daddy? All right, that's, that's enough. That's enough internet. Andy, blow up this post with your mind. And the video, thank you. Okay, bye. This is the only, this is the only thing in our new apartment so far. What else do you need? I mean, look, it's perfect. We all love urban fantasy, but we have to contend with the fact that if monsters were real, some of them would be normies. Your werewolf boyfriend posts on LinkedIn. The tentacle horror you've been thirsting after as a Disney adult. You did it. You made unimaginable horror within man-made comprehension. When I was but a wee baby high schooler, I made this on my school-issued Chromebook and posted it to my OG Tumblr blog. And I just knew, in my heart, it would do numbers. But alas, it only got one note. Me on my other blog. We can fix what once went wrong. How does Tumblr even work? Do you just, like, talk to yourself until people are like, oh, you know, I like this one. This is exactly how it works. So please stop asking me how to how to use Tumblr. That's it. That's it right there. Ah, I see. The slutty library of Alexandria is down. Hmm. Don't like that. Fandom-wide mandate that everyone has to rewatch the source material in steady intervals to minimize intense fandomization of tropes and characterizations that happens when people go without new source material for too long. Like renewing a license to practice every few years. That's that's a really good idea, actually. Hey, Tim Seymour, when will the Fiona only fans come in? <laughs> From the moment I saw you, I knew I was going to spend the rest of my life avoiding you. People need to learn the difference between Muppets and The Muppets. A Muppet is a style of puppet created by Jim Henson. The Muppets, trademark, are a dysfunctional polycule of vaudeville performers, all of whom also happen to be Muppets. Did it hurt when I told you to Google it and I was right? Walking into an obscure fandom like, hey, this trash can ain't big enough for the two of us. Stop saying you're investing in posts. I don't make jokes for any kind of economy. Banker-like behavior of you. Nurturing this post while it's young. Supporting and cherishing this post in its infancy. Of course you have blue skills and cooldowns. Hey! Shut your mouth! Hmm, would be asleep right now, but there are fictional characters to imagine and emotional situations. 
Uh, you know how it is. Me at 15. Why do my parents watch fucking HGTV all day? Me at 25. Damn! The granite countertops really do make that kitchen pop. You didn't respond to my ask. I'm kind of peeve. I'm not going to lie here. Oh, gee, funny you mentioned that because... Hmm. Konnichiwa, gamers. I think that if you stood behind Keanu Reeves and called out John, he would turn around. Between John Wick, John Constantine, Johnny Mnemonic, Don John, Johnny Utah, John Wall, John Rain, Jonathan Harker, and Johnny Silverhand, I'm willing to bet that some days the poor man has to take a minute. Key John Reeves. 400% of mental illness is thinking that this is probably just how hard life is for everyone, and you just can't handle it because you're a whiny baby who isn't trying hard enough. And then the doctors tell you that it's not the case. It's all fun and games until you fall in love with that video game character. You know the one. Right, Andy? Fear-based villain who lives a double life as a therapist to learn people's greatest fears and insecurities. That sounds terrifying. Fun fact about me. When I was six years old, I sent so much hate mail to the president, the second Bush, that the mail carrier had to tell my mom I needed to stop before we got FBI'd. Damn, what did that six-year-old say to the president? Oh, you wanted chocolate to top your Boston cream donut? Well, too bad. That chocolate's for the paper bag, you stupid bitch. I wonder if Yuri Lowenthal has an evil twin named Yowie Heinz. Yowie none. The default way for things to taste is good. We know this because tasty means something tastes good. Conversely, from the words smelly and noisy, we can conclude that the default way for things to smell and sound is bad. Interestingly, there are no corresponding adjectives for the sense of sight and touch. The inescapable conclusion is that the most ordinary object possible is invisible and intangible, produces a hideous cacophony, smells terrible, but tastes delicious. And yet this description matches no object or phenomenon known to science or human experience. So, what the fuck? This is what ancient Greek philosophy is like. Cannot believe that a 70-year-old senator actually uttered the phrase ignorant slut about Bernie Sanders on the Senate floor. So what actually happened was Senator Kennedy said to near a tandem, you basically called Bernie Sanders everything but an ignorant slut, which apparently is a reference to an SNL sketch from 1970s, which is odd, but also not completely batshit crazy. But what is crazy? Is that Senator Lindsey Graham in the background, who was not actively part of the conversation, then interrupted to respond with, Well, I wouldn't say ignorant. So whilst technically no senator referred to Bernie Sanders as an ignorant slut, Senator Lindsey Graham did quite state firmly that he is in fact a slut. Just a very knowledgeable one. Might fuck around and teach the crows the difference between humans and scarecrows so that your puny games of deceptions are futile. Cool. I heard from a Discord server that pill bugs remove heavy metals from the soil, so I made this meme and posted it there. And guess what? Nobody reacted or responded to it. I will not let my comedic genius be ignored! Andy, put some, put a little bit of doom music inside that bug for him. Thanks. But everything turned upside down when a new guy came to town. I will admit I am not immune to pretty girls. All their fire spells. It's hot. You know, I could be the person writing one-time verification codes. 873726-290971-041452-667656. It just comes naturally to me. They look so good. Life hack to get artists to draw for you. Find the commissions page and give them money. Wow, this hack really works. It's real. I've done it. Probably bad RPG ideas. The elemental plane of pointless bullshit. The source of Karen's power revealed. Isn't this also just the Wheel of Wild Magic? Wait a second! Moby Barbie? In my Barbie movie? Those cowards wouldn't say Barbie dick. <laughs> hey guys, I found a picture of Ampharo sitting down last night and I'm losing my fucking mind! Fucking astounding! Oh my god, look at the way she sits!
Hey, it's uh, it's been a while since I've done life updates and things like that. <laughs> I know I kind of keep things sort of in the dark where it's just like, here's a Tumblr video. Okay, guys, see you later. Bye. Or just give you updates of how Cosmic Wonders is doing. Um, I felt like it was time to sit down and talk a little bit more personally about everything that's been going on in life without oversharing, obviously, but just so you guys aren't in the dark of what's going on behind the scenes. The first big question I get, uh, at least just with Cosmic Wonders crowd, is when is episode two coming out? Because I know I share a lot of stuff. I know I do a lot of small little silly things. And it also, oh, and it always comes back to when are you going to bring out episode two? And honestly, I am trying to do it to the best of my abilities with everything else that's been going on. I I think I've talked about this before on streams and everything like that, but in terms of most of the music, the sound, animation, drawing, everything like that, that falls within my hands. And it's not trying to be like, I know how this is exactly going to work, so I want control of it. It's because... <laughs> The amount of money Cosmic Wonders is making right now and how much I could throw into it, majority of the budget is going to the voiceover talents. I cannot afford anyone else at the moment. But it's just not. And I don't want anyone to try to do the work for free. So that's why I don't take up any offers like, I'll do it for you for free. No, I believe everyone should get paid what they are owed for the show. And because of that, I take on more responsibilities than I can muster in the span of trying to meet the deadlines to get the episodes up. While also trying to gather money for it through other means, aka the late night Tumblr posts, which is why you've been seeing that more frequently than usual. And also, uh, the way YouTube has been lately in terms of ad revenue i've also had to do more just so i can you know pay andy fairly and everything like that and then the other kicker is i've been trying to move into my own space again and the place i've been looking at has been going through renovations and what started as like a two-month project has now been rolling into almost over a year so I've been putting things I wanted to do on the back burner, like more streams and more behind the scenes stuff, and even other things to do on this channel besides like my Tumblr, which is another subject I want to get into. I love doing the Tumblr videos, I really do, but I have been wanting to do other things so badly. Like you have, majority of you have seen the video I put up about the other things I've been doing lately. like. At this point, I've been doing this for so long, some people forget I was a professional voice actor first and a YouTuber second. Now it kind of seems like the pendulum has swung in the other direction where more people see me as a YouTuber than they see me as a voiceover talent. And that can get confusing and a little upsetting when you are the person who's been like, you know, who gets messages all the time saying, well, I can't believe you got this gig because I didn't think they would hire a YouTuber for this job, which, you know, is kind of demeaning on both ends for voiceover talent. Like they're not good enough to be a YouTubers, but YouTubers aren't good enough to be voiceover talents. It's, it's, it's a never ending battle with the internet. Back to main subject, just wanting to do more things. What kills me every time is I'm not, I'm saying this on about the platform, not the audience or my audience. I feel like the platform as a whole punishes its creators when they're not doing what the algorithm wants them to do. So if I share a video that has nothing with the words Tumblr in it or tagged as memes or social media readings or anything like that, YouTube will punish me not only for that video, but Tumblr videos when I do them again, because I, I've, I've seen the, the views go down slowly. And you could also just chalk that up to maybe just lack of interest lately. That's fine. People grow out of things and that is totally understandable. But this has put me in a never ending cycle of 
doing the videos to fund a project that I'm also trying to get done, but I don't have the time to do the project because I'm doing the videos in order to keep financing the project while also trying to get updates on a new location to continue doing the projects that I can't do because the place isn't available to me yet. And I still am trying to get it. Do you see how that fucks with someone's mind? I also feel like it's kind of tanked my life socially a little bit. Like I, I feel like my partner and friends I talk to online, like occasionally, and mainly it's just about work things is like the closest social interactions I get apart from the D and D stuff that I do with Andy and Amy and Etsy and Keston. But it's, it's hard. It's, it's really hard. Because I, I want all of this to succeed. I want to be able to have the time to do, continue doing things. And I also want to be able to afford a future for myself. Because I also think most people don't realize this. But I am 33. And that is a very awkward age to be at. Because you get different messages from different sides of the generation. Like, I can't believe you're at this age still trying to do this stuff. But also on the other end, oh, you're so young. You have plenty of time to do all these things and don't give up. That also really just fucks with a person mentally. Like, what do I believe? I know I should just form my own belief system, and I do. I, I think I'm still capable of doing all these things. But it gets really, really frustrating to see both ends all the time. Even when it's not even directed at me, it's like at another creator that's doing similar things years younger than me. Like just other like online readers that are probably in their 30s or late 20s and they're still like, I can't believe you're this old and you're still doing this. It... Yeah. <laughs> I also should clarify in this day and age that I am not like doing this for pity points or anything like that. I'm just telling you all this to let you know how things are going over here because I know sometimes it's easier to just, you know, leave things up to interpretation, just post the videos and walk away. But I, I know I do a lot of things. I get asked for a lot of updates. And I just want to let you guys know that's where I'm at right now. I am struggling, but I am still going. And I'm still going because I know I will eventually hit a finish line. That said, I thank you all for your time. I'm sorry this has been just, you know, a blank screen of probably the pink, something like that. Just do you want to, you know, have the bouncy PNG tuber or the little rabbit just to try to break the sincerity of this? I wanted this to be personal from me to you. I'm also sorry that it's very late at night, but I felt like this is the time of the day where I could feel the most honest. So I'll see you guys around. Tumblr video tomorrow. We'll go back to being funny. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. A trick to a good insult is sort of talking around it and making them think so that it hits harder when they realize what you're talking about. For example, you look like the Minotaur. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You look like you have a bull's head. Slightly funnier. You look like you should be imprisoned in an underground labyrinth for the safety of Crete. There we go. Convinced that anyone hyping up a Barbie movie is part of the Shadow Barbie government? It's true. Barbie is paying me personally to hype up her film. Losing is a fake idea invented by Big Mad to sell more angry. That's surprisingly motivating. By the way, it's a real bold of Hollywood to be like, the writers and actors have unrealistic expectations, but we know what we're doing. When they got tricked into releasing Morbius in theaters a second time, Hey, is the person running the booty diaries okay? Sometimes I get the overwhelming desire to eat two-thirds of a brick. What do you do with the other third? Feed it to my pet brother. I wish all nights were like this. Hanging out with my bestie, watching shows till 10 p.m. I get home and it's storming. I have my window open, my fan on, my favorite music playing, and I'm snuggled into bed with a big, thick blanket and my back. Perfect night. 
So what if women are dancing in the moonlight and turning into wolves? As if we can help it! Traditional human nanotechnologies, such as yeast. Traditional yeast macrotechnologies, such as humans. Stop. Only true gamers use the Nintendo GameCube keyboard controller. No, but seriously, if you played Fantasy Star Online, this was your savior. Fun fact! Did you know that you can gain extra forbidden time by staying up late in the night? But watch out. I have so much Homestuck on my dash. My brother and Carcat, you followed the Homestuck blog. Bro, just guess the character in Homestuck meant to represent Jesus Christ and was correct. What? Why? Now you faint. Because every time I fuck your daddy makes me a sandwich. And every time we kiss, I swear I can fly. Actually, all fossil reconstructions are wrong because flesh only evolved recently. Before that, it was Bone World. Don't ever say those two words next to each other ever again. Sinner. Why is everyone complaining about the font size of the quotes? H! I don't know, looks fine to me. Made that uh, extra funny move of wearing a be gay do crime shirt to jury duty today. Were you chosen to be a juror? No. Damn it. Self-care is wolfing down chicken nuggets while watching a crab eat an onion ring on YouTube after a shitty day at work. Truly the best self-care. Andy, do yourself a favor. Scoff down those chicken nuggets. Go. So, my friend forgot to secure the latch on his magic card briefcase, and all his commander decks are now mixed together. So now he's playing 1200 card pickup and has to reorganize everything. Go ahead. Start gathering. I see Hollywood is now very into the idea of buying something once and then owning it forever, being able to make infinite copies. Which isn't quite the message they imparted upon me in my childhood, in the spirits of their own long-held stance. Can't trust anyone who criticizes the Mamma Mia movie. Like, what the frick are you even criticizing? The plot? The characterization? My brother in Christ, they put Meryl Streep, Colin Firth, and Amanda Seyfield on an island, got them drunk, and asked them to sing ABBA songs in the campiest way possible! This, that, that's literally it! By this point, you have to just assume that you're the problem. Oh, I, I feel so popular. Like five of my mutuals like my post. Wow. What's posted on the internet stays there forever. It's true for everything except for that one piece of fan art you saw when you were 10 that changed the trajectory of your life forever. You will never find that again. It's gone forever. You have to let Denny's parking lot at 3 a.m. go. You have to think independently. You have to come up with your own strange places and indeed your own strange times to be there. There's authenticity in that. I want to art, but my hands are not arting. So now I'm just staring at the sketch hoping something happens. Spoilers, it's not working. Parky Chow, do you think you get a post to one million likes? There are only like 300 Tumblr users. It's true, 300 users. All with 70 alternative accounts. Frankly, if I'm the odd one in the group, I'd rather be mislabeled than singled out. All right, ladies. Oh, and Dave. Like, don't put me on the spot like that. For the purpose of this exercise, I will answer the ladies. I was explaining my sexuality to my coworkers about how I'm both asexual and into kink culture, and after a minute, my coworker said, Oh, it's like you don't play the FNAF game, but you like the lore. And I haven't recovered. I wish I didn't have lactose intolerance so I could try hot cock without fainting later. Uh, hot cock? Hot cocoa! Hot cocoa! Penis typo! Oh no. I saw a wiggly worm on the pavement and it looked sad, so I said, Oh no, Mr. Worm, you're in a very sorry state. Back into the thicket with you. And I gently put it back into the grass, then I turned around and there was a teenager laughing at me! Why are the youth so cruel? The concept of plagiarism, going from taking someone else's work and passing it as your own, to now being anything that you take inspiration from to make your own thing, is killing creativity. I'll fight people on that. Online plagiarism software flags anything similarly formulated as plagiarism. Like, come on. There isn't 100 ways to give the date of birth and death of someone, for example. This is fucking up teenagers' minds. 
That's how you get kids calling out artists for stealing poses or color palette. The way these strikes get framed is always so funny to me. The strike could stretch on until the end of summer. Or the executives could pay their workers. There won't be any new shows because of this strike. Or the executives could pay their workers. No more content for us because the mean old writers and actors are- Or the executives could pay their workers. I'm the guy they hit with cars over and over to test for safety. I'm the girl who hits this guy with cars to test for safety. Can you stop? I just realized I can be perceived. This is not good, freaking out RN. Andy. Perceive them into the dirt! So what makes a butcher's knife more butch than other knives? The knife itself isn't necessarily butch. It's named that because it's wielded by a butcher who is more butch than other food shop owners. Hmm, I see. What then makes the butcher more butch than other food shop owners? The knife. That's what ancient Greek philosophy is like. Is it weird that I'm scared of Sienna? Like she's cute and all, but too cute. She's just standing there, adorably. Get out of there, SpongeBob! All right, sir. The divorce is finalized. Would you like to receive your no bitches mega mind in email or paper? <laughs> paper. Boom was bad because they had to play with Jax instead of DMC3. Honestly, it was probably right. Guys, how do I turn off sad mode? Guys? Anybody? Our founding fathers died so that I could wear thigh-high socks, cute makeup, and go to Walmart and live. See, Mario Creepypasta fundamentally doesn't work because you know what Mario would actually do if we saw some dimension-warping, hundred-handed cosmic horror? He wouldn't lose his mind. He'd take one look at that Shin Megami Tensei-looking fucker, pull out his dorky little mushroom-shaped cell phone, hit the fourth number on his contact list, and go, Hey, Corby, I think one of your boys got lost. Or he'd just fight it himself. No, 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 he would not for two reasons. One, this represents a fundamental misunderstanding of Mario's central plot structure. Mario always gets his ass beat in his initial encounter with an outside context problem that spends the bulk of the game going around gathering allies and kicking the legs out from under the outside context problem support structure, aka this game. And number two, this sort of thing clearly falls into another protagonist idiom, and Mario is a union man. He's not going to scab on Kirby. Perish the thoughts. Spellcasters hate the fact, but if you just stick your fingers in their mouth while casting a spell with a verbal component, it's literally more effective than a counter spell. This also works with pinning their hands against the wall when they're trying to use some nanic opponents. Basically, if you make out sloppy style while pressed against a wall, the spellcasters can't do anything. This is a very long and convoluted way to saying you wanted to make out with your fellow spellcaster. Andy, shame them. I'm so strong and masculine, my arm doesn't even shake when I'm holding a pot over the sink while I fill it up with water. Lying. It's okay, I don't think anyone can do that. Pucky, you are correct all the time, ever. Even when I'm super horribly wrong, I'm right. I love being me. I have never felt more like a rotisserie chicken before in my life. To be clear, I had a bath and decided to wash both my front and my back at the same time before rinsing, so I was like, how do I get de-soaked? Thus came the spinning We. I know I've been talking about Joltik a lot recently, but I genuinely think it's the cutest Pokemon ever! Look at him! He's, he's, he's so tiny! He's just a little man! Movie theater attendant says, enjoy your movie. I say, you too. I whip out an extra ticket and we go on a date. Smooth motherfucker. Don't think I can connect with anyone who hasn't been in a wizard maze anymore. It changed me. Mm. Why couldn't the hackers take on Wattpad instead? Oh, poor AO3 people are still coping. Explain your gender in ten words or less without using the boring words like male, female, non-binary, masculine, feminine, or androgynous. Go! Mentally ill all kid who's having a crisis fluctuates presentation. Oh! I do not grasp the concept of moderation. <laughs> Friendly reminder that yesterday when my mom took me to Walmart, she left me alone in the toilet paper section, and this guy started hitting on me, and I said, Sorry, I'm a lesbian. And he was like, Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I thought you were a boy. This was my Barbenheimer. Oh my god, they're so right. Personally, I went with Roblox oof because I needed to know more about Tommy freaking Tellerico. Please stop global warming, I don't look good in shorts. 
It took two hours of prodding, and you unraveled like an Ace Attorney character on cross. <laughs> she sent on my men, till I called her who can. Utterly incomprehensible to anyone who spends a healthy amount of time online. Fantastic. What? What happened to my dashboard? Why did they change it? This isn't natural! Put it back! There's something so satisfying about using ellipses like a boomer. I'm in a perpetual state of ponderance, ruminating. My mind a mere cow chewing grass in an open field. Motto Goblin, why must we play God? Artistic representation of how the lemon was invented in the first place. Look, you don't need threads. Citrus are such whores they'll cross with any other citrus. They're not choosy. Citrus are whores is not something I expected to see on the hell site today. I'm not wrong, though. They're easily the sluttiest fruit. You don't see Rosalie's pulling this shit. I mean, yeah, apples will breed weird new apples, but nothing fucks around like citrus. So we're slut-shaming the fruit now? Tags that look homophobic without context. I mean, technically, squashes are fruits, but they are also extremely slutty. Wait, is that why certain fan fictions are called lemons? Getting eight hours of sleep isn't enough. I want to slumber under the earth for eons like the old gods. This is a cry for help, please. One time I dreamt Gomez and Morticia Adams got divorced. I woke up mortified and with a sense of inexplicable dread. Yeesh, what a horrible nightmare. But no, those two, they were probably just divorcing so they could get married all over again. The urge to bother my mutuals. The urge is strong, but the social anxiety is stronger. Reblog if it's okay for your mutuals to bother you. Is it okay if I send you an image of Chalky Milk at 3 a.m.? You see, Barry the Platypus, when I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. No, 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 please don't. No, no, no. Skin is just people crust. Go back to the doof and smirts doing Black Parade. Every day I wear my, I keep all my dad jokes in a database t-shirt on public, and every day people refrain from asking me to tell a dad joke. I've had like five locked and loaded for coffee shop employees alone. If I ever write something set in the United States, I'm just going to do like zero research whatsoever and make stuff up to sound cool. It's equality. The lush, impenetrable jungles of Massachusetts. I wear a bra not for my own comfort, but to keep others safe. To keep them contained. For my tits are indeed not calm. As a child being told the moon controls the tides, with no additional explanation, I was like, Oh, okay. You want me to believe in magic? You're talking about magic right now. Oh, okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Of its proximity, but it isn't the only influence. The sun, with about 27 million times the mass of the moon, is always the gorilla in the room when it comes to solar system equations. But it's a distant gorilla about 390 times farther away than the moon. Sorry, only semi-related, but I simply wasn't ready for The sun is a distant gorilla. Thank you, Nessa. I had a dream that Tumblr added a difficulty slider, and when I went to the highest difficulty, my phone exploded. Oh man, that sucks, bro. Sure would be a shame if your phone exploded right now. I'm this bunny's mom. Are you kidding me? It's smaller than a playing card. It's so tiny and cute. Bow, wow, wow. Guys, if we want to save Tumblr, we just have to put on the biggest talent show this town's ever seen. Hey, man, you've been taking a while putting your change back in your wallet, and I just wanted to let you know we're kicking you out of the grocery store forever. Goodbye. Ben and Jerry's is dangerous ice cream. Capitalizes on the evolutionary human instinct to dig for chunks. Before you know it, half the pint gone. The children yearn for the mines. Probably good RPG ideas. The Oracle hides a terrible secret. She's a time traveler from the future. None of her prophecies are prophecies. They're just things she remembers about history. She also has an even more terrible secret. She's from really far in the future, and history wasn't her best subject in school. Andy, for all the love that is holy, write that down. Yeah, sorry, I don't really consume any media outside of letting this purple fungus grow in my lungs. It's excruciating. We live in a world that's so beautiful. Like knowing my car is in the hands of a bisexual Full Metal Alchemist fan. The peace I feel.
Nothing like it. Well, I wouldn't. Okay. I told the hibachi guy to make me regret being born when he asked how spicy I wanted my spicy chicken, and he just nodded solemnly. I'll see you on Valhalla. I'm seeing dead prophets. They were a line that chicken can kill you. It tastes really good though, my compliments to the chef. PM, does Tumblr's status of being the hell side prevent it from being counted as a social media? I used to say I don't use social media, but now I need to ask a Tumblr professional if that statement still stands. Tumblr is the social media for antisocial people. There, I said it. Seeing people be like, I know it's gonna be hard to support the SAG strike because movies and shows will stop coming out, but it's so fucking funny. Like, can I introduce you to a beautiful concept called the million billion movies and shows that already exist that you couldn't even get through in a lifetime if you wanted? Welcome to heaven. Just do it. Like, seriously, you can't look me in the eye and tell me that you have watched every movie and show ever made. J just do it. I look forward to that one internet commenter that's like, um, actually, I have. <laughs> 11.38, arrived at crime scene. 11.38, examined body, signs of a struggle. 11.38, found murder weapon in drain. 11.38, realized watch was broken. Jeff, I swear to God! If you put a milkshake in one yard and crack a cold one in another yard, which yard would the boys go to? Schrodinger's boys. What about cracking open a cold milkshake? As we all know, the milkshake brings the boys to the yard. The presence of the boys is a prerequisite for cracking open a cold one. But cold ones do not have any inherent boy-attracting abilities. Milkshakes, however, do. All else being equal, the boys would proceed to the milkshake yard. While it is possible to announce the presence of the cold ones in the hopes of attracting some boys, the pull of the milkshake is much more powerful by comparison. Mind you, all of this nonsense hinges on whether or not the boys are back and down. Hey, this all makes sense. Please stop! You know... Back in my day, if a pestilence swept through the land during a time of famine and flood, it meant that the reigning kings had displeased the gods, and that we risked the gods' further ire by obeying them. Then you took the king out, chopped his head off, and threw him into a bog to appease the angry gods. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't. 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 People will bring up fictional murder as if I had anything to do with it or could stop it. Like, I'm not aware. You know this freak kills people, right? Man, what do you want me to do about that? I'm not his keeper. He's funny to observe. And also not real. You know what? You fucked around enough. Now it's time to find it out. Oh, shit! Hey, hey, hey. What's your gender? Cohen Dwee. Are you sure you entered a valid gender? I'm being oppressed. Positive affirmations. I have not been poisoned by a witch. Ow. 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 If you reach the top of my pyramid and you think your challenges are over, well, think again, buddy. That is where my sarcophagus is. You fight the evil mummy at the top of the pyramid. Everybody knows this. Andy, you knew this, right? You ever take a quiz and realize halfway through that you don't respect the author and their opinion is useless to you? The SAT? Everyone shut up except this person. My wife just found out I was cheating after she found the letters I was hiding. She got mad and said she is never playing Scrabble with me again. Hamilton's alternate ending. Fuck H.O. I need bitches. How do I get bitches, oh wise one? You gotta stop calling him that, man. You, seriously, that's it. That, that's the thing. Ugh, okay, unfollowing. I had no clue he chopped down the entire forest and drove out all of its wildlife and caused near irreversible damage to the world's ecosystems just to make some fuzzy, shapeless thneed. Come on, guys, I think we're blowing this way out of proportion. I mean, how bad could it... How bad... Honestly, the term biohacking in reference to trans people accomplishes nothing except making transitioning seem really, really, really fucking cool. I'm in. I'm him. <laughs> that's, uh, that's probably one of the funniest jokes I've ever heard. McDonald's french fry with too much salt. How much is too much? Oh. Wow. I just found out Joe Biden isn't even bi. <gasps> Remove him! 
Is there a word that's a mix between angry and sad? Malcontented, disgruntled, miserable, desolated. Smad. There are two types of people. I feel like an eternity has passed in two minutes, a month and a moment, and a breath took eons. All because I started to try using dating apps. Purgatory is a better alternative at this point. Look at you, anxious ace. Take a deep breath. Relax your shoulders. Unclench your jaw. You nervous looking ace. Seeing Spider-Verse with my little sister, I guess. Life is worth living, holy shit. Hey, what's up, danger? Today I learned in 1903, the New York Times predicted that building a flying machine would be possible in one to 10 million years. To understand how ridiculous this is, the first successful powered airplane flew the same year, 1903. And you're understating how ridiculous. It wasn't just the same year. It was nine days later. Nine. Nine. Love that fighting is considered a Pokemon type. Like, yeah, I got magical elemental skills. It's called kicking your ass. The ability to turn the post above you into a speech bubble of a character of your choice is an essential weapon of Tumblr PvP. Oh, you son of a gun. Miserably eats a stale McDonald's fry. <laughs> Tumblr is short for tumble dryer because that's what being on this website feels like. That sounds relaxing though. Look at me go. Wee. My friend has no idea what FNAF is. Explain each game in two words. Fabby Fast Bear! Can I also just say it's weird that the game is like named after the mascot that gets like the least attention? Except for Security Breach. They really. Oh, they really himboed him up. Pocketcho, are you aware of TikTok's infatuation with you? I am unaware of everything. It's almost like, oh, I don't know, Tumblr is like that place under the rock where all the little ants live, completely unbeknownst to the rest of the world. Today I stubbed my toe very hard against my dresser, but I didn't feel anything. Hashtag numb. I spelled dresser wrong, are you serious? And toe. Wait, what? This is so embarrassing. Two foot tall, 25 pound cobalt rogue. Please don't take away my emotional support, Dragonborn. Seven foot one, 300 pound Dragonborn Barbarian. Yeah, she might get carried away by an above average owl. When you try to reblog a post, but it's tagged, freaks do not interact and your hand singes and burns. Like when a demon touches the Bible. What if you went to your normal job when they were doing a musical episode? Oh no. No, I would walk out that door immediately. No, I'm not doing it. The most fucked up part about adult life is how you can just decide to do things. Unmarried person spotted. Hmm. You seem straight. <gasps> Damn! Wait, I realize this Twitter rate limiting thing happened literally the same day as the Reddit third party app shutdowns. Wonder how many of those users came here today to this Luigi wins by doing nothing ass website. Probably bad RPG ideas. DM. Players. And a secret third thing. The secret third thing is me. I'm the guy who makes all the wacky homebrew that everyone loves but you can't find anywhere. Gently places a small clump of moss in your hand. Hmm. We shall be married in the morning. When my program freezes, Task Manager! Kill him! Queen Delta Rune when those gay teenagers get in her castle. I think Ryan Gosling and Daniel Craig are both evidence that if you do enough serious films, the second you're free to just be the silly guy you are on the inside, you can't help but commit 120% to the bit. Yes. Oh shit, they're getting on us. We gotta jettison some weight. Throw all those stolen boomerangs out. We don't need them. On it, boss. Bad news, boss. Self-depreciating thought. Self-depreciating thought. Self-depreciating thought. Hey, that's an amazing ace. I guess I'm not that bad, actually. Ghostbusters taking over. I'm virgin. Posts like this make me realize that I never read anyone's fucking URL. How fitting is it to hyperfixate on Gargura during Shark Week? Oh no. If I were dating you, well, <laughs> let's just say horses wouldn't be called horses anymore. Hey, what the fuck does this mean? I'm shaking, what does this mean? Andy, help, what does this mean? Oh god, the horses! Probably bad RPG ideas. Abruptly decide that rather than playing D&D, you're now playing X for some godforsaken reason. 
Is it ethical to slap someone for waking you up really early for no reason? Sir, it is unethical to not slap someone for waking you up early for no reason. Thank you, Ethics Stom. You know, worried that squirrels were eating all the bird seeds, so we set up a camera. I don't think that's a squirrel. No, you can't seduce the fungus. Me, a tired DM. But I wanna perceive your Asian eagle owl chicks. The laundry is alive and it is angry. Oh, my God. This is why you clean the lint tray regularly. Gender? I hardly know her. <laughs> is, this, is this anything? The Barbie movie reminded me how about when I was little, my parents were upset that I kept making my Barbie dolls kiss. So they bought me a Ken doll. The next day, they found me having a funeral for poor Ken of the garden. He had died of tuberculosis. All the Barbies were an attendee and I buried him under our rose bush. The Barbies were too poor to afford a headstone. It was 1875. So I didn't mark where the grave was and I never could find him again. He's probably still there. Gotta admit, a little terrified. My therapist doesn't like that I keep referring to my transition as my villain arc. Well then what's the point? I feel like if you scream at an animal loud enough, it would simply explode. You know, I'm sure there is a science behind that based on, like, sound having some force behind it. Well, maybe. Probably. I don't know. Autistic people are so weird and emotionless. Cut to me feeling bad after impulsively smacking a bug. Oh my god, same. The freestanding lamp, $1,400. Only $1,400 to scare the shit out of yourself every single night of your life. That thing would move around during the night. Like, oh shit, where did the ball fondler go? Probably out to fondle, well, you know. Do not shove your card violently deep into the chip reader. Show some compassion. It has sensitive components that need tender love, not crazy wild animal strength. Thank you. Robot girl with booty sharks. <laughs> God, no. Yo, she let me hit it because I solved her riddles three. When my heart rests, her wife leaves me. Uh, oh, wrong post. No, 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 stay in this space with me. Tom, what's going on? Just remember the other day a teen approached me holding a rapidly melting chunk of ice in his hand and asked me if I wanted to buy a limited edition pet rock. <laughs> That's good. I like that. There needs to be a name for the opposite of Blorbo. Like this is my Zinky. Every day I shoot him dead in my mind and feast on his corpse. You know, not to tempt Apollo in his magical gift of prophecy, but I get the sudden feeling this post might breach containment. Apollo, if you wish for my hand in marriage, get this post of 5k notes. This'll stop him. I know that says 18 hours ago, but I wonder if this was written before the idea of Glub Shido. A knife that gives you all of Clock Ken's superpowers! So, how I feel when I pick up a normal knife? So you mean to tell me I get all the powers of a mild mannered reporter of a daily metropolitan newspaper? Oh boy, Pulitzer Prize, here I come! No, no guys, Clock. Clock Ken's Superman. He's what?! Colin Dwee. With violent intentions. I still think one of the funniest experiences of my life was watching American Psycho with my sister, and afterwards we both went, okay, let's do something more lighthearted now, and put on the dub version of Hal's Moving Castle, and we both lost our minds when we heard Hal start talking. If you don't understand that joke, uh, Andy put up the credits for Patrick Bateman, and Hal, thank you. You know, reading the stars is actually quite easy when you think of him like a beautiful man and kiss him. Passionately. On the mouth. What? New podcast pitch. Five friends crammed in a small shower to discuss topics, but if someone uses a secret word selected beforehand, the shower turns on for the rest of the podcast. Oh my god, that sounds evil. I asked my dad to make me a hot chocolate, and he's literally sawing something in the kitchen right now. Cutting down the cacao tree. Making the mug by hand. Installing a new stove to make it on. He's a good dad. Whoa, Puggy Joe, two posts in one 24-hour cycle? Things are heating up. I hope you brought your raincoat. Heating? Raincoat? How's that correlate? The weather can be two things. Good thoughts. Solar power. Bad thoughts. Yizma, main character of Emperor's New Groove fame, shouting, Pull the lever, crunk! Every time I pass by a fire alarm. On the bright side, that's a fun voice to have for your intrusive thoughts. My boyfriend is a Marvel fan, and I am a DC fan. Is this what Romeo and Juliet felt like? No, not even close. 
Did Vriska do anything wrong? Vriska is a fictional character. She never performed any actions at all. Therefore, she did nothing wrong. Vriska did nothing. Everyone's going on about Barbenheimer, but I'm doing my own dark and joy mix. Behold, Death Sponge. I heard a cardboard noise and turned around to find this. Um, fashion? Does anyone here remember that time Disney made a bad live action reboot of Beauty and the Beast and then decided that they should just <laughs> 3D scan Emma Watson's face to go on the bell dolls they made? Every time I remember this exists, I start laughing so hard I feel nauseous. <laughs> she looks like she's trying to pretend she's not high while talking to her son's homeroom's teacher. It looks like they just took the Hermione doll and put it on the bell figures. Pros of corded headphones. Can't lose phone, don't need to charge headphones. They look cool and are amazing. The cons of corded headphones. Every doorknob in existence is now out to get you. Yeah. TikTok has a special talent for finding the worst fucking songs you've ever heard in your entire life and making them trendy. I, I gotta admit, it's impressive. Secondhand embarrassment is pure agony, and I wish a lot of comedy didn't rely on it. I cannot deal with it. I have to literally leave the room. It's a sign of being extremely empathetic. Thanks, I hate it. How do I uninstall? Ugh. There's a fucking worm outside. I can't sleep with this noise. Here's my series of books written in sparkly gel pen. And I call it Glitterature. I feel like this is a thing Mabel Pines would say. I can go give fire to the ants, BRB. Update. It was a mistake. Going on testosterone and changing my pronouns to he 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 am a fan of <laughs> It's quite a lot. So I stopped using Tumblr back in 2018. Did I miss anything important? The website is mostly trans women and wizards now. And both are recruiting. Parenthesis equals equals. AKA pickaxe emoticon for dwarves. <gasps> Is it time, Andy, to rock and stone? For rock and stone! A Twitch streamer calling for his mods is exactly the same as a king asking for his knights to execute someone. God, you know what they say? It guy actually makes sense. Midwife? <laughs> no such thing. Fermenting in a butch honorary way. I meant femme, not fermenting. Call that kombucha. Stop being funnier than me on my own post! Perceive the long exposure picture of a plane taking off. The forbidden slide. People won't hate their work as much if there existed a door in their workplace that led them directly to their room. I like how the phrasing of this implies intent to create this door. Nothing is worse than software that tells people when I'm online or when I read their messages or when I'm typing something. I always want to be as unknowable in my silence as God! <laughs> nice argument. However, I have monkeys at typewriters typing your IP out, dumbass. As soon as one of them gets it right, you're fucking dead. I love how castles are like a fairy tale staple and princesses live in them now. Those are military installations. The thing of 4,000 years, the irradiated mice that inherit our world will tell stories about princesses living on aircraft carriers? I hope so. We've protected you from Facebook. Screenshots of hope and joy. Peace and love on planet Earth. I can fix him. Bro, he got 10 other girls trying to fix him. Y'all look like a construction crew. Going fair, I think about how we have to pay for the privilege to not have to listen to non-stop sale pitches. What would your ancestors think of your whole gender thing? What would yours think about being told to buy things every two minutes? I think they would kill CEOs in the streets for being annoying. They were known to do that! Get your dirty dishes out of your room. I see those mugs. You got food wrappers and stuff on your desk, I swear. Clean your desk. That is your most powerful space. Only if you want to, though. I have no power over you. But if you do clean your space, you will feel a lot better. So if you can please do it, okay? Please? Okay, bye. I'm feeling a normal amount of emotions and can be trusted with the nuclear launch codes. G give them. Who are you? Why you on my dash? I don't know. On an unrelated note, do you walk into stores and ask, What is this place? Why did I come in here? What happens to nitrogen when the sun rises? <laughs> it becomes daytrogen. I'm going to bed. The nitrogen. Sleep, nitrogen. Don't have the bed box, nitrogen. I hate you! 
Life is like a home-stuck flash. Beautiful, unpredictable, fast, tragic. Carcat is there. And he's about to pop up on your screen right now. My process of making OCs. Are they lovers? Worse. I know we say this joke casually, but Neil Gaiman really is stronger than a U.S. Marine to leave his inbox open. Like, damn. I am not responsible for who I become when hyperfixating. I'd like to see your dignity hold up when flooded by 2,000% of your typical dopamine levels. <laughs> I, like, got this platoon stuck on my ceiling and I'm not able to get it down. You're not going to believe what object dislodged itself from the ceiling and began its descent to the floor, creating a loud, meaty slap sound upon impact. Waking me up in the tender hours of the night. Andy, I hope you provided some sort of sound for big meaty slap. If you didn't, that's fine. I understand. Adam, I'll let you name the birds. Tit. Uh, okay. Booby. Stop naming them after breasts. Looks at Rooster. Don't. Behold, abandoned intersection near Ottawa on a 720 by 404 ratio. The Parliament of Traffic Lights will decide your fates. You know, the only reason we may dislike something is because it exists outside our comfort zone. And if we're able to experience something inside of it, we may enjoy it more. Sorry, there was a storm. Storms making me philosophical and shit. Now hold on. They aren't something. Have you ever slept so good that when you wake up, you temporarily forget how to walk? One. I don't... Yeah. Girlhood is a spectrum. Yeah. Ah, yes, Hatsune Miku to Bernie Wrightson's Victor Von Frankenstein. A fine spectrum indeed. All right, Chet. Where do you lie on this spectrum? Writing prompt. There is a forbidden type of magic out there. It isn't forbidden because it's inherently evil, or forces you to lose your humanity, or requires human sacrifices. It's just forbidden because it's annoying as heck to fight against. The power of friendship! And this gun. <sighs> Hello, August, you piece of shit. Why so open, the closer? Who the hell closed last night? The opener. Here's transparent salamander hand for you guys to blap against things. Blap. This is the greatest gift we have ever received. Andy, proceed to blap things at will. Pogachow! I'm trans, what do I do now? You must journey through the western gates into the great unknown, past the Black Ridge, through the mires betwixt towering mountains, past the empty fields of gold that stretch on for miles, onto horizons anew. But Pocky Chow said trans rights. I think. I said trans quest. All the bitches with prank YouTuber humor hate me for my firm boundaries and refusal to laugh at jokes that aren't funny. Well, looks like you're gonna have to name yourself I am based post. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. Man, if I saw an elf, nobody would be able to stop me. F from what? Nobody would be able to stop me. Holy shit, is that an elf? Writing prompt. She's a battle-scarred, jaded super soldier loaded with biomechanical upgrades and chemical augments. All she wants to do is wear cute clothes and paint. This is called being a trans girl. I think my favorite joke is a character saying something really suspicious, pausing, then going, uh, uh, or so I've heard. It's a good one. I had a dream that Joe Biden addressed the nation wearing a Miko robe like a Shinto princess. He was also visibly eight months pregante. He didn't talk about that until the press asked him about it, to which he replied, I bear the child of a great spirit. As if, like, that was something mildly inconvenient, like getting stuck in traffic. Mission, be normal about that thing. Status, failed. So do you want a brief explanation of what an acorn is? In a nutshell, it's an oak tree. I, I, I just, I just, I just need a minute.
Riding front, a group of dragons get together to play offices and managers. Is this where the office came from? I put Dwight Stapler in jello. Roll for a sleight of hand. Me, a writer, staring at one sentence for ten minutes straight. I don't know what's wrong with you, but I don't like you. Everything will be okay. Shallow and dismissive comfort that establishes impossible goal an indefinite future away. In two weeks, you will have different problems. So true, bestie, the human experience. Yeah. Behold, a very powerful American toad creates ripples in water with his call. Those ripples are a telltale sign they are charging their beam attack. Um, excuse me. He's practicing his ham on. Pocket Witch, what time is it? <laughs> ah. Tis the witching hour. It's all fun and gay until you get a crush on her. Update, she's my girlfriend now. It's all fun and gay again. Wow. Incredible that Tumblr has persisted for long enough that it's become one of the least irritating social media platforms without becoming any less irritating. Good job. Babe, calm down. Why don't you go listen to a beautiful video game track powerful enough on its own to move you to tears? Maybe then you'll feel better. So true. Attention! We will now be rating your Blorbos, OCs, and other wretched things based on the six components. Slime, skeletons, sand, the secret component. Number seven, and soup. Use any scale you wish as long as they can be represented by saying X out of Y, with each item presented in any order except the one I just listed. Okay. There's a ton of shit you can get in life if you're willing to submit yourself to the mortifying horror of asking for it. <laughs> Professor, can I take this exam? A different time? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Am I the only one who takes a sip of Baja Blast and immediately thinks of the cinnamon twist from Taco Bell? Like, I'm almost positive there's some similarities in the flavor. Like, I, 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 it just can't be me, right? Right? Anyone? I think what you're witnessing is a uh, food memory anomaly. Whereas by drinking or eating something from your childhood, it flips memories that you've had before with that. Or, you know, you could just be tasting the sugar in both things, but sure, go off, fam. The most Coco Malone shit I've ever experienced in my life was the time I was in calculus and some girl in front of me was Googling assorted animals and scrolling through pictures of clip art pigs and horses and shit on her laptop, completely focused like it was her tax form. I have asked you time and time again, yet you won't listen. So I'm giving you one last chance. And this time you'll know what happens if you ignore me. If you don't stop it with your Cohen 3, I'm going to fold your clothes while you're still wearing them. Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Arrow Cohen 3. You son of a- I'm afraid that I have the world builder's disease. And it is terminal. There's only one cure for this. Andy, slide a make your own D&D campaign over at them. Hey, question for writers. How do you do that? Putting her in charge of organizing the studio from now on. Good luck, Milkshake. Oh my god, look at the amount of stress on her face. What if there was a big kobold and they had a small dragon friend and they were in love? They're the same size. And they're the same size. The concept of characters being turned into something monstrous and destined for evil, but still choosing to be good and to do good things for as long as possible is a good trope. The best trope, really. All right, I'm going to need some examples on that. The croc instinctively carries its offspring in its mouth. And yet a trace of the true self remains in the false self. They hate me for being a slut, to be honest, and maybe... Also, the killings, too, but that's unlikely. Girls realizing they're a lesbian. Call that a... Call that... <laughs> Eureka. I hate you. She thinks every package that arrives is for her. Hey! They are for her. Sometimes fan fiction is a love letter to canon. 
and sometimes fan fiction is pounding on Canon's door and yelling it for it to get out here so you can kick its ass. You know, I always thought it was completely unrealistic that sitcom characters deal with a new conflict that should be easily solvable every week or so. And now as an adult, I absolutely understand now. Witness the cost of love. I, I, I don't see anything wrong. What cost is being shown? I, I zoom in? Yeah, I don't see anything. The toilets in this kebab restaurant making me feel like I've just joined CP underscore orange underscore restroom underscore X3. No way. Probably bad RPG ideas. You'd think dwarves would have a toxic masculinity problem, but they don't. They're resistant to toxins, you see. That's beautiful. And you write that down. That's a real knee slapper. You think your crush is laying in bed thinking about you, but in reality, they're reading about swords on Wikipedia. Well, you were wasting your time considering me as a romantic option. I was studying the blade. Life hack. When you see a take one candy bowl in a restaurant, wait until no one's looking and shovel candy into your pockets. God may judge you, but his sins outnumber your own. God may judge you, but his sins outnumber your own. We really need to start collecting and sourcing these potent quotables. Me starting a new game. I'm gonna be evil this time. Me five minutes into said game. Being mean's not nice. Me after failing to be evil. I'm gonna look up the YouTube videos of that playthrough instead. Me looking at the videos. I can't watch this. Literally me every time with the Fable series. I lived in Taiwan for a time, and I saw monkeys swing on trees. Who asked? God has granted you the gift of knowledge, and yet you shun him! Delete you forever! <laughs> you still exist as metadata. Ah, oh, fuck. I've been erased, but my shadow still remains. Ah. <laughs> That's a nice starry-eyed ambition you got there, buddy. Sure hope the narrative doesn't warp it into something ruthless and all-consuming. Yeah, sorry, your boyfriend got brainwashed by the patriarchy. Yeah, he thought it meant horses run everything. Sorry. Thinking about that matte blue Scooby-Doo fruit snack. Look at that. Enigmatic. A mystery. Probably use drugs. Anyone else feeling the effects lately due to all the things? Bro, all the time. <laughs> Please. Untitled document was my father. Call me untitled document parentheses one parentheses. Oh my god, stop. Deactivating all my bones tonight for a little blob action. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Mr. Beast just cured me from being dead, but he hates how it turned out, so they didn't even upload the video about it. This is the plot of Frankenstein, I think. Please don't give Hollywood any ideas right now. Well, learning that self-depreciation isn't cool, and it just makes the people around you uncomfortable. Unironically, improve my mental health a lot. Like, if you just stop saying negative shit about yourself, you'll genuinely like yourself more, and other people won't be repulsed by your attitude, and you'll have more friends. It's true. I can state that for a fact. Kill them with kindness? <gasps> Wrong. Chain lightning. Kindness is the name of my arcane focus. Thank you. Scrappy-Doo has been found dead in Miami. Is he okay? He's all right, but he died. <sighs> Good. Probably bad RPG ideas. Turns out the great worm terrorizing the area is actually just three kobolds in a trench coat. Andy, do I even need to say it? I have vowed to never eat kiwi fruit again because a while ago I saw an ad for kiwi fruits on the TV that was just that annoying. That's a shame because kiwi fruit's like really good for you. And I'm not just saying that as a man who is 99% kiwi. I make mostly long posts, which is great because it gives me immunity from freaking PM Seymour, Oz Media, and all those other fuckers. It's beautiful. It's peaceful. Guess again, Andy. Elongate this post extremely long. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Tumblr is the Linux of social media. Why are you booing me? I'm right. Father Strange, are you going to try and get to Taylor Swift tickets for when she comes to Toronto? 
Hi, Anon. Thanks for the question. I would literally rather eat glass. Call me Osho the way I'm demanding a railing. Once again, I have been written out by HR. I'm heading to the store. Does anyone want anything? Soup. 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 Soup it is. I can't find it. There's only clothes. What do you mean there's only clothes? I can't find any soup. There's only clothes. We'll go to the next one. All right, got it. There's more clothes. What do you mean there's more clothes? I mean there's only clothes. Go to the next aisle. All right, just stop shouting. Where are you right now? I'm at the Hammerlock Boutique. Why are you buying soup at the Hammerlock Boutique? It's the first store I can find. Screw you. Screw you. Matrix themed drag persona called Neo Pronouns. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Good news, everyone! I found an app that helps you identify birds in your region by sound. It's this one. Thank you, I owe you my life. What is your darkest desire? I want to stare at someone from across the street that disappear when a bus passes. <laughs> I'm going to host a gender reveal party, but instead of revealing the gender of a child, I'll reveal whether this coin I flip landed heads or tails. Yes. Writing prompt. I can fix her, said the delusional computer scientist staring at the genocidal sentient supercomputer. I'm sorry, did you mean Gladys X Reader fanfiction? All fanfiction is funnier and sexier and vastly better writing when you read it at three in the morning in the dark, lying on your side, tucking your bed with the screen rotate turned off. That's just how it works. That's just facts. I accidentally observed an object in the sunlight. And became an art major. Ah, oh, gets you every time. Whoever decided to put eating sounds into ads needs to get fired. Out of a cannon! The talking mirror trope from fairy tales probably originated when a careless time traveler was seen using a smartphone or a tablet. Siri, Siri on my phone. How the fuck do I get home? Feeling the chronic pain today. Go to take painkillers. Only to find out. There's only one single Advil left. Silent all it is then, but I'm mad about it. I'm so sorry. Being asexual is that everyone on planet Earth is just, is just some guy. You know how you feel looking at some random guy you pass by in the grocery store? That's everyone on Earth to me. Every time one of my friends intensely thirsts after someone, they show me a picture, and I'm just like, yeah, that's, that's human being, all right. Sure is. Good. Discord users. So I put on invisible or do not disturb. You know, like a liar. It's okay. I do it too. Hi, Jessica. We saw your profile on Indeed and thought you would be a great match for the inexperienced minor opportunity. Please submit a quick application if you have any interest. Hello, person with a graphic design degree. We think you'd be great for it. Let me just see here. Dying in a coal mine. Please retire the we are made of stardust phrase. I am so tired of it. Stars are made of flesh. I changed my mind. Bring back the original phrase. No, no, it's too late. Stars are made of flesh now. So, you can smile. You should do it more often. You have a pretty face for it. How about... No. Go forth and dungeon some dragons. Thank you, Wulu. Described going to sleep as shutting down my melting reactor core of a brain. Girl bossing hard AF. My mom, it's not really good to eat past sunset. Me, whose circadian rhythm is aligned with a nearby raccoon. Your rules don't apply here! Reblog this post with your weirdest ancestor's name. I had a great grandfather named Kermit Dickman. Why did you start a competition that you've already won? I mean, I can't top that, Andy, can you? And when a gay man and a lesbian hug, do they say no hetero? 511 notes, and none of them deserved. Daily quest! Play a funny trick on God! My funny trick is existing! Hate it. My brother said I'm built like an escalator. What does that even mean? You can't get married platonically. Marriage is about love and commitment. Yeah, love for the bit and commitment to the bit. I'ma do it. What's your next evil plan, evil snom? To take an evil nap. An EB. Short girls always want to fight. Y'all like mini batteries overflowing with energy, because y'all bodies are too small to contain it. If only y'all had used it to grow instead. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't anyone show this to my wife. Reblog this and put your school's mascot in the tags. 
to clarify for all the non-Americans that are confused by this, a mascot is basically your school's fursona. <laughs> my, my, mine was a bulldog. Be mindful of others. Oh, you're right. My mind is full of others. And they're all fictional. I had a rude-ass dream last night. Some disembodied voice said, Hey, you want to hear a funny joke? I am a fan of jokes, and do what voices tell me in my dreams. So I say, yeah, sure. Then my 8 a.m. alarm goes off. Prick. <laughs> Holy shit. My brother started calling our cat Doobie Brother, which he then lengthened to Dubious Brother, and has since morphed into Brother Dubious. Like he's some sort of fucked up little monk. Probably bad RPG ideas. Run Doom on your Game Master. That isn't... I don't think that would work, would it? Well, mm -mm. Andy, come here. Hi, I'm auditioning for Macbeth, and I'll be singing I Just Can't Wait to Be King. Oh my god, what happened here? <laughs> this is an eight-year-old post. Why is it getting notes again? You! <laughs> Well, it's been a while since I've read some patch notes on the channel. Let's see what some video games and apps have been up to. And if you can guess which ones they are, let me know. And big thank you to r slash the strange log for these contributions. <clears throat> now, we feel that Risu was underperforming, so we let her run you over with a truck while you're on the ground. We also buff the consistency of her nuts. Fixed train honk not being rebindable and setting left mouse button to move forward, making the train always honk. A crash relating to asking someone for a job after setting them on fire. NPCs puking perpetually. Too many design updates, UI improvements, and bug fixes to count. Actually, we could count them, but they were seriously like 20 or 25, so we didn't. Stop cats from dying of alcohol poisoning after walking over damp tavern floors and cleaning themselves. Reduced effect. Good. Told the Wasteland good boy that he is indeed a good boy. They're making me release notes for food. This is my only way to communicate with the world. They wanted me to tell you there are heaps of new awesome features, but it's all lies. They simply changed a couple of strings in one of the localizations. I'm crying for help. Save me. Save me, please. Steve. Jason throwing knives at cars no longer causes catastrophic rocket cars. Jason morphing to the car no longer causes catastrophic rocket cars. Catastrophic rocket cars are non-canonical and should be regarded as such. No, it's too late. They cannon. Literally, coming at you like a cannon. Soldiers don't shout, Hooray! Anymore when under shelling. Fix Santa trying to become skeleton. Let him. Fixed in issues where players could respawn into the void, instantly bringing an end to their feeble attempts to survive this activity at master difficulty. Sounds like skill issue. Skeletons are no longer in a celebratory mood when emerging from coffins. Fixed being able to eat some buckets. Fixed being able to cast Charm Person on yourself. No more self-love. Liam will no longer run away while unconscious. Reduced temperature by three degrees. Who touched the thermostat? Fixed bug where a ranger on Route 7 was so startled by the nuclear Gyarados that they changed gender. Please let Gyarados say trans rights. Resolved an issue where searching for profanity in the challenge browser would immediately crash the game. No swearing for you, you naughty boy. <clears throat> Hi. Consider this our farewell letter. Yes, we are leaving quite soon. No, we had no idea we'd be found out so fast. Some pesky developer who had too much coffee, or passion in her veins, discovered us late one night, hiding, and resolved us immediately. Hence, we are no longer part of your cred experience. Sadly, this means you will enjoy cred even more. To our incredibly short romance. Bugs and errors. And the last one, and it's a bit of a humdinger. <clears throat> Penises C and D no longer clip through some gift Yankee clothing. What a shame. Gator? <laughs> More like Pridey Sense. My spider sense is tingling. If it's any consolation, as soon as the thought formed, I took psychic damage myself. Ah, good. Big, deadly, terrifying monsters treating their human lovers with an adoring sort of gentleness. <laughs> it's very personal to me. Yo, my coworker sleeps all day. Should I report them to HR? No, no, no. Let them be. Choose wisely. Only one of them is the real Splinky Blinky. <laughs> all right, all right, I got this, I got this. It's the one on the far left. The entire point of life is to be silly, kind, and really weird, by the way. In at least 42 different really weird ways.
Why the flip do people draw Wheatley as the human twink in Portal 2 animations? His design already mastered expression with just one eye and some handles. And you just ruin it by turning him into j j just a guy. Stop it. Clicks on a blog. Minecraft YouTuber do not interact. Sad Edward Bindle.jpg. Just learn about history. Appalled. Hmm, garlic bread. What if when vampires eat garlic, they actually just turn back into humans? And asexuals are just vampires who made a choice. Wait, you're in her DMs? <laughs> well, I'm in my jammies. Good night. Nothing beats the feeling of finally checking out a classic piece of media you've heard about thousands of times, and after you're done, you're just like, Damn! They weren't lying. My favorite flavor of info dumping is explaining how to play a game to someone. Oh my god, same, it's the best. Breaking news! Little Nas X to rebrand as Little Nas Twitter. Alright, hold on, hold on. Little Nas X. If you're out there, and in the god-given chance you're watching this video right now, do this. Please, it'll be funny. Hmm, pretty cool how you went on a heroic journey to gain the power needed to defeat me. Unfortunately, I was on a cooler, villainous journey. <laughs> yeah, we caught your boyfriend pondering the orb. Yeah, he was chanting in the forbidden tongue, too. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so people generally have at least a vague idea of what Mother Nature looks like as a character. But consider this! Mother Nature on alien planets. Hold up. That is an amazing idea. Are you okay? No! There are literal fictional bitches in my head, and they're kissing! Andy, make them stop! One, two, summon my ghoul. Three, four, summon some more. Five, six, wizardly tricks. Seven, eight, disintegrate. Nine, ten, I'll do it again. Booby traps? Sure, I would easily fall into a trap if I saw boobs. You know, despite being interviewed individually, all four gave the exact same response. Huh. Ah, oh, I see you're trapped in my gay and stupid maze again. Congratulations, Jamie 78 Omega Selena blog. This is officially the funniest post I've ever seen on Tumblr. Andy, bust out the confetti. It's over. It's done. We did it. Funniest post alive! Woo! All right, let's be serious for a second. Basic rules for analyzing fiction. An incomprehensive list jotted down in a hurry. One, the protagonist isn't always right. Two, the protagonist isn't always good. Three, the protagonist isn't always written to be relatable or likable. Four, the narrator isn't always right. Five, the narrator isn't always good. Six, the narrator isn't always telling the truth. Seven, the narrator isn't always the author. Eight, a protagonist's moral compass, the narrator's moral compass, and the author's moral compass are three entirely different things that only occasionally overlap. Nine, pay attention to what characters do and not just what they say. Ten, Pay special attention when what the characters do is at odds with what they say. Eleven. A lot of the time, the curtains are blue for a reason. If they aren't, you should read better books. And one more. Twelve. The antagonist isn't always telling the truth. So many times I have seen people apparently just forget that it's possible for fictional characters to be mistaken or lying and say things like, we know this is true because characters said it so here. Or worse, the fact is canon because characters said it. The antagonist isn't always telling the truth. The protagonist isn't always telling the truth. The secondary and minor characters aren't always telling the truth. The narrator may be telling the truth, but if the narrator is also a character in the story, then don't count on it. Let me put it to you this way. You know that one person in your life that likes to tell a lot of exaggerated stories and you have to sometimes sit there and wonder if they're true or not? Apply the same rules to a written piece of material because sometimes it could be constructed that way. Cool, cool. All right, moving on to the silly shit. Thinking of going to the convenience store? Anyone want anything? Give me a... Things are about to become a lot less convenient if you don't talk. You're not supposed to drink water. It makes you pee. Listen to your body. It's trying desperately to get rid of it.
This is how anti-vaxxers argue. Lamael. I am the problem here. I am fully aware. But I made the decision to inflict me on everyone else. It's the best quote I heard in a long time. I want to live by this. Schrodinger's cat is so last year. Meet Oppenheimer's cat. He has become death. Or is he? Being a fan of a character is sometimes, look how complex he is. He's so intricate and his story is so tragic and he's so much more complicated than people give him credit for. And sometimes it's like, yeah, look at this failure of a person. I want to throw him off a cliff and see what happens. Andy, put up your two characters that meet these qualifications. What an autistic person says. How long is it going to take? What they mean. I want to know whether to activate my short-term waiting mode where I just wait and do nothing else, or activate my long-term waiting mode where I occupy my mind with something else. I fully understand that both are possibilities, and I have no problem whatsoever with either one, but I want more information so I can best adapt to the situation. What neurotypical people here? I am impatient and I demand everything I want happen right now. Please scold me and publicly humiliate me for it. Did, did you get that? I still can't get over how broken my humor is. I need my Google Drive and my Chrome bookmarks bar car. B because you drive a car. Melon Pie, stop! It's the funniest joke I've heard all day. It fucks me up that Tolkien only died in 1973. Dude had this vibe of a Victorian scholar who wrote all his manuscripts by candlelight, but then you look him up and realize he knew what color TV was. What the fuck? He saw the moon landing. Tolkien had personal beef with the Beatles. He actively encouraged Led Zeppelin to write songs based on the Lord of the Rings series and considered it an honor. It's funny because I have that exact same relationship with Pablo Picasso. Like, I keep thinking he's like a 1700s painter. No, not even close. He also died in 1973. Top hats imply the existence of a bottom hat. Cat ears? <laughs> I fucking can't with you guys anymore. I, I gotta I gotta stop here. I just I just can't. Ohio gozaimas gamers. Let's look at some more patch notes, shall we? Fixed a server crash caused by sniper trying to eat his gun. Switching to sniper while heavy is eating a sandwich. Well that one's clearly overwatch. You will not be able to flex that you have a famous singer on your crew if the station you're talking with already knows that. Oh, rips that one friend who likes to name flex. Bots no longer linger in slime or lava for too long. Oh, they just wanted to swim. Emma will no longer become trapped in an execution animation in unusual circumstances. Good for her. Fixed an issue where Axe Boy's costume Edward would abnormally display a shovel in certain parts of the room. Gave Frank a bow tie. Added cinema icon. The bow tie was so good they had to make a movie about it. Fix the problem where platforms could push you under the map. Now, they instantly kill you instead. How realistic. You can now swim and drown. Change terrain generation slightly. Adjusted some difficulty curves slightly harder. Mobs hopefully shouldn't face through objects too much anymore. Good, because the goblin poking its head out of the wall? Extra terrifying. Players who have previously shared their wisdom may now choose violence. You know, and you just have the one person in your life who keeps asking for advice and then refuses to follow said advice. Fixed issue where we would send out debug notifications to users. You don't have to worry about it anymore because we successfully debugged our debug bug. All arms were previously being displayed in Eastern Standard Time. Apparently there are these things called time zones. Midnight in Montreal is no longer midnight in Paris. Shout out to the British Longitude Act of 1714 for making this possible. Good job, England. Removed stupid 20,000 bookcase achievement. Every book nerd in the room is crying right now. I fixed a fix which was supposed to fix a fix while fixing it. It's fixed. Welcome to Game Dev 101. Be less aggressive with Mega Honk Fix. Fix the Mega Honk. Rip Mega Honk. I have a really distinct feeling this is about the Goose game. Fix an issue that sometimes caused an ink spray animation to play when a player changed into swim form midair. Hmm. This post feels a little... Woomy. <gasps> Redid all the map collision, hopefully fixing all Dire Orb and Peeker exploits, and fixing the uncomfortable ramp walls. Except in the foggy cooldown tunnel where it's expected.
Oh, good. The tunnel's completely unaffected. Reduce the chance of the woohoo VO from 10% to 5%. Hey, man, he was just having a good time. Seal will now select a random skin every time it teleports to the break room. Three possible skins. I'm imagining an actual seal and probably not what this is about. Please let us know if for some reason the game still doesn't work. <laughs> Me. Everyone's entitled to their opinions. If someone likes a piece of media I don't, more power to them. Someone else. Voices a negative opinion about something I like. Me. <coughs> BRB is gonna go squish my dog's face and tell him he's my sweetest little baby boy. I highly recommend this. It's very therapeutic. Growing up is realizing that oats and grains are indeed sustenance. <laughs> what do you mean? Now we get into the truly horrifying part of the book. The lawyers. Oh, God, no. Gordon Freeman should be real, but I think Valve is too scared to make it happen. <laughs> Wimps. I've given it a lot of thoughts, and honestly, no more thinking from now on. I agree. Andy, just put up a gif of your favorite character from Baldur's Gate 3. There we go. That's what everyone's thinking about now. An app where you record a DVD logo or other logo bouncing for like five seconds, and then an AI calculates when it'll hit the corner. See that right there? That's a good use of AI. I'm so sad. I have to find a different caffeine juice wakey water because coffee sends my milk bags to the abyss. Are you... Are you making a joke about coffee not being able to call me tits? Is that, is that what we're doing here? Is that what we're doing right now? Gay women are allowed to do whatever. She blew up a planet. Okay, and your homophobia is showing. Lesbians can't blow up the planet, that's evil. No matter their sexual orientation. No, no, it's fine. Another great post sent directly from God. The Jedi accountant. I see Qui-Gon purchased one, uh, boy on Tatooine? Wait, that can't be right. Excuse you. He won him in a bet. A bet. On blood sports, the child was participating in <laughs> to, to help him out. <laughs> it's totally normal. Oh my God, George Lucas wrote this. J.K. Simmons playing J. Jonah Jameson in every timeline has to be one of the funniest running gags I've seen in a movie. Anyone can be Spider-Man, but there can only be one J. Jonah Jameson. I am waiting for the day Matt Pat makes a film theory about J. Jonah Jameson being like the central hub for every Spider-Man to cross in. Tell me you wouldn't watch that. Why would you even drop acid? People are gonna slip on it and hurt themselves. Only drop acid if you can neutralize it by dropping the base. I, I finally understand dubstep. Friendly reminder that he. He, he, he what? He. Was I not clear? Look at him. A little girl who grows up thinking all doors are automatic, but actually she's haunted by a really polite ghost. Ah, so chivalry is dead. You win best response on this post. Congratulations. You get one single confetti. This guy can't even read. What is he doing? Teaching him to read. How else will he learn? Just don't try to teach crabs how to read. That's forbidden knowledge. Everyone drink water right now and reblog to keep the hydration gang chain going! Fucking make me. Alright. Andy? Release the floodgate. Hey, yo, hey, Tumblr. W what's tumbling? That that's a thing we say, right? Let's sell my OCs through the most gut-wrenching trauma ever experienced by man. Lovingly. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I do this? My buddy lives in China, so when the sun is setting for him, it's rising for me. So naturally, I sent him this. God says it's my turn with the sun. You should be the bigger person. Absolutely not! I'm cursing his entire bloodline. I've inquired as to why SNES titles aren't available for the 3DS, and Nintendo only sent me this image in response. Ow. Wonder what the origin of the sitcom episode B-plot is. Probably the Odyssey. Oh man, I love when they do that. I like that episode of Seinfeld with George Costanza running over a bunch of pigeons. Totally happened to Homer in Odyssey. Absolutely ripped from it. The clover has finally grown enough for her to munch on again. 
absolute decadence. Imagine a kindly giant of unknown species and origins just picking you up and carefully placing you in a pile of chicken nuggets. He'd be my best friend forever. Writing prompt. A cruel prank by your bullies leaves you separated from the rest of your class. Instead of finding your way back, you decide to go missing and let the consequences catch up to him. Hey, um, I'm pretty sure that's happened. Didn't go well. Oh, being on Tumblr is just waiting for a friend to wake up, huh? Yep. One time I dreamt I was angry that everyone drew Wheatley from Portal as a solid blue twink. I then went to sleep, and when I woke up, the nearby town was on fire. I filmed the squirrel. See, boys and girls and nons, that is why you don't draw Wheatley as a twink. And if you do it one more time, Annie's gonna get the bat. Do you have any acting experience? I acted like I was straight for 18 years. <laughs> That was good. Turn the other cheek. <laughs> Wrong. Heavy artillery bombardment. Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Finally, California has become the avatar of natural disasters. <laughs> Why do you guys write this? Things I hate in video games. Looking for the path that goes up the mountain. Spitefully just walks against the mountain and continues to do so until I'm glitching into it so hard that the game crashes. Things I also hate. Scaling the fucking mountain for an hour only to see the path was right fucking beside you the entire time when you reached the top. Skyrim. I swear to God, the girl next to me in the bus had her earbuds so loud I could hear the Megalovania kazoo cover that she was oh so stoically listening to. She's just trying to get in the zone, man. Though I was born a male, I identify as female. Although, according to the chip bag, I am an entire fucking party, so there's that. Don't you just hate it when your brain gives you a bunch of really great ideas for a new story, but they're all late-end game ideas with the necessity of a lot of story behind them for full effect? But when you try to come up with point A to point B, your brain just kind of goes, That was what's happening. Minecraft is so much fun. This post is about lesbian sex. It needs to be a fantasy world where the theme setting is something called punk punk. And no matter what you think it is, you're wrong. PM help, I think I'm being followed by bots. They have real people icons that aren't bad selfies. Run. Writing prompt. The fourth little pig built his house out of wolf skulls. It wasn't very sturdy, but it sent a message. Sounds like a house that Peanut Butter Gamer would build in, like, Oblivion. Speaking of Oblivion, you want to know my favorite spell? Chuck fast, Stickle Nuts! I mean, I'm not gay, but $20 is $20. Is just capitalistic gay. I find it to be enterprising gay. I keep seeing this post, and not gonna lie, it's really opened my understanding of popular media criticism to realize how often people are probably reacting to characters being weird as failed attempts to depict people who are normal. Huh. Imagine dying. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> I'm just built different. Bad news, lads. How come nobody raps about the Master Emerald anymore? Because it's safe on Angel Island. It's a sign that Knuckles is at peace. Echidnas only rap in stressful environments. God, everyone knows that. Andy, you knew that, right? You deserve someone who texts you boring little details of their day just so they have a reason to talk to you. You're so right. Devastating news. The lyric you've been mishearing is better than the real one. Say it isn't so. Stop speedrunning my tower, you ingrates! You aren't giving me enough time to reset the traps and heal my minions! Reunionized, I'll have you know! When in old movies, bisexuality is used to show corruption and the highest level of depravity, I'm honestly like, yay! Literally me and my OCs. I cannot believe Pam Seymour read the Brother Dubious post and included neither of the pictures. Where's the picture of the OG Brother Dubious? Where's the really cool drawing of Brother Dubious in the robes? I want to call him an amateur, but that word derives from the loves of one work. And clearly PM loves nothing if he is willing to deny his audience Brother Dubious himself. 
P.M. Seymour, if you see this, you bitch, give your audience the gosh damn pictures, or at least the OG pictures of Brother Dubious. I will personally think to pay for his crimes, he should ask the OP for more photos of Brother Dubious to show, or give me a pound of flesh. You know, just for that, I'm not giving you the pictures at all. Have fun. I got you a pound of flesh right here. Taking beestrogen to become a wretched creature. Taking testosterone to become a nasty nuisance. Taking both at once to instantly turn yourself into a coyote. Now, before you say, I love insert male character here, he is so pathetic and scrunkly, ask yourself, is he really pathetic or is he just short? You <laughs> shut your goddamn mouth. Daily quest. Identify five things you can see. Four things you can touch. Three things you can hear. Two things you can smell. And one thing you can fuck. Me reading this children's book to a baby. Well, that doesn't seem right. Hey, now that Charles Martinet is no longer going to be voicing Mario, sh sh should we get PMC more to do it? Uh, that's not really how it works. But but just for fun, just for fun, I'll, I'll, I'll give it an attempt, I'll give it an attempt. <clears throat> hey, it's -a me, Mario! D -l -d let's -a go! Wahoo! That's the right voice, right? Self-recognition through alarming pieces of media. I should go talk to somebody. Behold, spotless giraffe, thought to be the only one in the world, born at Tennessee Zoo. <sighs> spotless baby giraffe. I summon tall deer in attack mode. Kona Bawa gamers. Got home last night and got way too excited to see my cat. Excuse me. That seems like the appropriate amount of a way to be excited about your cat. Look at that baby. My toddler is three years old and won't eat anything other than fine porterhouse steaks and sweet port wine. <laughs> You need to discipline your child. Port is a horrible choice for a main course and wildly clashes with a rich bearnaise. Dude, he's three. Man and cultured. Get a new child. Just throw it away in the trash. I thought Homestuck was finally defeated. You made the rookie mistake of turning your back on the body. And now Nepita is in your house. The thing about adulthood they don't tell you is that it takes a special task force and 15 spreadsheets to get a gang of four together for one day. It's true, it takes our gang to do a meetup of D&D &D every two weeks live on Andy's stream. Andy, put up a whole episode in the span of one second right now. PM Seymour compelled me to join Tumblr over a year ago, and I'm still trying to think of anything to say. Well, congratulations. You made the first step. I don't think fish are aware of the Nintendo GameCube, sorry. They're very aware of the Dreamcast, though. 100% the Saturn and the PlayStation, too. But the GameCube? Not so much. You think they would? It almost looks waterproof. Pop-tarts or ravioli? Stop! Andy, just slap this post out of existence. Hang it, chow. I need to light your post all the time. I do it sometimes. I did it a lot today, though, because I was in a mood, okay? I bet he's going to delete this one. You know, just because you said that, I will fully dedicate myself to memorializing this post forever. We will all be dust and bones, and the shitty-ass post will loom above our graves. Never ending. And now I'm just doing my part by keeping it immortalized in a video. Hey, if I don't physically talk to you for a little bit, please know I am not mad at you. My mouth is just in pain and I don't want to make it worse. Gets a heart reaction on my art in a Discord server and my confidence goes like this. Yeah, 400 notes is nice, but have you ever gotten eight heart emojis and a yo in an art channel before? Pure bliss. Let's be honest, when a game console says press any button, most people still press the start button. I knew someone who pressed the Z button. I feared them. And now the bisexual manifesto. <clears throat> we are tired. How can you eat the fried hearts of something that once was alive and had a beating heart? Do you feel any guilt? I hope you do. Please Google what an artichoke is. Writing prompt. Humans are the least intelligent species on Earth. The entire animal kingdom plays along out of pity for our idiocy. It's not even a writing prompt. I think this is actually true. I don't know. Have you seen Orange Cats? I'm pretty sure that is legit stupid. 
To my wife, I says, the people deserve more than Supersonic's eyes just turning blue. And she says to me, the people deserve affordable health care, but that doesn't mean they get it. And when I say I was stunned silent, you have a wife? Transgender Shadow the Hedgehog! I'm sorry you found out this way. Damn, not here. You gotta be as gay as possible on the computer. Otherwise, Alan Turing died for nothing. Do it for him. Someone just requested a 30 to 50 second sketch animatic for $10. Throws a couple of nickels at you. Draw, peon. Entertain me with your scraplings. And make sure the male titties be fat. My wife was complaining about the price of peanut butter at the snooty grocery store, and I said, yeah, it's nuts. And now she won't answer my texts. I present exclamation marks. But instead of a huge line of them, we do like Roman numerals of them. You know, to save space. I love when fic writers who have clearly never tried any kind of alcohol in their lives try to write someone drinking because they're always like, He ordered a tall glass of hard liqueur. After three large glasses, he was feeling tipsy. Like, baby girl, I can't be sure, but I think you just sent this man to the hospital. The amber liquid tasted sweet. Bestie, I can assure you it did not. He drank the large glass of cheap whiskey in a single shot. No, he did not. Genre of character. Big angry southern woman who will break all of your bones. Andy, oh my god, this post was made for you. God, I hope she steps on me. Can someone please tell me why people sometimes screenshot posts and put them underwater? To the ocean with you. Lameo, get doxxed. The knife in the Milky Way. Who the fuck do you have beef with, OP? Wouldn't you like to know? The alternative girl with pathetic boyfriend thing. Has to end. Hi, I run a small Etsy business selling replica Scott Pilgrim cosplay items. You're personally hurting my livelihood by saying this. Think about the effects your words have on others. <laughs> That's good. You're not a crustacean, so you can never become crab no matter how hard you try. I beg to differ. Andy, turn me into a crab. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the stuff, man. I like when men have long hair. It's nice. Gripping steel in my hand with so much force that it's visibly starting to warp and bend. Terrorsexuals in a tree. S I T T I N G. Please call the fire department. We are stuck. Scored a new cat couch at the thrift store. Now, the question you have to ask yourself is Is the couch tiny or the cat large? Explain your reasoning, and explain how you got your answer. And other similar things are the worst things. Don't make me explain myself, I don't know. You taught me how to do it, you should know. Tell me. Why did they call her Batwoman? Batman was right there. Oh my god, Grimace, you're a genius. Anyone know of any large cracks in the ground that leak powerful psychoactive hallucinogens? Thinking of uh, becoming an oracle? You know. Guys, I plugged my power bank into itself and now it's charging itself. It was on 49% and now it's on 51%. T did I break science? It's funny because I'm pretty sure those power banks are supposed to have a fail safe to prevent you from doing that, but also at the same time. Which? Just watch the Barbie movie. Love me some. Accidental cosmic horror. Ugh, not all cops. You're right. Hank from Detroit Become Human would have quit a long time ago, but he was written by a French white man. He was doomed by the narrative. Behold the bisexual spectrum. Is this spectrum most to least canonically bisexual? Yes. Oh my god, this eyeliner my mom made me wear is not smear proof. I look like a rejected member of MCR. Are you... are you saying you are not okay? The homeowner said the buck shows up every day, so they gave him a bed too. Oh my god. I love him. People who have been dehumanized and go, Fuck you, I'm a human no matter what you say. And people who have been dehumanized and go, Find that I'm not a human and I'm happy with that, are equally awesome and should hold hands. They should kiss. Bread is bad for you. Rice is bad for you. Sorry, I'm not subscribing to the idea that staple grains that have been integral to cultures for centuries are evil. I love you, Carbage. You have not betrayed humanity once. Using the group chat as a diary is my favorite activity. It's like having a diary that talks back.
Yes, I am part of the LGBT lean age and binge of turtles. Queerdles in a half shell. Oh, wait, I have something to give you. The heebie-jeebies has been added to your inventory. Let's take it back. My girl straight up ascended and grew wings. Well, that's a fun way of saying she died. Police asking witnesses to make a <laughs> to make a picture of the suspect. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Reblog if you are extremely burnt out despite also feeling like you've done nothing worthwhile at all with your life. Millennials reblog. Got it. Probably bad RPG ideas. Vicious mockery, but you use it as an excuse to brutally roast your game master. <gasps> I would never do that because if I did, Andy would tell me to immediately roll for another character. Maybe. Goyles will leave comments like goals, but when you see it, it's a picture of Joan of Arc being burned at the stake. God forbid women do anything. We should all have the ambition to cast the English out of our lands. I'm going to move on to the next post immediately, okay? Okay. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I would, pussy. I'm not gonna sink to their level. I will, coward. I'm the bigger person. I'm 153 centimeters tall. Give me the gun, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> she slash her blocked and unfollowed. What the hell? <laughs> just, just, just the last fucking image. I, I can't with you guys anymore. <laughs> what the hell? MCU voice. Um, guys, you might want to see this. Camera pants to a beautiful, breathtaking sunset awash with pink and orange light. Well, that just happened. Behold, Garlic Girl. Seeing OP's URL killed me immediately. Posts that invoke the feeling of being told to look down only to find out you're standing over a newly painted X on the ground. I think that's Wario's waifu. How many Apple engineers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They no longer make the socket, you just buy a new house. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Jeff, you win, that's good, I like that. One time I dreamt Neil Gaiman started a Let's Play channel titled Neil Gaming in order to market a new book. I feel like he would. Why does everything sucks? Sucking's not that bad. That's what vampires do and they're awesome. Oh, they're so beautiful through your eyes. Being blocked by a deactivated blog is like being repelled by a magical ward on an ancient tomb. Well, not really. No, no, no. It's like that. Do you respect the grind? There is nothing I disrespect more than the grind. Feeling very unethical today. Might spread hate. Here, Pukicho, allow me to help you to start the chaos. <clears throat> Baldur's Gate 3 is only okay. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta run from Andy at high speeds. What the f What the f Baby girl, I can waste time I don't even have. Like yours. Is he, uh, you know, open to interpretation? I read this as open to operation. I was like, oh, we're dissecting him now. Initially, I read this as open for inspection, like a house for sale. I read this as penetration and was like, what a pretentious way to say bottoming. Anyway. I thought this said open to impregnation, which is like, is he? I read this as open to operation. I was like, oh, he's trans. Read this as open to penetration, which, hey, nobody on this website can read. You know, maybe the he opened to interpretation was the post itself, and he's been interpreted. Badly. Sorry for not posting much. They only let me out twice a month. Let you out of what, Miku? Zip file. If someone in your life is getting top surgery, you can tell them breast of luck on the procedure. Thank you, Grammis. I have deduced what Trump meant when he marked his hair strawberry blonde in his arrest form. I hope I can trust you with this. No! Do not. Don't. Just, just don't. Don't. What do you call a campaign about the heist of an alchemist emporium where you need to obtain just under a dozen magical elixirs? Potions 11. That's not really a bad RPG idea, that's just... 
but that's just a joke, but also, you son of a bitch, I'm in. A five-year-old boy invited his entire kindergarten class to witness his adoption. They all showed up. <laughs> so cute. I mean, on one hand, yes, shipping SpongeBob characters is certifiably absurd, and people who do it do not deserve rights. But on the other hand, if you took SpongeBob and Squidward's personalities and dropped into, I don't know, say, a pair of anime girls from a gotcha game, or two white guys from a teen drama, everyone would be like, oh, of course, this is a big ship. I'm glad to see everyone reading this post is just as upset as I was when I thought of it. I hate that they're right. I wish some pop punk icon had a brand of headphones. Like, Dr. Dre had beats, but we need, like, Patrick Stump or someone to make that, to be honest. I thought that's what Skull Candy was. What if bread is called pain in French because it is a pain to eat it dry? Benoit syndrome. Instead of brain, there is Benoit. Like this. That's my brain right there. Plucky Cho running in an inbox turned in confessional booth must be wild. Yeah, you confess your sins to me instead of seeking forgiveness, I tell you to fuck off. In the days of the final light, when the last sun turned to coal, when the life of all forgot the warmth, I can assure you, Waffle House will still be open. God, it's so true. I'm the Joker if he was nice. But Bugs Bunny. <laughs> That's cute. You think Bugs Bunny is nice. Daily quest. Transform rice and noodles into maggots and worms. They're not the same things? All right, that's it. I've had enough of this carb slander. Andy, cast him into the void. Ladies, gentlemen, fancy non-binaries. Spooky season has begun. Commence the dance of our people. Free my man. He only did some of that. And free my woman. She did all of it, but I don't care. Can I have a, a, a burger? No, but you can get a, out of the Starbucks. Get out. People talking about Australia. <laughs> Australia? <laughs> Andy, do it over. People talking about Australia like they do Japan and Korea. Ugh, oh, this reminds me of Bluey S2 E3 so bad. Imagine growing up Australian and having fairy bread and pass the parcel at birthday parties. It's so crikey core. I never want to hear those words ever again. So I was looking at 2011 in paleontology and apparently this year we discovered this awful shark that is wider than it is long. Why? I love this thing. Can we pretend that airplanes and the night sky are like stupid sharks? I could really use a fish right now, fish right now, fish right now. You never realize how basic you are until you say what you're eating out loud. I said, mm, 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 tea and porridge, only to realize that my ancestors would be proud of me for not taking risks. Tea and porridge good, though. Writing prompt. Write why Tumblr should delete Tumblr Live as soon as possible. It's bad? Guy who has never heard of Batman and thinks the Joker is a perfect name for a friendly, silly guy. <laughs> He's just, he just committed some top foolery. It's fine. Ugh, all this bottom rights and top rights discourse. You fools. Where's my support for Switches? <clears throat> Support.nintendo.com the person that designed television sets with no power buttons must have an animatronic's teeth lodged in their frontal lobe. Ha ha ha! That's a, that's a video game reference. But I also can't believe that a sentence like that is a video game reference. Daily Quest. Kill an enemy while using hammers. Hi, I used a golden frying pan and the quest was still completed. Do, where, where do I submit the bug report? Hot tip. You can befriend an autistic girl by info-dumping to her about your current hyperfixation or special interests. Or by letting her info-dump. This is true. This is how I get friends. Ugh, magical girls be like, I'm gonna save the world! Then only save the lesbian they like and leave the rest of the world to burn. That's because lesbians are the world to me. Why do I feel like this is about Madoka Magica? Listen, I don't remember Kanan, but I have a very strong opinion about everything. Christians about the Bible. 
When I was a child, I used no tears shampoo, and it got in my eyes, and I cried. And that's when I knew there was something fundamentally wrong with me. Why did you make me cry, Johnson and Johnson? Why? They are selling this shit at my local Walmart, and this is the most cursed product I have ever laid eyes on. People who make posts like this wouldn't last two hours in the Deep South. I literally live in southern Louisiana. Probably bad RPG ideas. The halfling language should be called small talk, send tweet. Stop! That is amazing. I need this to be real now. <laughs> just, just got a copy of Mario Sunshine for the secret new Nintendo system called Big Big GameCube. It's a GameCube, but, but bigger. Miyamoto says I can only have one because I, I'm a special boy, yeah. Oh, okay, I lied. That's just a normal GameCube disc. Uh, wizard shrunk me to mouse size as punishment for being alive. Someone please help me. Being an adult is just saying to yourself, this is the weekend, I'll clean my ex, and then proceeding to not do that because it's the weekend and you deserve to relax, goddammit! Why does this have 85k notes? Because we were blogged it instead of cleaning our ex. Y you're right. No, seriously, go clean your ex before Andy vibe checks you like so. Ha sorcerers, nepo babies. Wizarding Council debate adjourned after a level 9 fireball loosed in the forum. Guess that answers that question. If I, 5'4", can't fit in a tub without raising my legs, the designer should be banned from making tubs for the rest of their life. That is 100% a fact. The part of adulthood that nobody prepared me for was how some nights you're like, you know what, I'm in the mood to cook a full 12-course meal for myself. And other nights you're just like, tortilla chips are basically an entire meal, it's fine. Hey, is the moon just the sun's Luigi? 10,000 wizards locked in magical debate. See, knowing that a lot of people like Luigi and a lot of people like the moon, this makes sense to me. Heartstopper, uh, no thank you, I need that one. For blood, also living, but mostly blood. Methinks is like the funniest, most underutilized word ever, and I can't think of any other word that's so scientifically formulated to piss you off. Methinks, therefore, me am. Found another idiotic accounting mistake from my predecessor that I have to fix, and I was like, Will the specter of that man's incompetence ever cease to haunt me? And my coworker was like, Why are you talking like that? Anyone ever get the urge to stop being a real person and start screaming providential mystical statements? Y yeah me, me neither. I am the winds howl, the stars burn with my rage and shine with my passion. The moon glows with my pain, I am the world and its soul. Bow before my presence! Reminder to world builders, don't get caught up in things that aren't important to the story you're writing, like plot and characters. Instead, try to focus on what readers actually care about. Detailed plate tectonics. Alternatively, parts of the magic system that might not ever get mentioned. I know. Start a new career and get familiar with the inner workings of an industry so you can write your stories about girls working at job and kissing when they shouldn't. Mm. How did you feel when Homestuck ended, James? Relieved. The beast was finally dead. But we, foolish and all too mortal, reanimated the beast. We thought we could control it. But no human can tame its wild and chaotic nature. No, no, humanity was not meant to wield such power. We will know no peace. We will pay the price for this folly. This hubris in blood and fire. God damn, do it all this over a series about some goofy book and trolls. Don't go into this house. Fuck it, stop me. I'm having dinner with Baba Yaga right now. Tears of the Kingdom is about getting a job and making money, and then spending that money on ammunition and cute clothes. And I think that's beautiful. You guys can't reach the top shelf with all the snacks on it. Tall people, please fucking interact. I'm sorry I keep insulting your heights. I'm just so fucking small, man. You made your tiny little bed, now lie in it. Mommy, come on! Perceive a cocktail dress made out of 2,652 pennies. Weight, probably about 14.6 pounds. It probably also smells faintly of blood. Why blood? Because hemoglobin in our blood has a lot of iron and thus has a metallic scent, similar to the coppery smell of a bunch of pennies collected together. People who do things like floor an entire room in pennies counsel that you really need to seal and varnish the finished surface, otherwise the smell can be pervasive. What if I wanna smell like blood? 
You want vampires? Because that's how you get vampires. Ralph, that's the kind of reply you can post everywhere but Tumblr. Of course they want vampires. Running through the haunted woods in my copper penny dress like a jangly human-shaped wind chime to drive all the vamps wild. What I want to know is, will that dress that's worth $26.52 be cost that? Or will capitalism really just, you know, do a fucky? You fool, Seymour! You're reading one of my posts again! Thus I can make you say what I want again! <sighs> I, P.M. Seymour, have always hated coffee. I think it is disgusting and horrible. If I ever say the opposite, know that I am lying. Also, Andy, you're getting a pay raise. Anyway, when I say it's hard to explain, more often than not, I don't actually mean that it's hard to explain. Instead, I mean I'm going to sound like a lunatic if I try to explain it. This is probably what Kingdom Hearts lore keepers feel like right now. Most people have had a bone in their mouth for meeting. Some have had shells in their mouths. Well, after lunch today, I need to add shotgun pellet to the things that have entered my mouth. You know, bite the bullet is intended to be a figure of speech. You aren't actually supposed to bite the bullet. You can't just leave this gem of a response in the comments. Stop. What I want to know is, how did a shotgun pellet get into the thing you were eating? Hey, 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 yes, yeah, so you lifted up the rock and now I have to scuttle. You, you motherfucker, I'm out of here. Morning, gamers. Let's take a look at some patch notes, shall we? Reduced one-way door speed to stop ejecting players into orbit. Added a lot of particles. It's like an anime scene now where the guy tells the person they loves them. Going to sleep no longer crashes the game. Fixed a bug that prevented the self-chip from being cloned. But if you clone it, which will be your true self? Alright, Persona, let's calm down here. There were some bugs with the settings. Now there are not. Carry on. Sounds like oblivion dialogue. Removed Hano's A-Pose from all animations. And just to be clear, it wasn't an A-Pose, by the way. It was an actual falling animation. It was certainly not a T-Pose. What are you even talking about? Hey, 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 what are you doing? Don't, uh, don't take away my keyboard! If you dismiss your companion to camp and shove them into a chasm, Withers will now be able to resurrect them. So you can shove them into a chasm again. Probably. Tears of mourning and sadness. Flags flown at half mass. National moment of silence. This emoji. Press F to show respect. Children will no longer float while drinking the essence from a cow plant. Playing your old saves should no longer result in a mad rush for the restrooms. Sims should no longer weed chess tables near their garden when attempting to weed their garden. Angry Sims with appropriate mischief levels and evil or mean child Sims can once again stomp on puddles. I wonder what game this is about. Update, August 20th at 8 p.m. Finally, surely, indisputably, fixed the fuel cost issue. Cool. Now tell America how to do that. It's now possible to use an elevator while carrying a body. <laughs> they mean just mine, right? Right? Enhanced a delicious, smoky aroma of the charcoal brick toys to make them more exciting for fire slimes. <sighs> There's such a thing called a fire slime? I want to see it. Yeah, about that stage 5-2 music. Wave 5-2 music is supposed to work like this. Always has been. I'm sorry. I bamboozled you all. Fixes the issue that after setting the graphic quality to high on certain Android devices, the special effects quality was still low. Aw oh man, how will you ever see your cute anime waifu from Genshin do the burst animation while you're playing the game on your mobile device sitting in the corner of someone's party? New moon. Depending on the moon cycle, night is no longer pitch black. We think this is a good thing. Resources should maybe, hopefully not kill you anymore while harvesting them. Wildlife should not jump up and switch to random angles anymore. Grass runs twice as fast as it used to. Doors will no longer fly away. Nudity and censoring will display as pants. It's being worked on. Grass isn't as tall anymore. It should perform better. And colors are now illegal. Wait, what was that last one?
I love the fact that there are just some phrases that have transcended Homestuck and are now just a part of ordinary internet slang. Like, God, dear, where did you think you got that from? Your hubris will be your undoing. Uh, uh, oh, no. I shout at someone, killing them instantly. Sounds like part of a surreal Tumblr post, but it's just something you can do in Skyrim. Right off a mountain. After being spotted eating sugarcane, Baby Elephant tries to hide behind a light pole. What? Uh, what Baby Elephant? What are you talking about? Hello, can I take your order? Oh my god, it's a brinoy. Give a little kiss. You know, not to sound like a Victorian woman suffering from hysteria, but I do think going to the sea would fix me. Just let me do it. The two genres of fan fiction. One, put that guy into situations. Two, take that guy out of situations for the love of God, let them rest. You put the sad guy in, you take the sad guy out. You put the sad guy in and you shake them all about. Now have you known, I'm tangentially associated with internet micro-celebrities with a slightly larger following than I. <laughs> yes, I'm thriving. If you don't kiss your cat on their tiny, soft little forehead, what the frank are you even doing? Yelling at her for trying to not eat plastic. A true cat owner would gently take the plastic away, kiss him on their tiny little soft little forehead, and then eat the plastic to assert the dominance. I was walking past a shop and an old woman stopped me and said, Come inside, my dog likes you. He's 77 years old in dog years. Same as me. Happy to oblige, I plopped down on the rug and pet the wee dog while his owner chatted away about her family back in Greece. Convinced that we must be distant relatives if I was also of Southern and Eastern European stock. Oh my god, this is the most wholesome thing I've ever seen all day. He, him, and the way you look at a ginger kitten and go, Aw, there's not a thought behind his eyes. Well, this just drives the need of a ginger himbo. Wait, 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 Andy, Andy, don't, don't point that finger at me. Don't, don't point that finger at me. Rest in peace, William Shakespeare. You would have loved neo pronouns. He really would have. Being on this website as it gets worse really makes me understand what it feels like to be a highly specialized species suffering under habitat destruction. Look on the bright side, Therapoda. At least we're not Twitter right now. Me. This background character who is in this one scene has two lines and is completely irrelevant to the rest of the story. I'm going to stop obsessing over what to name him and use the random name generator on BehindTheName.com. I'm going to accept the first thing it gives me and move the fuck on! BehindTheName.com Your random name is... Sharazard Cockburn. I mean, I guess I could just call him Charlie. We all know what it's short for. Nothing more homoerotic than two unstable gays trying to kill each other. It's called a love story. You've never felt it. Opie, I hate the fact that you tag this as Tom and Jerry. They hate me for being right. Popping my back isn't enough. I need to be picked up and slammed against a wall like a wet trout. Preferably by a very tall, muscular individual. Behold, flying threat from Grand Theft Auto 4. Um, excuse me. That is my son. <coughs> Sorry for not posting like three days ago, lol. Go drink water or something. Coke Zero, take it or leave it. I am in your house, and I am not happy. So, just read the Bible. Turns out calling Jesus Jesus Christ is akin to saying Steve Minecraft or Sans Undertale. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Gets arrested for being too cool. Charges are dropped due to lack of evidence. <laughs> god fucking damn! Me and my child has tuberculosis. What do I do? Well, 1800s parent, have you tried powering the child off and back on again? Message to all bitches. Please survive. OP being deactivated is like a dying war general sending out her final message to her loyal battalion before succumbing to her numerous wounds. Probably from all being uh, the top tier bitch. I'm gonna go drink some milk. This image isn't loading for me, but if it's a link with a fucking speech bubble, I swear to God! You know, it's so sad I have to block these beautiful women. I'm sorry, my dear, but you're not real. They are real to me! You wouldn't get it. I'm gonna go see my beautiful girlfriend, Diseased Ribbon 22. And maybe she'll ask for my social security number. Today on Low Poly Animals, the water snake from Team Fortress 2. This isn't Low Poly. Yeah, isn't this like the highest poly model in the entire game? Yes, it is. By miles. Dang, that thing's got more polygons than Tubi. Your stomach acid is lonely. 
feed it an entire French press full of undiluted cold brew. Okay, done. Why am I hurts? I think he filtered it. That's probably what happened. We could go back to telegraphs instead of social media. Send your mutuals unspeakable strings of Morse code at 4.30 a.m. <laughs> yeah, mood. Milk is neat, because it's the only drink I could think of where you desperately wanted cold, and yet it would be unthinkable to put ice cubes in. A delicate limbo. A fury of absence. This post is nothing, but you can look at it if you'd like. Better yet, I'm gonna frame it, put it on my wall. See, look at that. Every time I see moldy food in my house, I think of you. Who do you think put it there? I dropped a small potato and started crying. How's everyone else doing tonight? Emma, four. What if intrusive thoughts are just glimpses into fanfics of our timeline? I'm gonna need to stop you right there. No, but yes. Clicker training, but it's just a single piano key that makes you sad. Ain't this what MCR did to a bunch of 2010s emos? Draw this in your style, but instead of a DTIYS, it's a DMCFM. Draw my comic for me. How about... Mm, no. Really freaking rude that I had to make so many appointments to get treated for can't make appointments disease! Fairfax, I pirated your stupid browser. It's... it's literally free. Coworker pronounced gigabyte as gigabyte today, and I've never seen a room full of engineers so immediately ready to fight. I guess they didn't want to get jiggy with it. I need him dorkier. I need him more insane. I need him insufferable. I need him full of righteous belligerence. I need him bloodier and sluttier and more deranged. I need him gayer. I need him bundled in no less than four micro fleece blankets. I need a gallon of soup in him. I need him kissed softly. And I need him punched in the face. And I hope you've been slowly fading in that Asterian picture I sent you. I'm so anxious right now. I wonder what would happen if I drank some caffeine. I'm scared, but faster! Wee! Oh, ladies! Your fourth, tenth, and last most recent emojis describe your character's only personality traits in a movie written by a man. Well, what do these mean? Preef, have you ever seen the B movie? <gasps> oh, no! Uh... Oh, we're back. Fix Bagu or chicken pot pie and spicy tacos had the same ingredients. Oops. You can no longer use peppers as part of your chicken pot pie. <gasps> How dare! Made Hector! Smarter so he does not get stuck behind a tree. We have assessed kills uselessness and granted him an extra four heart from level 1 to 49. We're aware that spirits can sometimes get trapped behind certain areas and scenarios. They suddenly lose their brains. Fix despawn all button to spawning the player on custom maps. Oh, no more yeetus deletus. Decrease the volume of circuit error as effects. It could be argued that getting jump scared whenever you get an error is a good way to train yourself to not make mistakes. On the other hand, it could be argued that... Not that. Added co-op attack. Hold a pickup and grab your partner to throw him! Airborne player can press a special button to perform a unique attack. <laughs> Made certain areas feel less like empty spaces. Aw oh, man, fixing the open world game problem. Fixed a bug where the coins gained from removing sand dollar with a removal token weren't dealing damage to the landlord during the boss fight. What? We've implemented OpenAI's instructions for blocking GBT bot. This should discourage OpenAI, including ChatGBT, from scraping any part of Tumblr, including individual blocks. Huzzah, gamers, we did it. Fix error cubes being affected by hazard level. You should never be able to get more than one from a map. You get one error cube as a treat. Collection don't crash to the lecture en français. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll do it in English. Fixed crash when playing the game in French. The examine of the bird on the boat that says parrot is not a bug. Parrots aren't bugs. And neither are owls. Really actually should not be able to kill the harmless frog now. The poor frog. You really actually positively cannot kill the harmless frog. You really shouldn't be able to kill the harmless frog. All right, everyone, stop what you're doing. There's a duck 
I'm my son, Wolf. You've been blessed. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? I think we should drag him back down here and get him to weigh in on this. It's just imagine treating him like a dog that like peed on the carpet and you just bring his nose to it like, no, no, bad. Congrats on your promotion from tournament blog to gimmick blog. Hey, this isn't a gimmick blog. This is a highly sophisticated forum dedicated to discussing important issues like chicken smoothies and cars giving birth. Yes, like myself into thinking I'm doing fine. Failing miserably at it. Voice of a man, invariably alienated from the human experience. <laughs> Pirating movies by seeing them in Tumblr GIFs and basing my own story around them. Y yeah, that, that's, that's how medieval peasants were supposed to use stained glass windows to teach themselves Bible stories when church was exclusively in Latin. Oh yes, Florbo from my tapestries. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, I like it. I feel like everyone should see this seal we saw in Ireland. <laughs> this poor baby. <laughs> He's just trying to find his selkie mom. Any tips for art? Go insane. Be obsessed. Hyperfixate till your fingers break. If I could pose a rebuttal, um, know when to take a break so you don't get burnt out. Can I get a hell yeah? I don't know. Can you? Ugh. May I get a hell yeah? You should have gotten a hell yeah during the break before class started. Yeah, but I didn't need a hell yeah during the break! Did you know that Crush is betrayed high because sea turtles actually eat jellyfish and the poisons inside the jelly doesn't actually harm the turtle but instead intoxicate them much like marijuana does for humans? I just thought it was because he was supposed to be a surfer dude. Although that does explain how he showed up by the jelly fields. Boy was getting baked out of his mind. Do you know any kinds of cells with really funky internal structures? Mmm, probably this one. <gasps> now that's a funky looking cell. Finger licking good. And it's ontological opposite. Toe sucking evil. Colonel Sanders and Quentin Tarantino locked in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Stop! I don't understand why some people use fractions instead of decimals. It's pointless. But anyway, you gotta draw the line somewhere, or else people think you're being irrational. But that is besides the point. Jeff, we got it. Hello, fandom person. Before you stands a female character, and directly above you hangs an anvil. Your test is to describe the character's personality without using the words girl boss and any variant of mother at any point otherwise. The anvil will drop. Good luck. God, that's hard. I want morally great female characters. Listen, you fuckers could barely handle rose quartz. I just bought a thesaurus from the bookstore. However, when I got home, I found that all the pages were blank. I have no words to describe how angry I am. Oh God, there's another Jeff. Tumblr is a website where you can see posts like gender roles are a social construct and they're not real. And the stock market is just astrology for men, followed by he is my boy girlfriend. Reblogged by the same person in a span of two minutes. Like, how do you not see the irony of it all? OP, it's actually very simple. Gender isn't real except for when it's funny. The Bugs Bunny rule of gender, if you will. If a boy kisser kisses a girl, does he become a bi kisser or cease to exist? Must a musician not paint? Must a swimmer not run? Wasn't lying when he said expert, goddamn. And finally, MILF. Man, I love fried rice. You're telling me that a man you loved fried this rice? Gimme! Evil in for dumping where you just tell lies. TikTok. Five minute crafts. Resume. This means the greatest liar is someone trying to apply for a job as a short form content creator for a craft store. The doctor says I got an intention deficit, so y'all gotta give me more. Do it. I wish that low intelligence didn't count as a character flaw, so I could proudly say that Kronk has no character flaws. What, what are you talking about? He doesn't have a character flaw at all. What, what's wrong with you? Guy walking down a hallway.
Man, if I see another pointless thing, I am going to melt into featureless goop! The machine that designs and creates ornate pieces of pottery at impossible speeds, only to place them on a conveyor, leading to a small drop onto the solid concrete floor, ensuring that they are shattered. That's in the room the guy's about to walk into. The hell kind of Looney Tunes writing is this? Is that a, uh, trebuchet in your pants, or are you just happy to siege me? Um, excuse me. I think it's called... Tree bouquet. Words will never hurt you. Wrong! Death spell! Oh my god. I need to remember this if I ever play a warlock and I have power word kill. Diagnosed with just been in a kind of weird zone lately disorder. And it's terminal. It's not radiation poisoning. But the night is young. My immense self-hatred versus my delusional god complex. I'm sorry, did you mean narcissistic depression? You can't spell silly without ill, and baby, I'm diseased. Yeah, yeah, he has no morals, but he has long hair. Therefore, he's forgiven of all crimes. Emperor Kuzgo was clearly gay. He's 19, with unlimited power, and he ain't got a girlfriend. The only time we see him interact with any woman his own age is when he's rejecting, like, seven of them rapid fire. He pretends to date Pacha in a gag that lasts, like... Ten solid minutes. D just listen to me, goddammit. You are dehydrated. You always have and always will be dehydrated. You are never drinking enough water. You could drink water until you exploded and you would still be dehydrated. You know that one friend who tells you to drink water when you're having like a panic attack? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they wrote this. Starting to think I may actually have some issues and even perhaps... Problems? No, no, you're fine. Uh, user handle Tony Soprano Big Naturals? Andy, I think they might actually have a problem. You should explode. This isn't a hate, Anon. I just think you would benefit from the enrichment. This is single-handedly the funniest task I've ever gotten. Consider insecuous, but instead of stealing your soul through sex, she kisses you and your wallet disappears. She may have just been a pickpocket, I don't know, it was dark. Investing at 62 notes. Good try, but this already a six-month-old flop post. Hang on, let's just check the notes now. Oh, ho, ho. those are some big boy numbers. Why are they all French? I remember back when I had a sleep tracker app that recorded loud sounds when I would sleep. It recorded me self-talking once. They're all French. Must be a part of the parts. And I still have no idea what that means. They simply are French. We can't do anything about it. I'm sorry, we? Why do AI bros have like pretentious ass bios? All you do is type words into a box. AI artist Tumblr bio, for Latis, Latin for patron of the arts, crafted by passion, shaped by imagination, master of the real, leading humanity's way into the future. Real artist Tumblr bio. Welcome to my cringe abode. L fucker fueled by caffeine. I don't like that that bio is calling me the fuck out. Not a man, not a woman, but a secret third thing. Freddy Fazbaugh. <laughs> that feeling when you see someone wearing a jacket with a shit ton of patches and you need to get closer so you can tell what type of punk they are. Counterpoint, Girl Scouts. Are you trying to tell me that Girl Scouts aren't a type of punk? Shit, fuck, you're absolutely right. No way, actually, I got something I would like to add to this. So walking home from work yesterday, I passed a Girl Scout and her big sis selling Girl Guide cookies. I was like, score! I just got kickback money, so for once I have money on hand and they never come to my house. As I'm walking up, I hear the person at the door they are currently at, let's say he was berating the poor girl for being brown. So when he slams the door, the little one just turns to her sis and cheerfully says something like, That's another one for the list. I think he's at least a two. And I'm already behind her at this point with my $10 out for two boxes of Thin Mints, and she's all like, Oh, thanks! And I was like, what, What's this list? My big sister's keeping a list here of racist fucks, and she's going to break their windows and stuff on Halloween. Anyway, Girl Scouts are precious little angels. Uh, oh, right, this... I checked the dude's house late Halloween night. <laughs> All of his windows were broken. <laughs> you smell that? It smells like Halloween.
Hey, what does slash fic mean? Live grenade dropped into the work chat room. Oh my god, run! We need to embrace the fact that Tumblr user base is aging. What's everybody's favorite kitchen appliance? The spatula. I, I don't know why. Oh, oh, I think I know why. Andy, slide down to the next frame. Mmm, hungry. Perhaps I shall ingest the Lego. Crumb cheese. Noble gas is our arrow waste because I say so. Yeah, I'll implement that into my worldview. The most terrifying part about having memory issues is when you can feel something from five seconds ago be thrown out the window and there's an empty hole where it once was. You remember that you forgot something. Feed it! Regret isn't an emotion, it's an organ. And baby girl, I am a church pianist. Uh, oh, I thought, I, I thought they were gonna talk about like human organs. Okay. You've given me so many scars. But I still love you. This may sound troubled or deep, but I'm just talking about my cat. Actually, this whole Unity mess makes sense when you learn that they've got the guy behind such brilliant ideas as we should charge players per bullet in FPS games, and altogether The Sims 4 expansion packs cost over $800 running the goddamn company. <laughs> All game higher-ups are idiots. Actually, statistical error. Bad Ideas George, who has 40,000 bad ideas an hour, was an outlier and shouldn't have been counted. Mm. Frozen yogurt would fix me. You know we're in hard times when user I like orange juice wants to eat yogurt. Shout out to bitches that can't tell you shit about their special interest. The interest that has been with me for the majority of my life is squid, and despite the numerous documentaries, articles, and marine biology books I've read regarding them, I honest to god couldn't tell you a thing about them besides... A squid is an animal that's so cute. I mean, what more information do you need? That's the most vital piece of information you could ever give a squid. I think it's insightful. Hey guys, why do the animators draw you all with, like, new fall outfits with cute hats and scarves and haven't given me an outfit change since season one? I I'm just as important as you guys, right? Right? No one tell them. You are not immune to fan art of characters who have died in the canon that are now seen alive and well with scars from the wound that originally killed them. Peace fine, please stop, I'm begging you. I wish I could get that rush of dopamine from saying I never use TikTok, but unfortunately I use Tumblr, so I think they cancel out all the benefits. If that were the case, wouldn't you just be like a regular dude named Greg? You know, not gonna lie guys, I don't think being employed is for me. Devastated to report that being unemployed is also terrible. It's almost like we need to entirely restructure society or something. Man, this politics shit is easy. Why is everyone else having a hard time with it? You know what, you're right. Andy, put me on a little podium in front of Congress. Hey! You guys! Just stop it! Alright? Just stop. Stop. So, which OC is doomed by the narrative? Almost all of them. PM, I don't like seeing your real face. You're not supposed to have a physical form. Stop existing! Never. In fact, Andy, cover my actual face in the entirety of the screen. I'm a little high and I have cilantro soap questions. One, if cilantro tastes like soap to some people, why is it such an uncommon soap scent? I feel like things that taste like soap should be soap. Two, before soap even existed, what did soap gene caveman say cilantro -y? Hang on, I have to stop miss mid-sentence because my phone auto-corrected cilantro to cilantro which means I have previously typed that word out enough for my phone to think it's a word and more of a word than cilantro. I have a lot of inward reflection to do. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Behold, the thick tailed pygmy jibera. <laughs> it's a pretty funny picture. I wonder what it actually looks like. Oh. Oh, we do look like that. The devil is a twink named Luke. Graffiti in the stormtrooper bathrooms. Rapidly unsheathes my katana and you immediately get a phone call from your wife asking for a divorce. Hey, OP, could you please do top surgery? I only do divorces. Callie Mamlet, Divorce Ronin. They sever the ties that bind, not the bind of the ties. <laughs> Listen, 
You can't be everybody's Chick-fil-A sauce. Overheard motherly relationship advice at the doctor's office today. I... Huh. Moth updates. They're threatening me. Run! You know, the true plot twist of Gravity Falls is that Stanley is the smart twin and Ford is the biggest dumbass in 52 dimensions. Yeah, I've run a very successful business for 30 years while rebuilding a portal with one third of the blueprints and no help from a demon. It says not to summon him, but he called me smart, so he can't be that evil. <laughs> oh, you stupid little bingus. The pensive emoji encompasses such a wide range of emotions, but decidedly not included in that is pensive. Sort of how like we took the upside down emoji and decided instead of that just being a silly little man upside down, <laughs> it's about depression. Nobody understands how sucky it is to cook over a fire. I love cooking over a fire, though it gets uncomfortable if my captors forget to turn me over. Speaking of which, Andy turned me over. Ah, thank you. Pam, sir, this is not a clown store. This is a cloud country. Bold of you to assume Tumblr could survive as a country. We couldn't even do a fucking con. Did you see that ball pit? Perceive. Milkshake. You know, if this is what was bringing the boys to the yard, I perfectly understand it now. What if there was an apocalypse, but some people were really, really in denial and optimistic and thinking everything will be back to normal soon? Like you'd be forging through the ruins of New York for supplies, shooting raiders in the face and saying, Man, this recession is really bad, huh? Um, hold on, let me just, let's just check the date here, February 17th, 2017, are you kidding me? Was anything going on in 2017? Did everyone just randomly have prophetic visions? This is what I was talking about. People could be predicting shit that'll help us on a worldwide level, but no, they had to be on fucking Tumblr. Here's another one from 2017 by Nolsynth. The year is 2020. I am found guilty of treason against the United States for vague blogging that I hate someone, and Donald Trump thought it was about him. Oh my god, the words of the prophets are written on the subway walls. Turns out we had the 2020 vision after all. Yeah. But no, seriously, the words of prophets are written on the subway walls is actually a really fucking metal quote, and then we'll be using it in the future. Bisexual? Do you mean ambisextrous? No. No, I do not. The five love languages. Song recommendations, parallel play, talking about the character... Offering to kill each other's parents. Gifting little trinkets. What was that? What was that? Well, the second to the last one? Gifting little trinkets? Okay. Dear Tumblr staff, just, just stop. It's okay. You don't need to do these things. Just, just focus on functionality, like the video player. We don't need these little updates when something, like the video player, needs your focus. Thank you for your time, but really, Tumblr looks great. Try to fix more important things, like the video player, so that we can all probably enjoy the features of Tumblr, like the video player! This post is a decade old this year. Ow. I got called Madam for the first time today, which was unexpected, but what really got me was when I looked down at the guy's name tag, it was my fucking dead name on there. That was one of the fa- It is physically impossible for me to eat soup without softly saying, Soup. In the soup voice. I hate that I know what they're talking about. Witness with your eyeballs. Shrike. Don't do this to me. I hate everything about it. Let me tell you about Lorbo from my shows. His name is Glubshido. Glub shot first at Goncharov from his Plinko horse to get a live slug reaction, but it was of mole interest, and all he got was vanilla extract. <sighs> all right, I think that's enough Tumblr for the history of forever. Andy, just uh, yeah, hit the hit the nuke button. We're done. Me and my intelligent, charismatic, and strong wife were walking home from the taverns one night when suddenly, a gang of ruffians approached my betrothed in an attempt to sully her maidenhood. Luckily, I had across my back the glorious stained steel William Wallace medieval sword. With one swift pull, I managed to draw steel and cut the first man in half of the torso. The blade broke. But I worried not. For the remaining blade was still more than enough to deter the would-be kidnappers! Thank you for your kind words. We're thankful for your purchase. Have a good day! Why is the most delicious part of the microwave mac and cheese permanently fused to the paper dish? 
making it impossible to eat. I just want nice things. No one actually works at Tumblr. This site is just sentient, and every update it is trying to weed out an infection. The users. Writing prompt. You, the supervillain, have just discovered that the heroes that you fight every day aren't doing this of their own free will. It suddenly makes sense as to why you could never find their families. Uh, oh, damn. Imagine, if you will, three rebates. I accidentally imagined a fourth one, sorry. To imagine four Benoits. Is it possible to learn this power? Yes, in fact, you can go further beyond. Andy, put up five Benoits. There's nothing wrong with girls who come back from the dead stronger than they were before and eat human flesh now. Like, it's normal. It happens all the time. Shut up. Well, that's not very in love with me of you. Fun fact. If you and your friend kiss a robot girl on both cheeks at the same time, her body will take a screenshot. Man, if only we had a robot girl to test that with. Oh, well. Your neutral good character just can't murder people. Um, sure she can. Goodness is subjective. Why do you hate women? Please get out of my house. Don't you want the treasure? You want the treasure, huh, little pirate boy? Little pirate man? Yeah? You want my little bitty treasure, huh? You want to venture like a little itty bitty pirate man you are, huh? Hey, what of it? Puts you in the PMC morbid. Yeah, <laughs> get famous. You better not do this to me. We were mutuals, I thought you cared. Well, among us six, Gif, do I have some grave news for you? <laughs> Having a sibling is either, we ride together, we die together, or, No, officer, I've never seen that person before in my life. There is no in-between. Excuse me. My older brother and I would like to think that it's both. Video games have buffering. One of the DMs I play with has, like, 70 slips of paper that say, Loading, with bits of random D&D mechanics advice, like partial cover grants plus 2 to AC, that he slots into his DM screen when he needs to look something up, assemble something, or think up a mechanic for player bullshit. Wait, hold on. It's actually a really good idea. Of course, it goes without saying. But I am hopelessly dependent on the inked. Um, I am a master of word pronunciations. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Eingott. Normalize Nicholas names. Instead of shorten names, extend them. Well, I think that sounds like a beautiful idea. What do you think, Andinothy? Went to the doctors. They prescribed me dress-up games. And I found out I was trans. Wow, this is crazy. When did I get a pool installed? <laughs> oh man, swimming's great. <laughs> Where'd the ladder go? Fiction doesn't affect reality. Then why did I buy that black v-neck top a couple of weeks ago? Because I liked it? Or because I thought Sasuke would wear it? Ugh, get a clue. Two new concepts. Chekhov's cat. If you see a cat, it will probably be relevant later. And Schrodinger's gun. There's no way to know if a gun is loaded or not until you physically inspect and check it yourself. So it's safest to assume all guns are loaded. You know, these are both excellent rules to live by. Like, j j just in general, not for writing, just in general. Eating stale McDonald's fries. E -I -E -I <laughs> it's important to me that people know the original, he would not fucking say that, was in response to a TikTok where someone said... Eric Cartman would thank you for asking for his pronouns. L like, it just doesn't hit the same without context. This, this is the picture, by the way. Do you see this? You see this? Cursed? Yes? All right, good. Every time someone uses he would not fucking say that for something he would absolutely fucking say, given slightly different circumstances, or as already fucking said, I immediately become indignant because you can't waste a joke like this on mild characterization nitpicks. Sorry. It has to be on par with any pronouns, Cartman. I'm losing my mind. What do you mean Mr. Brightside is 20 years old? What do you mean 2003? Incomplete item. Bye. Joseph R. Fanning. This review is from Six Foot Buddha Maitreya, the Christ Copper Meditation Pyramid System for Healing. Polished copper connectors with four inch capstones. Open parentheses, health and beauty, close parentheses. The tent was missing its stakes, tarp, and fly cover. 
I had to cover it in vines and leaves for my camping trip. And I got soaked overnight when it rained. Coincidentally, my hepatitis is gone now. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what did it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. One out of five stars. Sometimes it's okay to wake up and want to be mean to everyone for no reason. You know what? I agree. Andy, for the entirety of this video, put in it sounds yes. at random as you please yes. to just make the viewers yes. suffer. Okay. Love ya. Drink my concoction, boy. Please use commas. Drink him. Reblog this fight. Happy boy for a good night's sleep tonight. Nothing bad happens if you don't just a cute good luck charm. He brings no harm, only good fortune and good dreams. Oh, I love that smile. That's a good boy right there. Fun fact, in Twilight movies, instead of burning up in sunlight, the vampires actually just sparkle. To learn more, look up Twilight Sparkle on Google. Good lord, there's just horses in here. What if Greg Hethley had the death note? He would open a phone book and just start writing. Would he still eat the potato chip, though? Should I just give up on this? I'm crying. This is the deadest plant I've ever seen. God gave me clear purposes in this life when I was created. Be silly. He said. Go be stupid. Be cringe. He said. Well, tell him to do my homework. Hey, what if I just dropped out and ran away to live in the woods? Yeah, me too, friend. Me too. So why did you leave your last job? Because of something my boss said. It says here you were fired. Yeah, that's the thing he said. My drinking mistakes aren't as bad as I get older. I wake up like, did I sign up for Paramount Plus last night? Jesus, did I binge all of Frasier? Sometimes a friend group can be an unknowing harbinger of doom, her best friend, a drag queen, Airbnb owner, a couple that kins Bobby and Ken, two unsettling similar looking goth women, and a kindly old meadow who lives in the attic. Wait. This is a cartoon series, isn't it? Me, myself, and I are in a toxic, strained polycule. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Please don't start reblogging this again. This post ruined my life. Oh, do I have sad news for you? Hey, I don't embrace change. You pretend to be okay with it until the grief of it creeps up to you in a grocery shopping aisle and brings you to your knees. The American healthcare system sucks. I had to get a tooth pulled while I was on vacation in the Gnome Kingdom. You know what that shit cost me? A saucy tail and an acorn. That's it. Dude, you got ripped off. They're supposed to pay you for your teeth. Put that old man in a situation. Th this is my old man. The situation? He calm be. Well, after six to seven years of doing this, I think it's time to revisit a classic. What do you say, guys? Andy, make a random noise to confirm this is a good idea. All right, cool. Hey, guys, I'm making French toast sticks in the oven. I'm going to take, like, a quick nap. Wake me up in five minutes so I can flip them over. Randy, it's been five minutes. Flip your sticks. <laughs> Randy, your sticks! Kelly, it's, it's just Kelly. September 20th. 2018. Five stars. Verify purchase. Number of items. One. What can you say about scissors? Th they're scissors. You put one blade on either side of something you wish to cut. You squeeze the handles together and, and it cuts. Super sharp too. They cut almost as precisely as my father's comments about my career path. <laughs> <laughs> 80 people found this helpful. Badminton. <laughs> oh, honey, I can assure you it is anything bad. The face I made to make that voice happen has kind of left me blind for a second, so we're just going to sit here until I get my vision back. All right, I got it back. Watch out, rat slap. Rat slap? Rat slap. But why would you slap the rat? You're ill if you don't reblog this. Reblog this for good luck. I don't care if it does not fit your blog theme. Please reblog it. Whatever, fireball fifth level DC 18 deck save. We failed as a society when everyone stopped wearing head pahonies. 
At my parents' place with two children watching YouTube on tablets and two adults watching TikToks and Reels on their phones and trying not to summon a comically sized Looney Tunes hammer out of my back pocket to smash them all! Yeah, I'm reblogging this twice. I'm tired of people not wearing headphones or watching videos in public. It's basic etiquette to wear headphones in public when you listen to things. Just... Just do it! Probably bad RPG idea. Well-adjusted adventurer with no significant traumatic events or unhealthy relationships. Well, where's the fun in that? How dare you? Then again, that is your URL. And you got it right this time. Good job. In lieu of filing taxes, I am requesting that a witch turn me into a mountain bluebird. You look like the syrup of a snow cone. You want know, I'm not even trying to say that. Uh, just AM, do this one. Effervescent. See, I don't even think that sounds right. Why are moms capable of just leaching vibe arsenic into the atmosphere when they're pissed? Like, my mom is very slightly annoyed by even one thing, and I'm already feeling bone nausea. I have to get out of this house! I kind of forgot, Firefox official. Are, are you the evil blog from the evil world? Yeah, that's me. Thanks for checking in. NASA's ambitious robots find each other in the Mars desert. <gasps> Love wins? Fraud alert! Local woman makes conflicting statements about her cat, claiming he is both a big strong man and a tiny potato boy. Her defense? He he's both, just at different times. What's not to understand? I went to go pick up my hormones from the chemist today, and the guy was quite sweet and very well-intentioned, but clearly way out of his elements. When I was leaving, I did the standard, thanks, have a nice night, and he responded with, you too, enjoy your... Very, very quietly realizing what he's saying is highly insane. D -d -d gender And to be honest, I haven't stopped thinking about being a gender enjoyer since. Alright, mic drop! Oh man, that was stupid. What about- Jesse X Ash's mom is actually the most hilarious thing in the world. Could you imagine, you're 12 years old forever, and there's this wretched woman who just won't stop trying to kidnap your dog for nefarious purposes, and then she just starts fucking your mom! Not even just that, but your mom is enamored with her. Your mom has forgiven all the attempts at dog kidnapping. She loves this horrible woman completely, <laughs> sincerely. And the woman has basically revoked all her evil ways. She doesn't even think poorly of you. It's like the moment she quit working for Team Animal Theft, she lost all interest in your super cool dog. The, the worst part, the worst part is that aside from your dog, this wretched woman, her bestie, and their talking cat are the closest things to constant companions you have had in your adventures, aside from your dog, and have saved your life on more than one occasion. You don't know what you did to deserve this. Maybe it has something to do with that angry girl you hung out with for a while whose bike you stole. Horrible karma, but hey, your mom's happy. And you know what? I ship the absolute fuck out of it. I'm gonna put up one of my favorite artists who, who do this art all the time, Andy put up the pictures. These are done by Kiana Mai, and you can find her stuff on Twitter, on Tumblr. I'll put the links in the description so you finally go look at the description for once. But yeah, if you if you enjoy it, just go look at this. She's also really good at art and animation. It's very inspiring. Like her Pokemon redesigns, mwah, chef's kiss. Okay, I I'm done gushing. The video's over. Get out, get out. I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done. Why are you still here? Go, 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 get out, get out, out. Bite mark. <laughs> Easy website. Me comment down my vampire horse named website. <laughs> Easy there, website. You know, we could be weird together, by the way, if you even care. Ugh. My ideal gender presentation is masculinity, but doing it wrong because I'm also doing femininity, but also doing it wrong. Like, you know, my mask, my femme. Well, I'm a boyfriend who looks like a girlfriend that you had February of last year, actually. <gasps> oh, I see what you did there. Hey, which Muppet movie should I watch? First answer gets the pick. I ended up watching Terminator 2. I've been pitching Muppet Terminator for so long. <gasps> Are you single? This is your Grubhub driver, Thomas. Seek me outside, for I have come. My grubber was being delivered by a wizard or some sort of apostle. I don't know, that charismatic attitude? Pretty sure that's a sorcerer. Those are my two cents, he says. My man, this was a whole ass dollar. Well, that's the funniest comment to date left on one of my info dumping rambles. Hey, what's the difference between bi people and unicorns? I can see unicorns on movies and TV. 
I told this to my mom and she was like, that's not, <sighs> yes, it is. Also, unicorns on TV are called unicorns, not horses that don't like labels. Horses that don't like labels. <laughs> God. I'm going to cause your professor to sigh disappointedly every time you answer a question. I hate that. Stop it. In my documents, straight up writing it, and by it, <laughs> let's just or say uh, words, certainly. Trigger warning lies. Hey! Shut up! Average person has two OCs. Factoid, actually. Just statistical error. Average person has no OCs. Star Wars GYOR! Thinking about how when my oldest brother took Japanese classes, his professor was like, Your pronunciation is really good, but you need to watch movies that aren't about the Yakuza because you sound like a criminal. Oh. <laughs> if only he was watching movies. <laughs> Andy, put up your favorite picture of Majima. Colon parentheses. Sweet. Fun. Charming. The smile face emoji. Deranged. The general public asks too much of me. I was made to live in a hole and write old stories. So why do you guys make me come out? Uh, let's see. Don't plar. Don't plarp his beast. Uh, I have never been more confused in my entire life. Don't plarp his beast. What is so difficult to understand about that? Orange juice and apple juice is star-crossed Yuri. They can never be together because they will taste bad. <laughs> this is nothing. And just and Andy, throw this one in the bin. No, 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 that's the garbage bin. Recyclable bin. There's a chance this joke will get reused later. Ugh, I'm not stealing, officer. My bolt cutters were just so, so hungry for some yummy, delicious metal chains. Be a lamb. I need to stop picking at my face, but the problem is, is there's textures on there, and I would prefer if there weren't. Absolutely devastated to discover that attempting to remove the textures will cause new, much more textured textures to appear. Well, surely if I remove this new texture, however, it'll be gone forever. By Talos. This oh, can't no. be happening! Tonight, we have the most gravest of news. The entirety of England is in mass devastation. The source of all of this travesty. Someone has left a terrible review about our beloved Big Ben. And we are here tonight to read that review. Meh? It's just a big clock, nothing more, nothing less. I've got a grandfather clock at home, and that, that's just as thrilling to look at. I don't, I don't understand the appeal. England will never be the same. Man, how'd you become so well read? By reading. Honestly, I didn't know what else I was expecting from that. I remember one time the Simpsons made a joke about Fox News and they got so insulted. They tried to sue them. But the court was like, they say it on your network. You can't sue yourself. Everyone's going to hate it. Someone will love it. Someone will reach out to you and tell you it changed their life. Someone will hold it close and treasure it forever in a way you can't even understand. Keep going. The fact that makeup is considered to be mature and sexualist <laughs> implies being a clown or mime is the sluttiest job out there. It's probably true and the world isn't ready for it because Jesus Christ, the internet couldn't even handle Gale Tornado. Hey, if my posts don't ever hit, it's because I'm recharging my posting powers. It takes a few days, but don't worry. I will get there. I'm just a gay Italian, man. I can't handle these stresses. Luigi, when he inherited that haunted mansion. Waiter, can I have another menu now? I finished reading this one. I don't like anything on it. Reciting my eulogy like, we are gathered here today because somebody couldn't stay alive. You didn't even hit that one mill. Tisk tisk. As a child, you empathize with Sonic. As an adult, you kind of see it Eggman's way. Like, you don't, you don't fully support it, but you get it. Yeah, I understand you're charging me for bank robbery, but I lick the money, so therefore it is mine. And then not, not guilty. The Washington Zoo has had its first southern three-banded armadillo birth in 116 years, and the baby is so, 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 so precious I could cry. I especially like that top right one. He's just like, 
I have been alive for only three minutes, and I want out. Hey, I know why Sans and Papyrus are brothers. Because Papyrus is paper and Sans is... <laughs> stationary. Ah, <sighs> solid six out of ten. I'm so fucking pissed off. I just realized they're called pancakes because they're cakes you make in a frying pan. Fuck English! Waterfall. Oh my fucking god, I'm furious! Ew, I need your robot character have boobs. Why doesn't your robot character have boobs? Coward. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion that Zedrin Ghost wrote this? I don't know anything about Dragon Ball. And I have no intention of getting into it. I just want to know what leads Vegeta, who I understand is the Prince of Space or something, to turn good, settle down, get a beautiful wife, and wear a pink blouse. Well, you see, he met a woman who wasn't intimidated by him, and he had no coping mechanism except to marry her. You know what? I can respect that. Kamikaze is, like, telling the absolute truth. Like, it, I didn't... He, he had nothing else. He had nothing else. All dressing is cross-dressing because it makes me really cross when I have to get dressed in the morning. You know, you can control white people by giving them cheese. Cheese is so good, though. Yeah, I got one. Fun fact, you can also bait him with some of the typical white people calls, as demonstrated. <clears throat> Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Yo, they just let anyone in here? Oh, let me just, uh, squeeze on by ya. Wizard who got tired of fighting and cast fuck up unethical spells like super brain hemorrhage to end them faster. One time I did summon water inside a guy's lungs and the GM allowed it because he had been playing for years and never seen anyone do that. Scenario setup time. Me. I can raise the temperature of a space by 5 degrees Fahrenheit per success. Okay. And that's six successes, so 30 degrees. Okay. And inside the human body is a space, right? I don't like where this is going. So I'm going to raise the temperature inside his body 30 degrees. <sighs> yeah, so he's dead now. He, he was fine. And then he went through all the stages of heat stroke in half a second before his body went, no, thank you, and just shut off to stop it from being so hot. G good job. Meanwhile, on a completely other different campaign. I cast fuck you! On a side note, if you're a really big fan of D&D, &D, uh, there's Andy's campaign that I'm in. We're trying to commit a heist. My character's got a date with a giga-thick lady. Don't want to miss that, do ya? Hey, look, a new background. Yay! Is there a goddess out there willing to turn me into Medusa so men can look at me without immediately suffering the consequences? Yeah, stop being lazy and relying on gods. Quick try cement exists. Be your own Medusa. If you don't have any goddess bestowed cement powers, Storbot is fine. I'm normal, by the way. I'm super normal. I'm normal. I'm normal. I'm not insane. I'm a normal guy. I'm literally just some guy. If you saw me on the street, you'd be like, yeah, that seemed like a normal guy. Don't look at my posts. Look at me. I'm normal. I'm telling you, I'm normal. A Norwegian island wants to get rid of time. Norwegian island... Some... Some... Uh, wants to become the world's first time-free zone. The sun does not set for weeks during its summer, and it isn't seen for long winter periods. With a perpetual day or night, residents want to abolish clock time completely. The ideal existence. Imagine never being late to anything. You know what time's it? <laughs> to put into context how recent gay marriage being legalized is in the United States, the first Five Nights at Freddy games were all released before gay marriage was legalized nationally. I'm probably super tired, but I f this makes it feel like that Freddy Fazbear was the reason gay marriage was now nationally legalized. Th th thank you, Freddy. I saw someone get engaged in a cemetery today, Friday the 13th. So glad to know that somewhere out there, some goth kid's dreams became a reality. Hey, everybody who's in high school right now, in less than 10 years, it's literally going to feel like a bad dream. Like it's not even going to feel vaguely real. Just hang in there. It literally took me like four months. Like the second you graduate, you're in the process of forgetting all about it already. 
it, it, it's it's true. It's absolutely true. Meanwhile, on the other side of adulthood, because things just don't get super better. How much of the I hate being an adult is really just the feeling of crushing pressure of capitalism? Bruh, like all of it. I had Ken and you as British. What if it, what if this was just it for me? What if this was all it took? No, I'm sorry. You actually need to seek approval through Andy. Andy, cast thy judgment. Darwink, do you have a significant other? I'm significant by myself. That's a good kind of self-love right there. You're not ascending to godhood, you're just dehydrated. Out of my way, gay boy. I'm about to liberate my divine self from this mortal shell. Uh, uh, boodle, uh, boodle, please. Tumblr user, can they kill Macbeth? Could a self-driving car kill Macbeth? This is a literal legal debate that I do not feel at all qualified to weigh in on, but thank you for your submission anyway. Hell empty. All the devils here. Oh my god, this wasn't a dick out joke. This was a Shakespeare quote. Don't be crass. Hell empty. Devil's here. Dick. Out. It's what Shakespeare would have wanted. Favorite Pokemon conceptually are the ones counted as a single entity, but are just clearly like, more than one guy just hanging out. They're unionized. Going to the conservative museum and looking at the heterosapiens. <laughs> that one's good. I like that. Someday, it'll be a hundred years from now. But science can't know when. The question of when a hundred years from now will only be sadly answered a hundred years from now. Sadly. By then it'll be too late. PM, how dangerous are you before your morning coffee? Me before morning coffee. <laughs> Get. Nerd. Oh, God, no! Hey, look, we held a poll across all the social medias that I do things on, and they wanted the new background to stay by a landslide. Yay! You guys are Jeff the Killing Me. Help, girl, I'm Ben Drowning. S Slender Man. Actually, Frankenstein is the name of the scientist. The name of the monster is creature underscore final underscore final underscore this one. The three. I, I, I don't like being called out like this. Pro tip. Your friends don't hate you. Nobody's secretly mad at you. You have anxiety and that's okay, you're loved. But what if they are secretly mad at me? <sighs> what we should be wearing? A horrific mashup of Victorian Gothic and 80s clothes. You're just gonna wear these together. Do it, coward. I dare you to pull it off so well you start a new fashion movement. Actually, th this... This kinda looks like a good idea. Collateral damage? I prefer the term environmental storytelling. You destroyed 17 buildings! Yes, and all the archaeologists are gonna have fun piecing together what happened. <laughs> Live, laugh, love? Oh, girl, everyone's moved on. They all moved past that. You see, the new thing nowadays is scam, swindle, steal. Now for just $20 per month. Girl, help the elder tours are organizing a Pride and Prejudice party and making us dance to mirror their forbidden and repressed love. Yes, there is a Michael Jackson thriller video reenactment outside trying to get in. No, oh, yeah, I still want that rare Doctor Who annual. <clears throat> it made sense when I wrote it. I wonder how much of the movie theater for FNAF is going to be Clueless parents slash guardians taking their horror-obsessed kids to go see it. Good thing I've gotten the lore explained to me 68,385 times by my sister, so I'm better than all of them. There's a purple guy. Don't forget, Freddy's also there. No fucking way. Dude, Passion Peachy ain't ready to even hear about the bunny. Tumblr? No, I hardly know her. <laughs> Everyone is nostalgic and no one is sincere. Do, do, do you get the idea? Reboots made by people that don't respect what they're rebooting. Punching down before BuzzFeed listicles punch first. Isn't it weird that the princess married the prince just after meeting him? Isn't it cringe that magic exists? Irony poisoning of childhood classics? Well, that just happened, humor! Say something true and beautiful or I will start throwing rocks! You know that feeling when you're in bed and you open your eyes but you haven't noticed you opened your eyes? That's how I feel all the time. 
No more, please. Every neurodivergent person who's ever been made fun of because of it should be compensated with a life-size pirate ship, their very own crew that loves them, and all sing sea shanties together. A lifetime supply of rum, oranges, card games, and cannonballs with proper protective equipment and an animal companion of their choice if they'd like. A a and wizard powers? And wizard powers! Oh man, is this how I find out Monkey D. Luffy from hit anime One Piece is neurodivergent? Cause damn, it all makes sense now. I must not explain the joke. Explaining the joke is the joke killer. I will face my followers who did not get the joke. I will permit them to pass over me and through me. Is this a reference to something? Why'd you write it like that? Is that from something? You are making this so difficult. Would you put a discarded fruit sticker on my forehead in whimsical jest, yes or no? Reblog to put a discarded fruit sticker on the forehead of the person you reblog it from in whimsical jest. Andy, can I get one, please? Hey, what's the best kitchen appliance to attack people with? Fridge, if you can lift it. Humidity got me on some Dr. Doofenshmirtz shit. I'm going to build a beam that will zap every water molecule in the tri-state area out of the air. Don't bother warning me about the consequences of this. I don't care. I don't like being sticky. All right, Bucko, let me put it in words you'll understand. <clears throat> They call me Detective Dick Detective, and I'm the worst cop in Pouty. <laughs> <laughs> I just love this fucking thing. Utilizing the gift of imagination to hallucinate moments of tenderness between fictional people. Me with the one slur and the neighbor from Hello Neighbor. How did this happen? Just saw someone with, use whatever pronouns you use for yourself or me in bio. I honestly never considered the death the pronoun metagame could have. We barely scratched the surface with this shit. Move to NYC, eat balls all day. Bagels! <laughs> Bagels! D Discord isn't sending my message help! This is torture! Balls typing! Oh my god! It's Tumblr! Oh god! Okay. Yo, she's got legs for days. Pfft, not impressive. I've had mine for years. How do you guys vocalize the punchline semicolon silly punctuation? I always imagine it's a teenage boy voice crack. Hey, come on now. It's not nice to make fun of somebody's voice changing as they get older. It's also not nice to make fun of detective baby legs, okay? They're trying. I love the phrase, they get along like a house on fire. It's perfect. You and me have perfect chemistry, and it's setting off the carbon monoxide detectors. People are calling emergency services to get us to stop being so chummy. Someone died. You panicking, running for your life through my labyrinth space station. Me over the intercoms. You have turf bangs. I've never played Portal, but I assume this is what it's like. I'll hang on, let me make one adjustment then. You have turf bangs. I'm reading a story, and the characters sat down for dinner, and the way it was described... I read that the mashed potatoes were part of the salad. Out of curiosity to see if it was a thing people actually do, uh, th this was this was the closest result I got on Google. Close <laughs> enough. Yeah, we put your girl in the fandom and they villainized her beyond comprehension. Yeah, sorry. They took out all the nuance and made the argument completely black and white. Yeah, my bad. We can't reverse it. Sorry. All right, comments and Andy, name that character. Perceive with your perceivers. Paint primary colors on fan wings. Brilliance. Did we just discover how to paint with all the colors of the wind? Irrationally angry at the people around me failing to pay attention to the airplane's descent and landing. You're literally having a magical experience. Can you fathom the people who have died dreaming about the thing you're currently playing Candy Crush through? A lot of people have died doing this thing too. Just saying. I want to be as healthy and as beautiful as a grazing wild ox. Wild well, oxen are smelly and gross. Then smell me. Be disgusted by me. I am freely myself. I am me. Well, time to hunt this odd yellow wild ox and put it out of its misery. Forget Blorbo from my shows. Look at Blorbo from my house. <gasps> that right there? That's a good Blorbo. Being a weird little girl as a kid provides two options to you. Becoming transgender or becoming a weird adult woman. Both of which are things the world needs more of. I'm sorry, did you mean uh, whoop him? 
I am not gaslighting you. I'm lying to you. Gaslighting implies a level of effort that I am simply not putting in. Deceiving you does not require much. <laughs> Kirby looked away as his eyes watered. I erased him from existence with my own two nubs. Kirby fanfiction is the funniest thing in the entire world. The important thing to note here is that this refers to canon events. This isn't the author being super edgy or making things up. This canonically happens, and Kirby fic writers just take it in stride. A five foot seven white boy has been reported doing wall push ups outside of 7 Eleven. Now something bad's happening. <gasps> Jesus Christ! He folded down. Someone help him up! The shrew and the gar separated at birth. I like the Gar's face, because that is like the smile of someone who just let someone else take the blame for his own fart. Ladies, I have got to ask, what is going on? Well, I wake up in the morning, and I step outside. And I take a deep breath, and I get real high. And I scream from the top of my lungs. What's going on? Mouse girl 257 meters away. 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 Mouse girl 256 meters away. She's only got little legs. Please be patient. I will sit here and wait if her opening line is cheese to meet you. When my parrot wants pets off someone, he'll go up to them, say hello, and lower his head to expose his neck. Recently, however, he's been doing this to a pitch black crevice behind the couch. Even trying to control the darkness with kissy noises is getting sad when the void won't pet him. How do I explain that dark chasms are not friends? There's a ghost in there. And a damn rude one, too! Pet the bird! Mm, mm, mm. The worst chair infestation I've ever seen. Thank God for that rope, otherwise that'd be super unsafe. Maybe the girl and the car's boyfriend and the hookman simply ran away together. Did you ever think of that? Man door hand and unlovable hand hook car door. Ah, well, it's just like me, except we don't share any personality traits and I don't do any of the stuff that he does. Probably good RPG ideas. Bard Barbarian who channels their anger through jazz violin. I'm writing this one down. As soon as we explore 100% of the ocean, all the fish become two times stronger and a new area will unlock. I'm not prepared for two times stronger whales. Gets to the part I really started writing this fanfic for. Me. This better be good, me! Worst part of living with animals is in the nighttime sloppy licking cleaning noises. I'm sorry, but I cannot sleep. Please? See, I can stop. Please, please, please! My cat is licking himself loudly and wetly somewhere in this pitch black room, and it sounds like there's an old man eating a bowl of chili in the dark with me. Thanks, I hate it. Executive dysfunction is like all your abilities are on cooldown, and you're mashing buttons to try to do anything, but your brain is just like, I can't do that yet. That's still recharging. I can't do that yet. That spell isn't ready yet. That's still recharging. What the fuck? I didn't know this was a thing. I thought it was just a piece of shit. Oh my god. And that's why talking about mental illness is important. Today I learned the inventor of the polygraph married the first person he interrogated. <laughs> Do you like me, yes or no? He also created Wonder Woman, and he and his wife had a third woman who lived with them, and she and his wife stayed together after he died. This is a basic level weird trivia facts, people. It, is that why it's called a polygraph? That's a 10 out of 10 joke, Andy. Give him a gold star. Wonder if simply mentioning PMC more will be enough to show up in a video. Oh well, only one way to find out. I wonder if reblogging a post mentioning PMC more will be enough to show up in a video. While I did respond, the true and proper way to summon me is as follows. <clears throat> First, get five cups of coffee and lay them out in the shape of a moon. And then, you put a cute blue elf in the middle of that moon. And then you say the magic words, PUNK! And voila, I am there. The biggest problem with writing fantasy in English is that there's really no alternate universe phrasing that carries the exact tone and context to the reader as, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God, it's true. I, I don't believe this. 
I tried to send my stressed out girlfriend a supportive message about how smart and talented she is, but my idiot fingers only typed, you're snart, before pressing send. Normal guy who transitions into a different, equally normal guy. Guy who changes his name from Robert to Tom. I knew a guy whose legal name was Robert, but went by Den for literally no reason. This genuinely makes me happy. Good for him. Good for him. D&D &D is great. I just tried to slam a guy with a two-handed maul and missed, swinging into the floor. I roll for damage against the floor because, of course I do. I roll high. The tiles are crushed to bits, and as a free action, I grab a handful of floor gravel and shove it into my mouth to straight up eat it in an intimidation attempt. My combat opponent is horrified. I get plus two to hit him next turn. Jesus Christ, this sounds like a cartoon. Tumblr, I'm going to be honest with you. I have never seen the letter Y and not thought of it as a vowel. I know the whole and sometimes Y thing, but I honestly don't know when Y isn't a vowel. Can someone in chat with a bigger brain than me explain? Because I, I also agree with Rachi here. Sometimes things are tough, but look at this bun. <gasps> oh my god, Andy, do you see it? It's a panoi. Ah, I remember the first time I tried drying catnip in the food dehydrator and accidentally invented a cat vape station. Came home to all three of them, I only have three at the time, literally laying on or around the dehydrator, stoned out of their little kitty minds. I think we have a business plan here, folks. So at my house, we have an intercom in everyone's room, and when you press talk and speak into it, everyone can hear what you say. So last night... <laughs> like 1 a.m., I spoke into it and quietly whispered, Shia LaBeouf. I heard my mom scream in the other room. <laughs> that was, I like that one. That's good. Here's a thought. Would a dramatic furry go, Oh, woe is me. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Andy, just, just throw the video in a boiling pot of water and just close the lid. We're done. Oh, wow. You're so polite. Thanks! I'm afraid of you. Taking that guy out of situations and putting him in a loving polyamorous relationship. He deserves it. Feeling sensitive and sweet and so cute and sinister. Plotting evil and being a monster. Hot, queer, space tips. Never trust any spot that has fewer than two fat and hairy people present. You have no idea what other problems the space has if they can't even meet the bare minimum. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Andy, two gold stars. Stuffed animals will see a crack between the bed and go, Hey, is anyone going to fall into that? And not wait for an answer. You look like if I threw rocks at you, they all bounce back and hit me. See, that's funny because in actuality, I'd simply perish if you threw rocks at me. Die in the spot. Y you killed me. I'm gonna isekai you into people's playground. People keep sending me threats with references to things I've never heard of. Oh my god, you too? Transgender Bean! Gay Lightning! I I'm out of spells. Damn, only two spell slots? Hey! 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 He's only a level one sorcerer. Back off. What if a bobcat had a bobcut? That bobcat is out on the prowl for the manager. Saying using references makes you a bad artist is like saying using recipes makes you a bad cook. Do, do you understand now? Do I have to keep clapping? I'm just gonna keep clapping. Probably sounds very inappropriate out of context, but I'm clapping, damn it! The homoerotic tension between two monster energy flavors. And they both taste like cough syrup. My brain when I try to do things that'll give me joy. Hey, hey, hey! Who well, the fuck is serotonin? Hey, I'll help you who serotonin is. Andy put up serotonin. Wow, look, it's her right there. Wow. Do you, do you feel the happy yet? Please tell me you feel the happies. Probably good RPG ideas. Paleontologist druid? Now, can they turn into skeletons? Or rather, can they turn into skeletons in a way that isn't the usual way for people to turn into skeletons, a.k.a. losing flesh? Better. They use what they learn about the skeletons to turn into a living version. Oh. Well, that's great. Cool. Yeah, good. People who eat super spicy peppers are pretty much just bored. 
ADHD. That is not what that is. Fun fact, the word cute is gender neutral. This can be proven in concept by calling me gender not quite conforming person. Cute, without misgendering me. Try it. Yeah, she's a 10, but she talks to animals like they'll respond. I'm sorry, but she's still a 10? Fuck's wrong with you? I'd abuse the fuck out of a PhD. I just start making up shit like, You! Steven! Yeah, you, Steven, watching this. I diagnose you with Pepopisma. Don't even look it up! You don't even want to know. Don't even want to know. Do you ever just flex your foot wrong and it cramps and you're just like, This is it! This is how it ends! Flirty! Sir, that is my beloved mutual with whom I have not shared a fandom since 2013. You will show them respect! I miss when you could touch his TV and feel its fur. When an old TV died, it was always very understandable. You know, like screen busted, tubes broke, animals sick. Smart TVs will have psychomatic problems that'll clear within a day. Your Apple TV gets mental illness. Addicted to saying, yeah, I'll definitely check that out, about things I will definitely forget to check out. Not me, I'm going to get to it, for you see. I have opened a tab. Holy shit, that's a, that's a lot of tabs. Doctor said I need to get kiss someone soon or I might die. Ah, uh, I see you have come down with Pepopisma. I mean, you weren't supposed to look that up. You just hate the cis because of the things that they did. I hate the cis because it is led by the treacherous Count Dooku. And it's not even about him being a person. It's just because his name's Dooku. Fuck this time loop. I'm leaving. Walks into a different, worse time loop. It's called getting a new job. How are people mean to stuffed animals? One time I was trying to clean up my room and I tried to justify giving away a stuffed animal by saying, well, it's a little ugly. And I immediately I was just overwhelmed with monstrous guilt. And I understood the concept of a Catholic hell and I was going there. You imagine that? You just up at the gates and Peter's just like, mm -mm -mm -mm. No. No, 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 no. Remember the time you called the stuffed animal ugly? Yeah, start going downstairs. Perceive the shadow of Mount Rainier causing a gap in the sunset. <laughs> Wrong. Darkness beam attack! See, I remember that episode of iCarly where they signed a deal to promote shoes that ended up being terrible, but they couldn't go back out of the contract, so they found a loophole and said all the things terrible about the shoes in a positive way. That's how YouTubers promoting Raid Shadow Legends sound half the time. Honestly, I've been noticing that with the YouTubers who've had to, had to promote Isekai Slow Life. It's like, it's got, it's got anime girls, you know? People always ask me, you good? Bro, I am true neutral at best. When was the last time you slept? When was the last time you looked behind you? Tonight, scientists fight crab for mysterious purple orb discovered in California deep. This, this is the best headline. Did they win? Do you ever just write out a multi-paragraph rebuttal to something and then think, actually, no, I don't want to get involved in this, and then close it? This is so healthy, though. You get to put your thoughts to words, and then you light them on metaphorical fire. It's cleansing. Going to the vendor fair is pretty much getting free samples of pens, candy, and bags. But girl, I still go back. Boys will be boys. Yeah, well, not if I get to them first. They call me Trojan. S. Trojan. That's a solid joke right there. Andy, give him the fattest gold star you got. Whatever souls are made of, yours and mine are the same. Insult. Soulmate. Derogatory. Let me get this straight? Mm-mm. Nah. Let me run something by you. Let's just pan this out. Shout out to everyone on my dashboard who is enthusiastically talking about whatever the fuck they're into that I don't recognize. I love your enthusiasm. Keep going. I don't know what's happening, but I support you. Hey, oh, this guy can't find the divine within the mundane. Kill him, girls! Oh dear, it would seem my mutual has gone insane. <sighs> it's me. I'm the mutual. So the thing about buying time is that it means you're wasting time. Draconic hero, stop. Stop being right. The neurodivergent urge to think and think. And think, and think. An inexperienced Egyptian god of the afterlife. Anubis. 
I do not want self-help. I want a crypt. I need a hole. I need a cellar. I need a dungeon. There was a little German boy talking to his papa at the mall today, and it was like walking past a celebrity. Making content about characters you don't think about a lot is so embarrassing. Like, what if the fans see and your interpretation of their Borba was so atrocious that they have to block you? Like, I'm sorry, I didn't study at Spamton University. Yeah, here's my response to that. Fucking do it anyway. If you like the character and you want to do stuff about him, j just, just do it. Someone just asked me if I could be normal for a bit. Ma'am, do you know who I am? I am niche internet nobody. Of course I can't! Hey guys, so I'm not the only one who actually buys things on Amazon. I'd like to introduce you to my wife, who also buys things on Amazon. Here's one of the reviews she has about it, okay? Here we go, bye bye. Absolutely gutted. I've just sat and blown up all the letters just to find that the D is missing, but it's re replaced with an extra A? It's my daughter's birthday tomorrow, and now I won't be able to decorate it as planned. Not happy at all. Man, you sound like a really good Karen. <laughs> happy birthday. <clears throat> <clears throat> We're back. KITR will now follow the player even if in clash mode. KITR will no longer mercilessly devour the player if in clash mode. A coin's max distance to attempt hitting a core eject or rocket is now based on the core distance to the player rather than the coin to make orbital nukes possible again. Short story, fix the issue where food was occasionally not being exposed to bubbles during the serving challenge of the old, the angry, and the lurch snake. We taught Asano and Tobin to count. We taught Rowan the meaning of capitalism. Now your sims can make more informed choices on if they want to suffer the consequences of eating dairy when they're lactose intolerant. We've done a large update to food for a more accurate lactose-free experience. How immersive. Buffed fishing, nerfed fishing. Villagers are now prevented from getting a profession when sleeping. Come on, man, they were just following their dreams. Added crab aberrations. Crabberations. Fix is an issue whereby characters would be immune to fall damage for a long time after jumping on bouncy mushrooms under certain circumstances. Sorry, Genshin players. You can no longer rudely walk away from Cerberus when forging a bond with him. Why would you walk away from the good boy? He got three good boy hands. Fixed. God is now no longer scared of a fake gun. Removed Harry Rolls. Added. Every rolls back. Arachnophobia option added. Replace all spider sprites with a cake. Fixed a bug where enemies could be launched out of bounds in a late game area, making them impossible to kill. Perks. The cannibal. Players can no longer eat corpses while also using furniture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that one got me. Fix an issue where guard 26, specifically 26, might behave abnormally when interrupted while placing a bomb. And finally, October 18th, 2019, V1.0.4. Fixed turtle exploit. Or did we? Did you know? Cuttlefish have three hearts because they love you so, so much. You see this little guy? He loves you. Behold, live footage of Daylight Savings taking the sun away at 4 p.m. Give it back! I'm fake open. Very forthcoming about things that don't really matter so people won't notice that I'm very guarded about the things that do. That's a move right there. Isn't it so funny there's such a thing as customer service voice? Like, I have to speak to you like a child, or you'll rip my face off like a wild chimp! Please stop adding there are two kinds of people and that escalated quickly to text posts. There are two kinds of rapid escalation. Well, that people twicely. Give me. Mmm, yummy. I always see sensory avoidant autistic people talking about how their favorite foods are all plain carbs. But where are the sensory-seeking autistics who live on garlic and spicy foods? The ones who will eat a straight lemon and hate butter noodles. I put hot sauce on everything. From Twinkies to milk. 
It's what I do as the ultimate life form. In before comments that say Snapcube did it better. Did I ever tell you guys? No, you never did. And I never will. Stardew Valley Dev is too protective of their IP to give away its movie rights. Unless Studio Ghibli is interested. Concerned ape knows what's up. Oh, god damn it. She escaped containment again, didn't she? Yeah. Happy Mariah Carey season, everyone. Johnny Test is short for Johnny Testrogen. Why didn't I just say testosterone? I don't know where, Ralph. I don't know. Holy shit, it's called a home run because the runner runs from home plate back to home plate? I swear to God, if that's not why it's called that. Hold on, I am Googling this and sending the screen cap to Andy. Why is it called home run? Okay, good. It's it, That's exactly what it is. Thank God. That, that little bet has no clue that it's embodying Halloween right now. Because it doesn't understand what holidays are. It does, however, understand what pumpkins are, is it can eat those. It can't eat Halloween. Bates. I need your tags, I'm sorry. Shout out to fifth grade me for having a college reading level and apparently using up all future motivation for actual college age me to read what I'm supposed to. You 10 year old asshole. I feel like being gay can make you a really late bloomer in terms of like being interested in other people romantically. Because I'm 20 years old and I'm only just now evolving into the how much flannel do I have to wear before girls will like me phase. It's like being 13, but as a 20 year old. Wario is a vampire's worst fucking nightmare. Garlic breath, no neck to bite into, not polite enough to invite anyone inside, effectively immortal, and worst of all, Roman Catholic. Hey, um, yeah, I put your boyfriend in the oven and asked some Tumblr people to wake me up from a five-minute nap. He's still in there with Randy Sticks. I'm really sorry. Randy! You cannot say that a top-grossing artist is feral or making you feral. You are listening to the Billboard Top 40. You are very domesticated. That's a stupid-ass take. The fame of an artist doesn't define how it makes you feel. Do you not see me going hog while eating potatoes, easily one of the top five most well-known vegetables? We're like shooting stars, you and I. I, I mean, we have a point. And finally, Elf Barbarian. Is Barbarian an elf? Half elf, yes. The other half is violence! Chugging water, like I'm dying of dehydration and then getting a tummy ache from drinking too much. Like, if you agree, I don't know why I always do this. Pros of having a brain that makes very fast associations. Good comebacks and jokes. Cons of having a brain that makes very fast associations. That story about how you broke your foot reminded me of a fun fact about lizards. Would you like to hear it? Too bad you're going to hear about it. Guys, I'm getting pretty mold disinterested. It's a good feral. The funniest thing that's happened to me recently is that someone seemingly tried to update my pronouns on a medical system, but accidentally made it so that my actual name is now they, them. Dear them, you have been referred for an assessment, promoted your pronouns to nouns. When someone's bio is like, life is short, buy the plane ticket, I'm like, okay, thanks for clarifying, we are on different tax brackets. PNG is my friend. JPEG is my mentor. WebP is my sworn enemy. Your Honor, in my client's defense, he is a poor little meow meow. A sopping wet cat, if you will. FNAF fans when they have to defend William Afton. Such a raw ass pose. Do you think they were asked to pose like this or they just did that? These guys are about to drop the sickest diss track ever. For the next challenge, you have to feel your feelings instead of trying to intellectualize them. <laughs> no thanks. I'd rather not. Pucky Cho, I need the name of your therapist. I've never been to therapy. Well, that explains it. The monsters are real. Dairy Queen employees are Haman users. Care to explain? Hey, don't cry. One cup heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons granulated sugar, three tablespoons cocoa powder, and whisk until stiff peaks form for three ingredient chocolate mousse, okay? It's pretty helpful, thank you.
In the winter time, you can remove the frozen status effect by drinking some warm tea. But watch out! You may be inflicted with sleep status effect instead. That's what winter do feel like. Local man down bad. For a man in Lego City. Medieval Backstreet Boys. You are my fryer. Kitchen Appliance Backstreet Boys. You are my fryer. Employer Backstreet Boys. You are my hire. Ancient Greek Backstreet Boys. You are my liar. Laundry Worker Backstreet Boys. You are my dryer. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking just crazy. I need to be cleansed. I need to commit sins against God. The duality of man. Maybe it's because I'm weird, but I've just realized that the reason Death the Kid rides a skateboard is because it's one of the few modes of transportation that is perfectly symmetrical. I mean, yeah, you're probably right. What is it about laying on the floor when you're overwhelmed that makes everything feel so much better? When God has ceased to answer your prayers, it feels good to distance yourself from heaven. Adding this to my list of incredibly raw fucking lines gifted from the impossible wonder that is Tumblr. Thanks. I see you caught me bouncing on my ball. I have the thought in my mind of a studio trying to remake Revenge of the Nerds, but nerd is too mainstream nowadays, and they want to recapture the edgy raunchiness of the original, so they very cluelessly named it Revenge of the Incels. And it did horribly. Yeah, I was just bringing to my trap until I... Do you think the inventor of the colon has any idea how much joy they brought to this world? They invented her, 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 and dozens more. Call me Imagine Dragons the way I'm breathing in the chemicals. <laughs> you can't employ me in a way that matters. Don't even try. Hey, is there an HRT but for becoming a cat? Buying a fursuit. It's a pretty cool ship you got there, but, um, have you considered adding another guy to it, though? Please do try to bargain their way on Noah's Ark. Guy who says, it's okay, I'm reclaiming it, when you tell him not to take the Lord's name in vain. How do people not swear? Like, where does their anger go? How do they show their enthusiasm? What if they stub their toe? Like saying, golly gosh, isn't really gonna cut it, Barbara. If Tumblr dies, I'm not crawling back to Twitter. Set up a summoning circle at your nearest crossroad if you need me. I came to Tumblr to get away from summoning circles. I can ignore notifications. I can't ignore Steve trying to reach me into the abyss to pull me out just to impress some girl he met in the occult. Fuck you, Steve! Every single tall person is totally okay with being made fun of for being tall. You can ask how the weather's up there, and they just grin and go, <laughs> Yeah, I'm tall. Every single short person, however, is fueled by rage at their height. Make fun of them at your own peril. You ask how the weather is down there, and they will instantly go from zero to, Bitch, I will cut you. The shorter we are, the closer to Satan we are. Am effervescent. Am effervescenting so hard right now. You don't even know how effervescent I am. I'm so effervescent. See, I still don't believe it's supposed to be pronounced like that. I'm going to go with the furfescent. Oh, characters putting their hair up and things get serious. But also, characters letting their hair down, allowing it to be wild and cascade down their shoulders when they're at home and relaxed. <laughs> I had a dream. They unveiled a new Diglett evolution that was basically like 20 Diglets in a group. It was called Dugstruction. Holy shit, I need it. Samsung? No idea what it was that Sam sang, but apparently it was so good that Sam has a monopoly in South Korea. Oh no. This place is a cesspit. Affectionate. Versus. This place is a cesspit. Derogatory. Narrow divergent cowgirl. Call that yaltism. <laughs> God damn it, I hate it. I think it would be really funny if they reused the Mario movie cast for the Legend of Zelda movie. Have Chris Pratt play Link and Anya Taylor Joy play Zelda. And Jack Black can play Gandalf for whatever the fuck the bad guy from Zelda is called. How? Fucking dare you come into my house and not call Ganondorf? I am blowing this video up with my mind! Oh my god, it's patchy wetchy time. Fixed an issue where the opera singer could leave the Shadow Realm while sneaking in the basement. Ooh. 
World 7 fixed the issue where a panda from Mad Panda Trio was holding a glass of sparkling barley tea upside down in Devil's Brewery. That panda better have their pinky out. Wait, do pandas have pinkies? We may have fixed an issue causing the volleyball minigame to be exceedingly sped up on some devices. I know it's probably not about Dead or Alive Extreme, but can you imagine? During the final battle with Redacted, the masked kid would get stuck in a falling state while landing in a certain way on platforms. This would, in turn, send the player flying through the floor and out of bounds. Yikes. Fixed game becoming unresponsive after the ending sequence. But, but the game's over. You're done. You can put it down now. Go outside, little Timmy. Added new portraits for some characters. I will not argue. I failed in drawing some of the previous portraits. I, I, I failed. I draw for a living. I fucking hate it. Fixed jumping system near the edge of the platforms. Now the player have a possibility to jump a few moments after Alestia begins to fall. That makes the player more responsible. Reduce the chance of situations in which the player, falling into the water, instead of appearing on the edge of the platform, fell down again. Fixed a rare situation when a player saw a random number of symbols instead of the normal text. That was not cryptic lore. Matthew Patrick, get off my lawn. Removed all the funny, more funny, even more funny, and the remaining funny. Added new moments in which a paladin will break their oath, like torturing a prisoner, killing a pixie after helping her, burying someone alive, breaking someone's legs. You know, your regular Tuesday afternoon. Sometimes it's all at once, because, you know, your broken-legged pixie prisoner has to go somewhere. Attempted to fix a bug that makes the game break for people who have French names. I I I'm dead serious. More details below. This does not <laughs> at all. Squatch his ball will now be harder to lose. If you lost his ball, go see him at camp and he might give it back. Ball warranty voided for chasm-related accidents. A wink. Well, that's new. The application icon has been changed. Ads now appear less recurring. New categories. Fix the bug that causes it to close when entering for the first time. We solved the bugs that we had added in our previous version. Oh, and uh, we added even more bugs to avoid losing our jobs. <gasps> I knew it! Oh, dips very large grilled cheese in this. I'm pretty sure that's poison. Pretty sure that's organic tomato soup. Steve! So do you listen to a song until you can perfectly replay it in your head, or are you a Norman? Shh, sh sh shut your mouth! Then what would you do if I... I'd probably... I'm setting a quest for you all. Go find a cool thing in nature. Sticks, leaves, rocks, flowers, or anything else that makes you happy. But it's night time, and I'm too small and too heapy to go out, and it's cold. Will my collection of about 45 cool rocks from the beach that I already have count for the quest? That will suffice. But you don't have to do the quest right now. I spent all day doing side quests instead of progressing the main story. Yeah, I know you're talking about a video game, but this is actually a really good metaphor for my life. Your pet thunderstorm bobs around excitedly when you lift the lid of the terrarium. You turn on your hairdryer and blow in a tiny warm front. It booms with joy as its little clouds flash and roll. I have never wanted an imaginary thing more than this. Encountered today. A math professor wearing a shirt his grad students made for him, depicting him as a moonman, saying, I will literally kill you if I don't mention the orthogonal group. You know, the public library is social, and there's media there, pretty much its whole thing. And you can browse the stacks, or even post up at a comfortable chair. This feels like a sign that would be at a public library. Man with excellent self-restraint dismayed to realize that not wanting anything is more likely a depression symptom than a carefully honed skill that atones for other aspects of his character. <laughs> I hate how everything's called devices and apps now. Those are frail words with no weight and show no respect like machine and program do. I transitioned because people kept saying I reminded them of Sheldon Big Bang Theory and my only choice was to burn it all down and start over. This response is amazing. From bazingas to bazingas! <laughs> I'm going to hell. Sorry for seeing the divine and the monstrous. Not my fault. I'm sorry for making the divine monstrous. That one is my fault. I will take full credit for it. I'm not evil anymore. I want to be loved now.
I'm evil again. You sorry, I can't hang out today. I must sit in the sun for warmth like a lizard that can't produce its own body heat. Yeah, it's an all day thing. People are trying to talk to me and ask me things while the only thing happening in my brain is Mario Kart Wii menu music. Oh yeah, that's the stuff, man. Every day is a new chance to draw the worst thing you've ever drawn. Go ahead, artist. Draw Kirby without his shoes. Blood loss? Well, it's not lost. I know exactly where it went. Right over there. I've heard multiple first responders say legit that this is the joke they hear from older men all the time. Dead jokes. Even when a lot of your blood has gone over there. Hey, yo, call me a first level warlock the way I can do one thing before I need to lie down for eight hours. <laughs> My patron is depressing. World's oldest haunted house has passed away at the age of 207. Let's get it pregnant again. I think you have a fundamental misunderstanding of maybe everything, actually. This job is going to turn me into an alcoholic. You say that about everything. Yeah! And? <clears throat> Cute hat holder. Whittle moon. Pointy hearers. Floofy Benoit ears. Mo cheeks. Big moon heart container. Kikis. Grabbies. Mega floof. Leg. I don't care if I get canceled for posting this, someone has to say it. Rust is a shade of orange. Look me in the eyes and tell me this is the same as burgundy. Are we running out of discourse material or... I just realized that the kanji for bone looks like a little skeleton fella. Can I, can I kick it over? Hey, look at this little guy. What'd you do today? Walked. I slept. We live such extravagant lives, you and I. Yeah. Bad news. Your funny post is now going around with an addition that isn't that funny and ruins the punctuality of the original joke. Sad. Do mathematicians refer to tops and bottoms as numerators and denominators? They better now. Top picks for April? Ugh. Buddy, it's November. Wait. They're alive. And you can change that. My game master. A little terrified. When I'm liking your vent post, just know that I am kneeling with my sword to offer you supports. And my axe. Legitimately crying over the fact that I can't play Just Dance with my brother. He's over six feet tall with the grace of a baby giraffe. The apartment can't handle rescue team. When you're a 14-month-old French infant in a military hospital in the late 18th century and that weird hungry guy comes into your room. I can't stop thinking about this post. I don't think any of that face when you make one type post that prompted over 20 minutes of researching me before. And if you know, you know. When people steal your tags, when they take your tags and use them in their blogs. Like, hey man, those are my tags, you just stole them. You just made me click on my activity and read tags only to realize I'm reading my own tags. Evil. Give them back. Today on Facts I Just Made Up, the giant checks awarded on game shows cannot be cashed at regular banks. They must be cashed at the giant banks that issued them. I want this to be real, though. Cringe culture is dead, but also, no. An adult shouldn't base their entire personality on liking a single media property. Neither should a teenager. A self-respecting fan of any age really ought to have at least, like, three things they'll make an absolute fucking fool of themselves over at the drop of a pin. You know, diversify that portfolio. Take it from stonks. For some reason, for the past 30 minutes, I've been chanting to myself, do not conform to societal norm, do not conform to societal norm, while doing things that society will definitely not deem normal. Ugh, this picture of a snake peeking around the doorway is my fave. This snake is just, just looks so nice. Just checking in on you. What a good friend. He's also giving you a little sniff. All praise me. I have gotten past the stupid writer's block. And now the next challenge... Getting over the artist block. Talking to your friends in text chat as a fast reader writer is a strange experience. You're left sitting there wondering if they're taking their time formulating a response, or you flashbang them with words. Hey, why in God's blue earth did the minions become the most popular characters in the Despicable Me franchise when Vector is literally right there? How'd you fuck that up? <gasps> did my Yaoi stickers arrive? No. Oh, it was my bachelor's degree. People will say your ears before doing the stupidest thing you'll ever see. 
Oh, man. It's the new YOLO. I ship this ship because I have eyes. I can see. I am the smartest person in the room. And I receive divine revelations about them in the dead of night, alone in my chambers. Therefore, Canaan. A part of adult life you never really realize as a child is the constant need for bowls in so many different sizes. You're always doing something and going, Man, I wish I had the right size bowl for this. No matter how many bowl sizes you have. It's true. You've stripped him of so many of his qualities that it's no longer he would not say that. It's, who the fuck even is that guy? I'm sorry, did you mean South Park Twitter? Watching something about conspiracy theories like, It's Nazi propaganda. It's been proven to not be true. And you might be onto something, but you really need to bring it back about two or three notches. <sighs> no, aliens didn't make that. It was Africans. No, aliens didn't make that. It was indigenous Americans. No, aliens didn't make that. It was Asians. No, Greek people aren't psychic or divine prophets. People are just predictable. And don't forget the fan favorite. Yep, the CAA straight up did that. These are reviews that were too short to make shorts out of, so I'm just gonna do them all in one go. Okay, here we go. Ghostly friend keeps nightmares away. He's a very good man. He's very dapper. We have tea on Tuesdays at noon. He keeps bad dreams away by using Dream Eater. And look how redundant he is. Not sure what the end game is. It was great at first, but turned to ash not too long after. <laughs> That was good. Tell me how shipping crickets in this way makes any sense at all. I opened the box and my house was flooded with hundreds of tiny crickets the size of coffee grounds. I'm disgusted. Mm -mm. Five stars. I am the author and I think I did a pretty good job. Hmm. I don't even know this was an LGBT bar when I arrived. I wasn't even gay when I got there, but after a great night of food and drink and men, I sure am now. Great place. Five stars. What was that third part? Really that big. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Damn. Can finally have that one cup of coffee of day my doctor keeps telling me to have. Him. He sits on my desk and photosynthesizes. Very polite. I love him. Whoops! I follow this recipe to the letter and it's perfect for turning a perfectly good artichoke into a decorative giant pine cone. All of your other recipes, Outland, have been perfect. Is there a step missing in your written description? We'll continue to watch and admire you on Good Eats, Iron Chef, and practice your recipes, but as far as choke scripts go, we'll just have salad and use this recipe for making Christmas decorations. All the best and respect, Rick B. One star. Welcome back, Andy. Feel free to start the show however you want. Nice. Nice. Also, don't forget, guys, we still have the plushie going right now. Make sure. Okay, we'll go. Platonic confessions and acts of love and devotion. I will follow you to the ends of the earth, and I will not be falling in love with you about it. Thank God. I love it when people link Wikipedia pages instead of explaining the point. Like, the URL alone conveys so much disdain and contempt. Here is the information you desire. I found it with ease. For example, slide up. Turned us away while holding a table for someone coming later on. Poorly run and a major disappointment. Response from the owner. Wikipedia.org slash wiki slash table reservation. I enjoy the phrase creature comforts because I am a creature and I want to be comfortable. Oh yeah. I see this headline. Father says Baker ruined his son's birthday cake with their pathetic decorating skills. And as a former cake rex lover, I figured, sure, I'll buy it. Let's see this cake. Literally nothing could have prepared me for this cake. They paid $49 for this frog-themed cake. And honestly, no amount of money in the world could be put on this masterpiece. <laughs> it looks like a little frog butt. Boyfriend, if I killed someone, would you tell on me? Me? No, but I'd use it against you all the time. I'd be like, so are you going to walk the dog, or do I have to make a phone call? You ever sleep so little, you feel like a low-polygon version of yourself? Like you're just going to be running on reduced graphics today? Oh my god, it's in words! These two men are a threat to national security. You left out a few. There are more than two men? Yeah, it's got to be at least like, I don't know, four? Love 
that the favorite pastime of rich people in the 1800s was getting scammed, pretending to talk to ghosts. Yeah, they're still like this. I need to go to an Amazon-funded spiritualist meeting. Tesla self-driving plant jet! Every corporate yoga retreat within a day's drive in San Francisco contains enough built-up J.O. crystal energy to blow Alcatraz to the moon. I wish I could find the article now, but this reminds me of the 2010 story of the Florida woman who tried to kill her husband by hiding a weapons-grade stash of bad energy harsh vibe crystals under his bed. The judge was like, I, I guess this is attempted murder, but the word attempted is doing an unusual amount of heavy lifting. Sorry about all the prawn bots. I'm trying to hit 75k followers and they got out of control. It'll happen again. Hear ye, hear ye. The weed law demands that you blaze it. Oh, hell yeah. The poll feature really took off because it taps into Tumblr's favorite activity, being extremely opinionated about things that don't matter. I will die on any hill. My kink is unloved characters suddenly being loved unconditionally. My kink right now is unloved characters suddenly realizing that they are loved unconditionally. <laughs> New cooking show, where the judge panel is a bunch of neurodivergent people with the same ick food, and the chefs are challenged with finding a way to prepare it that the most amount of judges like. Bonus points if the winning recipes are put online somewhere. Oh my god, I need this show. Reading Aristotle. No idea what he's talking about. Check footnote. Uh, oh. No one knows what this paragraph means. I bet Aristotle didn't even know either. When the moon hits your eye like it's 445, that's November. I hate it. Whoa, dude. When I heard about rad femmes, I thought it'd be some of the most radical females. But these chicks are saying some bogus things about other babes. Not cool, dude. Not cool. Sudden death. Why we knew years before that it will come. Not so sudden now, are we? Sudden death. No, I'd been slipping arsenic into his coffee for five months. It was not sudden. Wait, this is about the new OnStars event, isn't it? It was, but I'm more invested in your story now. Please, no one tell my wife. Wait, Andy, Andy, why do you have that phone in your hand? Andy, Andy, no, Andy, Andy! There's no bad art. There's no good art either. There's no art at all because you haven't drawn any. How dare you say these words to me? Mr. Andy, the editor, obliterate this man. Imagine, if you will, a guy. Then what if you put him in situations? I think I have really something here. Perceive with your perceivers. Garlic 2 by Mary Island. Damn, when did they release Garlic 2? <laughs> Hello, welcome to Doctor Office. Let's see what's the problem. Where are your bones? I was hungry. I'm going to start calling American music A-pop. For no reason. All oh, my mutuals are posting about their A-dramas again. Cat Breaking Bad be like, let's see Paul Allen's card. American Psycho, I mean. Cat American Psycho, I mean. I'm sorry. Yeah, Cat Breaking Bad be like, Jesse, we need to lay in this beam of sunshine. You conjure such a beautiful world. Do you guys have any idea how hard it is to fight every fiber of my being to not say Paul Allen's card? Help, I'm being taken away by Magic IRS! They're auditing my wizard taxes! <clears throat> Ladies, gentlemen, and nuns, we got him. Hey, saw some symptoms online. Reminded me of you. Save me, gay people in my phone! Gay people in my phone! Gay people in my phone, save me! Magic the Gathering tip. If you think and focus hard enough, you can summon cards to the top of your deck. However, in recent years, tournament judges have been learning telepathy to catch people doing this, so it's no longer a viable strategy. Fuck! They made the heart of the cards illegal! Hey, are you alright, honey? You barely put your Borbo in situations. Okay, but back when I could afford a therapist... My psychiatrist asked if I had written any fan fiction or planned out any in my head. And I was like, nah, not really. And she nodded and looked down at her notes and was like, so how do you feel about possibly trying Zoloft? 
I started laughing and she was like, I know it sounds funny, but it's been six months without you engaging in your favorite hobby. And that's the sign of depression is getting to the point where we might want to try some treatments with meds in addition to therapy. So like, yeah. So babe, are you okay? You barely put your blurb in situations. High School Musical is a metaphor for bisexuality, and that basketball is the straights, and theater is the gays. And when Troy's dad said, You're your basketball player, not a singer, Troy said, What if I want to be both? And the whole team acts like they shook. By School Musical. I think it's so fun that damn is such a casual curse word now. That it's basically become divorced completely from its original meaning. Like, oops, dropped my phone. Time to invoke the wrath of God about it in the most mildly annoyed tone of voice imaginable. Like, even around people who don't like swearing, you can often get away with it. Which is crazy if you think about it. Like, what the fuck? Broken glass looks so crunchy. I just want to crunch on marble like it's sugar. I think the Grand Canyon would taste like a Starburst. I would disagree. Probably bad RPG idea. Cleric, who's trying to make everyone else atheists? It's their god, not anyone else's. That's a pretty good idea, actually. Sometimes, things that are fanon are worse. Why would you say something so controversial, yet so brave, on the internet? I have witnessed unspeakable horrors. The horrors weren't undescribable or anything. I just had to sign an NDA. No, I can't tell you what it is. Get, 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 get out of my house! Head of my pen, it's a tumbler. By the way, we hit the goal on the plushies, so if you had any fear that you weren't going to get it because we wouldn't make the goal now, that, that it, it happened, so you can get it now. Let's go! The 2014 Tumblr Girl is back. I've literally been here the whole time. <laughs> it smells like... The holidays! Brittany Mariah Carey. New ship dynamic called Schrodinger's Divorce, where characters are simultaneously bitterly divorced and finally married for 20 years. This sounds like the inconsistent relationship between Lois Griffin and Peter Griffin. Tell me I'm wrong. Dealing with auditory processing disorder. The lawful. Take the part you heard and turn it into a clarifying question. You saw your cousin where? Or, she's writing a what? Neutral. What did you say? And chaotic. Take a wild stab at what the person said. You want to baptize a mackerel? Guys, a new type of poison has been discovered, which does not bubble and produce green smoke in the shape of a skull. Please stay safe. I now have one fear. By the way, if I say things like, by God, or good Lord, in post, please be aware, I don't mean it in a Catholic way. I mean it in a 1950s scientist reacting in horror after they created an evil creature in the lab set in the distant future year of 2005. By God. People on Facebook were being so mean to this baby, I got so sad. He was just a baby with ears. Love is stored in the wrinkles, and I am going to kiss every wrinkle on that little baby. Apparently this locket I found is meant for the whole squad. It's for a D&D party. Oh, this would be a great magical item that functions as a cell phone. Put a picture in each slot, and then when you click the picture, you can talk to that person. Or have it share spells on them, or whatever. Either way, very cool. Andy, 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 please! I'm going to allow this. Why do cats have an extra bean on their wrist? What is it for? Well, all cats have a carpal pad on each front paw. It provides traction if a cat skids and also acts like a shock absorber during a jump. It also provides traction if a cat is skidding to a stop, making their way down a hill. Cutting edge cat technologies. As a serial killer, my name would be The Suspense. So my victims would be like, oh no, the suspense is killing me. And we would both laugh and laugh right before I killed them. You roll up to the wizard battle and your opponent takes out a spell book, but it's just one of these. Yeah, I'd leave. This is a sign that my opponent has the most fucked up unethical spells imaginable. And I am NOT about to be the subject to Malkazir's piercing prostate bomb or something. 2020 Me. When I'm in an area. I want out. We learned nothing. 
and we will continue to learn nothing. Hey, look, it's that Drawfee guy, whoever he is, that my comments keep, you know, going nuts about. Cool. Hi. Please respond to this ask by saying everything you want to about Godzilla Minus One. Thank you. Yeah, the more I talk about Godzilla, the more likely fandom assassins blow my brain out. Hey, we're not all bad. Just a shocking majority of us. <laughs> it's too real. Sometimes I think about how Sokka literally invented submarines and how Aang is literally the Avatar, but when both of them put their brain cells together, they come up with ideas like writing a letter to Katara from Toph. Hey, listen. They tell you something that my dad once told me. Sometimes a brain surgeon doesn't know how to cook a steak. Mama didn't raise a quitter, but she did raise a homosexual and an idiot. I'm sorry, is this about a stare in? So what if my startup t-shirt for bugs didn't go anywhere? That doesn't mean you shouldn't invest in shoes for bugs. You don't get it. They have to buy six. Hang on, that sounds like a good idea. Attention, kitty girls. Okay, uh, 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 look at it, look at it. Oh, it's going over there. The fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. It's more likely than you think. Haha, <laughs> make breath jokes. Hello. This is your daily reminder to go be a creature, and a cryptid one at that. Watching Sakura Trick on YouTube as a 144-year-old blew my mind so much. What do you mean girls can kiss each other more than once even? 144 years old? Vampire typo. Oh man, I wish I knew how to draw. Whoa, yeah baby, newsflash, you know how to just do it and it'll work. Wow. Why are cats so silly? What gave them the right to be so magic? Sometimes I am sad and the orange one, though he has no brain cells to spare, comes and cuddles me until I feel better. The gray one likes a certain kind of blanket and loves to be picked up when I'm wearing my fuzzy robe. When you wake them up, they suddenly go all confused. When they want attention, they scream. Honestly, a perfect creature. Hey, that's my emotional support, morally ambiguous, misunderstood, full of trauma, touched, starved, yearning for love, drenched in blood, responsible for numerous atrocities, comfort character who is trying, and you will treat them with respect. Dungeons and dragons? Oh, no, 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 no. A dungeon is not a healthy environment for a dragon. They need a nice healthy cave, at minimum, with an opening to the sky for them to stretch their wingies, and no adventurers coming in to slay them. What? Dragons are an endangered species. No, 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 no. The dungeon is inside the dragon. You want to run that by me again? Hey, can you come and collect your freak of a man, please? He's doing things. No. I set him loose on purpose. He needs enrichment. Hey, what are some good souls-alike dungeon crawler restaurants that I can take my girlfriend to? May I suggest? Is the world's sexiest man dying? Me every time my stomach hurts. Yeah, and dare this and soon dare that. How about you start doing your lawn dare? You know, you do numbers on Tumblr, evil wizard. What is Tumblr? I'm on my crystal ball right now. Well, we named her crystal ball Tumblr. That explains it. Spirits, show me the next post. <laughs> Oh, shoelaces. From the president. How novel. Now, spirits, show me Elvin Fenboys. I just heard someone say, it's like a girl, but a dude. And I completely agree. It's always I can make them better or I can make them worse. Well, I can make sure they go to bed on time and eat something nutritious for breakfast. It's what they deserve. The worst part of showering is the ceaseless, unending screams which tear at your soul. Yeah, maybe turn the hot water down a bit. Oh, the girls are fighting! Wait, we adjust my glasses, squinting? By God. It appears I was mistaken. Then, my goodness. By God, Andy, look away! Hey guys, just a heads up, there's a new scam going around where a gnome will disguise itself with orc facts and then steal all your berries. Stay safe out there. Now, if you excuse me, I'm just gonna turn around and- Ho ho! Gotcha, bitch! Orc fact! Got your stupid ass! This is a gnome post! Give me all your fucking berries right now! Hey, uh, what kind of bird is this? 
the kind with several other birds inside it. Oh, a mother! How wonderful. I had to do a double take because it suspiciously looks like my bird. I can never go to Australia because dingoes look like normal dogs and I couldn't trust myself not to try to pet them. What do you mean these good boys can kill me? So my husband gives people the thumbs down instead of flicking them off from the car. He reports that the thumbs down makes people even more mad. I once had someone wag their finger at me and to this day, I have not forgotten how upset it made me. I remember one time I rolled my window down and shouted out, Your father would be disappointed in you! And I still wonder to this day if that person thinks about me. Guys will see a location and think, Wow, that's a great place for a clan of warrior kids. And they're probably right. His swagless looks and cringe fail personality have captivated me. Sorry, did you mean Zealous Wilder? Are you really an introvert or were you just ignored every time you used to talk and now you just prefer being quiet? <laughs> Shut up, you don't know me! Discord drastically changed its UI. Please be strong, autistic people in my phone. Oh, feels so good. I literally had to hunt around for an older version of the app because my choices were light mode that sears my eyes or two dark options that have way more contrast than before, which causes physical pain due to the strain it puts on my eyes. I don't like it. It's icky. Hey, how do you explain to abled people that walking is fine, standing is very, very bad? Like, I think able people view standing is easier, so if you can walk, you can stand. But you see, if I don't keep the bone demons distracted with motion, they start dismantling my skeleton for sport. It's like the movie Speed, but with my life. Since you can't, an anarchist, opinions on black cats as symbol of anarchism? All cats are anarchists, Ilu. All cats are fueled by anarchism in their own unique way. For example, Ginger cats are so stupid, they cause us emotional turmoil. They need to eat a food. None of the food in the house is the right food. And what is the right food? Well, only God knows, and we're not on speaking terms right now. This sounds like a line from Aqua Teen. A voice within my head whispers to me to write fanfic. And it wants it to be spicy. A bag of holding can only hold one thing and one thing only. It can be anything, but there could only be one in the bag. It's gonna be the moon. Game. Has any kind of elemental-based fighting system. Me. Apply Pokemon logic. Well, to be fair, Pokemon element logic is rooted in normal logic. Yeah, everyone knows a wrestler's biggest weakness is the local pigeons. Have you ever tried punching a bird? It's incredibly freeing to realize that I'm entitled to never having to come up with anything original ever again because I already made Cookie Clicker and I can be satisfied with that. Sorry, this isn't meant to be relatable. The rest of y'all still gotta try. Hey, Arteel, you posted a joke about someone else already made that post like a month ago. Don't care, popularized the game genre. He did do that, yeah. You're 23? Why are you wasting your prime years on this godforsaken website, BBG? Yeah, I should be at the club. Hey, I may be 20, but I am also a loser. You ever think about that? When I am president, I will abolish. There will no longer be any. You have mine. Thank you for your terrible news. Apparently just vibing with your story ideas does not make the stories appear fully written in a Word document. <sighs> hey guys, there is in fact a platonic explanation for this. If you're not a coward... All right, chat, name that show and name that scene. Petition to abbreviate Fortnite skin to foreskin. <sighs> Andy, don't even, don't even blow this one up. Just put it in the corner, put a little dunce cap on it, and give it, like, the fatherly disappointed look of shame. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be done. Doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be done. It doesn't have to be- I refuse to cut pizza again with anything other than a hand-forged Viking pizza axe. I know what I want for Christmas. Cyberpunk isn't just about cool robot powers. It is a horror story about the nightmare direction our world is heading in. First ever recorded instance of a gamer developing enough media literacy to recognize basic themes! It's happened! The urge to write is like a cat meowing for dear life for someone to open the goddamn door, who then shows utter disinterest in said open door. I've literally done that with my art. Be like, oh my god, I have an amazing idea! Open up iPad. Never mind! Imagine, if you will, three rabbits. Ani, boss. 
Hey, wait a minute. I love it when people are like, you can't change the English language. When the English language is known for changing like every five minutes since the day it was invented. <laughs> You're pretty. Yes, but am I hauntingly beautiful? If Dracula saw me in the streets of Romania, would he be so mesmerized by my beauty that he would start writing a bunch of poems about how much he craves my body and my blood? My uncle is autistic, so he has sensory sensitivities, and he's largely nonverbal, so he can't tell you what those sensitivities are. So what he does is if you give him a shirt that is a bad texture, he goes and gets his scissors and he cuts it into tiny little pieces so no one can ever ask him to wear it ever again. And the thing is, is that he is so totally right. The Mr. Beast extension isn't always great at identifying what a video thumbnail is. This is horrifying. This was over my town this morning, and I think it's here to finally kill me. Ah, I now have two fears. My boyfriend texts me about basketball like a medieval scribe would speak of a revolution. Kings are getting destroyed by the warriors. I'm miserable. I am crying over this picture. <laughs> Mythbusters. <laughs> it's Mythbusters, guys. Probably bad RPG ideas. Curse that demotes your pronouns to amateur nouns. How fucking dare you? Imagine being an animal without a tail. I'd be livid. Wait. The creator of Terraria says the worst part of making one of the biggest indie games ever is that their wife likes Stardew Valley more. <laughs> oh, that's cold-blooded. People forget that having an OC doesn't just equate to silly drawings and lore posts. If you are a published author, you just monetize your OCs. Congratulations. You fucking pimp. You should make sure to get this thing polished at least twice a year. Diamonds need to be polished once or twice in a year. Oh. Oh, come the fuck on! <clears throat> it is indeed another mega binge compilation of the 17th variety. Enjoy. Italy Barts 2024. Wee! I don't know how you pick a specific voice for characters. Whenever I'm thinking about my own characters talking, I imagine a very general voice for each of them in the ballpark. And I think they'd be it. But whenever I try to think about specifics, everything sounds off. I say I like tragedies and everyone's all like, why do you like sad stories? Are you depressed? And never, how's the catharsis? Was the catharsis fun? Blanket normally. Really good. Blanket 10 minutes before you need to get up for work. Skin contact with God. Love to cause situations. Hate to be near them, really. Undiagnosable. <clears throat> Butterflies when they flap their wings. Oh no. I have Ashton Kutcher butterfly effectism. Your Honor, I so humbly request that you allow me to be cringe about this one thing, and then I will never, ever be cringe again for real this time. I, t I promise. Lying through my fucking teeth. Man eating breakfast, mortified, he was caught putting ketchup on his eggs by a cartoon chicken standing over his shoulder asking, You would sully the yolk? With a raised eyebrow and tensing muscles. So I'm putting ketchup on eggs, I find it pretty delicious, what do you do? Why are you guys breaking into my house? Stop it. I love ending emails with, thank you in advance. Like, what are you gonna do now? Not do the thing I already thanked you for? Bring dishonor on yourself like that? Oh no, I don't think so. Checkmate, you have been played by the master of manipulation. And thank you in advance. Nobody understands the bond between a girl and the mediocre book she read when she was 13 years old. This is very, very important, by the way. Do not reread the book. It might still be on your shelf. It's tempting you. Do not give in. It's the devil talking, and you will be let down. Exceptions apply. Is it pronounced gif, jif, or gif? This might be shock, but it is pronounced Jife. Give forth my incorruptible elven warriors into the lair of the nefarious succubus. My lord, the peasants have reported strange sounds from the succubus's lair. Sounds of giggling. Oh, impossible. But even so, my chaste warriors have yet to return. Son of Kadri of the holiest elven nuns, post haste. Oh, no. Friedrich Nietzsche has released a new ebook. I... 
I simply don't think that's true, ebooks.com, but thank you anyway. <laughs> God may be dead, but I'm not. Freddy Neats in his new book, Dare Skill Issues. <laughs> Adulthood is making your mom cookies to take to work and jokingly tell her, you may have one after, after dinner. dinner. More importantly, you're getting paid to make your cookies. That's kind of evil market that you have. A train is like a girl. If you're not careful, she could bite your head clean off. You say that like it's a bad thing. It isn't a bad thing. Just a warning. The idea that only women can give birth is a misconception. Men can give birth too, and that's a Mr. Conception. <laughs> Mr. Conception. Did you know? Touch your monitor. It is warm. Like flesh. But it is not flesh. Not no, yet. No, 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 no. The captain was just a plot device. A very crunchy one. Reminiscing on poor Captain Barnabas, who was eaten by a Hydra. I understand some of you are 19, but that is not an old man. He's 32! I take this personally! Me completely by myself in my room. Alright, everybody, just calm down! Freaking love Discord, because you'll say something like, My sister had her baby this morning, and the reactions on it will be... This. God, they would have thrived in ancient Egyptian times. I'm not actually mad. I just like the comedic delivery of righteous but pointless anger. You fucking- There should be a special place in hell for those who renovate Victorian houses to have modern interior. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? I hope the ghosts kill you for real! Touching his extremely defined six-pack. Who did this to you? And culture is dissociating so hard you forget where you are. No, seriously, where am I? My boyfriend's back at it with the great pictures of barbs. You either die the early bird, or live long enough to become the worm. <laughs> this area is under constant video surveillance. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck, it sure is. Um, bro, why you playing in the JP Voices? You voiced in the game before! Umara is El Haytham, next question. What's so special about El Haytham's JP voice? Let me go check. Oh. Oh my, oh gee, oh heavens, oh. Mm, yes, oh wow! For those of you who need the experience, let me just, uh. <laughs> I love it when people use shrimp to mean beyond the human range, like shrimp colors but apply to other things, shrimp emotions, shrimp sounds, shrimp morality, as if shrimp are living some kind of transcendent experience that humans can never comprehend. They might, and we'll never know, because we can't comprehend it. Ugh, my brain is full of lore, but my writing hands are full of lead. This post is a big yeet. Weighted blanket isn't enough. I need to get put into a panini press and cooked until lightly toasted and golden brown. Waffle type behavior, to be honest. Being self-taught in any type of practice will eventually lead to you having to seek out formal learning resources to bridge what you think is a trivial knowledge gap and realizing that you've been operating similarly to that French guy who went about his daily life unknowingly missing 90% of his brain. It's a bit of an eye opener, not gonna lie. Uh, hmm. Well, how am I supposed to leave the house now? You aren't. You have a depression nap for too long and wake up feeling like a giant salamander. You know, like this. Hey, how did you get this picture of me? What a year this week has been. It's Monday. It sure as hell is. No, the earlier in the day, Monday, you reblog, the funnier this gets. The funniest is if you reblog this on a Monday that is also January the 1st. I relate to vampires because I, too, must be clearly and specifically invited in before I have the audacity to try to participate in anything. I'm socially awkward, leave me be. Baby girl, I will invent stages of grief you have never even seen before. Like the stage of grief where you eat nothing but soup. I'm going to be real with you, Harlequins. A new year does not equate for a better time. Our collective actions do. So stick to betterment. Personal betterment so that we can have a better year. Thank you, Sullivan. Spamton. Genuinely thought this was a search bar. Just, just, just put me down already. The bisexual to Era Ace Pipeline is pretty much having the right idea and coming to the wrong conclusion. Yeah, buddy, you're not straight and you're also not gay. No, 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 not like that, though. The other way around. 
I feel the same way about everyone. Yeah, you do. Because you don't. Do you get it? Yeah, I got taken to an axe throwing tonight. I may not have impressed anyone with my technical axe throwing skills, but my sheer brute animal strength is unparalleled. I was there. The sheer force was astounding. How did you do it twice? Getting a 20 inch strength and two in dexterity. Am I right or am I right, Andy? Up top. <coughs> Improve your military base's connectivity with Verizon. <laughs> what do you think I am exactly? No thoughts. Only baby. Where? Oh my god! Well, what's her wisdom? Ba 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 Such beautiful words. If you see this post on the day you were born, happy birthday! Congrats! Today was, Today the, was the day you escaped. That sounds stuck. Does it have any of those damn horses in it? Something tell me his deactivation was justified. I'm not a capitalist, but having a job and money is great because I no longer loathe everyone and everything in the world around me. <laughs> oh, I know a psyop when I see one. Andy, get his ass! I hate doing these posts, but if this gets 10,000 notes by February 12th, which won't happen, I will ask for therapy and please do not feel forced to add notes. <laughs> this is the blessing bat, and you don't have to do anything for it to work. Once you see it, you are blessed. Forever. Joy, blessing bat be upon ye. I love him. Look at his little face. Fumbler. Tumbler. Except everyone's just making jokes that never land. They're good jokes. Great ones, even. They just fumbled to delivery. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. If you change your gender on the exact frame someone misgenders you, You'll perform a perfect parry, and they will become transgender. Can you imagine pulling the no you card on that? Imagine if people still took last names from their trade, like Fisher, Smith, and Fletcher. Imagine some guy introducing himself to you as Jonathan Podcaster. It is I, Patrick Voice Actor Man. There's no difference between exercise and black magic. Both of them hurt your body at first and drain you of energy, but the more you dabble into it, the more powerful you become. That's the most inspiring thing I ever read. The worst animal? Ugh, disrespectful. It just kind of sucks. And what are you bringing to the table? I would like to see a little lizard. Here you go. He has a little helmet. <gasps> The perfect being does exist. Once in my science class, the teacher said to go to the C-section, and in a moment of sheer stupidity and muscle reflex, I said, that's how I was born. And now I have to live with the fact that I will never top that ever again. You know, shouldn't have put the new year in the middle of winter, because then everyone expects you to get your shit together in January. Uh, of, all, of, all, of all times. What's your New Year's resolution? Oh, gee, I don't know, uh, fucking survive? Why don't you ask me again when I'm not vitamin D deficient? I think, oh, my childhood doesn't even impact me that much. And then I'm afraid to sit in the living room. The living room! The interaction I just had on TikTok is the best I've ever had. The Victoria and Albert Museum, look at that stolen shit. In a way, Britain is like a fantasy thieves guild became a nation. Yes. Yes, we fucking are. I'm taking three levels of rogue now, mandated by law. Come on. Give it up. It takes so long and it's so tiring. But if I don't make art for the rest of my life, I'll die. I also have a sneaking suspicion that if you continue to do art without taking breaks, that might kill you too. Because chances are you're probably passing that down to your great-grandkids as inheritance. Do you think autistic people dislike eye contact because of ancestral memories from Medusa times? N no. N no, I don't. Well, I do. Being called ugly your whole life and then having people attracted to you 
It's some weird ass feeling. I, I don't know what to do with it. I'm a fly in the sky. Yahoo! I'm gonna see your house from here. I'm gonna move into your house. You're gonna pay right now. I'm at the rent now. Put me in your pocket. Buy the gacha games. Do it. Do God, it. I have no idea how to start these videos anymore. Um. Sorry, Channy fans, who see me yawn during their show. It's not you. It's just past 10 p.m. I hope you understand. I was today years old when I learned about Xin Yu Chai. I hope I got that one right because I've actually been trying to study Chinese. A convenience store hanging on a cliff in Hunan that's been nicknamed the most inconvenient convenience store in China. God, I bet the food there is great. <laughs> I think it's a really funny garden of Bam Bam characters don't have eyelids when they're passed out or asleep. It just, it just looks like this. God, so dissociating so hard right now. Wish I could filter every video on YouTube with the word iceberg in the title. Quietly and bashfully delete that essay on lettuces I've been working on. No. What have I done? It's been a creative lull this week. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna need a ukulele apology for this one, Bucky. All right, starting this now. Day one of telling you to go to bed. Day 660 of telling you to go to bed and you still won't? The year is 2024. You walk into your local coffee shop. A latte costs $12. You have the choice of tipping 75%, 95%, or 125%. You sheepishly tap 75% and feel bad about yourself. The barista shakes his head in disgust. Get out, you worm! You know, the Will Poulter glow-up needs to be studied. Dude transformed into a Hemsworth brother. How to... How do you do that? To everyone with sensory issues. You are not a baby for melting down because of under- or overstimulation. You are not being immature or just throwing a tantrum when you have meltdowns. The discomfort and pain and fear you feel due to your sensory issues is real and valid and shouldn't be dismissed as silly or unimportant by people who don't understand it. A girl of about six or seven was babbling nonsense words at her mom, and I thought to myself, she should be able to form real words and sentences by this age. But then the mom responded in kind, and I realized, oh, wait, they're, they're speaking they're French. French. Official anti-France post. The bravery of a girl who has to decide what is for dinner and then cook it and then wash dishes every day forever and ever. Now it's called being an adult. Now it's called being the bravest girl on planet Earth! What people who say, Don't say 30 year olds are old, 30 is still young, don't understand is I know that. I'm not calling my 25 year old co-worker old because I believe it. I'm calling him old because I enjoy psychological warfare. You're a monster. Andy. Hit him with the hardest punishment of all. Take away the chocolate milk. I sentence you to thinking about dragons for ten billion years! Yeah, I did this to that one band. Young adult titles must contain one of the following words or you have to pay a fine. Blood, Crow, Queen, Ice Crown, Fire, Bone, True, Academy, Magic, Glass, Shade, Kingdom, World, Shadow Song, Sun, Ember, Secret Legend, Star, Raven, Thief. Yeah, I think I read that book once. How I do world building. List of questions neatly answered in a Word document? Nah. Muddled but comprehensive notes in various notebooks? Mm-mm. Someone asked me questions that I have to pretend I already thought about the answer? <laughs> hey, how's the writing going? I'm glad you asked. My room has never been cleaner and I decided to take up baking. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you blocked me. Just because I read everything you said in bad faith with open hostility. The nerve. Hmm, I disagree with you, but I could not possibly wade through the cranberry bog of my mind to verbalize why. Hmm, it appears your stupid big paws prevented you from tapping a coherent argument. Him, Seymour, if I do a little dance and recite the ancient chants to summon you. Can you assure me that you won't trick me and steal my soul in exchange for being in one of your Tumblr videos? I also have coffee for you if you're interested. Hmm. Make him do a little dance, Andy. I want to see if they pass the vibe check. Hmm. The dance is good, but it doesn't quite tell me the entire character backstory in the dance. I'm sorry, it fails the vibe check. Andy, take this all. <laughs> I'm just trying to start the video, but freaking audio interface wasn't even on, so I gotta go back and do a bunch of these things. We 
going over to my minimalist girlfriend's house and she apologizes profusely for the mess and there's just a single perfect fresh pea on the floor of her living room. And for those who are listening and not looking at the video, the, the, the vegetable pea, not, not, not the at- Why do I like girls with muscles? No, it's not so they can crush me. I'm not that primitive. No. I like them because they went through trial and challenge to get strength and figure. And they worked hard for it. Also, muscular women make my brain go... Former Yahoo CEO Marissa Mayer reveals she regrets buying Tumblr instead of Netflix or Hulu. Yahoo bought Tumblr in 2013 for $1.1 billion. But by the time it was sold in 2019, the value of the platform was reportedly down to $3 million. And why did the value plummet, Marissa? Why, why, why did it plummet? Boom! Hmm? All right, I give up. Which Greek hero's Polycules, and why do you guys keep talking about him? Uh-oh. This pronunciation of polycules is going to be stuck in my head for a while. Yesterday, I got the, are you a boy or are you a girl question from a six-year-old, and I told her that some people aren't boys or girls, like me. I was expecting her to be a little confused, but she nodded thoughtfully and said, wow. Just like snails. Yeah. I wonder who God saw eating that he decided gluttony was a sin. Gluttony in the original historical context is about hoarding wealth and resources, not about someone eating too much dinner one night. Realizing the bad guy in Seven actually didn't do his research. Disappointing. This month I'm doing something called J January, where I try to make it through every day January. Failing. To challenge, you must put in efforts. A promise does not do the work for you. Guys, I think this is my new god. Going forward, I will consume only problematic media. And well, <laughs> that's just to say, uncritically too. Oh my god, so brave. Thinking, <laughs> what if I jokingly ship them? Is your last chance to get out, by the way? Honestly, no. If you think that, it's already too late. It's the fandom's equivalent of the game. You already lost, buddy. Take it from me. He's got that previously neglected shelter dog, Riz. He looks like he wants to quietly sit next to you on the couch while you watch TV. He looks like he lets out a pathetic, sad little sigh sometimes for no reason. Oh my god, I love him. The news is always like, America has banned wheelchair ramps because they weren't in the Bible. Finland has made ice cream free. Why does Finland always get the nice things? For all the people that think they're bad at responding to emails, I emailed the professor 12 years ago asking about source recommendations for a paper I was writing for a class during my undergrad. He replied to my email, TODAY! TODAY! Behold, train car that was leaking corn. What a fantastic fucking day to be a squirrel. Or a deer. I bet the deer were thrilled, can you imagine? What kind of fey human bullshit's going on now? You can eat from the corn river, but the metal dragon that hunts between the banks may get ya! One time I dreamt I was in the Disney store at the mall. A Kids Bop-esque cover version of Bodies was playing, sung by Adina Menzel as Elsa. You know, she would totally rock that though, let's be honest. Imagining a world where Ass Jeeves went out as the most popular search engine so people having arguments online saying stuff like, Literally just ask Jeeves about this, it's not hard! Fuck it, I want to go back. Oh, I need this. I need this in my life. Why did we get Google? I'm not going to buy your art if you're going to reblog creams. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the funniest ass I've ever gotten. I, I don't even know how to respond. You're on the cringe website. Do you also get mad when you open a book and words are inside? <laughs> Do you also get mad when you open a book and words are inside go so hard it does not deserve to be a reply on Tumblr to an Anon hater? It should be in a museum. The narrative starts the third act by repeating a scene from the first act, but now it has a totally different context. Me. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. I will say. I am mildly disappointed that in the murder mystery setting of Fontaine and Genshin, we didn't get a Hercule Poirot character. Pam, can you elaborate? Ah, fresh face, I see. Hercule is one of the most iconic European detectives in murder mystery novel series. And since Fontaine is a melting pot of European countries with an entire murder mystery plot, 
You know, he would have been perfect to sneak in as a reference. For visual references, if you've seen these guys in movie trailers, that, that, that's the character that's him right there. Look at that mustache. What do you mean, PM? Hercule is right here. My God. Oh, speaking of cold openings, water drinkers, cold or room temperature. Yeah, no one who actually drinks water prefers cold. Like, it, it hurts your teeth. Why would you do that? Cool things about being an adult. Eat chips whenever you want. No bedtime. Tired all the time. Sad all the time. Wait a second. Transgender as in transported gender. I broke into your house, and now I'm hightailing it with my Volvo with your gender in the back. Toodle, sucker! I'm in the silent waiting room for therapy, trying to not laugh. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, yeah, the children talking about nihilism again. Okay, let me enlighten you, Clyde Pauls. Life's value comes from those who live it. Living life gives it value. Thinking about the end does not teach you to love the journey. Knowing it will one day end makes it sweeter to love and hate and care. Feel it all. Think, eat, sleep, but don't give up. Never give up. Thank you, Stella Van. You know, that 2K you worked hard for is better than 100K that's given to you for free. Don't ever give anyone advice again. In fact, Andy, j just give him the look of shame. How dare you? It's not a one-sided conversation. The animal is literally blinking at me and understanding. He knows me better than you. When a nurse checks your blood pressure, they should just immediately clarify whether it's good or bad. Hmm, 130 over 90. Okay, cool. Are we just saying numbers? Like... Is it good? Is it bad? By the way, it's bad. Whenever I see beautiful women on the dashboard, I scroll as fast as I can because I know one time it's going to be this sneaky witch trying to get me. What about beautiful men? Well, I can stare at them all day, my friend. Bad news, everyone. Sneaky warlock. Warm baked goods are insane. Something so beautiful and almost maddening about absolutely tearing into them when they're fresh. Feeling warm all over after. I really do get vampires for real. You clearly don't own an air fryer. You know, slow day in the robot girl community, huh? In power saving mode. On standby. The Lego my mouse and push my keys, I'm aping, do not awaken! Speaking of which, Andy, put up your favorite robot girl. That, that's a good one. Good job. Hey, why is it called creepypasta and not... <sighs> Finichini, you Fredo! No! So good! Why is it not? Surely the cancers won't quince. She cons on my quince till I wrap her the cushions. Peer reviewed. God damn. The beauty of Tumblr's retro chronological dash is that when you come back online, if the first post you see is, okay, I'm normal now, you know, you're about to witness the most spectacular meltdown a mutual has ever had in recent memory. Followed by the impetus that triggers the entire events. Love it. Baby girl, if having LGBTQIA plus characters in my creations is woke, then baby girl, I am an insomniac. Ow, my eyeballs. If I ever got married, I would use the reception as an opportunity to just play every song I've ever liked. No theme, no vibe, just me being like, oh my god, I love this one, for two hours. Guarantee you're gonna hear a lot of Final Fantasy music. Listen, mean it's just it's just so funny. How do you even get your hair to be like that? Secret white moon cocoon form. It's to hide from the Wonder Bread guy. <laughs> Don't you utter those words in this house! Y'all ever see a piece of fan content about your favorite character that is so horrifically different from what you personally believe, and you just <laughs> why? Oh, sure, everyone loves witches until we start doing witch shit. Now I'm weird and you're scared. Why well, you turn me into a new? I got better. Ah, me and my silly little bed, avoiding my silly little tasks. Wait, no, no, don't pull me out of the bed. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just some neatly arranged Cheez-Its. Not just any Cheez-Its. Toasty Cheez-Its. <laughs> Yummy. AKA the best kind of Cheez-It. 
How'd you get into writing? Girl, nobody gets into writing. Writing just shows up one day at your door and gets into you. Critics reviewing the Mario movie. It's just a bunch of goofing off with no real story. Mario fans. Yes, that's what we want. Critics reviewing the FNAF movie. It's just a two-hour lore dump. FNAF fans. Yes, that's what we want! Video game hunger meter where once it runs out, instead of affecting your health, your dialogue options just now become increasingly incoherent or incredibly bitchy. Yes, I like this. This is good. Andy, write that down. Donuts are gay bagels. Have a nice day. Bye. Oh, no, no, no. You get back over here. Come here. Look me in the eye and tell me that them donuts are only gay. That is pansexual Joseph and you know it. Perceive with your ocular spheres. Helmets designed to fight depression. Man, the technician looks like she needs a turn. We all need a turn. My friend went to a nerd factory and they gave him a bag of rejects and said, Enjoy your bag of diabetes. I want a bag of reject nerds. Oh, wait! I'm on Tumblr. They're everywhere. I would be mad if that was not the funniest fucking thing I heard all day. Imagine a hand with a palm on both sides. The fingers can bend either way. Thanks! I hate it. You find me standing over an enormous puddle of black liquid spreading across the floor. And when you ask me what happened, all I can stammer out is that I got all the drawings out of me, but they came out in a single shotgun blast. Upon closer inspection, the puddle is in fact 537 drawings of different characters. <laughs> all from the shoulders up and facing to the left. <laughs> Sorry, David. That's the funniest fucking thing ever. <laughs> Mrs. Word, Mrs. Excel, and Mrs. PowerPoint are all snooty, disagreeable ladies who won't speak to me due to my meager dowry. But then I meet their beautiful sister, Miss Paint, who's clumsy but charming, and we fall in beautiful love, and I become Mr. Paint. They're called Draculas because they, they, they drank you. You know what? Gold star for effort. Writing prompt. Whenever someone creates a new spell, they inevitably become an archmage and are offered a seat on the council. You were an average teenager who was the first to figure out how to summon Dino Nuggies. Oh my god, I want this book. Pocky Cho! Why are you like this, father? Because my father was also like this. Son, whatever you do, I don't care if you're successful. I don't care if you have a big family or go to college. Just... Be better. That's... God, Pucky, that's deep. Holy shit. Today, some guy very confidently ordered a busted nut parfait on drive through without hesitation. And I had to ask if he meant a peanut buster parfait without crying. <laughs> Today, someone asked me for a peanut buster parfait with a white syrup. <laughs> <laughs> from the ice cream machine in here. <laughs> God, why are these all so good today? <laughs> this is about every night. It's just... <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, 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 come here, come here, come here. Sit down, sit down. Right across from the table here. Sit down. Okay. Rasputin didn't become a fucked up sex wizard until he was like 30. Your life doesn't end at 25. No, 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 no. If you're in your mid-20s and you are reading this... You still have plenty of time to inadvertently topple a dynasty by just being really fucking weird and horny. Just don't worry. Don't worry. Now, now get out. Get out of my house. There are also reports of hybridization between cougar and bobcats in the wild, with the offspring colloquially known as... Booger. Booger. Hey, where were you taking testosterone? Because of the gender. Which one? God, who even knows anymore? Why do Marvel movies need three hours to accomplish what the Powerpuff Girls did in 11 minutes? Well, it's very simple, actually. All Marvel heroes only have a fraction of the Powerpuff Girls' power. Listen, any room can be a panic room if you just give me a fucking second! You have X many followers. Those are cadavers, girl. Corpses. Abandoned vessels of blogs who once were. It's the apocalypse in here. It's me and my five mutuals against the world. And maybe, like, ten body counts that are telling me about hot single females in my area. Wizard spell of fuck this, I'm going back to bed! Ah, we came full circle with the video. Back to my silly little bed. Well, how y'all doing? <sighs> Ugh, off to a good start! I've reached an epiphany. 
being one of the only normal human characters in a piece of Sonic media is equivalent to being one of the only human characters in a Muppet movie. Aside from Eggman, of course. That guy's a beast or some sort of creature to me. Oh, uh, it's very simple. He is an egg and also a man. Me, when feeling suspiciously relaxed. <sighs> okay. What responsibility have I forgotten? So has anyone else noticed that QRAM looks exactly like Europe? Game Freak, what did you mean by this? The way being employee keeps you from video games and other various activities is so sick! Genuinely demonic! I'll just do it when you come home! I am dead. I'll just do it on your days off! I'm bearing with getting reanimated after being dead throughout the week. You don't understand! What's that feeling you feel when you're sad? Sad? Yeah, that's the one. Changing UI elements dynamically so that the users click on the wrong button should be considered malware, especially when a single click can cost you money! I'm looking at you, EA! Why do they sell garlic and fishnets? Like, why is it so sensual? Have you tasted garlic? Today's children are gonna become teens and clown the shit out of us for EP and Blorbo, but they'll say it in Coco Melanese, so we won't understand them. Today's E.P. Blorbo is yesterday's heckin' doggo is last week's Mexi Bishy. I hate that you're right, and I understood all that. I've been on the internet for way too long, I understood it too. I think I found the greatest YouTube comment ever written. When I was younger, I thought John Benet Ramsey was Gordon Ramsey's daughter, and the reason he was so angry all the time was because his daughter was dead. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. The horrors prefer to be out in the wintertime because people are out less. Ah, so that's why winter's so scary. Dreamt that people were playing D&D hard mode, which was just playing D&D by a pool, and if you rolled a nat one, the DM pushed you into the water. <laughs> now, yeah, it would just be a really silly idea, Andy. No, I'm not going near the pool. I've had enough! I'm about to just put all my crystals in a sock and start swinging! Are we all... A titty. <laughs> well. To the goth guy in my college dining hall who has always ate waffles, I'm sorry I only knew you as Waffle Goth. You are surely more complex. God, I hope they find that post. <laughs> Beautiful women named Storage Space Running Out are always messaging me. <laughs> you know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a totally normal sandwich? <laughs> what? No, 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 no. It's just a normal sandwich. It totally doesn't have a neutron star in it. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Oh my god, he's eating it. Look. Never dating an academic again, because I'm just sitting here shaking and crying while citing my ex's research. <sighs> he collected some meaningful and relevant data. The fact that Elvis was drafted into the military at the height of his stardom is so crazy to me. Like, imagine you're in the middle of a war and you hear someone shout, COVER ME! And it's Beyonce. Someone's going through this right now with one of the dudes from BTS. They're just going through training and they turn around and be like, HOLY SHIT, IS THAT Jimin?" Imagine you're frolicking in a field, prancing through long grass, singing fa la 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 occasionally picking up a flower, you know, etc, etc. But a guy in the same field is watching you, about 20 paces away. He lowers his opera glasses, which he was using to watch you, and starts clutching his head and screaming with blind rage because of how much you're pissing him off. That's what it's like to be on the internet. And if you have those opera glasses in your hand right now, put them down. For the sake of your health, put them down. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, my leech. It was just a... a just, 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 just a jest. Oh. Oh, you done fucked up now. Andy, take the fuck em up a nader and get the race. Attention everyone, important announcement. Fluff wrote it. <laughs> He's so jumpy hot baby, look at it. Guess who got some apple flavor shampoo? Wait, no, I meant scented. Don't worry, it tastes like apples too. I just threw up. I'm going to be violently ill because I can't be a knight who does quests for a living. It isn't fair! Don Quixote type post. Well, all right. Just kick me while I'm down. Not ignoring you, not replying to you, but a secret third thing. Forgot. Does a single Vivzy Pop character leave the one slur be a my bracket or are they all built like garden shed tools? None of these words are in the Bible. 
They should replace Tumblr Live with Tumblr University. I want to see all the weirdo scientists and professors on there handing out homework every day. And if you don't keep your grades above a C, you can't make original posts. Reading comprehension class is mandatory. <laughs> so, how are you going to call them love handles and then try to convince people that's a bad thing? Insane to me. Do you not love love? Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm a little emotional. Andy, Andy, just give me a second. You look like Zeke. I'm okay. A Labrador. Labrador doing. What a Labrador. Labrador. Ah! Virgin Airlines. <laughs> Not after I'm done with them. Wait, wrong blog. Being sensitive is embarrassing. Oh, your tone was different than usual? Well, I'm gonna go jump in front of a trolley now. Bye! So awesome how there's an animal called a gooey duck, but it's spelled geoduck for some reason. And it's a humongous clam for some reason. Like, like, bruh. I pulled a muscle in my back. The doctor said the cure is to crack myself like a glow stick. Still in pain, but now I'm glowing a bright pink. This is acceptable. Yeah, I'm a pity on eating 50 pounds of raw cheese. Good luck ever using the bathroom again. I would have a lot more faith in ghost experts if I saw them go, actually, no, this house isn't haunted. Even once! Just once! Give me that episode, Ghost Hunters, I know you got it. I love that mayhem is a legal term. Like, you can be charged with mayhem. It's like arresting someone for funny business. The jury finds the defendant guilty on all accounts of tomfoolery, japing, and generally taking the piss. Causing a ruckus, your honor. My client pleads not guilty on three charges of being back on his bullshit. You just know when someone in customer service says, thank you for your patience, they're fighting for their lives that day. The correct response is, no worries at all, please take your time. Give that bitch room to breathe, they need it! 69 is now known as 96. Thanks to inflation, the cost <laughs> The cost of eating out has gone way up. God damn it, Lieutenant Angus, first name Colonel, struck again. Oh, oh, I'm finally out of the rabbit holes. Oh, Andy, what year is it? Package show! Watch your stance on the issues. Now imagine I said the most complex, awesome answer, and then please like the post for me. It clearly worked. Look at them notes. I like when you delete a Tumblr post and it says, this post went to heaven. Like, <laughs> that's, not, that's not where my post went. <laughs> it's down in the other place right now, singing with Keith David. Oh, uh, nothing like going to take a quick nap at 4 p.m. and waking up at 8. Dream jobs. Forest witch. Rich vampire's wife, haunted bookstore owner, just all three, please. Woke up this morning, rolled over, and very confidently tried to blow out my alarm clock like a candle. Absolutely no precedent for that. <laughs> oh no. Oh my God, you guys. So it turns out, you guys are not gonna believe this, but it turns out reading real books is good for you actually. Now let me, let me be completely clear. I am not being a sarcastic ass. I mean, me reading this right now, I probably am. I'm just realizing all over again, in real time, for myself, that reading a real life published book makes your neurons feel like they're getting a spa day. Like I can feel my brain getting juicier and wrinklier with every page I turn. This shit is no joke. This is like hard drugs if hard drugs were good for you. It made your brain feel revived and alive. Fuck, I want to do these drugs. One time I dreamt there was just a dark room with a spotlight on four people casually painting easels in a circle talking about Subway. Now hold it. I'm pretty sure you just dreamed what an artist stream is like. Andy, back me up here. I feel like we've had these conversations on Amy's streams. Plant-based rice as opposed to... <laughs> huh? As opposed to plant cringe rice. Oh! Why pencils need nerfs? Backline support diversity? Okay, this video talks about a Splatoon weapon whose appearance resembles a pencil, but taken out of context, it looks as if it's calling an actual pencil overpowered, and I find that hilarious. Shit should not be stronger than the sword. I am not a shoplifter, but I believe in their beliefs. 
we appreciate your support. I mean, they, 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 uh, they. Yeah. Perceive with your eyeballs a crested eagle tangled up with a snake in battle. Wow, the Aztecs were right. This is absolutely an omen worth building a city for. Baldur's Gate 3 DLCs I would pay for. Number one. Avernus quest with Will and Carlac where we fix Carlac's heart for good and absolutely obliterate Mizora. And that's it. Do you have any characters that were your first gay awakening? Yeah, I sure do. Don't be shy, Ryan. Say it. Oh my god, is that Sonic the One Snaps Cube? Watching a Tumblr post I've seen on actual Tumblr appear in a YouTube compilation or some other app always feels like how I imagine wildlife photographers must feel when they see an animal in the zoo they photographed in the woods. Can y'all stop reblogging this? I can see what's his head and I don't want to be in a zoo. Post that half 10k to me. Don't you do this to me. The zoo won't have enough enrichment for me. Oh good, notes are coming down. I've yet to appear anywhere, to my knowledge. The wildlife containment people have missed me. <laughs> I'm free! No one escapes the zoo. Face your destiny. I refuse! I will not be gawked at by YouTube tourists! I shall remain here in my natural habitat with plenty of enrichments! Bam Seymour. Well, well, well. <sighs> you guys have heard of dead and in it theory, right? The idea that most of the internet nowadays is bot curated and bot generated and just bots communicating with each other. So even after humanity is long gone, bots are still sharing pictures with each other. A little crazy, right? A little tinfoily? A little out of your mind? Check this out. Famous pop singers, many pop singers have become international stars such as Michael Jackson, Madonna, Britney Spears, and Beyonce, contributing to the creativity and popularity of the genre. Pop singers, the kings and queens of catchy tunes. These pop singers sure know how to make our hearts sizzle. Pop singers went from making pop music to making pop history. These pop singers really hit the high notes of success. Pop singers making the world dance one catchy chorus at a time. These pop legends have conquered the world one hit at a time. Pop singers, the ones who make us dance through the decades. Pop singers are like shining stars lighting up our playlists. Wow, these pop singers are truly music royalty. Wow, these pop singers really know how to hit those high notes. These pop stars hit high notes of stardom. Pop singers be like, I'm famous, I'm fabulous, just dance. I'm not done with this one yet. Wow, these pop singers sure know how to make waves. Wow, these pop singers hit high notes of success. Pop singers are like fireworks. They light up the music sky. Pop singers, from MJ to Beyonce, they rock our world. Pop singers make the world groove and scream for more. Pop singers making millions dance and sing. They're true sonic superheroes. Pop singers making the world dance and sing and feel fabulous. Pop singers rule the world. Even aliens jammed to Britney. The pop singer party is definitely on fire, baby. Wow, these pop singers hit the right note for Faye. <laughs> oh. My guy, the phrase pop singer has been ruined for me thanks to this entire ass thread. And it's not even the only one I found. Check this shit out. Health and beauty. Coconut-based products like coconut oil and coconut milk are used in skincare and hair care due to their moisturizing and conditioning properties. Coconut, the secret weapon for flawless skin and luscious hair. Coconuts, the secret to glowing skin and luscious locks. Coconuts, nature's beauty secrets. Who needs a beauty guru when you have coconuts? Coconut power. Coconuts got the magic touch, turning us into smooth babies. Coconuts, the secret to flawless skin and luscious locks. Coconut, the secret ingredient for fabulous hair and glowing skin. Coconut products, the secret to being a beach babe. Coconuts do wonder for your skin and hair. Just go nuts! Coconut-based products are truly a game changer for my beauty routine. Love using coconut-based beauty products that keep my skin and hair hydrated and nourished. Coconut's nature's wonder makes it essential for a great year for pretty enthusiasts. Ascorbic acid is another name for vitamin C, a water-soluble vitamin that is essential for various bodily functions. It's a powerful antioxidant that helps protect cells from damage caused by free radicals, supports the immune system, and aids in collagen production. 
I always make sure to include enough ascorbic acid in my diet for a healthy immune system and glowing skin. A human did not say this. No human says ascorbic acid like it's a normal term. No scurvy for me. And promotes wound healing. Incorporate foods rich in ascorbic acid is crucial for maintaining optimal health. Aren't you glad ascorbic acids help with wound healing? <laughs> if you thought that was a human, you thought wrong. Comment, ascorbic acid is vital for maintaining a strong immune system and healthy skin. Vitamin C, skin superhero. This post is unavailable. Vitamin C, skin superhero. This post is unavailable. Aren't you glad for ascorbic acid? This post is unavailable. Who knew vitamin C rocked? This post is unavailable. Aren't you glad it's good for you? This post is unavailable. Get your daily C boost! Well, PM, it's just that probably that one account. There's no way it could possibly happen a, th a second time with a different account, right? <laughs> Henry's toucans, tough to tame yet surprisingly playful. This happy toucan loves being petted. Pure joy. Wait, where's the toucan? Where is it? I don't see it. Henry's toucans, challenging to tame but playful. Zip. Toucans, tough to tame, surprisingly playful, happy when petted, pure joy. Hand raised toucans, tough to tame, yet surprisingly playful. This toucan loves being petted, pure joy. Taming hand raised toucans, tough but surprisingly playful. <laughs> this one loves being petted, pure joy. <laughs> toucans, tough to tame, <laughs> surprisingly playful. This happy one loves being petted, pure joy. <laughs> two kids are tough for playful, but if it's happy, two kids brings pure joy. Anyways, two kids, tough to take, it's surprisingly playful. This two kids loves being baited. Pure joy. As you can see, I'm slowly losing my mind doing this, but um, I'm not done. How funny. Clap. Enjoy your downvote, kid. Check out this amazing article about the benefits of outdoor exercise. It explains how getting some fresh air can boost your mood and improve your overall well-being. Highly recommend giving it a read. No article. Check out this cool article about how social networks can affect our mental health. It highlights the dangers of excessive screen time and provides some tips for finding a healthy balance. Worth a read. Once again, no article. But my god, they, they might be on to something here. Sir Isaac Newton died a virgin. Yeah, that's what he gets for inventing calculus. You guys aren't ready for the bot replies to this one. You're, you're not. You're not. You're just not. But fuck it, here we go! Wow, this article had me laughing out loud! Hilarious and relatable! Wow, this article really blew my mind! So cool and informative! Who knew llamas could be such good therapy animals? This is awesome! This article is absolutely mind blowing. It's like a roller coaster for my brain, but in a good way. I'm loving all the crazy facts and witty writing style. Keep it going. So I'm not sure if I'm a firm believer on dead or internet theory. But fuck, am I getting there? Okay, let's do it. Ghost sword that can only be grabbed by someone with phantom limb syndrome. You know what? Why shouldn't I just tag probably bad RPG ideas? Um, because it's good? Waiting for my friend in a different time zone to get online, like a woman waiting for her husband to return from war. It's like me sending out the files to Andy, like throwing a bottle into the ocean, like, Come home, weird British husband. Make the video funny for me. Character dynamics that's like, they weren't in a relationship, but they're definitely exes now. Holy crap. I miss the times when I would draw and not nitpick the details. With the speed that I'm currently going at, this ain't gonna be finished soon. Lamao. Back to my abyss I go. Wee. Dudes who order boneless swings close the fridge with their hips. Yeah. And what of it? My hands are full and my ass is fat.
You fucking wish you were me. Remembering a couple of years ago when I reminded my dad that I was queer and he asked me if I had a girlfriend, I said no and he said, so you're just LGBT in theory. I came out when I was 18 and I'm 21. Now my grandma asked if I had a girlfriend and I said no. And this so-called Christian woman said, Oh, I should have stayed in the closet. That's, that's embarrassing. Kind of cringe, NGL. This is one of those moments in the video that people should probably look at the screen because if you're just listening to the audio, those last two posts can be very confusing. Do you ever see a hot take and you're like, Oh, critical thinking is a learned skill. And OP is not put into practice. Well, do you ever see a hot cake and you're like, oh, <laughs> yummy. This lasagna recipe has gotten me an insane amount of ass. OP, where's the link? OP, where's the link? Why do you even want a live action adaptation of Avatar? Well, it, it's good already. The story was told in a good way and you, you can watch it. You don't need it again, but worse. You could literally just take out Avatar and put in anything recently. Honestly, I could do a deep dive rabbit hole investigation on this whole live action adaptation thing and see if it's just a bunch of IP renewals. But uh, you gotta let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Somebody just put a fucking Harry Potter pose on my feed as a recommendation based on your likes. So why not recommend me Smallpox next or Arthritis maybe? Settings, account settings, content you see, filter post content, add Rowling, JKR, Harry Potter, Snape, Remus Lupin, whatever you want. Look, look, you'll never see it again. I'm not doing all that. Tumblr should just ban all things related to that franchise. Oh my god, you're like a mewling helpless baby. You're standing in the rain and I'm offering you a goddamn umbrella and you throw it on the floor and yell at God to abolish rain. Is it entirely possible you weren't asking for help? You just wanted to be a little bitch, baby! Fuck. I can't believe I wasted my entire life being moved by art and beauty and the indomitable human spirit. Ugh. I should have been making money through internet scams. Ah, uh, love. To a plane's heaven kiss. Latios and Latios. You know, I thought that said Latinos and Latinas, and I was just, like, going to accept it. What's wrong with me? Now, I'm no media literacy expert. Look at me, I can't even say words right. But I think the people base their knowledge of world events off headlines problem would probably go down significantly if you could read more than a headline in the first two paragraphs of an article without hitting a paywall. Hmm. Lord, the peasants are loud today. Pheasants, pheasants, the birds. Classicist type. Um, don't you mean classist typo, as in discriminating against poor people and not classicist, the type of academic who studies antiquity in southern Europe? Academia typo. Fucking nerd. Oh my god, Andy, I am so sorry. This is your 400th video you have edited for me. How you feeling? Yeah, that seems like a a reasonably safe expression to have. You... <laughs> Somebody call a doctor. Well, have you considered that maybe the unstoppable force is in love with the immovable object? Maybe the reason one refuses to stop and the other refuses to move is because they both long for the collision. Oh. My least rational fear is what if I end up being a pony in the MLP universe? <laughs> okay. And I get the most revealing cutie mark, like, what if my cutie mark is the bisexual flag, and I have to cover it up with makeup for years and pretend to be a blank flag to not get outed to my conservative Pegasus father, whose... <laughs> God. Whose favorite newspaper is called The Right Wing. Uh... Hmm, sounds like... Ben. When you're unsuccessfully looking for something and start gradually increasing your it could be there range. Like, yeah, sure, maybe the rice cooker pot is in the freezer. Oh no. Limbs be left hard draw, please. Posts without tags? Adding tags to your post helps people find them. Why would I tag my suffering? Can anyone tell me why I enter the grocery store a normal person and emerge as some sort of vile, ravening monster? It's the prices. Overstimulation. Fluorescent lighting. You are all correct. You're a random nobody! Me to a newborn baby. While looking up 1950s slang, I found the phrase, Come on, snake, let's rattle! Which has two meanings. Asking someone to a dance, and challenging someone to a fight, and 
<laughs> oh boy, does that fact have some potential. Aren't you tired of being nice? No, I'm tired of everyone else being mean. I want to go apes. I just want to hug. Hey, have you ever thought about entering into a cat show? With this? Well, <laughs> he'd probably at least get a participation ribbon. The primordial soup hypothesis. Hmm, learning about fun new things in bio. Collect my soups. The Met Office warns the UK will be double fisted by deadly snow and ice. Needless to say, this isn't a term we would use to describe the weather. <sighs> if this post gets 3k notes by March 15th, like two months, I'll dye my hair a new color, get new clothes, stay clean from SH for two weeks, get a new piercing, and actually make an OC. I know I ain't getting 3k notes, so good luck, Lamau. Well, time to Mr. Beast this shit. Oh, there's a witch in these woods? Is she single? I'm gonna be right back. Gonna ask the forest witch out on a date. My firstborn child has been stolen. Your wife taking care of your child is not stealing. No, you live in a society. I live in my meticulously crafted daydream universe that I've been using as a coping mechanism since childhood. And you will not take that away from me. It's important to read to your kids, but not too much, lest they start saying words like, perchance and undoubtedly. And then you run. Run as far away as you can. God, America kind of dropped off these last couple hundred years. They used to call it the Wild West. Now it's just the Midwest. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I like that one. This is my unethical polycule. The non-monogamy is consensual and negotiated. We're just evil in other ways. Like, for example, I just took the letter N out of the alphabet. How do you feel about that now, Editor Aiding. <laughs> Honestly, Pokemon is the ideal universe, not just because there's cute animals that are your life companions, but because they have walkable cities and adequate biking infrastructure. Now, hold on a second. My only problem with the Pokemon universe is, like, a country's, like, I don't know, like, nine towns? How does it work? Maine, do not deliver DoorDash to a gnome. I got lost in the whimsical forest for 27 fucking days, solving musical riddles and matching colored mushrooms and shit, and I didn't even get a tip. Oh, sorry I didn't tip you, but the Guardian Frog's riddles are not that hard, and my blueberry plum swirl ice cream was completely melted after you spent, oh, I don't know, 27 days failing to think of a lily pad? Which is literally always the answer to the musical riddles. Uh, how dare you? How dare you? Zero stars. I love when my cat meows at me and I can see her little teeth because she looks just like this. Oh my god. How did you get these two pictures of cats? British people losing their accents when they sing proves that they just use it for attention. As a British that can sing can confirm my accent just completely changes to something else entirely. I don't know how it happens. It's witchcraft, I swear. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave this microphone here and I'm gonna go, Andy. You, whatever happens, happens. You don't, you don't gotta do a thing. You just do your stuff. I'm gonna go. I got places to move to, things to see. I love you, dog. Thanks for 400 episodes. Okay, all right, I gotta go. So as it turns out, it's not the the 400th video Andy has edited for me. Um. Well, don't I feel like the goofiest little dude in the world? It's fine. It's fine. All right, look up, Clay. It's so funny to be called manipulative by a parent when you're a child. Like, I can't manipulate you, girl. I'm seven. Yeah, this is the uh, pilot speaking. Yeah, we expect today's flight to be normal. Um, if you look out your window, you shouldn't see the skull. Good evening, passengers. This is the wizard speaking, and boy, do I have a treat for you. Without revealing your actual age, what's something you remember that if you told a younger person, they wouldn't understand? Video games only worked on Channel 3. Oh, God. Imagine getting murdered, and you go to heaven, and God is like, Yeah, they turned your gruesome death story into a podcast. <laughs> Whoa. Player one, a druid, currently rolling death saves in the mouth of a big cat. You know, I've lived a good life. Circle of life and all that. I did eat those cats on the mountain, so I guess this is karma. 
Player two, also a druid. Shut your mouth, I have a healing spell. <laughs> Andrew, don't even show this one yet. Don't. <laughs> I have to apologize in advance. <laughs> okay. Clown girl, you're for the soul. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> I can't anymore with these people. Trans computer girl. Call that a transistor. Hey, isn't that isn't that XJ9 F from My Life as a Teenage Robot? Isn't that her? Pretty sure that's her. Man, I made so much money. How much? Bitch, you know my employer told you. Well, you have to guess, and if you get it wrong, you go to jail for a long time. I'd like to debunk that for a second. No, you do not go to jail for a long time if you're off by, like, a few numbers. You just have to pay whatever that amount is and maybe, like, a wrong fee. It's when you start getting to the six-digit ones that you're off by where you go to jail for a long time. So if you're a freelancer and you think that, like, that $40 commission check you, you didn't put in is not going to take and you think IRS is going to send you to jail, they're not going to send you to jail. Just relax. Well, you support gay rights, so you must be gay. I support animal rights. Do I look like a fucking alpaca to you? Turns out I am gay. Holy shit, how'd this alpaca learn how to type? My parents have access to mine and my brother's bank accounts and accidentally took money out of my brother's savings instead of theirs to pay their mortgage. And now every time we tell him to do something, he says, You can't talk to me like that in my house. Okay, yeah, whoever made this Oreo, I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I don't care if vans are in good hiking shoes. I'm not going to look lame in front of the squirrels. I'm going to trip on my face the entire time, but I'm going to look good doing it. One time I dreamt Mr. Krabs sold the Krusty Krab to make NFTs. You know, he would. All right, stop right there. Hold on a second. No, he wouldn't. I'll tell you why. Mr. Krabs is notoriously cheap. If he has to spend money to make money, he ain't going to fucking do it. Chances are he would try to build his own Bitcoin mining system out of, like, garbage computer parts and fail miserably at it. Ew, ain't you French? Blocked. The key to fanonizing your faves is to simply become academia-brained about it. Never make a statement about a character you can't back up with at least three references to the source material. And no... You can't use Wikipedia as a source material. Well, why not? Hey, let's sword fight in an abandoned castle and then make out. You could just say Castlevania, it's fine. Okay, guys, let's make a normal sandwich that is normal and not diseaseous. I will start. Bread. Bon. Bread. Mmm. Yum. Light motifs drive me insane. Like I hear repeated melody that has an association with a person, idea, or situation, and I go... <laughs> oh boy, it's the last video before I move into a new location, oh boy. I can't believe media was actually about boink the whole time. One. One possible interpretation. Yep. Two. Literally the main theme. And three. Worst take you've ever seen in your life. Can you guess which fandoms get infected by number three? Velna. Your nose's nose like nobody knows. This is the best compliment my art could possibly get. Notes. All of my notes for this story disappeared from my phone, irretrievably. I'm being so incredibly brave about it. You wouldn't believe how brave I am right now. It's actually incredible. <laughs> Why do people love rubbing buzz cuts so much? Nice texture. Fuzzy. It's like velvet that doesn't hate you. Like petting short hair dog. I am learning so much. My friend got a tattoo on his arm that says, Comparison is the thief of joy. And I'm really debating getting the same tattoo on my arm, but just a little bit bigger. And then someone walks up to both of them like, Wow, this is just like Steven Universe. And then they both are like, We don't want our arms anymore. Just, just take them off. My roommate moved out and my cat called Dibs. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be piff as soon as I leave. Neurodivergent or handy coacher is either forgetting things three minutes later after they told you, or having something you remember every single day even though it happened seven years ago. There is no in between. And it's usually traumatic. Big issue with linear time is that when there are a few minutes until some event and there aren't enough minutes to do anything with, you just, you just lose those minutes. 
I think you should be able to save them for later and then combine them into a chunk of leftover time that you get to use at the end of the day. Like bonus hours. Wait. Million dollar young adults novel idea. The hero saves all those chunks at times and uses it to prevent their own death. I love how overthrowing the government is a crime. Like, what are you gonna do? Get law enforcement after me? <laughs> My sibling in Christ, I own the law enforcement now. Some woman on the street below just hit an operatic high C and then screamed, I'll fucking kick your ass. That was the wardrobe from Beauty and the Beast. Hey, Sid the Avenger? This post has over 50,000 notes. People have added on that the woman on the street below was Brendan Yuri, Christine Day, Christian Kenoweth, Roger Taylor, Star Kid, literally me, and literally you. And this is the only valid edition. Andy, give him a gold star. They did it. Please stop framing me for murder. Just because I've killed 1,846 people doesn't mean I killed that specific one. Man, this is a staring from Baldur's Gate 3, I swear to God. Oh no, it's Jeff, the mild inconveniencer. Sure hope he doesn't do anything stupid to the video. Wokajenda killed my son. They came down and killed him with rocks. They bashed him with rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say, Pucky? <laughs> Would you say that the woke agenda <laughs> put your son to sleep? Teachers be like, what inspired you to write this essay? Bro, the, the deadline. I've started saying I no longer wish to be vertical when my legs are tired and I want to sit down. So go away, don't it? I have invented a new game. I call it Stick Wars. To start, everyone is together in one place. Then everyone splits up to look for these sticks. And after a set amount of time, everyone meets back up. Oh. God damn it, Jeff. Hi, so welcome to the sequel to, uh, This Madness. Because boy howdy, did that video spark some interest in dead internet theory. We <laughs> So when it came to the last video, I noticed one of the most common uh, responses to it. Like, well, that's just X. And, you know, X is, you know, it. <laughs> come on, man, it's X. It's going to have a bunch of those. And you're right. But, like the whole reason that even is a thing is because the way the verification stamp works, as long as you pay for the monthly subscription, you have a chance of gaining ad revenue through engagement. So the more the robots engage, the more money they collect. It's a whole mining system. I can, if I was like a drama YouTuber, I probably would like deep dive into that. But I'm the funny voice man. I read the funny voice things. If you want to watch somebody who's really good at doing deep dives like this and analyzing things, I highly recommend 16 Leo, very underrated YouTuber. Go check him out. Good stuff. Love you, Leo. The other one was, well, you only see those things if you go looking for them. And once again, you're right. But I think it's also important to realize that sometimes you do have to go looking for it so you can figure out sometimes if posts that seem just a little off to you are actually done by a person or AI. But yeah, let's dig into this further and no better place to start than the article I mentioned in the last video. The What is the Dead Internet Theory by Danny DiPlacido at Forbes. And by the way, Danny does some amazing stuff. You could check out their uh, stuff on Twitter and Forbes as well. Great writer. Love what they do. Let's start with good old Amazon. You know, that shopping website everyone says they shouldn't be using, but use it anyway. I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill this request. It goes against open AI use policy. Black. $1,600! Apologies, but I am unable to assist with this request. It goes against open AI use policy and encourages $943.79 for a chair that folds. And here's a few more. I apologize, but I cannot generate the analysis you're requesting. Brown! I apologize, but I cannot help with that request. Cream! I apologize, but I cannot provide a specific analysis and generate a new product title without just $6.10 for two doilies. Say, that's, that's, that's the money. Nature's Vagina Calendars, 2024 to 2025. I apologize, but I cannot assist with generating a sign. This was made by somebody. Their name's right there. I can probably guarantee that the name is fake too. And these just look like AI generated images. The semi-nice thing about this, though, is Amazon, I think, actually fixed this because I tried typing these in myself and I didn't get any results. But to say that it didn't happen before, that I'm just going to put this image up. I don't even want to read it. I just want to prove a point that you could have had typed this in and gotten these results. Look at those fucking chairs. 
<laughs> Telling me six of those chairs cost two thousand dollars. Get the fuck out of here. Now the comment is, is, well, you would be smart enough to know that those are probably fake items you're not going to get if they're just being procedurally generated like that. That is true. But what you're also not taking into account of is maybe the listings that were able to get it right. I mean, that's the whole point of the AI system, is it not? It's supposed to get bigger and better with the more things you, you feed it. That's why the art AI thing was kind of a big fucking problem. And I could I could do a whole rant on that because I, you know, apart from the voice acting stuff, I also do art, I do music. I'm in like so many fields that AI is fucking finagling itself into and I don't like it. But anyway, I digress. If you're wondering about a situation where maybe one of these fake AI things got away with this, we can look no other than this lovely post from Tumblr. My sister got a book for Christmas on how to care for tarantulas alongside the tarantula supplies. She's wanted one since she was eight and she's 15 now. And basically it appears to have been written by an AI. She realized quickly that the book was riddled with errors, repetitive and badly written. And after some investigation found that it was self-published using a website that offers AI tools to help you write your book. Now, of course, this is the internet, and you could say, well, where's the proof in that? I want to see pictures and everything. But can we just take this at face value for a second? With all the other AI shenanigans we've seen, witnessed, responded to, laughed at, and mocked, isn't it possible that this book does exist and almost duped this kid into taking care of the tarantula the wrong way? Hi, post-editing Pat here, because I couldn't have Andy be subjected to this madness I'm deep diving into. So it's all been me the entire time. Just to see if I could actually find out if this book does exist, I went on Amazon and I looked up tarantula care books and I came across this one. And not only does the picture of the tarantula seem a little off, I scroll down to the review right here. Based on the reviews, it seems that what the AI system did was confuse uh, tarantula care with poodle or toy dog care. So yeah, be mindful of what you buy. God, this is feeling more like a rant than it is supposed to be funny, and I apologize for that, but it's, it kind of goes hand in hand because that's, the, it happens, right? Sometimes a funny AI thing will happen and we'll laugh our ass off and it's like, well, maybe it's not so bad because, you know, those stupid fucking things like this one. Water is in ingredients. Deep stuff. And it also gets really funny on a site that is definitely plagued with the dead internet theory. Facebook, you know, the thing that you keep so your grandparents can talk to you because they're not using anything else? Why are grounding wires not insulated? You ready for this one? <gasps> good conductivity, 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 good conductivity. You know, you gotta feel bad for Robin Schultz. Didn't get a single like on this. Damon got a heart, that's pretty impressive. And then like, they'll just post shit that's kind of pretty gruesome to say for reactions on Facebook. Like, and then end dead announcement sends internet into meltdown. Like, who, who said this? No one said this, he's still alive. Also, there's something very unsettling about that image. Let me just check. Just pop that into searches and uh... <laughs> it's a smoothed out version of this image from Entertainment Weekly's 2003 article of 8 Mile. <laughs> they yesified poor Marshall Matters. But you know, it really, it, it, it all depends on how you feel about the situation, right? Like it's very apparent that it's, you know, becoming more of a frequent issue, but you still have to look out for it, right? You still have to deep dive to find these things. But at what point does the deep dive become just a shallow walk until you realize most of the things you're seeing on your favorite social media sites aren't real? It's even becoming an issue on YouTube. Like you've guys seen it. You've seen like the avatar of just someone's ass asking like the most insightful questions and then you realize their account is fake as fuck. And it's amusing when shit like that happens and they respond to almost borderline AI generated videos, like the movie cap reviews that are just done in an AI voice. And I wanna end this video by just saying that I didn't do this as a negative thing. I did it more as an awareness that you just gotta look out for this stuff and be careful because it's so 
easy these days to get tricked on the internet. And believe me, I've been on it since I was 10. I'm 33 now. It's 23 years of this shit being ingrained into my fucking brain. It's so much easier to point out shit that that's, that's fake when you've been on it for so long. But when you're fresh faced to this or just how well versed it can get, yeah, you got to play that game of is this someone doing a bit or is it just someone that's using a machine to get money out of you? But how I'm actually going to end this video is with this post from Pokemon. Ogre Pin's attributes, including its ability and type, will change depending on which mask it puts on. Which of Ogre Pin's four forms is your favorite? Reason behind climate change, reason for hot weather. Super, beautiful, cheers, sure, just love, better. Love, oh no, hello, yeah, yeah. That, yeag, oh no. True, pretty, windows, yeag. Oh so pretty, gorgeous, goddess. Reason behind global warming, windows. Window, reason for global warming. Princess, yeah, yes, windows, yeah, yep. Yeah, sure, sure is passionate about digital and intrigued by crypto, right? This is tall. A real person, I swear to God. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching or listening or just having me in the background while you do stuff or you know you're you're eating food, whatever time it is that you decide to watch this. I personally pick breakfast to watch YouTube videos. If I had like a final thought I had about what I would think about the dead internet theory, I don't really think it's entirely legitimate but it is kind of scary how baffling the internet is right like yeah we picked a few websites but that doesn't count for the entire map of the internet but it is also like the most heavily foot trafficked websites where bots usually like to roam around and try to scam people I feel like what really how I feel about this is I wished AI was just in the hands of people that knew how to use it. I think when it became more open sourced, it became a problem. Because it didn't become what it was supposed to be. Like, I felt like if it was a tool that just truly assisted us in like writing, if it gave us a prompt or caught us in like loopholes or even in painting, like if you need an idea of how to do a forest background, it can help you. But at the same time, you don't learn fully from it. You might get a general idea of like how a force background is supposed to be, but you, we as humans love to challenge ourselves. We love to test ourselves. If something is just built like this to cut every possible corner so that there's no more challenge in our creativity, we don't learn and we don't grow from it. Just like any tool, in the hands of a creative mind, it could do some amazing things. In the hand of someone who just wants to collect a paycheck, it's complete and utter shit. I just want to say, uh, at the final part of this video, there is going to be something that I did a while back about a YouTube comment deep dive. Just wanted to make it clear that I did try to attempt to reach out to parties involved and didn't really get a response. So I, I, I think it's just it's just a dead end at that point. But. I wanted to make that clear because I know I got some comments on, hey, did you try to reach out to him? And I did. Nothing happened. I am making the least of my 20s by being in my 30s. Living with roommates is fun because you get to learn what their parents think should be refrigerated. Look, I get it's called cold cereal, but you don't actually put the cereal in the fridge. That's just, that's just psychopathic. I think this cat may be magical. Are you sure that's a cat? That looks more like a soot sprite. Oh my god. You give him a little sugary star bit right now. They took the vine from us! Sad apes in the jungle discussing deforestation. Poor Danky Kang. Yeah, I saw Babylon. Not good. Egyptian scouts circa 1150 BC after the invasion of the Sea Peoples. Yo, huge shout out to purple for being the only color that has like no losers. Deep purple, royal purple, bluish purple, reddish purple, pastel purple, dusty purple, lavender, periwinkle, violet, like banger after banger after banger. You know, except for that one time there was a guy that was purple. Unbothered, moisturized, 
happy in my lane, focused, flourishing. Pikachu's drowning! This ain't about him. If Tumblr explodes, you can address a letter to my URL and place it in any hollow log. To be clear, I will not receive it, but it is an action you can take. It'll be like being terminally online. But you know, in the forest. Please enjoy this official art of Articuno in a refrigerator. What's that guy doing in there? If we lived in a just society, every- Do you want quinoa salad with pomegranate dressing? Grumpy text post canceled. I'm getting free food from my neighbor. Life is beautiful. Alex and Steve Minecraft are T for T. Their dead names? Adam and Eve. In this essay, I will- Yeah, I'll just go ahead and integrate that into my belief system. Thoughts on polyamory? Well, thanks for asking. First of all, I think love is a weakness by another name, and you should be killing everyone with your demon blade. Maybe the true power is in learning to be weak? Oh my god, the reading comprehension on this site is awful. The true power is in the demon blade! That's how it kills everyone! Where did I lose you? One time I dreamt that there was that Pucky Cho guy from Tumblr, but he was a 700 foot tall beast harassing one small Turkish town, and the government couldn't do anything about it. But then Disney sent drones to vaporize the monster because of copyright laws. I woke up and had to Google if Disney owns Pokemon. Coastal town of humor, tell like prepare yourselves! Oh, shit, dude. Oh, man, this, this went, this went sh shorter than I thought. Why don't we just sit in silence for a bit? Yeah, that seems like good YouTube content right there. How you guys doing? You, uh, did you eat today? You should probably eat something if you haven't. Maybe get a drink of water. Look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, everything's okay. Everything's pretty good. And, uh, if that intrusive thought in your head says otherwise, you know, fuck them. Oh, deadly dang, it's a patch notes. Increase odds of meat room. Mm. Updated CTF Pelican Peak. Removed skybox bridge for DX8 users. Adjusted cow. And miscellaneous fixes. Removed geomes for good. Moth person. Serpent. Gray alien world war event. Skrillex NBC. Moon. And Shrek cryptid. Put it back. Added unrestricted max players to raise the max player count to 100. Features unsupported and not recommended. Fixed. You can no longer eat your own belt by right-clicking it. Fixed. You can now start the game with paints. Other. A bug that caused armor vehicles that were hit to break the laws of physics and fly has been fixed. Oh, me. You can no longer arrange for a coffin to be made for the bereaved couple's child, murder the coffin maker, then go back and tell the couple everything was A-OK. -okay. This was a bug. You monsters. Decreased size of the frog. Look at him, he's so small now. When a skin is banned, players with that skin will have their skin removed. Fixed a bug that prevented players from being able to thank each other. Miscellaneous. Removed Twitter. Oh my god, finally. Hot water is now required to make bowls of oatmeal. Tim is now satisfied. Hope you're happy, Tim, you fucking weirdo. The mating tent. You asked for this. Great news! We fixed the hat! To celebrate our nomination for the Steam Awards last month, we announced a sweet new hat! The Jagged Bug Basher! But something about the hat made the whole game crash for anyone running older Ryzen GPUs. After a bit of tinkering, we got the hat working now. We're not really sure why, or how, but it works! So now you can grab it! Fix some typos in three instances where it would say movement speed instead of movement speed. In my defense, you are allowed to combine words in Norwegian. Fixed issues with hysteria and discussing topics that are no longer relevant. <sighs> it's not fair, because I like to look at hysteria sometimes and go, YOU SHUT YOUR MOUTH WHEN YOU'RE TALKING TO ME! You know, you could record videos under a blanket until you get your sound panels back. Oh my god. The olden days. I haven't done this since college. Oh boy. Ironically, I was doing well, and then your email found me. 
How dare you? If you're happy for literally any reason, no matter how small or stupid, you're winning in this world as far as I can tell. Caring for little plants, old video games, a cat you love, a silly TV show. Isn't it great when people know what causes them joy and they embrace it? You should try it sometime. Yeah, sorry about your son. We meant no harm. Yeah, we only hurt him to disarm him. Yeah, no, we, we took no pleasure in his pain. We only wanted to escape, so... Yeah. I love piracy. Arr, collect me ships and doubloons. Wait. I can fix them. Relax, Bob the Builder. He got like ten other girls trying to fix them, too. You all look like a construction crew. Goddamn. Sorry for not posting for so long. Lost my phone. Then, what do you know? Found my phone. Send this to other bloggers you think are wonderful. Keep the game going. No. The game dies with me. There really is something in how AI art can't get human hands right, versus some of the oldest art we have is our handprints on a wall. I'm not gonna write the poem, you get it. The themes, you know, dull. Oh, he's pathetic. Awesome. Nice of the blah store to start selling furniture. Hey, Luigi. Look at him, throwing his little moth jiggy. I love this little moth so much, just... Just absolutely friend-shaped. Oh my god. I want emo versions of idioms. Like instead of, you're barking up the wrong tree, it's, you're panicking at the wrong disco. You can lead a horse to evanescence, but you can't bring him to life. This isn't my first black parade. Talk about a rise and fall. Oh boy. One time I dreamt I was on the phone with my grandma and she was telling me about a good omens fan fiction that she wrote. Was it good? Ask my BF how work was today. You know, there's something magical about a place that you can't leave for eight hours a day, five days a week, for fear of being homeless. It's great. British people wake up in a bathtub full of ice with their kidneys gone, being like, Right, what's all this then? Hey, does anyone have the link to this month's Fur World Domination Plan document? <laughs> not, that, not, not that I forgot or anything, I just, I just need to know the codes. Uh, fuck my stupid Yuri life. And fuck my stupid yaoi life. Behold, a 15-year work in progress. Artists in the background. So talented. Yeah, I'm probably gonna like this character a normal amount. Oh, shit. It's my wife with literally every Honkai male character. Well, I think this is good for the party's character development. Me, out of character, after rolling for the second time a nat 20 with a 4 on the d4 to set up the scenario of an expedition. Oh boy. Oh. My coping mechanisms may be worse than my actual problems. Shit. We did it, the new sound booth is set up, yay! Ladies, men, gentle thems. Being in the year 20s is about experiencing the worst thing you can imagine than having to go to the grocery store. Because big, I get them bacon and eggs, am I right? <laughs> Technically, we are all always LARPing because the self is only a construct. I want a new character. Then make one. You know, everyone's talking about posts that changed their brain chemistry seem to be leaving out this classic, which probably propelled me into activism and more self-confidence in a way I cannot put into words. Except these ones right here. I am such a I want your attention, but won't bother you kind of person. Yo, got that vampire autism where you gotta invite me in every time. <laughs> God, if this isn't me. What the frank is a birth certificate? Why well, I gotta prove to you I was born, Mary Frank? I'm right here. Okay, now a minute to pass. I can say fuck. None sleep. The, 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 left beef? Left beef. Left beef. Left beef. Left beef. Left beef. Left beef. W what? Left beef. For those of you that don't know what left beef is, Andy kindly p put it up. Delicious, isn't it? Be my anti-Valentine, where we try to make each other as unhappy as possible on February 14th. No, I already have one of those. Polyagony. This is fucking hilarious. I think one problem with the United States is that they forgot to name the country. Oh, my God, we did. Andy, why didn't you tell me? Hi, sorry to DM without consent. What horrifying new social rules are the kids inventing now? You can't just kidnap people and force them to play D&D. &D. 
Or can you? Permission to rot my liege? Permission granted. Inside, we are all wizards, and we all know a spell called love. It does 6d12 necrotic damage, and no, you cannot roll a saving throw. It just happens. Do you play fighting games? Every time I step outside. Android girl trying to flirt. Aaron's doom. I swear to God, if I see this joke with 2B from Near Automata, I'm going to make freaking lose it. Ah, shin impact. Ow. Woman shouts, I still love sharks, as she is pulled from sea after being bitten by one. Well, if they say me. Me, bleeding profusely from a missing leg as I'm being dragged onto the beach. This was a statistically unlikely occasion. If the shark wanted me dead, I would be dead. Sharks are important for their ecosystems. I do not condone any attempts to hunt this shark. If an animal kills me, that was on me. It caught me slacking. Let it eat me. If I get put in a PM Seymour or Bettina Levy video, you guys will tell me, right? You aren't gonna let me never know, letting the knowledge drift through human consciousness, but never once crossing the threshold of my mind, right? As a fucking little clown, I deserve to know, right? Only if you attend me. I would. Jesters need to help each other out. Thank you. I live in constant worry I'll end up in a video without realizing. Well, hello, tiny jesters. Ah, shit, Bettina Levy beat it to me first. Sorry, sorry, I can't, I can't do the whole thing. I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's done. Uh, I want to read more anti jokes for this channel. It's been years. Can you lovely creatures give me some of your favorites? In YouTube, it's your job to rate every single one. All right, let's go. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A non-zero percentage. After learning the word exponentially, my use of the word exponentially has gone up. Loads. Why didn't the skeleton go to the party? Because he was a skeleton and not capable of attending parties. A blind man walks into a bar. From my brother. What did the llama say to the postman? How do you put a giraffe in the fridge? Open the door, put the giraffe in, close the door. A man walks into a bar and orders a few drinks. He is soon very drunk and stumbles home. He sees his dog and asks how his day went. The dog says, Ruff! to which the man says, me too, buddy. And then they both go to bed. What's the difference between a mouse and a cute girl? What the fuck do you think? Have you looked at them? Knock, knock. Who's there? Dave. Dave who? Dave begins to sob wildly because his grandmother's Alzheimer's has progressed to the point where she no longer recognizes him. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know, didn't ask. What's at the bottom of your leg that isn't your foot? My foot. What do you call an owl with carrots for ears? Whatever you want, it can't hear you. You know what, I should do this one in the really old anti-joke voice I used to do. <clears throat> What's the difference between a piano and a fish? You can tune a piano, and you can eat a fish. And finally... So this one's actually a favorite of mine, but before I tell it, I have to make sure you know how some of the wildlife around here works, because it involves a little bit of light. Right, so, bees are pretty stimulus-sensitive bugs, yeah? You've probably seen that one video where they're flying around a room and then suddenly stop because someone turned out the lights. You probably also know that bees get a lot less aggressive around smoke, which is why beekeepers usually have that little kettle-looking things. Yeah, I, I've seen them, my mom's got one of those. Another thing that can really mess with them is the cold. Though this one's less known, but bees will enter a state of torpor when they get too cold. B basically, they fall asleep, you know, they, they slow down. Cryostasis, yeah. Now, I say less unknown, but a couple of people might actually recall this fact because it was part of a shit post way back. Basically, the person would detail step-by-step -step instructions for a task, but they never said what the task achieved until the end, where they revealed that you accomplished having an angry bee in your mouth. Before anybody assumes where I'm going with this too, I'd just like to get this out of the way. I'm not going to tell you to refrigerate a bee, then put it in your mouth. Th that'd just be weird. Don't do it. <sighs> well, dang it, I stumbled into another rabbit hole. So let's start the story here. I have a buddy named Baja who watched the, <laughs> the dead internet theory videos that I did before. And that got them curious. And very aware to pick up on 
things that seem a bit out of whack. So they were watching the movie trailer for the upcoming indie horror movie Tarot when suddenly they noticed a comment that seemed out of place with 28 replies. Oh boy, what could this be? Well, hallelujah! The Daily Jesus devotional has been a huge part of my transformation. God is good. Was only a loan of $47,000 to the bank for my son's brain surgery, Oscar. Now I'm no longer in debt after I invested $8,000 and got my payout of mm, $270,500 every month. God bless Renee Marie Harrison. Now you might be wondering, what does this have to do with the horror movie about tarot? I, you get, you, you got me. I don't, I don't fucking know. It could be a bot, could be a person. I don't know. It's a good bit so far. I gotta admit, I'd laugh if I saw this just random post on a horror video. But let's look at the reply, shall we? Hello, how do you make such monthly? I'm a born Christian and sometimes I feel so down ow of myself because of my low finance but i still believe in god thanks to my co-worker alex who suggested mrs mary elizabeth webb get that name ingrained into your system that's that is the subject for today she's a licensed broker in the states that's that's a completely different person okay after i raised up the 325k trading with her i bought a new house and a car here in the states also paid for my son's surgery oscar glory to god shalom wow that's nice she makes you that much please is there a way to reach her services i work three jobs and trying to pay off my debts for a while now please help me Great to see you guys talking about her. She changed the game for me. May God bless Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb services. She has changed thousands of lives globally. For the record, uh, Mary Elizabeth Webb works mostly in Chicago. We'll get to that later though, but I find that really funny. Finding yourself a good broker <laughs> is the same as finding a good wife, which you go less stress. You get just enough with so much a little effort of things. <laughs> oh boy. Hallelujah, God is still working wonders. I placed myself in position for such miracles. The best thing I've seen today on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Uh, just to remind you, this is on, this is on this. This is on this. The fuck is this doing on this? Well, thank you so much. I'm really fascinated about investing and I'm lucky I saw your comment. I will look up for her and drop a message. You really inspired me. Please, can I sign in from Australia? Is it possible? It's just, I'm not gonna read out that number. In fact, I'm gonna censor a little bit because I don't, I don't want people getting any ideas. Copy it this way. YouTube is frustrating. What's APK? Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Same, I met Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb last year for the first time at a conference here in Manchester. And after then, my family changed for good. God bless Mrs. Renee, what? I have made more than 90K. God bless Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb. God bless America. Yeah! I started t with Mrs. Mary Webb in 2021 and now my life is good, something to write home about. I thank God the most. He alone made it possible for the opportunity to come my way. It's a miracle. And I would testify 110k bucks every four weeks. I now have a big mansion and can now afford anything and also supports God's work and the church. Please, who is this Mrs. Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb? <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Her good reputation already speaks for her 100k last month. Her 100k. She's a licensed broker in the States. I have heard about her excellent trading expertise in CNBC News. Guess she's more popular in the United Kingdom. Hold that thought. Oh, I guess it was just a limited time broadcast. So you're probably asking, the fuck's going on here, Pat? Why, why are you even talking about this? I fell into this rabbit hole and I figured you all needed to join me. But what I find fascinating about this is this seems not really AI involved. I think this is more like an actual group kind of fucking with people. But here's the thing and here's the shocker. It's not Mary Elizabeth Webb. I don't even think Mrs. Webb knows this is going on. What this seems like is a targeted way to dupe 
more naive people into a fake broker program because, hey, money can't really buy happiness, but boy howdy, can it buy us the food to keep us alive? Unless you're one of those really smart people that knows how to self-sustain and grow crops, and if that's the case, good on you. It's really cool. I don't have the motivation for that, but I'm glad you do. So Baha and I were going back and forth on what we could figure out with this person. So did a little hop on Google, typed in that name and clicked on the first link and we got boom. This is a site. Sure do be a site. Oh God, it's powered by WhatsApp. Now I already have my suspicions because usually stockbrokers, <laughs> it's gonna sound mean to say, they usually have the money to do a better website if they have their own personal website. So I got a little curious because I know Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley is an actual broker company here in the States. But I want to stay on Mary first. I want to see if this is actually Mary. So the first thing I checked was that address and uh, not, nothing really shows up there. Gonna give that the benefit of the doubt though because that around it does have like actual other uh, investors and business attorneys and stuff like that. So it's possible that she works in like a firm that just doesn't get tagged on Google Maps. That's fine. So let's play around with something a little more serious because brokers usually do have a direct line of contact. So there's a phone number there. Just type that number into Google and oh, there's, there's no one there. Well, for some reason, Google wants me to look up cake recipes. I'm on to you, Google. So now you're probably on the suspicious side like me. Like, okay, this definitely seems not legitimate. I got to figure out if there is an actual Mary Elizabeth Webb that works for Morgan Stanley. Please let that be the case. And as it turns out, there is. You get past the fake website and Mary Elizabeth Webb, the singer, look at that. Morgan Stanley. You just click on that website and, hey, you want to find the way of fucking shocking here. That's not the same lady. That's an entirely different lady. What's going on here? I'm happy to say that this is the actual Mary Elizabeth Webb. Street address is the same, so I'm going to assume, yeah, it's probably just something they don't have on the map. But the direct number, if you search it, it actually goes back to Mary Elizabeth Webb. So I took a sigh of relief to realize that, okay, this person does exist. And then that sense of dread came in that the website we found originally and the comments were talking about the fake Mary Elizabeth Webb. The first site, the WhatsApp powered site. So I had to do one last thing before I could solidify and I got started on this video. I had to look up that image of that person who wants to be Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb. You wanna guess what the uh, results were? What the results were? D take time to comment on the guesses and then you can edit the reaction of like, did you call or did you not call it? You ready? It's a fucking bitch child attorneys in Tulsa, Oklahoma article. It's, just, it's stock footage. And I know this because other websites use it. There's another article by Kev's Best for five best criminal attorneys in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Bankruptcy law. And th this, I, I can't read that, but it's this. I'm going to lose my mind. Now the final reason why I decided to go down this rabbit hole because one of the comments in the daddy internet theories was that, well, sometimes humans can pull this crap too. And guess what, they, they're right. Guess why everybody wins. Everybody wins except people who get tricked into following these scam ass websites. My final piece of advice, if you, Sam, you right there. Hi Sam, how you doing? If you're watching horror movie trailer clips and in that moment, you'd realize, boy, howdy, I could use a stockbroker in my life. Please just go to actual websites and not the Christian sock puppet accounts on the YouTube comments that are praising this fake Mary Elizabeth Webb, who is also named Renee. Who the fuck is Renee?